Chapter 76 Blood Wolf Buzz buzz! Following the Hummer, several off-road vehicles and seven or eight motorcycles appeared. So many vehicles immediately blocked the gate. Seeing these vehicles, Jian Lusher frowned. Almost all of these vehicles are equipped with various modified weapons. And the fronts of the vehicles are all covered with long spikes. The people in the car were wearing steel helmets welded by themselves. With only their mouths and eyes exposed. Those eyes were staring at Jian Lusher and the others. Like wild dogs sizing up their prey. This group of people, just by looking at their appearance, gives people a feeling that they are not easy to deal with. When Jiang Juing and others saw this group of people, their expression suddenly darkened. It's Xue Lang and the others. Blood Wolf? Jiang Lusher asked. Yes. Their boss calls himself Xue Lang. I don't know his real name. Anyway, the people who follow him are all crazy. Sun Kuan replied. Zhang Hei said. We met them once in the satellite city. I heard that the elimination rate of this team is very high. And even the boss has been replaced. The average survivor will not be outside every day if it is not necessary. But there they keep hunting mutant beasts outside every day. Searching for supplies and exchanging mutant beast meat with the military. Of course, the mortality rate is high. But the strength of the superpowers in the team also improves quickly. Even ordinary people in the team. Those who live longer can also exchange for more equipment. At this stage, the strength of superpowers and ordinary people is not insurmountable. If ordinary people are fully armed, they can definitely compete with superpowers. Jiang Lusher looked at this group of people and could smell the smell of blood emanating from these people and the car from a distance. Jiang Zhuying and the others didn't have a good impression of the blood wolf group. And it seemed like they were really not easy to mess with. They blocked Jiang Zhuying and his party from the outside feeling that the people who came were not malicious. There used to be three superpowers in their team. One has died. And now there is another one. The one who got out of the Hummer is. Brother Jiang. Look. The one who got out of the driver's seat is the Blood Wolf. Or the new one. Blood Wolf. The first Blood Wolf is dead. Zhang Hai lowered his voice and said to Jiang Lusher. A total of four people got off the Hummer. Two of them were the superpowers Zhang Hai mentioned. Of these two people, one is a woman wearing a leather jacket and leather pants. She has slightly curly shoulder-length hair, sunglasses, a pair of leather boots, and a shotgun in her hand. There is a leather belt tied between the waist, which is not only filled with bullets, but also has a long dagger inserted, which looks very wild. The other person looked ordinary, in his twenties, wearing simple casual clothes, a headset hanging around his neck, and a pair of glasses. If Zhang Hai hadn't pointed out that he was a blood wolf, it would have been hard to tell. This outfit and appearance are something you wouldn't be able to spot if you were thrown into a crowd. The blood wolf is very strong. No worse than the boss. And the woman is not weak either. If we fight, Sun Kuan and I will probably be held back. Not to mention they still have so many people. Zhang Hai said uneasily. Jiang Lusher listened silently, saying that if he took action, the situation would not be favorable to them. Xue Lang put his hands in his pockets and took two steps forward. He looked at Jiang Zhuying and others and smiled. It's really a rare visitor. You are? Jiang Zhuying. Right. I recognize you. I heard about you last time in the satellite city. Name. The tone of the blood wolf's word sounded very gentle. As if he was saying H. Lo to someone he met on the road. But this battle. No matter how you look at it. Is not here to say H. Lo. What do you want to do? Jiang Zhuying asked directly without being like a smiling tiger. Jiang Zhuying, it's wrong for you to ask that. I should be the one to ask you this. You came to our house and moved things without saying a word. What do you want to do? Xue Lang's face said his smile suddenly disappeared, and he asked lightly. It turns out that this is the territory of Blood Wolf and the others. Seeing that these people were well prepared, Jiang Lusher speculated that they must have been targeting his group for a long time, and only blocked them after they entered the warehouse of the special metal company. Zhang Hai and others all looked ugly when they heard this. Their understanding of the Blood Wolf team was limited to what they had heard. As for the specific location of their camp, they had no idea at all. It's really bad luck that this industrial park is their territory. These metals are not yours if they are placed here. But do you think you are taking these things for yourself? Even if this metal is on your territory, it is useless for you to hold it. Jian Juying said. Whether it's useful or not is our business. If you want to take it away, you have to discuss it with us. Right. The woman in leather clothes said with a sweet smile. What do you want? Jiang Zhuying asked directly. These people were walking around. Looking like they were having some fun. 
which made Jiang Zhuying and others extremely unhappy. If these people are not in a hurry to take action, they are obviously trying to blackmail you. Xue Lang pushed up his glasses and said, That's right. If you want our things, then let's negotiate a deal. Let's see. If there are ten tons of mutated beast meat, then this place will be like a supermarket. You can take whatever you want. Before Xue Lang finished speaking, Jiang Zhuying's face had already turned gloomy. This is not a deal. Not even blackmail. Because the blood wolves should know very well that it is absolutely impossible for them to take out ten tons of mutated beast meat. Let alone exchange it for these blood wolves. The metal is needed. What do you mean? Jian Lusher asked. Xue Lang glanced at Jian Lusher with some surprise. He didn't know how an ordinary person like Jian Lusher had the right to speak in Jian Zhuying's team. But looking at the reactions of Jian Zhuying and others, this young man can really speak for them. Interesting. Xue Lang touched his nose and didn't know if he was talking about Jian Lusher. Instead, he turned his attention to Jian Lusher and replied, Didn't I say that? Ten tons of mutated beast meat. There are so many of us. Brothers need to eat. But, I heard that more than half of your team is idle. Useless old. Weak. Women and children. Right. Actually, I really don't understand. What are you doing raising those people? As for women, you can still raise them get up and be a slave. You can both work and be hacked. What are you going to do with the rest of the people? At this time, one of his men said, There is no way. Their boss is a woman. Ha ha ha. The men all laughed immediately, and the woman in leather clothes also laughed wildly. Jiang Zhuying's eyes were cold, and several electric sparks suddenly exploded around her. As soon as he saw the electric spark, Xue Lang stopped laughing. He stared closely at the place where the electric spark had just appeared, with a trace of longing in his eyes. If we don't have ten tons of mutated beast meat, then Jiang Zhuying, you can join us. Xue Lang squinted at Jiang Zhuying and said, Upon hearing this, Jiang Zhuying was startled, and then sneered. Xue Long, your IQ is overdue. Right. How could you make such a retarded request? You should know that if we fight, we will definitely end up losing. You are strong, but I'm not afraid of you either. Xue Lang chuckled. He had already understood Jiang Zhuying's strength, although he had to take certain risks. Compared with the benefits obtained after victory, these risks were worth taking. Chapter 77 Devouring Superpowers Jiang Zhuying, you can think about it carefully, Xue Lang said. When he said this, it was obvious that he did not intend to let Jiang Zhuying go. Anyone who joins has obviously bad intentions, and everyone can see this. The Blood Wolf's goal is neither to get 10 tons of mutated beast meat nor to get Jiang Zhuying to join. In fact, he was interested in Jiang Zhuying's superpower. Xue Lang had already secretly observed Jiang Zhuying when he heard about Jiang Zhuying. Even if Jiang Zhuying didn't break in this time, he was already planning to find an opportunity to launch a sneak attack on Jiang Zhuying. The Blood Wolf's superpower is to be able to engulf the cells of the superpower, just like infecting himself with a new virus. Two types of different cells can exist in his body at the same time. If this number is exceeded, his body will also face collapse. The previous Blood Wolf was devoured by him in a sneak attack, and then he became the new Blood Wolf. After that, he has been looking for the next target to devour, and after selecting it, he fell in love with Jiang Zhuying's superpower. Cells throughout his body mutated and mutated into discharged cells. This superpower really suited his liking. Having just seen Jiang Zhuying release electric energy with his own eyes, Xue Lang became even more excited. That's it. That's the power. If he could take this ability as his own, coupled with the ability he had devoured from the first blood wolf, he would be able to enter a new realm. As long as Jiang Zhuying is caught alive, her superpower will be available. After hearing Xue Lang's words, Jiang Zhuying's face was as dark as water, while Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan had ugly expressions. At this time, the sounds of guns being loaded were heard in the Blood Wolf team, and the eyes of each of the team members showed a kind of madness that couldn't wait to take action. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan immediately tensed up, their foreheads covered with sweat. The strength of both of them is average. If they really take action, they may not be able to get out alive. Jiang Zhuying also tightened her grip on the long knife in her hand. Fighting against the Blood Wolf group was no less dangerous than fighting against the mutated beasts. However, no matter what, she could not follow the Blood Wolf group. The outcome would only be more miserable. Jiang Zhuying, you should think about it again. With your strength, wouldn't it be better to join our team? Bringing so many useless people is a burden. They are all dragging you down. No, there are still people in your team. There is an ordinary person. Xue Lang continued. 
While he was talking, he found that Jian Lusher had entered the minibus. However, this move did not attract his attention. He was just an ordinary person. He probably heard himself mentioning him. So he simply hid in fear. The other members of the Blood Wolf team also burst into laughter. The team member who had humiliated Jiang Zhuying before said again, How come in a team led by a woman as the boss? Even the men act like pussies? Ha 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 ha. But just then, his laughter disappeared. The team member still had a smile on his face as he watched Jiang Lusher driving the minibus and suddenly rushed towards them. TSK! TSK! I'm so angry! This is... The team member had no intention of moving. And Xue Lang also stood on the spot. The woman loaded the ammunition with a clatter and pointed it at Jiang Lusher in the car. Her pupils shrank together like pinpricks, locking onto Jiang Lusher like a poisonous snake. However, at this moment, Xue Lang suddenly felt a chill. He quickly scanned the minibus and found a black hole sticking out of the front face of the minibus. That creepy feeling came from this nozzle. Although he didn't know what the nozzle was for, the blood wolf had instinctively sensed danger. When the strength of superpowers has increased to a certain level, just like animals that can warn of danger in advance, they will also have a sense of the death crisis that is about to come overhead. Xue Lang was originally indifferent to the oncoming minibus. But now he immediately shouted, Run! At the same time as he shouted, the blood wolf had already jumped back. The muscles all over his body were tense and bulging. He suddenly changed from an ordinary young man with no characteristics to a wolf-like one. He jumped back very fast. Even his eyes became a little blood red. When the woman heard this, she didn't care about shooting anymore and ran back quickly. That team member and the other blood wolf team members reacted immediately when they saw the blood wolf running away. But their speed was not as fast as the two superpowers. The blood wolf and the woman. Buzz buzz! These people turned the direction of their motorcycles and tried to escape. But at this moment, bang! A loud noise suddenly came. And everyone felt as if their ears could no longer hear any sound. And there seemed to be a rush of air in front of their eyes. Puff! The team member saw the air coming in. And the next moment, he felt as if he and the motorcycle beneath him were hit head on by a locomotive and flew up. His whole body was in excruciating pain. And a large swath of blood mist appeared in front of his eyes. This is. My own blood? Bang! The team member's body fell heavily to the ground like a rag sack and rolled several times. When he stopped, he was already like a goldfish out of the water. His mouth kept opening. Blood was pouring from the inside out. His eyes were wide open. And his pupils were dilated. He saw several people lying around him. All of them covered in blood. Their bodies twitching constantly. And they looked like they were no longer alive. The blood wolf. The woman and some other team members retreated towards the gate. He opened his mouth, wanting to call for help. But what came out was only blood, and some internal organ fragments mixed with the blood. The air cannon has been fired, and the base vehicle is accelerating. In the car, Jian Liosher's expression remained unchanged. He turned the steering wheel, stepped on the accelerator, and rushed towards the gate. Hack! What the H? L! Run! Before Xu Elong and the others could fully react to the loud noise, and the destructive power of the shock wave. They saw the minibus rushing over again. Those who had no time to escape just now flew up into the air one by one, with blood flowing in the air, and then landed heavily, which made them feel frightened. When they saw this minibus rushing over again, their scalps suddenly felt numb. Now they didn't even have time to drive away the SUV and Hummer. So they hurriedly retreated out the door. Laugh! There was a sharp friction sound, and the minibus stopped before rushing to the Hummer. Jian Lusher sat in the driver's seat and stared coldly outside the door through the windshield. Xue Lang and the others had already retreated far away. They were shocked by the shock wave just launched by the minibus. But they didn't know that every time Jian Lusher fired the air cannon, he needed to accumulate power for 10 seconds. After firing the air cannon once, it still needs to cool down for a period of time. Otherwise, they would not escape from the warehouse in such a hurry. It's a pity that the blood wolf was not killed. The blood wolf seemed to sense the approaching danger and escaped just as the air cannon was about to be charged. Jian Lusher slowly backed up the car. When the Xuelong group appeared, he was already looking for opportunities to prepare for the battle in advance. After the Xuelong revealed his true purpose, Jian Lusher Lusher finally couldn't bear it anymore. These people regarded him as an ordinary person and paid no attention to his shabby minibus. Of course, they would not realize that Jian Lusher had actually turned on the air cannon when he got in the car. When the charge was about to be completed, 
He stepped on the accelerator and rushed over. The Blood Wolf escaped. But his team members, who had no time to escape, were hit. Their bones were broken and their internal organs were damaged by the air cannon. They must not survive. Chapter 78 The Laboratory Opens In the warehouse, John High and others were completely stunned. Their palms and backs were covered in cold sweat. They thought they might lose their lives here today. But they didn't expect that such a shocking turn of events suddenly occurred. Jian Lusher suddenly rushed out in a minibus. And then made a loud noise. Then, only the four of them were left in the warehouse again. The Blood Wolf and others, who had posed a great threat to them, had already escaped from the warehouse. The rest of the people became corpses. Jiang Juying also opened his eyes wide and looked at the corpses on the ground. She was ready to fight just now, and her long sword was about to be unsheathed. Unexpectedly, Jiang Lusher suddenly drove out. At that moment, her heart was in her throat. She was extremely worried about Jiang Lusher's comfort, and even he chased after me desperately. But the result was completely beyond her imagination, making her feel both shocked and surprised, and her heart returned to its original position. Brother, is this a modified function of the car? Jiang Zhuying couldn't help it and asked quickly. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan also came back to their senses. While guarding the gate, they gathered around the minibus and looked at the minibus again in shock. Although they thought this minibus was crash-worthy before, they never thought that they would use this minibus as a backup at this time. That airflow. That loud noise. What on earth is it? Jiang Lusher pondered for a moment and said, A kind of air cannon emitted by contracting airflow. I had it when I picked up this car. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan were both speechless. Why didn't they pick up such a versatile car? Jiang Zhuying also smiled slightly after hearing this. Who knows if what Jiang Lusher said is true. Anyway, this brother is becoming more and more mysterious. Jiang Lusher was sitting in the car, looking at Zhang Hai and the other's expressions, and felt like he didn't know what to say. He actually didn't bother to think of excuses. Even if he thought of something else, they probably wouldn't believe it. Although the matter of the air cannon has been exposed now, with Yang Zhuying around, even if Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan have the same thoughts as Yang Qingqing, they will think about Yang Qingqing's mistakes. In addition, the biological laboratory is about to be established, and Jiang Lusher is no longer so nervous about whether someone is thinking about his base vehicle. His base vehicle is originally bound to the star seat in his mind, and his weakness is himself as an ordinary person. As long as he can make up for this, although it does not mean that he is fearless, at least, he does not have to worry about it anymore. It's like walking on thin ice. The blood wolf came with so many people to surround them. And they would definitely not give up just because a few people died. They just didn't know when they would come back. It would be terrible if they attack you on the road. When Xue Lang comes to his senses, he will realize that the air cannon barrel of the minibus cannot turn. And the minibus is large and relatively heavy. As long as he avoids the front of the car and attacks from other directions, he does not need to worry about the air. Shot. So Jiang Lusher didn't plan to take advantage of this time to escape. He asked Sun Kun to close the door, and then asked Zhang Hai to continue moving the remaining metal blocks to the car, while Jiang Zhuying stood beside the car and watched. Sun Kun carefully walked around the corpses, then climbed onto the wall like a gecko, grabbed the handbrake that opened and closed the door, and pulled it down. In the process of closing the door, he looked outside very cautiously, and saw Xue Lang and others not far away. They did not bring all the vehicles and motorcycles in. And judging from their appearance, they were not ready to leave. All the guns were pointed at the warehouse door. And Xuelong's face was even more livid. Completely different from the ordinary young man before. He looked extremely angry. After inexplicably breaking down a few people and escaping in embarrassment, Xue Lang was certainly angry in his heart. Xue Lang and the others have surrounded us. Sun Kun came back and said after closing the door, Let them surround us. We're not going out now anyway, Jiang Zhuying said. Sun Kuan glanced at Zhang Hai, who was still carrying the metal block, and then at Jiang Lusher. At this time, still don't forget these metals? I really can't figure out why. After all the metal blocks were loaded into the car, Jiang Lusher said again, You guys go to the side and be on guard. I have something to do. His minibus had just shown its power, and now his words were naturally full of weight. Although they couldn't figure out what Jiang Lusher was doing alone in the car when Xue Lang and the others were outside, Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai immediately walked away. They went to check whether there was a back door, window, or other entrance to the warehouse. Otherwise, if they were suddenly killed from behind, they would die without knowing how. Jiang Zhuying was standing guard near Jiang Liusher's minibus. 
although she was also curious about what Jiang Lusher was going to do. With Zhang Hai and the others around, Jiang Juying wouldn't ask any questions. Standing in the minibus, looking at the metal blocks on the ground and the iridium crucible he had just taken out of the bag, Jiang Lusher took a gentle breath. He originally thought of quietly upgrading it in the garage at night. But now in order to deal with the blood wolf and the others, he decided to build the biological laboratory right here and now. Scanning. All materials have been scanned and are ready. It will take one hour to build the biological laboratory. During this period, the base vehicle can drive normally and all functions can be used normally. Please confirm whether to upgrade? Xing Zhong's voice sounded. Jiang Liosher's mood couldn't help but become excited. The biological laboratory can develop genetic evolution fluid by adding materials, which can be used for the host to evolve genes and greatly enhance physical fitness. Xing Zhong's introduction to the biological laboratory can make any ordinary person crazy. Jiang Lusher did not mutate into a superpower. He did not have a superpower physique. And ordinary people are always relatively tragic in the end of the world. Even these ordinary people in the Blood Wolf team are just cannon fodder. An ordinary person, if unarmed, would be doomed when faced with two or three zombies. Even if he is fully armed, he cannot deal with many zombies alone. The physical strength is weak and consumes quickly. It is not replenished as quickly as a person with superpowers. Confirm the upgrade, Jian Lusher said in his mind. Instructions received. Upgrade begins. As the voice of the star sea fell, these materials disappeared one by one, and the construction of the biological laboratory began. An hour is already very short in comparison. I wonder if the Blood Wolf and the others can hold back for an hour. Jian Lusher sat back in the cab, listening to Star Seed counting down the time for the air cannon to cool down. He now only hoped that the shock that the air cannon fired just now could last a little longer. Chapter 79 The Biological Laboratory is Built How about we rush out in a minibus? Sun Kuen suggested. He didn't know what Jian Lusher was waiting for. He ran to the second floor, hid by the skylight, and took a look outside. He felt his heart sinking. There were all blood wolves outside, which made him panic. In Sun Kuen's opinion, minibuses are bulletproof. Although they may not be able to completely defend themselves against people like Blood Wolf, there is still a chance to get out. However, Sun Kuen also knew that Xu Elong and the others came in behind his group. If nothing else, the door must have been closed, and there would probably be no shortage of roadblocks set up with vehicles and the like. It's no problem for a minibus to punch through nail strips or anything like that. But it still won't work when it comes to punching into reinforced concrete walls or steel plates. Sun Kuen looked at the base car helplessly. The door was closed tightly, and there was no sound inside. In fact, although the base vehicle is currently building a biological laboratory, its normal functions have not been affected. If it had been affected, Jian Lusher would have already considered rushing out first, and it would not be Sun Kuen's turn to propose. Since the biological laboratory can be built first, Jian Lusher naturally wants to strengthen his own strength first, so that no matter what danger he encounters, his adaptability will be much stronger. The Blood Wolf was able to dodge the air cannon in advance and also issued a warning. This ability to sense danger in advance was a very disadvantageous thing for the base vehicle. As time passed, Star Seed showed the progress of the construction of the biological laboratory in Jian Liusher's mind. The construction of the biological laboratory has been completed. 10%. The remaining construction time. 54 minutes. What was that thing just now? Outside the warehouse. Xu Elong and his group were still in shock. If it were some kind of attack method that they could understand, such as thermal weapons or supernatural powers, they wouldn't have such a big reaction. The usual style of their team of survivors is life-threatening madness. In addition to hunting mutant beasts, ordinary survivors would also be extremely unlucky when encountering them. Men can also choose to join them as cannon fodder. Women are often tortured to death. And even children will not be spared. These people rely on this madness to numb themselves and hide their fear but the one shot just now really stunned them. They were immediately frightened by this attack that they could neither see nor understand. How are we going to fight? Just as one of the team members said this, he was kicked to the ground by the blood wolf from behind. He was still wearing casual clothes, but his previous headphones fell off in the explosion, and the expression on his face looked sinister and terrifying. Does this scare you? Don't worry about what it is. It can't be bombarded forever. Otherwise, why did they close the door? Seeing the confused looks of these team members, Xue Lang cursed angrily. Such powerful weapons, such as rocket launchers and thermal weapons, are often only disposable. Although I don't know if the cannon mounted on the vehicle is disposable, 
It must have many limitations. Otherwise, the energy source will be destroyed. That's a question. How many shots can such a small car be able to fire if it is equipped with such a powerful cannon? When Xue Lang said this, the team members gradually came to their senses. This is indeed the case. Let's not talk about whether the car can keep bombarding endlessly. Even if it can, they were caught off guard just now because they were unprepared. As long as you are prepared and the Blood Wolf can sense it in advance, there is nothing to fear at all. If Jiang Lusher and the others come out, this car will have nothing to fear from various roadblocks and their pursuit. But the problem now is that Jiang Lusher and the others had just closed the door before the Blood Wolf group had come to their senses. If they attack by force, they can blast the door open. But what if the weird and powerful cannon blasts it open again? Aren't they all finished? Xue Lang was naturally aware of this problem. And his face was ashen. The broken car just rushed over and attacked them. Catching them off guard and disrupting his original plan. Originally, Zhang Hai, Sun Kuen, and that ordinary person were Jiang Zhuying's biggest constraints. Once a fight broke out, he would definitely kill these three people first. But now the situation is different. Brother Lang, why don't we find a way to blow up this warehouse? If they hide inside, aren't they just like turtles in a jar? The woman spoke delicately. But before she finished her words, she heard Xue Lang say, You are the only one who is smart. Everyone else is a fool. How can I swallow Jiang Zhuying's power if it explodes? What if she is exploded to death? And we have a total of it's just a few grenades. How can you blow up a warehouse? Do you think it's all filled with gasoline? I can blow up the main door at most. But even if I blow up the main door, will you go in first? These words left the woman speechless and could only curl her lips. Will she go in first? Are you going to die first? What should we do? The woman asked. What should we do? Keep an eye on it first. They don't have much supplies with them. So they must find a way to get out. This is our territory. Are we afraid that we won't be able to survive with them? Xue Lang said impatiently. Seeing that the power he was about to receive would be delayed for a while. Xue Lang felt very unhappy. He originally just planned to extract Jiang Zhuying's superpower. And then kill all the people Jiang Zhuying led. But now, he decided to slowly torture these people to death. There was also the young man. He didn't pay much attention at all. He wanted to kill him. But it was just like crushing an ant. But now, Xue Lang decided to give Jiang Lusher some special treatment. He would cut off Jiang Liusher's flesh bit by bit, feed it to the zombies, and then throw Jiang Lusher into the zombies. Time passes, minute by minute. Jiang Lusher was sitting in the cab of the base vehicle with his eyes closed, looking like an old monk in trance. Such an expression left Sun Kuen and others speechless. It was already this time, and they still closed their eyes, pretending to be superior and being cool. In fact, when Jiang Lusher closed his eyes, he kept looking at the reminders in his mind by Star Seed. The construction of the biological laboratory has been completed. 70%. The remaining construction time, 18 minutes. The construction of the biological laboratory has been completed. 80%. The remaining construction time, 12 minutes. The closer the biological laboratory was to completion, the calmer Jiang Lusher became. Until the progress reaches 100%. Drop. With a soft sound. The construction of the biological laboratory is completed. Jiang Lusher opened his eyes suddenly. Took a deep breath. His eyes were full of excitement. That's it. Finally it works. The biology laboratory is so important to Jiang Lusher. In this apocalypse, any external force is just an external force after all. When he has no power to restrain a chicken, not to mention zombies, even a knife can kill him. This is why Jiang Lusher does not dare to get out of the car easily and does not dare to enter. Reasons within the building. The construction of the biological laboratory is completed. And the host can choose to configure the genetic evolution fluid. Do you want to choose now? Chapter 80 Jian Liusher Superpower. Please vote for recommendation. Jian Liusher chose yes without hesitation. After that, various options popped up in his mind. Jian Liusher browsed one by one. The first bottle of genetic evolution fluid will activate an ability of Jian Liusher's body. First choice, strength and defense. Make the muscles, skin, and blood become tough and powerful. Able to withstand sword attacks. After the second evolution, it can even block pistols and even rifle bullets. When Jian Lusher saw the first choice, he was a little moved. Defense was what he needed most. If the defense was strong, he wouldn't be afraid of sneak attacks and cold arrows. And wouldn't even dare to get out of the car. Keep looking down. Second choice, strengthening. 
have unparalleled physical strength. The third choice, Agility Enhancement. It has both speed and dodge ability. High-level agility enhancement. Combined with eyesight and prediction. Can dodge the attack of hot weapons. Fourth option, Physical Enhancement. It has strong vitality. Can recover in a short time even if it is seriously injured. Has strong virus resistance. And is immune to virus attacks by zombies below level 1. Fifth choice. Jian Lusher looked at them all. And each one of them made his heart move. If he had all these abilities, wouldn't he become a superman? Unfortunately, he could only choose one. Regardless of strength, agility, and defense, they were all too single. Although Jian Lusher became a powerful superpower, it was still not strong enough. He needed a superpower that could immediately increase his overall combat effectiveness. Finally, after seeing the 10th choice, Jian Lusher finally made a move in his heart. That's it. 10th choice, nerve and brain area enhancement. Strengthen neurons to allow neuronal currents to conduct faster and give the brain stronger and faster computing power. Seeing this choice, Jian Lusher couldn't move his eyes away. This 10th choice does not increase his defense or attack power. He will still be a mortal body and will die with one shot. And his strength will not even increase. But faster information transmission among neurons means too much. The average person's nerve information transmission speed is 100 meters per second. A complete nerve information reflection takes at least 0.1 to 0.2 seconds, which is already good. For example, if you see a zombie coming towards you, you will see the information from your eyes and transmit it to your brain through the nerves. After the brain thinks about it, it will determine the direction to dodge and then transmit it to the muscles of the body. This comes again and again. Plus thinking and prediction takes time. But what if the nerve transmission speed reaches 1,000 meters per second? Not only is the reaction speed 10 times faster, but the calculation speed of the brain is also 10 times faster. Not only that, memory, learning ability, and judgment all have a qualitative leap. What if it is more exaggerated and the nerve transmission speed reaches the speed of light? Although large-scale electronic computers use electricity to transmit signals. In fact, because electrons are physical particles after all, the real information transmission speed still cannot meet the requirements. At this time, photon computers emerged as the times require. Computers that use light to transmit information are truly light speed computers. The calculation speed is measured in trillions. This is the scary thing about photon computers. But photon computers are not the most powerful. There are also quantum computers that are still in the theoretical stage. Researchers of quantum mechanics are trying to use quantum entanglement to develop quantum computers which is super light information transmission that violates the special theory of relativity. The ghost transmission that was ridiculed by Einstein is actually true. The transmission speed of a quantum computer is nearly infinite. If it is developed, the computing power will be unimaginable. I am afraid that the amount of calculations completed in half an hour is equal to the entire history of mankind. The total amount of calculations performed by all computers in the world. Also because he knew this, Jian Lusher chose the 10th option without hesitation. The brain and neuroevolution. Once the evolution is completed, his body is still immortal. But his brain is already superhuman. And this evolution has huge room for development. Neuron information transmission speed does not need to be the speed of light. As long as it reaches 10,000 meters per second. Then when he sees other people's movements, whether they are attacking or defending, it will be slowed down a hundred times in slow motion. Not only that, because of the strength of his brain and nerves. Jiang Liosher's control of his muscles will be more precise. It would take a long time for ordinary people to control their muscles and thread a needle with thread because their hands are shaking. With the palm of an ordinary person's hand, there is no way to keep the ring finger and index finger stretched flat while the middle finger and little finger are raised at 90 degrees to the palm. Unless the other hand helps. This is not because there are no muscles that control the movement of the fingers. But there are no nerves to control the movement of muscles. And if the brain is powerful, the hands are as stable as mountains. And the dexterity of the fingers is unimaginable. Jian Lusher made his choice without hesitation. Neural and brain domain evolution has been selected. Are you sure? Confirm. Drop the genetic evolution fluid is being prepared. It will take 10 minutes. An hour has passed. 10 minutes is nothing. Jian Lusher stared at the console without blinking. 10 minutes later, a light flashed on the console. And a transparent glass tube bounced into Jian Lusher's hand. The glass tube is full of purple-red liquid, which looks crystal clear, like aged red wine. Jian Lusher held the bottle of genetic evolution fluid, and when he looked at the star C control panel, 
all the genetic evolution fluid modulation options turn gray. The preparation of each genetic evolution fluid requires materials, such as a large amount of mutant beast meat and mutant beast crystal nuclei. In addition, there are some preparations of genetic evolution fluid, which require the base vehicle to complete the secondary evolution. Huh? The second evolution of the base vehicle? Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. Does the base vehicle have a second evolution? I really didn't pay attention to this matter. I will check it out with Xingzhong later. But I can't control that much now. The enemy is outside. Drink the genetic evolution fluid first. Jian Lusher took the glass tube and poured it into his mouth. Drinking the purple-red liquid in one gulp. The liquid had no taste. After drinking it, Jian Lusher felt as if he had drank a ball of fire. The burning sensation came from his intestines and stomach and rushed to the top of his head. Jian Lusher felt like he had a splitting headache and was about to die. It hurts. It hurts too much. Jian Lusher held his head, feeling that it was going to explode. At this time, Starcy reminded, the neurons and brain are transformed and the headache is unbearable. The host can choose to coma and the genetic evolution fluid can automatically complete the transformation. Xing Zhong's reminder made Jian Lusher want to scold his mother and choose to fall into coma. Do people faint when they want to? However, after a period of time, Jian Lusher seemed to gradually adapt to the pain. And the pain became weaker and weaker, and then disappeared. Ten minutes have passed. Jian Lusher opened his eyes suddenly, feeling like he had just been in a long nightmare. Jian Lusher suddenly sat up from his seat, sweat all over his back. The headache disappeared. Instead, Jian Lusher felt that his mind was very clear. When he looked around carefully, his vision suddenly became much clearer than before. He just glanced at the windshield of the base vehicle. On the windshield, there were cracks left by bullets. These cracks were densely packed. Jian Lusher had never paid special attention to them before. But this time he took a look. Suddenly he felt something in his heart. He scanned it with his eyes and found that he had actually counted the number of cracks. One bullet produced 132 cracks. And it took Jian Lusher less than 10 seconds to count them all. Jian Zhuying. Jian Lusher saw Jian Zhuying outside the base vehicle, looking at him worriedly. When Jian Lusher drank the genetic evolution fluid before, others didn't have time to pay attention to him because he drank it all in one go. But then, he suddenly held his head and was worried that Jian Zhuying would die. However, the base car door was closed and she couldn't get in. Now that she saw Jian Lusher recovered, she breathed a sigh of relief. Brother, are you okay? I'm fine. Jian Lusher waved his hand. He found that when he looked at Jian Zhuying, he could easily count Jian Zhuying's breathing. Human breathing was almost invisible from the outside. But Jian Lusher could see the very slight rise and fall of Jian Zhuying's chest when she breathed. Moreover, he could accurately calculate the time without looking at the watch. Jian Zhuying's breathing was 26 times per minute. This was probably because he was worried about himself. So Jian Zhuying's breathing speeded up. Chapter 81 Is there a gun? Brother, are you really okay? Open the door. Jiang Zhuying was still worried that a good and decent person could become like that just now. Jiang Lusher opened the car door. And Jiang Zhuying jumped into the car. When Jiang Zhuying got in the car, Jiang Lusher subconsciously concentrated his attention. He found that once he concentrated, he could clearly see every subtle movement of Jiang Zhuying, including the hem of her clothes rising when she jumped. She was originally very fast. But to Jian Lusher, her movements were like a slowed down slide, about 3.5 times slower. After his brain evolved, Jian Lusher could accurately estimate how many times Jian Zhuying's speed would slow down. If the person who jumped on the car at this time was not Jian Zhuying but an enemy, Jian Lusher would have enough time to counterattack, such as drawing a gun. However, when Jian Lusher subconsciously wanted to do something, he found that Jian Zhuying's speed was slower, and his own speed was even slower. His nerve reaction speed is fast, but his muscles cannot keep up with the speed of his nerves. If Jian Lusher were asked to run 100 meters now, because of better brain coordination, Jian Lusher estimated that he could run a second or two faster than before. But if he wanted to run under 10 seconds and be comparable to top athletes, that would be impossible. There are gains and losses. The first genetic evolution solution given by the biology laboratory can only choose one aspect of evolution. If Ian chooses agile evolution, his speed will be faster, but his reaction cannot keep up. At best, he is just a brother you. Now that my brain has evolved, my body can't keep up with the speed of my nerves, and I still can't fight. I can accurately predict the opponent's punch, 
But if I want to hide, my body speed is slow, but I may not be able to dodge. I can only I watched helplessly as this punch hit me. Jian Liosher's brain was working rapidly, assessing his own strength. He reacts quickly now. Give him a dagger, and he can knock down zombies continuously. Ordinary zombies can't even touch the corners of Jian Liosher's clothes. But if he faced a mutant beast or a professional boxer who could throw four or five punches per second, Jian Liosher would still lose. Jian Liosher was clearly aware of this. And this was his fatal weakness when facing an enemy. Thinking of this, Jian Liosher stopped concentrating. In this way, Jiang Zhuying's speed returned to normal in his eyes. Although his brain has evolved, if he doesn't deliberately activate his powers, the scene Jian Lusher sees is actually the same as before. Bamboo Shadow! I'm fine! Don't worry! Jian Lusher didn't know how to explain the biological laboratory problems to Jian Zhuying. He knew very well that the existence of Star Seed was of great importance. Especially in this apocalyptic world. If the military knew about it, the matter would be serious. In order to avoid the news leaking, Jian Lusher did not plan to tell anyone about the matter, which was also for Jiang Zhuying's benefit. Okay. Jiang Zhuying nodded, but did not get out of the car. She was still worried about Jian Lusher. At this time, Jian Lusher had already turned his attention to his hands. Human hands are the most dexterous organs. Painters use their hands to draw paintings that resemble photographs. Sculptors use their hands to carve lifelike statues and miniature sculptures. Professional game players use their hands to complete 400 to 500 effective operations per minute. And pianists play difficult music. Human hands have huge development potential. Jiang Lusher knew that he was not fast. But after his brain evolved, his advantage lies in accuracy. Skillful. Now give Jiang Lusher a piece of paper, and he can draw a perfect circle. Give Jiang Lusher a game. He can learn it as quickly as possible, and quickly catch up with professional players in terms of operation. Give Jiang Lusher a minibus, he can drift in a minibus, and catch up with professional racing drivers in drag racing. These operations do not require too fast speed, but reaction, dexterity, and precision. In terms of combat, there is also a lot of room for reaction, precision, and dexterity, such as Bamboo Shadow. Do you have a gun? Automatic rifle. Jiang Lusher had only had a May 4 style pistol before. In a real gunfight, the pistol was of course far inferior to the automatic rifle. Jiang Zhuying was stunned for a moment. Yes, there is not only an automatic rifle, but also a light machine gun. We need automatic rifles. Jiang Lusher insisted. Machine guns compete for shooting speed and can shoot continuously for a long time. But in terms of accuracy and shooting, machine guns are naturally inferior to automatic rifles. Brother, do you know how to shoot? Seeing Jiang Liusher's posture. Jiang Zhuying planned to fight the blood wolf with a gun? Try it. It shouldn't be bad. Jiang Lusher said casually. China is a country that bans guns. Let alone real guns. Even setting up an airsoft balloon stall will result in a prison sentence. If you pick a hundred people on the street, you may not get one of them who can shoot. If they do, they will probably be kidnapped. A soldier. The apocalypse suddenly came. And a large number of Chinese people turned into zombies. The remaining survivors began to collect weapons. Of the weapons that ordinary people come into contact with. The most powerful weapons are naturally guns. However, it is not easy for untrained people to use the power of guns. Especially when they are nervous. After a bunch of bullets are fired. The zombies on the opposite side are still alive and kicking. People with superpowers like Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen were completely wasting bullets when they first used guns. Now they are a little better but their shooting skills can also be described as terrible. It all depends on continuous shooting. The more bullets are fired, the more likely it is to hit. Jiang Zhuying glanced at Jiang Lusher in surprise, not knowing where his confidence came from. But she didn't ask any questions and shouted directly to the outside of the car. Jiang Hai, bring that automatic rifle. Ah? Uh? Jiang Hai was stunned for a moment. There were only two powerful thermal weapons in their team. Sun Kun was carrying a light machine gun on his back. Zhang Hai was holding an automatic rifle. However, he usually drove a freezer truck and was rarely used. When loading this gun, facing the Blood Wolf team, Zhang Hai pointed at this automatic rifle to eat. Otherwise his ability to repair cars would have blinded him in the battle. Although he was reluctant, he still handed the gun to Zhang Lusher. What Zhang Hai used was a Type 81 automatic rifle. This gun is an improvement on the Russian AK-47. It is more accurate than the AK-47. 
although it is not as good as the AK-47 in terms of maintenance. This is not what Jian Lusher has to consider. What he cares about most is accuracy. Automatic rifles are completely different concepts from pistols. Even the famous Desert Eagle is not as powerful as the Bai Bar. In 1994, a soldier surnamed Tian was in Yanjing. He used a Type 81 automatic rifle and a six-round magazine to fight against dozens of armed police and police teams. With the skill of changing magazines with one hand, he used a Type 81 automatic rifle. The powerful firepower suppressed dozens of civilian police and armed policemen with pistols, unable to lift their heads. At that time, a policeman surnamed Chao was wearing a helmet and stretched his head to see where the soldier surnamed Tian was. At the moment when he stretched his head, the soldier surnamed Tian shot him. The helmet was pierced by bullets from the front and back, and the policeman died like this. A shot to the head. Regardless of the helmet, both accuracy and power are evident. Chapter 82 Sharpshooter quickly accomplished. When I picked up the body bar, the metal on the gun was cold and had a very heavy feeling. The gun is nearly one meter long, and there is a bayonet of more than 10 centimeters attached to the gun tip. The cold blade does not look sharp, but it can definitely withstand collisions and can pierce the bones of zombies. In the last days, when you can use a bayonet, try to avoid using bullets. Bullets are too expensive. What a gun! Jian Lusher couldn't help but say that for men. Even if they don't like guns very much, there is a special feeling when they actually get a real gun. In particular, this Type 81 automatic rifle is a classic among classics and can be regarded as a symbol of Chinese soldiers. Is the insurance here? Jian Lusher pointed to the small button on the butt of the gun. Even if someone has never fired a gun, it is not difficult to find the safety on the gun. However, it is difficult for people who have never fired a gun to distinguish whether it is open or closed. Of. It's this. It's zero now. It's closed. One is burst fire. Two is burst fire. John Hai explained. Jian Lusher didn't understand the open state of the safety. Obviously he had never played with a gun. Understood. Jian Lusher naturally opened the safety insurance. Jumped out of the car. Brother Jian. Why are you holding a gun? Are you going to fight with a blood wolf? Zhang Hai looked at Jian Lusher holding this Bai Bar and wanted to shoot, and couldn't help but said, After all, I had practiced marksmanship during the time when the apocalypse was coming. Although it wasn't great, it was still better than ordinary people. Jian Lusher did not answer, but asked, How many bullets are there? There are 11 magazines left, and each magazine contains 30 rounds. Brother, do you really want to use a gun? Even Jiang Zhuying is suspicious of Jiang Lusher. She is mainly worried about Jiang Lusher's safety. Bullets don't have long eyes. Jiang Lusher is going to fight Xue Lang with a gun. How can she rest assured? The two of them are just firing continuously, which is even better than Xue Lang, however. Try it! Jiang Lusher pulled the bolt of the gun and loaded the bullet. He had never eaten pork and had seen pigs running before. When Jiang Lusher concentrated his energy, the world slowed down again. A few dozen meters away, Jian Lusher saw a forgotten beer bottle. He didn't know if it was a warehouse guarding the post-apocalypse. Drinking secretly here. When Jian Lusher focused his attention on the beer bottle, the distance of tens of meters seemed to suddenly disappear for Jian Lusher. The beer bottle was pulled to Jian Lusher's eyes. And he could even see the beer bottle clearly. What's written on the label? Jian Lusher aimed his gun at the beer bottle cap. Three points in one line. Brother Jian, are you going to test the gun? Seeing this scene, Sun Kuan opened his mouth and was a little speechless. What is Jian Lusher planning to do? He has just learned how to open insurance. And he is ready to test fire bullets for actual combat. He is now learning and selling it. Most people don't dare to get started without shooting thousands of rounds of bullets. Jian Lusher has only 11 magazines. And his actual combat ability is not very good. Even if the survivors on the Blood Wolf side are not good at shooting. They are definitely better than ordinary people. A novice holding a gun and fighting with a group of guns is not looking for death. Right? Brother Jiang? I think you have good driving skills. If you shoot, who will drive? Think about it. Zhang Hai reminded tactfully that he wanted to get the Bai Bar back. However, at this moment, Jiang Lusher was completely focused on the beer bottle and did not even look at Zhang Hai. At this moment, the gun in Jiang Lusher's hand seemed to be stuck in the groove of cast iron, and the muzzle was motionless. When ordinary people shoot, the muzzle of the gun will inevitably shake due to muscle twitching. But this situation does not exist at all in the hands of Jian Lusher, who can completely control every muscle in his body. At a distance of about 30 meters, 
The rifle fires at a speed of 700 to 800 meters per second, ignoring the air resistance deceleration of the bullet within 30 meters. The vertical drop of the bullet is only 7 or 8 millimeters, which is almost negligible. Due to the evolution of his brain, Jiang Lusher used his high school physics knowledge to instantly calculate the rough trajectory error of the bullet. When shooting from a long distance, one must consider the bullet drop caused by gravity and adjust the rear sight scale to correct the firing angle. However, it can be almost ignored at close range. But even so, Jiang Lusher still reserved a very small shooting angle. Pull the trigger and shoot. Boom! With a gunshot, a beer bottle 30 meters away exploded, causing countless fragments to fly in all directions. At this time, John Hai hadn't finished speaking when he suddenly heard the sound of a beer bottle exploding. He was startled. The words in his mouth were stuck in his throat. He didn't close his mouth for a long time and couldn't say a word. The bottle exploded? Is this real or fake? Brother Jiang, were you targeting the bottle from the beginning? Or you were confused? Sun Kun swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He couldn't tell whether Jiang Lusher fired a random shot. It was possible for a random shot to break a bottle. It was really hard for him to believe that Jiang Lusher had deliberately targeted him. Jiang Lusher had just learned how to open insurance. Jiang Lusher did not answer Sun Kuan, but found the next target. This distance was further away, just an inconspicuous metal block. Jiang Lusher aimed at the center of the metal block, also leading a little angle. Bang! When a shot was fired, the bullet hole left by the bullet was a few millimeters wider than Jiang Lusher expected. An error of a few millimeters can be completely ignored if shooting at people, but Jiang Lusher still wanted to eliminate this error. He fired several times, each one hitting the heavy metal block. Sun Kun and John Hai only saw spark shooting from the metal block and had no idea what the mystery of the bullet holes left by Jiang Lusher was. The accuracy of punching beer bottles before was obvious at a glance. But I just wondered if Jiang Lusher was fooled. Now we are shooting large metal blocks. The whole warehouse is full of metal blocks. It is difficult to miss if you just shoot at random. They feel sorry for the bullets. There were a total of 330 rounds of automatic rifle bullets and Jiang Lusher fired more than a dozen rounds at once. Brother, don't choose this time to practice shooting. Besides, bullets are so expensive in the apocalypse. It would be too luxurious to practice shooting with live ammunition. When they practice shooting, they always shoot blanks. Jiang Lusher fired continuously. He used different shooting angles to find the tiny distance that the bullet deviated after it was shot, so as to achieve absolute accuracy. This is actually not necessary for close-range gunfights. In close-range gunfights, the comparison is actually the rate of fire and the density of bullets. Unless you are a sharpshooter who has time to aim. When you target someone, you might get killed, not to mention novices. Even experienced veterans whose shooting accuracy is pitifully low in a shootout. In World War II, annihilating thousands of enemies in a battle was considered a beautiful victory. However, in such a battle, the amount of ammunition consumed was at least hundreds of thousands. And in fact, most of the enemies were killed by artillery fire. On average, a thousand bullets to destroy one enemy is not bad. One magazine was finished by Jiang Lusher, and Jiang Lusher conveniently replaced the second magazine. Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai's hearts were bleeding. What's going on? There are enemies outside looking at them. But a lot of bullets are being consumed here. Why doesn't Jiang Zhuing stop him? After changing the magazine, Jiang Lusher had already roughly felt the shooting angle and the application method of the sight scale. However, the enemies were not targets. They would move. Jiang Lusher suddenly turned to Zhang Hai and said, Zhang Hai, go pick up a bottle. Not far away were two intact beer bottles. Zhang Hai looked reluctant. He still wanted to fight. Seeing that Jiang Zhuing was silent, Zhang Hai had no choice but to grimace and pick up a bottle. Throw it out as hard as you can. Jiang Lusher ordered. Zhang Hai was stunned for a moment. What? Throw it! Jiang Lusher said again. Jiang Hai's special power is the strength of his fingers, which allows him to throw bottles very far. Because Jiang Lusher wasted a magazine of bullets before, he felt unhappy. So he just threw them. He waved his hand, and the bottle spun and flew out, making a whistling sound. Jiang Hai could definitely throw the bottle 50 or 60 meters at this moment. The bottle drew a beautiful arc in the air. Jiang Lusher didn't even think about it. The moment he raised his gun, the speed of the bottle flying in the air seemed to suddenly slow down. Even its rotation trajectory, Jiang Lusher could see clearly. Jiang Lusher pulled the trigger directly. Snapped. 
There was a gunshot, and the bottle exploded in the air. Chapter 83 Are you from the shooting team? Bob bang bang! Countless glass fragments fell from the sky like a goddess scattering flowers. And fell to the concrete floor with a crisp sound. Zhang Hai, who threw the bottle, was dumbfounded. His mouth was so open that he could almost fit an egg in it. Damn it! It's fake! Sun Kuan was completely confused. Is Jiang Lusha really a novice in using guns? When shooting fixed point targets, many people can get started quickly after mastering the essentials. After all, according to the distance of the shooting distance, the corresponding rear sight ruler is selected, and the shooting angle is fixed, as long as the handshake is not too severe. The bullets fired will be generally not too far away. But shooting at a moving target? This difficulty is exaggerated. Hitting a thrown wine bottle so fast is even more difficult than the flying saucer shooting event in the Olympics. In Olympic clay pigeon shooting, a shotgun is used. A large number of pellets are shot out with one shot and scattered. As long as one pellet hits the flying saucer, it is considered a hit. But even so, misses often occur. As for John Lusher, he used the bite bar. One bullet shot out and hit a wine bottle that was flying at high speed. What kind of fast hands and accurate eyes did he have? Predict the flying distance of the beer bottle. Aim. And shoot. All within a few tenths of a second. Moreover, the farther the beer bottle flew, the higher the difficulty. With Jiang Liosher shot, the beer bottle flew at least 20 meters. Brother Jiang, why don't you play with me? Are you really a novice in shooting guns? You don't even know how to turn on the safety? You used to be on the national shooting team. Right. Zhang Hai really can't think of anyone else who has this ability except for the national shooting team who specializes in flying saucers and moving targets. Even those who are soldiers, they only shoot fixed point chest targets. Those snipers in the army, gunslingers, of course they can shoot accurately. But if you call them over and hit the beer bottles that are thrown out, you will probably be blinded. They have never done this before. Nonsense! I don't know what my brother is doing. Jiang Zhuying scolded Zhang Hai. She had grown up with Jian Lusher. Of course she knew what Jian Lusher was doing. As for practicing guns in his spare time, that was simply impossible in China. Only rich people could afford it. Give me all the magazines. Jian Lusher resisted the Bai bar and stretched out his hand. What else could he say? Zhang Hai quickly stuffed all the magazines he had on him into Jian Lusher. Rush out in a moment. I'll be in front. You two will provide fire support from behind. Sun Kun will shoot the machine gun. Zhang Hai will throw grenades. Xuing, you stay in the car with me. Sun Kun's superpower is a gecko-like climbing ability, which allows him to choose a hiding place in any impossible corner of the building. Machine guns, when used properly, are an art form. This is not the kind of anti-Japanese drama. Once the protagonist gets mad, he rushes out of the trench with a machine gun and begins to sweep away a large number of Japanese. It is absolutely necessary to use a machine gun like that. Hang. The first thing a machine gunner must do is concealment. For a good machine gunner, marksmanship is secondary. The most important thing is to grasp the fighter plane. Sun Kun is not a good machine gunner. But as long as he is concealed, he should be okay. As for Zhang Hai, his hand strength is far beyond that of ordinary people. Throwing grenades from a distance of tens of meters is the best way to maximize his combat effectiveness. There are no more than ten grenades in Jiang Juing's team. But if they are used properly, Zhang Hai will be a heavy cannon. Jiang Lusher carried the Bai Bar and jumped directly onto the base vehicle, followed closely by Jiang Zhuying. Brother Jiang, are you going to let the boss drive? Zhang Hai glanced at Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Lusher used the Bai Bar. So of course Jiang Zhuying had to drive. Most of Jiang Zhuying's driving skills were developed after the apocalypse. In the past, Jiang Zhuying's family was from an average family. So how could Jiang Zhuying know how to drive? It wasn't long after the apocalypse. Although Jiang Zhuying practiced hard, her driving skills could not be said to be good, and she still drove an off-road vehicle. Now it is a bulky minibus. Is this possible? No. I'll fire it myself. Zhuying, you can just be responsible for the attack. Jiang Lusher sat in the driver's seat and opened the window on the left side of the driver's seat. The bike bar was placed directly on the window frame. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan were both dumbfounded. What does it mean? Jian Lusher plans to drive and shoot at the same time? Are you kidding me? Whether you are driving or shooting, you must concentrate. There are enemies outside. And there are various roadblocks on the road. It is good to be able to drive well. You must clearly see the road conditions. Turn the steering wheel. And aim at the same time. 
enemy shooting? The speed of the car is moving. And the enemy is also moving. You can shoot while driving. Turn the steering wheel with one hand. Play by bar with one hand. Change gears. Step on the clutch. Step on the accelerator. And step on the brake. Can this be shot? That's not how multitasking works. San Kuen. Open the door. Be careful. Jian Lusher ordered. And San Kuen swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This was not playing with guns or cars. This was life-threatening. He glanced at Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Zhuying was already sitting in the passenger seat. She took off her samurai sword and pulled the chain on the sword. There was a clatter. The chain hit each other. And the metallic sound was clear and sweet. She was obviously ready to get on. Yes, these brothers and sisters are also crazy. I risk my life to accompany you. Sun Kuen's heart suddenly jumped. And he jumped directly to the metal storage pile. He jumped continuously on the metal pile. And jumped to the warehouse door. He spread his feet apart. Stood firmly on the 90 degree vertical wall. And pulled open the rolling shutter. With the sound of the rolling shutter opening. Jian Lusher shifted into gear. And stepped on the accelerator. Sit tight. Jian Lusher held the steering wheel with one hand. And looked straight ahead. The base vehicle accelerated instantly. The powerful acceleration made Jiang Zhuying's body almost sink into the passenger seat. Buzz! The base vehicle roared like a beast and rushed out like a mad bull. This car! Sun Kuen felt excited when he saw it. This was not a minibus. It was actually an F1 formula. At this time, outside the warehouse gate, Xue Lang's team was ambushing. The nail strips blocking the vehicles had been stretched out on the ground. The gate of the metal factory was also blocked by two heavy trucks transferred by Xue Lang. The gate surrounded by reinforced concrete walls. This is already a dragnet. And there is no way to break out. The members of the Blood Wolf have set up various bunkers on the main road of the factory. They are all armed with guns and ammunition. Waiting for Jiang Zhuying and the others to rush out for a decisive battle after they run out of supplies. However, they didn't expect that after only waiting for two hours. They saw the rolling shutter door of the warehouse open. And then a shabby looking minibus rushed out like a prehistoric monster. Hack! Rush out. Court death. Brothers copy the guy. The Blood Wolf members roared. These people, even if they are not superpowers, are still desperados. After they join the Blood Wolf, they are all vested interests. As long as you are ruthless and strong enough, you can stand firm in the Blood Wolf. Heal. Wantonly humiliating women and ravaging slaves. After the end of the world, the madness and ugliness of human nature have been fully inspired. Chapter 84 Rushing Out of the Warehouse since the birth of the Blood Wolf organization, they have been plundering. Not only did they kill mutant beasts and collect food, they also plundered other survivors. Because the Blood Wolf was so powerful, all the resources in the entire industrial park were in the hands of the Blood Wolf in a short period of time. As for the survivors who were captured by the Blood Wolves, there were still a few beautiful women left behind. Most of the men were killed by the Blood Wolves, and some were forced by them to collect food, gasoline and other resource reserves squeezing out the value, were all killed, and there were never any burdens left in the Blood Wolf's team. This barbaric expansion method is very effective in the early days of the end of the world. With more food and animal meat, they can exchange a large number of weapons from the military. In addition, the Blood Wolf previously looted the police station in the industrial park, which makes the Blood Wolf possess there are far more guns than Jiang Zhuying's team. They have 19 fighting members. But there are only two superpowers. One is a blood wolf, and the other is a woman wearing a leather jacket and leather pants. The remaining 17 people all have guns. Among them are a light machine gun, two miniature submachine guns for the Chinese armed police, three Type 95 automatic rifles, and two almost obsolete 56 semi-automatic rifles. These eight guns were all exchanged by Xue Lang with the military and armed police, in addition to the Type 54 and Type 64 pistols they found at the police station. There were nine more guns. Altogether, there are 17 branches in total. In addition, there are a small number of body armors worn by blood wolves, women in leather pants, and a few core combatants. The blood wolf organization is scary. The most terrifying thing is that they have many people and guns. In the apocalypse, the combat effectiveness of a person with supernatural powers may not actually be better than that of an ordinary person who is proficient in marksmanship. Moreover, Having a 19-member organization is definitely an exaggeration. This is the strength of two strengthened squads. Even in a military battle, it is enough to do a lot of things. You must know that during the long march, the battle to capture looting bridge was, 
force away the 13 iron ropes from the wooden board. And only use 22 warriors. It is precisely because there are so many guns that Xue Lang has the confidence to defeat Jiang Zhuing. Jiang Zhuing's team only has two continuous shooting guns and three pistols in total. When Jiang Lusha rushed out, Xue Lang was sitting behind the bunker, sitting on a chair and wearing headphones. At a glance, he saw Jiang Lusha and Jiang Zhuing sitting in the passenger seat. Seeing Jiang Zhuing, Xue Lang's eyes shone. Why can't you keep calm? You want to rush out of my territory in a minibus? You're going to die. Xue Lang stood up and took off the earphones. Hit me! Don't hit Jiang Zhuing. Beat that kid into a honeycomb first. The blood wolf has the ability to devour a living person. Once the person dies, the energy of the ability will dissipate quickly. At this time, the effect of swallowing will be greatly reduced. Try not to attack Jiang Zhuing. But if Jiang Zhuing is really shot, as long as he is not killed with one shot, it will be acceptable. Okay. A group of Xue Lang's desperados. Upon hearing Xue Lang's order, all jumped out of their bunkers and opened fire on the minibus. Duh duh duh. All kinds of pistols, rifles, and microguns spit out tongues of fire. And the sound of gunfire is deafening. For a moment, the windshield of the minibus shook violently. Ba bang bang. A large number of cracks appeared on the windshield and countless glass shards the size of rice grains began to fly in all directions. But the windshield did not explode. Jiang Lusher still drove the minibus forward. Didi! Xing Zhong conveyed the voice in Jiang Lusher's mind. The durability of the front bulletproof glass has been reduced. And the durability has been reduced by 7%. Jiang Lusher remained unmoved, stepped on the accelerator, and the speed of the base vehicle soared. Hack! What's going on? The Blood Wolf members were all stunned. This minibus was equipped with bulletproof glass. Even bulletproof glass is only bulletproof to a certain extent. If there is continuous high-intensity shooting, especially powerful guns such as light machine guns and rifles, especially if one point of the bulletproof glass is shot continuously, it will still be penetrated. For example, many robbers use hammers to smash bulletproof glass when they rob banks or gold stores. Hit! Hit me! The blood wolf kicked over the chair grabbed the light machine gun of the Blood Wolf member next to him, and poured bullets crazily at Jian Liuxer's position. At this time, the speed of the base vehicle has soared to 100 kilometers per hour, and the nail belt is ahead. Blood Wolf occupies an industrial park. It is not difficult to weld a nail strip by yourself. They have prepared many of these things, which are necessary for robbery. Now placed not far in front of the bunker, the minibus ignored the nail belt and rushed over directly. Hack! Are you crazy? Xue Lang's eyes were red. The car rushed onto the nail strip at such a fast speed. And it would definitely blow out a tire and overturn the car. By the way, how did this base vehicle reach such a speed in such a short period of time? In a flash of lightning, Xue Lang didn't even have time to think about it. The base vehicle had already crashed onto the nail belt. Crack! The five meter long nail belt, with thousands of nails longer than the middle finger welded together, broke apart after being crushed by the base vehicle. Hundreds of nails scattered like bullets and bounced on the iron sheet of the minibus. Collapsed again. And the minibus was like an angry giant rhinoceros. Charging towards the bunker unabated. What the heck? Is this a tank? The eyes of the members of the Blood Wolf were widened. The front windshield was bulletproof. And they rushed against the firepower of more than a dozen guns. The tires crushed nails and were comparable to tracks. At this moment, a strong sense of danger hit Xue Lang's heart. He saw a black barrel sticking out from the front of the base vehicle. Disperse, Xue Lang shouted loudly. He had already suffered a big loss before. All members of Xue Lang knew how terrifying this barrel was. It was definitely comparable to a heavy cannon. This is really a tank. Boom! The air cannon fired. And the terrifying air wave hit the bunker. The members of the Blood Wolf fled in all directions. A terrible explosion sounded. And a large number of empty iron barrels. Metal blocks and sandbags were completely exploded by Jiang Liuxer's cannon. A Blood Wolf member was trying to escape, but was hit in the head by a flying piece of metal. The Blood Wolf member's head was torn open on the spot. His head fell to the ground, and he died immediately. Jiang Liuxer concentrated his attention at this time, and captured the escape direction of all the Blood Wolf members in an instant. The weakness of the air cannon is that it charges too slowly. In addition, the Blood Wolves had already been prepared for the Black Barrel, and dispersed it in advance. Although Jiang Liuxer's cannon was powerful, it only killed one. People were still affected by the metal blocks from the bunker. 
At this time, many Blood Wolf members had jumped on the off-road vehicles. The sunroofs of these off-road vehicles were all opened. One person was driving, and the other was shooting on the sunroof. Jean Lucher braked and turned the steering wheel, causing the base vehicle to turn 90 degrees. Squeak! The base vehicle, which was traveling at a speed of more than 100 kilometers per hour, shifted its center of gravity forward, and the rear of the vehicle was thrown out, making a beautiful drift. Jian Lucher stepped on the accelerator again, and the base vehicle rushed out like a beast again. Many members of the Blood Wolf had just started their cars at this time and were dumbfounded. Chapter 85 Seeing Six Ways Damn it! Can a minibus drive like this? Drift. Not to mention minibuses. Even off-road vehicles like these don't dare to drift. Because the center of gravity is too high and it is easy to roll over. In other words, sports cars with a low chassis are fine for playing on dirt roads. Is this still China and Pakistan? It's simply a combination of a tank and a sports car. Jian Lucher turned urgently at this time, facing the Blood Wolf members with his driving seat. And the window on his left had a small gap. And the barrel of the bite bar was getting out of the gap. He turned around this time just to aim his gun at the Blood Wolf members. After his brain evolved, all of Jian Lucher's driving operations, regardless of gear shifting, braking, accelerator, and clutch, were as smooth as water without a trace of error. He was definitely at the level of a professional racing driver. In addition, Jian Lucher also has Star C to assist in controlling the minibus. The minibus is almost integrated with him, like an arm and a finger. In addition, with the various functions of the minibus, let alone drifting, even if it is a more difficult move, he can do it. The minibus accelerated sideways. Due to the angle, Jian Lucher's entire body was still hiding behind the glass. With the only gap left, even if a bullet happened to fly in, it would not hit Jian Lucher. The speed of the car was so fast that Xue Lang's off-road vehicle also started to move. The two vehicles passed by each other, and the scene seemed to be frozen in front of Jian Lucher's eyes. A man in his thirties, with a ferocious appearance and a fleshy face. His head seemed to be in front of Jian Lucher's eyes instantly. And Jian Lucher could even see the oil stains on his forehead clearly. Drive with one hand and pull the trigger with the other. Boom! When a gunshot rang out, Jian Lucher fired only one bullet, completely using the automatic rifle as a semi-automatic rifle. And this bullet, when the two vehicles passed each other, passed through 10 meters of void and hit the glass of the off-road vehicle. Crack! The entire glass exploded into pieces in an instant. The bullet passed through the glass and shot directly into the forehead full of flesh and brains. One shot! The power of the bite bar is so terrifying. A steel helmet can hit two holes with one shot. How can a flesh and blood body stop it? A third of the Blood Wolf member's skull was blown away. And then the bullet continued unabated, shattering another glass. Brain plasma and blood stains sprayed all over the cab on the spot. A shot penetrated the off-road vehicle, killing the driver on the spot. The vehicle lost control, twisted around, and crashed into a concrete wall. At such a speed, a collision would most likely result in a car crash and death, seeing that the situation was not going well. The gunman in the car jumped out of the car. But just when he jumped up and his body was still flying in the air, Jian Lucher saw the opportunity, turned the steering wheel slightly, aimed at the jumping Blood Wolf member through the left window of the cab, pulled the trigger, and fired again. One shot. Boom. It was still a bullet. The Blood Wolf member was still jumping in the air. And the bullet had already been shot. Crossing the left chest. With a muffled sound. The Blood Wolf member's heart and lungs were completely shattered. The bullet brought out a large rain of blood and shot out from the Blood Wolf member's back, leaving a hole as big as a bowl. Pung! The members of the Blood Wolf fell to the ground like dead dogs. They were still alive when they jumped out of the car, but they were already dead bodies when they fell. Hitting the limbs with the body bar will basically lead to amputation. Hitting the left chest will result in 100% death. Without exception, the human body is simply vulnerable in front of the body bar. If the physical body is converted into a steel plate, it is equivalent to a thickness of 1 millimeter, which is not as good as one side of a steel helmet. Two consecutive shots, using only two bullets, killed two Blood Wolf members. During this period, Jian Lucher was still driving, accelerating and drifting, making a minibus look even more cool than a sports car. While driving, you can shoot from the side with such precise shooting skills. Is that human being? Xue Lang himself changed his face when he saw this scene. He originally thought that Jiang Lusher was an ordinary person and Jiang Zhuying was the biggest threat. But he never expected that Jiang Lusher turned out to be such a pervert. 
Is he a special soldier? I'm afraid even the most elite special forces in the world can't reach the level of Jian Lusher. Boss Blood Wolf. What should I do? The members of the Blood Wolf were a little panicked. They were all sure that Jian Lusher was either a special forces soldier or an ace in the African mercenary army. They had never thought of this kind of fighting method. He was the god of war. The minibus and minibus were invulnerable. Jian Lusher was hiding in the car and shooting. He didn't leave any shooting angle for them. They could only be beaten passively. Xue Lang gritted his teeth and said in a deep voice, Ignore Jiang Zhuing. Throw a grenade at me and blow up this car. The blood wolf was originally worried about Jiang Zhuing's superpower. But now the losses are too great. If they continue to fight like this, half of them will be killed or injured. And they may not be able to kill Jiang Lu Shi. Even if they get Jiang Zhuing's superpower, the gain will not be worth the loss. Grenade? Okay. After being beaten like this, the members of the blood wolf we're all holding back their ferocity. Even if your car is bulletproof. Are you grenade proof? The powerful grenade exploded. Let alone the bulletproof glass. If it exploded under the car, the entire minibus would be overturned. The car overturned. Why did you fight? Come on! Blast them to death. The blood wolf roared. Several blood wolf members suddenly rushed towards Jian Lusher like sharks, who smell the fishy smell. Some of them used off-road vehicles as cover, and quickly approached the blind spots in the minibus's field of vision. Others laid an ambush first, then waited for the minibus to come over and threw a grenade on it. A member of the Blood Wolf, with a mustache and triangular eyes, climbed onto the container of a large truck. He hid behind the container and watched Jian Liosher's minibus driving in this direction. Come! The rabbit is here! Look at me! I will kill you today! Triangle, I took out three grenades from his pocket. These three grenades were tied together and the tabs were also tied together. They were homemade one pull and three ring tie grenades. Three grenades exploded together, and the power can be imagined. The face with triangular eyes is full of ferociousness. No matter how fast you drive, hide a grenade and show me. Coming! The triangle-eyed body was almost all huddled behind the container, ensuring that the minibus would not shoot at him. After all, the body bar Jian Lusher stretched out was only on the side of the driver's seat. In order to protect himself, Jian Lusher opened the window very small, which also makes the attack angle of Bai Bar very limited. The position of the triangular, I was indeed a blind spot for Jian Lusher shooting. Triangle, I was already determined to win. Seeing the minibus rushing towards him, he suddenly dropped the ring of three grenades and threw them directly towards Jian Lusher's driver's seat. The triangular eyes are also very hidden. When minibuses are whizzing by, even the most observant person will have difficulty finding someone behind a large truck container. However, after Jiang Liosher's brain evolved, his powers of observation were so abnormal that he could see in all directions and listen in all directions. Although he was looking ahead, out of the corner of his eye, he had already spotted a dark shadow flying towards him. Jiang Liosher glanced at it from the corner of his eyes and instantly saw clearly what it was. Three grenades tied together. Jiang Liosher was sure that the grenade would hit the left side of the driver's seat of his minibus. Such a violent explosion will produce a terrifying shock wave and the shock wave is pervasive. Even if the bulletproof glass is supported, the shock wave will rush into the minibus along the gap of the open window, causing serious injury or even death. Jian Lusher looked calm, raised the muzzle of his gun, and concentrated his mental energy. For a moment, the grenade suddenly seemed to have stopped in midair, like a slow motion in a movie. Duh duh duh. Jian Lusher pulled the trigger and fired several bullets, hitting the grenade. Boom! The grenade suddenly flew up and exploded in the air. Triangle I was already sure to win. With an evil smile on his face. Suddenly he saw fire bursting out and approaching from the pavement. He was completely stunned. Buzz. His brain roared. His triangular eyes flashed. And the shockwave caused his eardrums to burst. And there was blood all over him. What's going on here? The last thought flashed through Triangle Eye's mind. And he flew out of the container like straw. He only saw the sky spinning and the earth was spinning and he didn't even think about what was going on until he died. This scene all fell into the eyes of the blood wolf, seeing the fire suddenly bursting out and the smoke exploding. The blood wolf was really blinded. When I was concentrating on driving, I could still use my peripheral vision to see a grenade flying from the side of the car window, almost in a blind spot, and then detonated with one shot. This is too outrageous. Chapter 86 Let's Withdraw Boss, what should we do now? The members of the blood wolf were all panicking. Their team was usually invincible. 
There was no team around that could compare with their strength. But now, John Lusher, an ordinary man, beat them with just a car and an automatic rifle until they couldn't hold their heads up. Boss, if you don't take action, our brothers won't be able to hold on any longer. Another member of the Blood Wolf shouted. And the Blood Wolf frowned. He has two superpowers. In terms of strength, he is certainly the strongest among the Blood Wolf members. However, his superpowers are mainly reflected in close combat with people. He is not afraid whether he is facing a person with supernatural powers or a gun-wielding person. Even if he is facing Jiang Zhuying, he is confident. However, let him deal with a tank and armored vehicle that keeps a speed of more than 100 kilometers at all times and can drift anytime and anywhere. No matter how powerful he is, he is still trying to pull the turtle. And there is no way to start. Facing Jiang Liosher's minibus, Xue Lang could only shoot with an automatic rifle or throw grenades. His role was not necessarily much better than that of other Xue Lang members. Attack on the right side. His gun can only shoot on the left side. As long as he attacks the right side of the car, he can't fight back. The driver's seat of the minibus was on the left, and the body bar was also placed on the left window. Jian Lusher really couldn't attack the right side. Right. Come on. Brothers. The members of the Blood Wolf suddenly came to their senses. They jumped into Hummer and Land Rover SUVs one by one, stepped on the accelerator, and rushed to the right side of the minibus. In the industrial park before the apocalypse, there was never a shortage of good cars. When these Blood Wolf members chose cars, they always picked the ones with the best performance. For SUVs were approaching from the right like a pack of wolves chasing bison. Bullets from automatic rifles poured down wantonly. All hitting the car windows. Bob bang bang. The bulletproof glass has a lot of spiderweb like cracks. Hack them. Two members of the Blood Wolf emerged from the two SUVs. Their location was far away from Jiang Liosher's muzzle. Otherwise, they would not have dared to show up. Jiang Liosher's muzzle was so terrifying. It was like the gaze of death. Just look at the muzzle of the gun, and it will be dead in the next second. They held an automatic rifle in one hand and a grenade in the other. They bit off the grenade ring with their teeth, aimed at the right door of the base vehicle, and threw the grenade out. And at this moment, wow! The door of the base car opened, and a pretty figure stood at the door of the minibus. It's Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Zhuying was wearing a bulletproof vest, holding a thick bulletproof shield over one meter high in her left hand and her beautiful eyes were hidden in the observation hole of the bulletproof shield. The Blood Wolf members only saw the smile on Jiang Zhuying's lips. Like a little devil. Crack! The blue electric current penetrated the air, like a purple snake, and hit the two Blood Wolf members who were leaning out from the roof of the SUV. Boo-hoo! The current shot so far. The electricity is not strong. It is impossible to burn the body, but it is enough to paralyze the whole body. Crack! After the two Blood Wolf members were paralyzed, the grenades with the tabs pulled off their hands fell from the skylight. The Blood Wolf member, who was originally driving Herta, clicked and looked back. He saw the round grenade collapse twice on the leather sofa. The sofa was very elastic, but the jumping grenade did not have a pull ring. Holy shit! The two drivers were scared to death, but they were unable to do anything inside the SUV. Boom! Boom! Two grenades exploded in the car together and the two SUVs burst into flames. The driver was directly blown into pieces and burned into coke. The SUV's glass was all shattered. Its roof was blown off, and it hit the concrete wall completely out of control, triggering an even more terrifying explosion. In the blink of an eye, four members of the Blood Wolf were killed. In addition to the Blood Wolf members, who were killed by Jian Lusher before, nearly half of the Blood Wolf members have been lost now. Ammunition and guns were consumed in large quantities and so many people died. The Blood Wolf was furious, and at this moment, duh duh duh, the sound of light machine gun fire came, and a member of the Blood Wolf was caught off guard and was knocked down by a string of bullets. And then, boom, boom, two grenades exploded, overturning one of Xuelang's SUVs. Xuelang's heart sank. There was another attack. He looked intently and was sure that the attack just now came from the warehouse. Yes, in addition to Jiang Zhuying, and that kid who rushed out in a minibus. There were two superpowers in the warehouse. Although these two superpowers have limited strength, their appearance at this time will undoubtedly make things worse. Boss, do we want to withdraw? A Blood Wolf member said tremblingly. There are already Blood Wolf members, and they are planning to escape. Although the members of the Blood Wolf are all desperados, they are also afraid of death. They are united by interests. 
and it would be a joke to say how loyal they are to their organization. Originally, when they attacked Jian Lusher and Jian Zhuying, they thought it would be an easy annexation battle. Killing these people would get weapons and supplies. So why not? But now, they are all scared. Can't see the benefits. And half of the Blood Wolf members have been killed by Jian Lusher. How can they still have the fighting spirit? No one has taken the initiative to attack the minibus. Bullets cannot penetrate the bulletproof glass. And grenades have to be thrown closer. After all, it is a minibus with a speed of more than 100 per hour. It is not easy to throw a grenade from a long distance. And once they get close, no matter on the left or right, death is waiting for them. Withdraw! Shui Lang resisted the urge to kill this little brother with one shot. Since the end of the world, he has been living smoothly. He enjoys the powerful power he possesses. Especially after killing his former boss. Shui Lang feels that his life is changing. Go to the extreme. He has the power to control the life and death of others. And has endless enjoyment of beautiful women. No matter who he is. He must surrender and tremble in front of him. Shui Lang feels that as he slowly becomes stronger. He may even build an empire of his own in the future. But he didn't expect that now facing Jian Lusher. An ordinary person with a modified car would beat him without the ability to fight back. He wanted to smash Jian Lusher into pieces. But he knew that at this time. His most rational choice was to retreat. If he forced a fight, the other Blood Wolf members would betray him and run away. And the foundation he had established would be destroyed. Withdraw! The Blood Wolf roared. And this sound could be heard far away even in the battlefield with constant gunshots. All the Blood Wolf members heard it. In fact, there are only nine Blood Wolf members left now. Most of them were killed by Jiang Zhuying and Jiang Liosher's team. Hearing the roar of the Blood Wolf, Jian Liosher's mouth curved. Withdraw? You don't even ask me if I agree. Chapter 87 Blood Wolf Superpowers The gate of the special metal factory is still blocked by large trucks at this time. Now that we have decided to retreat, we must first move these large trucks out of the way. Several members of the Blood Wolf abandoned their original SUVs and rushed into the truck blocking the door. There were three large trucks in total, all used by the industrial park to transport steel. The Dongfeng Tianlong with a load capacity of 40 tons, followed by a 13-meter long semi-trailer and 22 truck tires. Looked like a giant. A member of the Blood Wolf had just jumped onto the cab of the heavy truck, but was pushed away by the Blood Wolf. I come! Xue Lang got into the driver's seat arrogantly and started the car. Such a heavy-duty truck makes a minibus look dwarfed in front of it. What if it can collide with a minibus? Even if the minibus is bulletproof, if it is hit by this heavy truck, it will definitely be smashed into a discus. Only, there is a heavy cannon in front of the minibus. Xue Lang has experienced the power of this heavy artillery. Once the artillery hits, even if the heavy truck is fine, the windshield in front of him will be blown to pieces. As the driver, Xue Lang must have been shattered to pieces. A head-on collision is a recipe for death. You can only hit it from the side. Hitting the right side of the minibus from the middle is guaranteed to break the minibus into two pieces. The team suffered heavy losses. And the Blood Wolf was already furious. He had originally made up his mind to retreat. But now that he thought about it, he was unwilling to give in. Kill this kid. If by luck I don't hit Jian Juying to death. Even if she only has one breath. I can swallow her superpower. Xue Lang is very covetous of Jian Juying's superpowers. The superpowers he currently possesses are physical. Physical superpowers tend to focus on close combat and lack long-range attack methods. If paired with Jiang Zhuying's superpowers, he can attack from a distance and fight in close combat. So it's perfect. Shifting the gear, Xue Lang stepped on the accelerator and started driving the heavy truck. The trailer alone is a 13-meter long Dongfeng Tianlong. The goods on the truck have not been completely unloaded. The impact force of such a heavy truck can even knock down a concrete wall. However, just after Xue Lang started the car, he suddenly heard the sound of ta da, -da gunfire. The bike gun fired. And then the sound of bullets hitting metal. Xue Lang was shocked and immediately huddled under the steering wheel to ensure that he would not be hit by bullets. The windshield of the heavy truck was not broken. Which is reasonable. Because the cab of the heavy truck was not facing the minibus. So there was no reason for it to be hit by bullets. But even so, an ominous premonition still surged into Xue Lang's heart. It seemed that something extremely dangerous was about to happen and would kill him. This is. Xue Lang suddenly looked at the rearview mirror on the right. In the rearview mirror, the fuel tank with a capacity of several hundred liters was leaking oil. Just now Jian Lusher fired a rifle shot, hitting the fuel tank of the heavy truck. 
The fuel tank of Jiang Liuzhi's base vehicle is bulletproof. But Dong Feng Tianlong's fuel tank has no such ability. The iron sheet of the fuel tank is no different from paper under bullets from automatic rifles. When a shuttle of bullets sweeps up, it has become a honeycomb. It is difficult to explode by simply shooting a bullet into a fuel tank. Because there is little air in the tank and the ignition point of diesel is high. However, once the fuel leaks, a large amount of air enters the fuel tank. If you shoot again at this time, the bullet will spark off the metal, which is very likely to cause an explosion. It exploded. This was a very large fuel tank with a capacity of several hundred liters. The power of the explosion was terrifying. Oops! The blood wolf felt a great crisis. He roared wildly, and the muscles all over his body bulged. The casual shirt on his upper body was directly stretched by the muscles. Large patches of hard red hair sprouted from the blood wolf's skin. His eyes began to turn green, and the teeth in his mouth began to drill out from the gums, forming long fangs. He actually transformed into a red-haired werewolf. The body shape and appearance are still human, but with the shadow of a wolf. This is the power of the blood wolf. In fact, to be precise, it was the superpower of the predecessor blood wolf, and the name of the blood wolf organization came from the superpower of their boss. Later, when the second blood wolf took advantage of the previous blood wolf to be seriously injured after fighting with the mutant beast, he killed him, devoured his superpowers, and replaced him. Now, a huge danger is coming, and the blood wolf has completed its transformation. And at the same time as he transformed, another row of bullets came, even mixed with the blue current emitted by Jiang Juying. The bullet hit Dong Feng Tianlong's fuel tank, causing a fire on the spot. And then, the entire fuel tank was burning. Boom! There was an explosion, and the fire snake swept out from the lower right side of the cab. The co-pilot's position was directly swallowed by the fire snake. The member who was pushed away by the blood wolf screamed, and his whole body turned into a fireball. But at this time, Xue Lang let out a wolf howl. He jumped up from the driver's seat and hit the windshield of Dongfeng Tianlong. The two and a half meter wide windshield was directly smashed by Xue Lang. Wow! The glass shards were mixed with the spitting fire snakes. And the entire cab turned into a sea of fire. The blood wolf jumped out of the flames. And the red hair on its back was scorched and curled. Boy! I'll kill you! After the transformation, the blood wolf became irritable and even lost his mind. He rushed towards Jian Liuzhi's minibus. Huh? This is... Jian Liuzhi was surprised when he saw a red-haired werewolf rushing towards his car. He could clearly see that the red-haired werewolf rushed out from the driver's seat of the heavy truck. And the person sitting before that was the blood wolf. Blood wolf? His power is to transform into a werewolf? Jian Liuzhi was slightly surprised. The end of the world is coming. People's cells have mutated. Their genes have evolved and they have evolved various superpowers. Transforming into a werewolf is obviously a more advanced power. The power of ordinary people, such as Brother Yu, is just an agility enhancement. John Hai has enhanced finger strength, and Sun Kun has the climbing ability of a gecko, and these abilities are far inferior to transforming into a werewolf. Werewolves also possess strength, speed, terrifying explosive power, physical resistance to blows, and sharp claws on their upper limbs. One superpower combines various advantages. If you fight in close combat, encountering such an opponent is definitely a nightmare. Even in a gun battle, the blood wolf is not weak. The werewolf's extremely fast speed makes it very difficult to aim at him. If one or two shots fail, the blood wolf has already rushed in front of the gunman. What's more, Jian Lusher discovered that the blood wolf had an instinctive reaction to the coming danger. This reaction would be reflected when he was targeted by a gun. However, Jian Lusher doesn't have to think about all this. Jian Lusher is driving a base vehicle. With a base vehicle, no matter how strong your hand-to-hand -hand combat ability is, you will be knocked over. Jian Lusher turned the steering wheel fiercely and pressed the accelerator to the bottom. The base vehicle roared and rushed towards the Blood Wolf. Chapter 88 Blood Wolf's Counterattack The body of a werewolf has extraordinary speed. The Blood Wolf's upper arms are extended. Its fingers stretch out claws. And it gets down on all fours, and runs quickly on the ground. Although the blood wolf is fast, it is impossible to dodge bullets. No matter how fast a superhuman is, it is much slower than supersonic bullets. However, you can't dodge bullets, but you can dodge guns. Using his eyesight to observe the direction of the gun and make predictions in advance, the blood wolf relied on this to tear the gunman into pieces with his claws and canine teeth in close combat several times. After the transformation, 
The blood wolf was very cruel. Even his brain was affected, and he developed animalistic nature. It was almost impossible to find a piece of intact meat from the people he killed. Jiang Lusher grabbed the steering wheel with one hand, and an automatic rifle with the other. He believed that even a werewolf was made of flesh and blood. And just one shot would make him lose his combat effectiveness. However, Xue Lang was very alert, and did not give Jiang Lusher a chance at all. On the window of the minibus, the shooting angle of the bait bar was very narrow. So Xue Lang would not appear within the shooting range. As for the air cannon, the blood wolf will not give Jiang Lusher a chance. The muzzle of the gun can still rotate at a slight angle, but the air cannon will hardly turn. The blood wolf will not appear directly in front of the air cannon at all. He will always maintain a wrong angle. Cannot hit! Jiang Lusher stepped on the accelerator and made a head-on collision. But Xue Lang jumped up high when the minibus was about to hit him. He actually jumped directly over the minibus, which was more than two meters high. Swiss! Swiss! Swish! The sound of the blood wolf's sharp claws rubbing against metal came from the roof of the minibus. The blood wolf jumped onto the roof of the minibus and ran on the roof of the minibus. But at a relative speed of more than 150 kilometers, it was impossible for him to stop on the roof of the minibus. Even if he stopped, it would be useless. The steel on the roof of the minibus was not something that his claws could scratch open. Plop! Because the relative speed was too fast. Xue Lang's limbs could not adapt to the rapidly passing roof of the car. He fell directly on the roof of the car and rolled off the roof of the minibus. Pong! The blood wolf fell firmly to the ground. The speed of more than 100 kilometers did not hurt him. The moment he fell to the ground, he jumped up. At this time, the minibus had already rushed over 100 meters. And the speed of more than 100 kilometers was really too fast. Jian Lusher turned the steering wheel fiercely, making an exaggerated drift at a large angle, making two 90-degree turns in a row. And the rear of the car whipped like a whip. To complete such a big turn at such a high speed, the pressure on the tires is simply unimaginable. And a minibus with such a high center of gravity should have flipped over long ago. But Jiang Liusher's car completed it abruptly. Seeing the shocking tire tracks on the cement floor, the members of the Blood Wolf trembled in their hearts. Is this still a car on the earth? Or a person on the earth? Are the special forces so stubborn? Now the Blood Wolf members have long regarded Jiang Liusher as a special forces soldier. An ace mercenary etc. They also regard this car as a super modified vehicle for the special forces, which can run more than 100 kilometers in a narrow factory area. Even professional racing drivers may not be able to achieve this speed. All Blood Wolf members are staying far away. They are waiting for the outcome of the battle. If the situation is bad, run away quickly. If the Blood Wolf wins, they will all come back to divide the spoils. But, the Blood Wolf wants to hack this minibus. But it is really a tiger eating the sky and there is no way to buy it, regardless of his claws, canine teeth, and the strength he was proud of. He was a joke in front of the base vehicle. You shy little turtle, do you just hide in the car? If you have the guts to get out of the car and fight me. The blood wolf roared not far away. His roar was very terrifying. It was really like a wolf's howl. It was so penetrating that Jiang Lusher could hear it clearly. TSK TSK! I turned into a wolf, and my IQ is the same as that of an animal. Do you want to bring my IQ to the same standard as yours? What a dream! While John Lusher was speaking, he stepped on the accelerator again and continued to hit. In fact, the blood wolf can't do anything to John Lusher. But conversely, John Lusher can't do anything to the blood wolf. His automatic rifle is only on the left side of the car. And the shooting angle is less than 90 degrees. Let alone the air cannon. How could the blood wolf give him this opportunity? If this continues... Jian Lusher won't be able to win. Do you want to open the door? Jian Zhuying asked suddenly. She was holding the bulletproof shield exchange from the military in her left hand. And the chain samurai sword she had bought at a high price in her right hand. Are you sure? Jian Liusher's expression was extremely solemn. Jian Zhuying's electric current could not pass through the bulletproof glass of the minibus. If she wanted to attack, she had to open the door. I'm not afraid of him. But I'm afraid that if I can't stop him from rushing onto the minibus, he will attack you. If it were a gunshot, a bulletproof shield would be enough to withstand it. But Xue Lang was too fast. He would most likely rush up from the car door with his agility when the door was opened. Jiang Zhuying is also a famous psychic in Jin Ling. She is confident in her own strength. But she is just worried about Jiang Lusher. Jiang Lusher pondered slightly. Opening the door was a gamble. And he faced great dangers. Even if he wanted to gamble, 
he would not be in a hurry. No matter how strong the blood wolf was, he was still made of flesh and blood, and his endurance was limited. And his minibus is backed by eight tons of gasoline, with a modified fuel tank of ten cubic meters. Jian Lusher is not empty at all. Compared with endurance, a minibus can circle the earth. Right? All kinds of instant acceleration, emergency cornering, including air cannon, can be used at will. He just wanted to delay and kept driving the minibus to hit the blood wolf. Even if he knew he couldn't hit him, it didn't matter. Consume the blood wolf's stamina until he can no longer run. If the blood wolf wanted to escape, he would drive to chase him. No need to open the door, Jian Lusher said quickly while driving. Fighting a war of attrition is the most effective and safe way. But at this moment, boom! With a loud bang, the minibus shook violently, and the rear of the cars behind jumped up. A strong shockwave surged wildly, and tongues of fire rushed along the side of the minibus until it reached the front windshield. Grenade! Jian Lusher was shocked. He had just hit Shui Lang and failed. Shui Lang threw a grenade at the back of the base vehicle. After the blood wolf transformed into a werewolf, his mind was more inclined to the thinking of a beast. He was accustomed to using his claws and teeth to solve enemies. And he had never tried using modern weapons. But now, Shui Lang was no match for Jian Lusher. So he thought of grenade attack. A grenade exploded. But it did not overturn the base vehicle. Jian Liusher's base vehicle was heavy enough. And it would not be easy to overturn it. However, this time the explosion caused Xingzhong to prompt. Tire number three is damaged. The damage degree is 30%. Um? Jian Liusher's heart sank. Tires? The tires of the base vehicle are naturally run flat tires. There are a large number of divided small air bags inside these tires. Even if they are swept up by a shuttle of rifle bullets and many air bags are broken, they can still be used normally. However, once the grenade used by the blood wolf explodes, it will produce high temperature air waves and flames. Even the run-proof tires cannot withstand the fire. Chapter 89 Nowhere to Escape Brother! How is the car? Jiang Zhuying asked eagerly. She didn't know how strong Jiang Liusher's base vehicle was in resisting strikes. In her opinion, even if the vehicle's armor and glass were bulletproof, whether it could withstand grenades was still a question. The situation is not good. This grenade can't stand it. Jiang Lusher gritted his teeth and simply withdrew the automatic rifle. The blood wolf was very alert and would not give Jiang Lusher a chance to aim the rifle at him. In this case, Jiang Lusher might as well put both hands on the steering wheel and concentrate on driving. Well, the control of the car is no longer as smooth as before. Jiang Liusher's heart sank. Tire number three is the tire on the right rear. This tire is farthest from Jian Liusher's driver's seat. Even the right rearview mirror cannot see clearly. It is almost the four corners of Jian Liusher's vision. Blood Wolf the attack was chosen here. When a grenade explodes, if it's an ordinary vehicle, the wheels will be blown off. Even if it's a starseed base vehicle, the tire airbags will explode much more. And the wheels won't spin as well as before. The Blood Wolf obviously noticed this. He saw that one of the wheels of the minibus was damaged. If you blow up this wheel, Let's see how he can still drive. Xue Lang laughed ferociously. This car had exhausted his skills. And now he finally saw some hope. He stared at the number three tire on the base vehicle and concentrated his efforts to get rid of this tire first. Duh duh duh. The sound of an automatic rifle sounded. Jiang Lusher looked in the rearview mirror and saw that Xue Lang was shooting the number three tire with an automatic rifle. When the base vehicle is driving at high speed, it is not easy to hit the tires. However, the Blood Wolf is at a close distance. He relies on the speed of the werewolf to run wildly behind the base vehicle. Although he cannot catch up with the base vehicle, a bunch of bullets are fired out. And a few shots are fired. It's still possible with medium tires. Tire number three is damaged. 40% damaged. Xingzhong once again reminded that after a tire is damaged, its bulletproof performance will immediately decrease a lot. Jian Lusher feels more and more difficult to control the base vehicle. If this continues, after the number three tire is completely scrapped, the base vehicle will break down. Where did he get his gun? Jian Lusher said coldly. When the blood wolf ran wildly before, he did not have an automatic rifle in his hand. It's the woman in the leather jacket. She threw all the grenades to the blood wolf. The number of weapons carried by a single soldier is limited. Not to mention that when the blood wolf transformed just now, his upper body clothes were burst by his bulging arms and muscles. Without pockets, it is naturally impossible to carry grenades. But now, the Blood Wolf team the second superpower inside is providing weapons to the Blood Wolf running at high speed. 
The grenades and gun she threw were all very accurate, allowing the blood wolf to catch them just in time. In this way, it is ensured that the number of thermal weapons carried by the blood wolf is very small at all times and does not affect his speed. Brother Wolf! The woman in the leather jacket threw another grenade and a loaded magazine. Blood Wolf took the grenade and magazine, rolled on the spot, and then he ran while changing the magazine. Duh duh duh! The automatic rifle fired again, and Xue Lang followed Jiang Liuxia's base vehicle. He was so agile that he didn't give Jiang Liuxia a chance to hit him. Boom! Xue Lang threw the grenade, and the grenade exploded, but this time, it exploded crookedly, and only the shockwave hit, causing Jiang Liuxia's base vehicle to shake violently. Alert! Tire number 3 is damaged. 60% damaged. Already 60%. Xing Zhong sounded the alarm. And Jiang Lu certainly couldn't sit still and wait for death. The blood wolf is out of bullets. While driving, Jiang Lu was still counting the gunshots. Xue Lang also used the Bai style. With only 30 rounds of bullets. With such dense gunshots, Jiang Lu could count when the bullets would run out. The moment the blood wolf ran out of bullets, as soon as he turned the steering wheel, he made another sharp turn. He turned the front of the car and rushed towards the woman in the leather jacket. If you can't help the blood wolf, kill that woman first. At this time, the woman had just prepared a new magazine and was about to throw it to the blood wolf. But seeing the base vehicle rushing towards her, her expression changed drastically. Open the door! Kill this woman first! Jiang Lusher shouted. And Jiang Juying also understood Jiang Liuxia's thoughts at this time. The car door opened. She threw her shield away holding a katana as tall as a person, and pointed the sword directly at the woman in the leather jacket. Boom! The base vehicle slammed into the bunker where the woman in the leather jacket was hiding. All kinds of sandbags and iron barrels were knocked over. The woman in the leather jacket screamed. She suddenly jumped back and turned her body 300 times in the air. 60 degrees. Dodge this collision. At this time, Jiang Zhuying had already jumped out of the door of the base car. And with the samurai sword in his hand, he slashed straight into the neck of the woman in the leather jacket. The speed of the knife was too fast, and it was too late for the woman in the leather jacket to draw the gun. In fact, for experts, in close combat, the gun is not as effective as the knife. Although the bullet speed is fast, the action of raising the gun to shoot is far inferior. Swinging the knife so fast, you raise the gun, and someone else's knife comes at you. You still have to pull the trigger, but someone else's knife has already cut off your arm. The woman in the leather jacket crossed her hands in front of her chest. Above her elbows, the skin split open, and a crystal white blade stretched out. It was a bone blade. The special power of the woman in the leather jacket is bone strengthening. Her bone strength is four to five times stronger than that of ordinary people. In addition, the bones of her forearm can extend two one meter long bone blades. At present, the woman in the leather jacket can only extend two fixed shaped bone blades. The strength of these two bone blades is no worse than the three-sided military spurs. This is the weapon for women in leather jackets. Clang! The bone blade collided with the blade, making a harsh roar. Jiang Zhuying's attack was like a storm. The woman in the leather jacket could not block the blade, but the electric current. Zitsi! The electric current penetrated into the body of the woman in the leather jacket like a poisonous snake, paralyzing her whole body. If it were an ordinary person, this electric shock could make him faint or even cause his heart to stop beating and die. However, the woman in the leather jacket had powerful cells, but she was only paralyzed. High-level superpowers, with their cell activation and long-term use of mutated animal meat, their physical abilities are stronger than ordinary people in all aspects. When masters exchange moves, a moment of paralysis can be fatal. The movements of the woman in the leather jacket suddenly became sluggish, and a look of horror appeared on her face. Jiang Zhuying withdrew her samurai sword and ran forward intending to slash out with the blade in her hand. But at this moment, she felt a crisis. Careful! Jiang Lusher shouted. Jiang Zhuying didn't even look, and suddenly bit over to dodge. Whoosh! A black shadow flew past Jiang Zhuying's hair and hit an iron bucket directly. Pong! The iron barrel was bounced up by the huge impact, and a small dent was punched out. Jiang Zhuying took a closer look and saw that the black shadow was an empty magazine. When the woman in the leather jacket was about to be killed, the blood wolf threw out the magazine in his hand. With the powerful strength of the werewolf. If the thrown magazine hit the body, it would not be much weaker than a bullet. Jiang Zhuying dodged the magazine and didn't look back at the blood wolf at all. She waved the long knife in her hand. 
and a silver-white electric current suddenly flashed through. Shichi! At this time, the woman in leather clothes just recovered some of her ability to move and quickly dodged. How could Jiang Lusher let her escape? He concentrated instantly, and the movements of the leather-clad woman suddenly seemed to be in slow motion in Jiang Lusher's eyes. On the right! Jiang Lusher shouted. Jiang Zhuying's long knife immediately slashed to the right, and the electric current formed a line in the air, like lightning suddenly passing through. The current made the leather-clad woman's skin tingle, and her hair flew up. At the same time, Jiang Liosher's shout made her scalp explode. She was indeed about to jump to the right. But before this action was completed, Jiang Liosher judged it through her subtle movements. Without any time to think, the woman in leather clothes immediately jumped to the other side. Otherwise, she would have jumped under Jiang Zuing's knife. But with this jump, her pupils shrank suddenly. Jiang Liosher's gun muzzle. The two brothers and sisters connected so seamlessly that she couldn't breathe at all. She dodged Jiang Zuing's knife. But she didn't dodge Jiang Liosher's gun. In an instant, a sharp pain came. And the leather-clad woman almost watched as a large ball of blood exploded from her chest. It took less than a second from the time she jumped in another direction to the time she was shot. Jiang Liosher didn't need any time to aim. He hit her accurately while she was still moving at high speed. Broke her heart. Ah! Seeing the woman being thrown out like a blood bag. The blood wolf roared. Chapter 90 The End of the Road The two brothers Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying cooperated with each other. So that his rescue had no effect at all. And the woman in leather clothes was still killed instantly. This time, Xue Lang suddenly lost his help. And the body bar in his hand was out of bullets. And those members of the blood wolf, who were still hesitating whether to escape couldn't stand still when they saw the scene of the leather clad woman being killed. The leather-clad woman seemed helpless under the joint attack of Jiang Zhuying and Jiang Lusher. Their strength was much worse than that of the leather-clad woman. Run! Let's go! It's not the same life if we change teams! These survivors are all unprofitable and can't afford to go early. No matter how crazy they are, no one will do something that is completely risking their lives. But as soon as they started running, gunshots rang out again, and a grenade flew over. Sun Kun and Zhang Hai can't play a big role but these bereaved dogs can still be dealt with. Once they thought of escaping, these people would not stop and fight back. When they heard the gunfire, they just ran to the door desperately. They were just living targets. Faced with this situation, how could Sun Kun and Zhang Hai be soft-hearted? Jiang Lusher stood at the door of the car and suddenly turned the muzzle of his gun to the other side. Xue Lang was completely crazy at this time. His hatred for Jiang Lusher had exceeded his desire for Jiang Zhuying's superpowers. Jian Lusher finally stopped the car in order to kill the leather-clad woman. And the car door was opened. In fact, Jian Lusher had to stop the car. Continuing in the minibus would only give Xue Lang the opportunity to continue attacking the tires. It would be better to take the initiative now than to wait until the minibus breaks down and park passively. And with such initiative, he even killed the leather-clad woman. He had also been prepared for the Blood Wolf surprise attack. Duh duh duh. Jian Lusher fired continuously while Xue Lang kept changing directions rapidly. Although Jiang Liosher's nerve reaction speed is very fast, his arms are still the arms of ordinary people. The speed of moving the muzzle cannot keep up with the blood wolf. The bullets hit the ground with countless debris and sparks. But they did not hit the blood wolf. Wolf. But at this moment, several electric currents suddenly popped up in front of Jiang Liosher, hitting the blood wolf. This current crisscrossed and formed a grid, making Xue Lang unable to evade anymore. He suddenly jumped sideways, and disappeared behind the minibus. Careful! Jiang Lusher saw the electric grid light up above his head. He turned around and raised his gun without hesitation. Duh duh duh. There was another burst of shooting, and the figure of the blood wolf jumped over his head. With the full power of the blood wolf, the speed is extremely fast. He is completely like a bad wolf that is constantly surrounding and attacking, looking for a chance to kill with one blow. Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying backed the minibus and Xue Lang also used the minibus as a cover. Starseed. In Jiang Liosher's mind, the image of the minibus's rearview reversing camera instantly appeared. Xue Lang thought that Jiang Liosher and Jiang Zhuying would be wary of him if he hid behind the minibus. He didn't know when he would launch another surprise attack from which direction. Little did he know that with Xingzheng's presence, Jiang Liosher could still see the images monitored by the camera in his mind even after getting off the minibus. He soon saw the figure of the blood wolf. When the blood wolf suddenly rushed out, his terrifying movement speed and strength made people deeply feel how powerful he was. But when he carefully hid there, waiting for an opportunity to rush out, it felt a contrasting and ridiculous feeling. 
from that angle. It was difficult for Jiang Lusher to shoot. He made a gesture to Jiang Zhuying and silently mouthed, Attack! Although Jiang Zhuying didn't see anything and didn't know what Jiang Lusher saw, she immediately grabbed the top of the chain without hesitation and threw the long knife directly over. At this time, her eyes suddenly became sharp. The powerful current made her hair move automatically without wind. And small currents were beating on the surface of her body. Laugh! Wherever the long knife was, electric snakes danced wildly. The entire long knife was surrounded by electric current. Jiang Lusher asked her to attack. And Jiang Zhuying directly used his strongest fighting power. With such an electric current, even a dozen or even more zombies would be directly burned to coke. Of course, Jiang Zhuying couldn't maintain this amount of current forever. At this time, Jiang Lusher lay down without hesitation, aiming his gun directly at the ground. The blood wolf was about to pounce, his figure hidden behind a tire. But the current suddenly struck, and he must avoid it. Laugh! Seeing the long knife suddenly swinging over as if it had eyes, and carrying such a strong electric current, the blood wolf was immediately startled. He dodged back very quickly. And that's when, boom! A sharp pain suddenly came from one of his arms. The blood wolf was on all fours. As soon as he dodged, his arms were immediately exposed to Jiang Liosher's field of vision. Jiang Liosher, on the other hand, pulled the trigger without any hesitation. The moment he appeared, he was hit with a precise shot. Blood splashed everywhere, and even bone residue exploded out. The arm was immediately broken. Ah! Shui Lang let out a shrill scream. He had no idea how he was attacked. However, the blood wolf did not stop dodging. Even at the moment when his arm was broken, he jumped back and hid behind a tire again. Click! He heard the sound of Jiang Lusher changing the magazine again. This sound made the blood wolf gnash his teeth with hatred. His hands, with his superpowers fully activated and the stimulation of severe pain, the blood wolf was a little confused. And all the blood in his body seemed to be concentrated in his head. To kill Jiang Lusher. We must kill Jiang Lusher. Suddenly, the blood wolf jumped onto the roof of the car and then pounced in the direction of Jiang Lusher. Laugh! Above Jiang Lusher's head, a power grid composed of more than a dozen currents was instantly opened. The blood wolf pounced directly on the power grid. Xue Lang had no choice. In that case, one of his arms was broken. If he couldn't kill either Jiang Lusher or Jiang Zhuying today, he would have no way to leave alive. But his every move seemed to be controlled. This electric current paralyzed the blood wolf instantly and the hair on his body was burnt. Die! Even though his body was paralyzed, the blood wolf screamed, showed his sharp claws, and grabbed Jiang Liosher's head directly. When? Jiang Zhuying's long knife blocked the Xue Lang's claws. Of course, Jiang Zhuying's strength was not as good as the Xue Lang's. But the electric current wrapped around the long knife caused Xue Lang's claws to emit a puff of smoke, and the flesh was burnt. The cooperation between Jiang Liosher and Jiang Zhuying was so tacit. At this time, Jiang Liosher's gun had already been raised. Boom! There was a gunshot that almost rang in his ears. Xue Lang turned his head and suddenly felt that his shoulder had been blown into pieces. He fell heavily to the ground and looked at Jiang Liosher and Jiang Zhuying not far away while howling miserably. Xue Lang slowly struggled to stand up. Jiang Liosher and Jiang Zhuying stood there looking at him. The current blood wolf was so miserable. He thought that when Jiang Liosher got out of the car, he was ushering in his own end. Unexpectedly, he was going to perish instead. Hack! Xue Lang looked at Jiang Lusher and Jiang Lusher with resentment. His words were slurred, and the muscles all over his body were twitching from the electric shock. He rushed over and hit Jiang Lusher with his burnt claws. Just as Jiang Zuing was about to take action, he saw Jiang Lusher raise the muzzle of his gun. At this time, the Blood Wolf's body speed has dropped a lot, but he is still stronger than ordinary people. The automatic rifle in Jiang Liosher's hand spit out tongues of fire. Although Jiang Liosher's body speed is slow, the blood wolf in this state is no longer enough to completely dodge his bullets. Bang! Bang! Two consecutive shots hit Xue Lang's heart. Xue Lang watched Jiang Liosher fire and made a dodge in advance. However, he did not completely dodge. Both shots hit Xue Lang's shoulder and arm. The arm was punched through and was bloody and bloody. A blood wolf is covered in blood. This is a werewolf. If an ordinary person had been shot so many times, he would have bled to death long ago. He looked at Jiang Lusher, whose eyes and expression were extremely calm, and really hated him so much. Even if he could hit Jiang Lusher once. You and mother only know how to use a gun! 
The blood wolf waved his claw over again. Jian Lusher pointed the black hole of his gun at the blood wolf and said calmly, Yes! Bang! Blood splattered everywhere. And as soon as the blood wolf turned his head this time, he felt that his eyes were filled with blood. His evasive action this time allowed him to put his head under Jiang Liuxiu's gun. Chapter 91 Second Evolution One shot to the head. Jiang Liuxiu put down the muzzle of his gun and watched silently as the blood wolf suddenly fell down and fell heavily into a pool of blood. As for the fleeing blood wolf members, they were already in a panic. As a result, before escaping from the factory, he saw the blood wolf being killed by Jian Lusher. The blood wolf was so strong, but died miserably. At this moment, these blood wolf members were so frightened that they lost their souls. They were scrambling to escape crazily. Everyone wanted to escape from the factory before others. They even directly pushed people who blocked the way and used other people's bodies to help them. Stop a bullet. However, the vehicle they had used so enthusiastically to besiege Jian Lusher and the others had now become their dead end. Sun Kun and Zhang Hai kept attacking. And they were excited to kill. None of these people can escape. One plus mutation energy detected. Do you want to absorb it? Starseed's voice came. Blood Wolf is a level 1 plus mutant. The same as Jiang Juying. But actually higher than Jiang Juying. After Jiang Lusher killed him, the mutant energy he released was immediately detected by Starseed. Absorb! Jiang Lusher said immediately. Level 1 abnormal energy has been detected. Do you want to absorb it? Yes! This level 1 mutation energy should belong to the woman in leather. The level of both of them is not low. And they will definitely be able to absorb the abnormal energy this time. I really didn't expect that this blood wolf actually wanted to attack me secretly. But with my brother here, he must have never thought that he would be in such a bad situation. Jiang Juying said and looked at Jiang Lusher. Jiang Liuxiu's performance this time surprised even Jiang Juying's younger sister. In her memory, Jiang Liuxiu didn't know any marksmanship at all. And what Jiang Liuxiu showed today was clearly like he had just touched a gun for the first time. But even for such a novice, the bullets he shoots are more accurate than if he had eyes. This is really incredible. It's better to kill such a person as soon as possible. Otherwise you don't know when he will bite you. Jian Lusher said. Brother, are you a superpower? Why can't I sense any energy fluctuations in you? Jiang Zhuying asked again. Well, I'm different from you. Jian Lusher didn't know how to explain it. He had strengthened his brain and was actually a superpower. But he didn't have mutant energy. Brother, what's going on with your marksmanship? Jian Zhuying asked. Jian Lusher could only reply. I am born with it. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan, who had already come out of the hiding place, walked over and heard Jian Liuxiu's conversation. The two of them suddenly didn't know what kind of expressions to make. They were simply messy in the wind. Born? This? This? However, there seems to be no other explanation. It can only be said that such a talent is so enviable and enviable. Hurry up and clean up the battlefield, Jian Juying said. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan were considered experienced. They immediately began to look at the corpses next to each other, as well as many blood wolf members who fell to the ground and screamed after being injured, but were not dead yet. They dragged these people together, and then Sun Kuan held a gun and shot them side by side. By the time he got to the last one, the man was so frightened that he peed. His face was earth-colored, and his whole body was shaking like chaff. The person who had just been killed was a person who was thrown beside him. He could clearly feel the twitching of the other person's body when he was shot. The warm blood splashed on his face, causing him to urinate. Sun Kun raised the muzzle of his gun in front of him, paused, and asked with a smile, Where is the blood wolf's lair? North of the industrial park, in a villa dormitory of a pharmaceutical company. The man immediately shouted and replied, I can lead the way. Don't kill me. Don't. Boom. Sun Kun put down the still smoking muzzle and said with a poof, who the H? I want you to lead the way. Just go on your own. Boss, I'm asking about the Blood Wolf Slayer. Jiang Hai shouted. Pack away the bullets and everything. We'll go there in a moment. Jiang Juying said, turning to look at Jiang Lusher. She saw Jiang Lusher checking the bus and estimated that Jiang Lusher would need some time. So she said, a while. In fact, the specific time to go depends on Jiang Lusher. In this battle, Jian Lusher and Jian Zhuying cooperated to win. Now even if Jian Liuxiu's identity as Jian Zhuying's brother is completely ignored, he still has a very big say in this team of survivors. In fact, Xing Zhong would give detailed data on the extent of the damage to the minibus. 
and there was no need for Jian Lusher to see it in person. But Jian Lusher paid too much attention to the base car. So he went to take a look at the tires. This tire must be repaired immediately. The number 3 tire was damaged by 60%. The armor protection of the SH. I was reduced by 50%. And the durability of the bulletproof glass was reduced by 40%. There was no other damage. The damage level of the base vehicle was level 3. When Xingzhong's report came out, Jian Lusher felt heartbroken. This is the data after he drove the car to the extreme. If he had not reacted so quickly, the damage might have reached level 4 or even higher. After the restoration materials were listed, Jian Lusher took a look and found that these materials could definitely be found in the industrial park. Some of them could be found in large quantities in the metal factory. As for the gasoline and electricity needed for repairs, there is no shortage of these. There is a lot of gasoline in Xue Lang's cars. And there is no need to consume Jian Liusher's reserves. At this time, Star Seed reminded that all the escaping mutation energy had been absorbed. The abnormal energy has been absorbed and the energy has been stored. The abnormal energy can be used for dash. Option 1. Improve the base vehicle SH. L armor defense. Option 2. Air cannon upgrade. Option 3. Add a robotic arm to the base vehicle. Option 4. Option 7. Start the second evolution process of the base vehicle. Option 8. Enable first level storage space. Option 9. Second evolution. When John Lusher was preparing the first dose of genetic evolution fluid, he saw the prompt about secondary evolution of the base vehicle in the biology laboratory. Among the list of genetic evolution fluids in the biological laboratory, many of them require a second evolution of the base vehicle before they can be prepared. Originally, Jian Lusher planned to learn more about Star Seed later, but he didn't expect that after absorbing the mutated energy emitted by the Blood Wolf and the Leather-Clad Woman, the base vehicle would be able to start its second evolution. The meaning of starting a process should be the same as starting a biological laboratory. This is just the qualification to open it. But Jian Lusher is in this industrial park and can find any materials he needs. If he doesn't open it now, why wait? Start the second evolution of the base vehicle. Jian Lusher said in his mind. Chapter 92 Humanoid Forklift The base vehicle evolved for the first time from a minibus to a luxury car and also had the ability to kill and defend. I don't know what it will be like after the second evolution. Jian Lusher was looking forward to it. At this time, Xingzhong reminded, the second evolution process of the base vehicle is starting. This process will take one and a half hours. And the use of the base vehicle will not be affected during this period. Still have to wait an hour and a half. After starting the second evolution, there is still mutation energy left. The options changed a bit. Some were dimmed. And some were still selectable. In addition, open the first level storage space. Jian Lusher has been thinking about this function for a long time. Although his car has made the best use of space, the space is still increasingly insufficient. Even the roof of his car is filled with supplies. Jian Lusher had long wanted to find an opportunity to open the storage space. Enable the first level space storage function. The storage space is 10 cubic meters in size. The space is low temperature and oxygen free. It can keep food fresh. Ordinary food can be kept fresh for more than one year. And mutated animal meat can be kept fresh for more than three years. Starseed's familiar voice sounded. Confirmed to open. The required materials are as follows. To open the first level space storage. All you need is some metal. John Lusher could completely use local materials for these things. John Hai and Sun Kun went to work part-time as porters again. They didn't know what John Lusher wanted metal for again. But this time, they had no doubts. Jiang Liosher's marksmanship is so terrifying. He can move whatever metal he wants. No matter what he uses it for. They secretly speculated whether Jiang Liosher had some weird collecting habit. They had seen him collect two mutant crystal nuclei before. But they didn't know what they were used for. Jiang Liosher took these things. But he didn't know what they could be used for. At least they can't understand it. Construction of the first level storage space has begun. And the estimated completion time is one hour. Xing Zhong continued. One hour. Jiang Lusher can definitely wait. During this period, he asked John Hai and Sun Kun to help him collect materials for car repair. For the rubber material, John Hai and Sun Kun directly removed all the tires from Xue Lang's car and then stuffed them all into Jiang Liusher's car. The rest of the required materials were found in the special metal factory and two surrounding factories. Without the threat of the Blood Wolf and the others, there are not many zombies in this industrial park. It is simply a large material warehouse. An hour passed in the blink of an eye. 
The construction of the first level storage space has been completed. Starseed's voice sounded on time. Jiang Liosher's mouth suddenly showed a smile involuntarily. And it finally opened. In his mind, a panel suddenly appeared. On this, the remaining space of the first level storage space is displayed. 100%. At the same time, Starseed scanned all the items in the base vehicle. Excluding, of course, his host and living creatures. As long as these things are placed in the base car, Jiang Lusher can immediately move them into the storage space as soon as he realizes it. But if they are placed outside the car, it will not work. The 10 cubic meters of space was neither big nor small, but it was enough for Jiang Lusher to put all kinds of materials that were piled high in the car. He has now collected enough materials needed to repair the car. But it is difficult to repair the car directly in front of Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen. So he can only put these materials away first. However, in addition to materials for repairing cars, there are also rare metals. Jiang Lusher wanted these so much that he upgraded the storage space for this purpose. Zhang Hai. As soon as Jiang Lusher opened his mouth in the car, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen stood up. Go and move now. The two of them have changed from good superpowers to porters. But they also have no temper. Without Jian Lusher, they would really be dead today. Moreover, with their physiques as superpowers and the help of ready-made transportation tools such as carts, their carrying capabilities are much stronger than ordinary people. But even so, they were still exhausted because the metal parts Jian Lusher wanted were scattered, lifting them to the transport vehicle and then moving them from the transport vehicle to the base vehicle was a laborious task. It took more than an hour to move. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen just moved 12 tons of metal. 12 tons sounds like a lot, but it is actually a cube with a length, width and height of 1 meter. When placed in the car, it is the size of 7 or 8 suitcases. It is not impressive at all. Entering the storage space, it only takes up 10% of the space. But just for this cubic meter, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen moved 100 kilograms at a time, a full 120 times before they finished moving. The two of them fell down from exhaustion. Even superpowers couldn't withstand such a torment. Jian Lusher was also speechless. In the basic evolution of the base vehicle, there was an option to automatically absorb materials. Now that he chose the storage space, he could not choose this option to automatically absorb materials. Seeing Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen both exhausted, he looked at himself with pitiful eyes. Jian Lusher had completely used them as a human forklift before. It seems to be a bit of a limit. Jiang Lusher looked at the materials in the warehouse with envy. In fact, he couldn't let Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai move too much. Otherwise, it would be difficult to explain. How many suitcases should be loaded in the base car? A large or small metal block is fine. But if you install a 10 cubic meter metal block, things will be strange. Jiang Lusher collects metals that are not easy to find in ordinary times. These metals are often very dense. Many of them weigh more than 10 tons per cubic meter. And the exaggerated ones are even close to 20 tons per cubic meter. Jiang Lusher would not use those metals that could be seen everywhere to take up his space. Jiang Lusher closed the door of the base vehicle. He was not in a hurry to move all the metal blocks to the storage space. Lest Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen accidentally see the metal disappearing from the windshield, and they would definitely suspect that he was not seeing a ghost. After all the metal blocks were placed, Jiang Lusher dismissed Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen and mentally contacted Star C to inquire about the second evolution of the base vehicle. The content of the second level evolution of the base vehicle. Complete the construction of the base vehicle steward and open the new form of the base vehicle. The host can choose any vehicle for scanning. After scanning, the Star C will complete the transformation of the vehicle and put it into the subspace. Activate the secondary form of the base vehicle, which cannot be cancelled after scanning. Jian Lusher was shocked when he heard Xing Zhong's description. He originally thought that the second evolution was probably some modifications to the base vehicle. But he didn't expect that the changes would be so big. Base car manager. New scanning function. Jian Lusher didn't understand the first base car steward very well. So he could only guess and understand it based on the literal meaning. But the second one is to scan a new vehicle and activate the secondary form of the base vehicle. What does this mean? Let the base vehicle have two forms. Chapter 93 Blood Wolf Flare. Jian Lusher asked Xing Zhong about his questions. Starcy gave an explanation. This is not to allow the base vehicle to have two forms, but to summon this new form after scanning a new vehicle. Summoning. This means that Jian Lusher will have a new base vehicle that can be summoned, which is much more advanced than switching forms with the same base vehicle. As for the subspace, 
It is a space specially used to store summoned base vehicles. This space is automatically opened by Starseed after he scans the new vehicle and does not require him to build it. This point makes John Lusher very satisfied. Almost everything that Star C can open requires him to collect corresponding materials to build it. It is rare to have such a thing that Star C can open automatically, which makes John Lusher feel like he has found a benefit. This level 2 evolution is so awesome. But the clause cannot be cancelled after scanning. May John Lusher slowly calm down from his excitement. It cannot be cancelled. In this case, this second scanning opportunity must be chosen carefully. In fact, Jian Lusher still had some ideas in mind about what kind of transportation to choose. And when he was thinking about which kind of transportation to scan, he immediately thought of that guy. However, I'm afraid I can't find it anywhere near here. The matter of scanning transportation vehicles must be carefully considered and cannot be rushed. Let's take a look at the base vehicle steward first. Jian Lusher turned his attention to the base vehicle steward. He looked at the base car steward's options. And Starseed immediately gave explanations and explanations. The base car steward also needs to be built. But what is needed is not metal. But energy. This energy does not need to be provided by Jian Lusher. What Jian Lusher needs to provide is time. It's another benefit. Jian Lusher was curious about the base car butler. Subspace is automatically provided by star seeds. This is completely understandable. This base car butler is made with energy. Which makes people wonder what the final result will be. Business manager of the base vehicle. The construction time is 72 hours. Do you want to build it? 72 hours later. After making sure that it would not affect the use of the base vehicle, Jian Lusher chose to confirm. This time is a bit long. And the long wait makes people feel both expectant and anxious. After completing these things, it was completely dark. John Hai and Sun Kun went to the open space and lit a fire. After roasting the mutated beast meat, they gave two portions to Jian Lusher and Jian Zhuying. They usually can only eat dried meat. It is rare for them to encounter such an industrial park without many zombies. They don't have to worry about the firelight and smell attracting zombies. So they naturally want to seize the opportunity to eat a hot meal. Although this mutated beast meat does not have any seasonings. After the gravy and oil inside are roasted, it immediately becomes fragrant and appetizing. Jian Lusher had been busy all day and was indeed hungry. Especially after using his brain evolution ability. As soon as he calmed down, he suddenly felt empty. In the end, Jian Lusher ate more than three times the mutated beast meat than he usually eats. Fortunately, I brought some inventory just in case, John Hai said happily. People like them will not go out with only one day's rations, because no one can guarantee that they will be able to make it back on the same day. In a zombie dense area, there are too many variables. If you don't bring enough food, it's basically the same as going out looking for death. Now all these stocks have been eaten up by Jian Lusher. Jiang Zhuying also ate a lot. After using electric energy today, she consumed a lot of energy. Now that she started to replenish her physical energy, she suddenly felt a strange feeling in her body. And there was a tingling feeling from her muscles. This is different from the feeling when Jiang Zhuying upgraded and evolved before. However, Jiang Zhuying is still sure of one thing. This change is definitely not a bad thing. She even instinctively felt that this change was too weak. If it was strong enough, her body would inevitably undergo new changes. But now, this can only be regarded as a sign. And we should find a way to capture this feeling. The two of them were full. And Jian Lusher took a few sips of mineral water with satisfaction. And then said, It's getting late. Let's go to the Blood Wolf's lair quickly. Jian Lusher said, Brother Jian. Jian Hai laughed. He quite liked Jian Lusher's character. There is no need to worry about what time it is when it comes to harvesting the fruits of victory. If it were any other place, there would really be no way to go out at such a late hour. Unless I didn't want to live anymore. But in this industrial park, there are not many zombies. As long as zombies from further away are not attracted, they can move freely. Walk. Let's go. I'm curious about what the blood wolf guy has in stock. They hunt constantly every day and trade so frequently in the satellite city. They must be much richer than us. John Hai and Sun Kuen both jumped into their cars excitedly. While Jiang Zhuying got on Jiang Liusher's minibus, the two cars buzzed in the direction of the Blood Wolf's lair, one behind the other. In this industrial park, roads extend in all directions, and there are many detours. No wonder Xue Lang and the others were able to stop them secretly, and then came over to block them after they entered the warehouse. Zhang Hai looked at the directions on the road signs and took the most normal road. A few minutes later, the two cars arrived at the gate of a pharmaceutical company. 
the door of this pharmaceutical company is open. And you can see a few red dots dangling in the distance. When Jian Lusher and the others were slowly approaching in their car, one of the red dots walked out of the hiding spot in a swaggering manner. You came back so late? Didn't you say you were going to catch fat sheep? Why did you come back in such a shabby car? This is too shabby. However, before he finished speaking, he suddenly showed a look of vigilance and surprise. Because what he saw from behind the windshield of the minibus was not the members of the Blood Wolf, but Jian Lusher and Jiang Juying. It would only be normal if Jiang Juying was in a dying state. But now, Jiang Juying is obviously in excellent condition. Before the man could fully react, Zhang Hai drove an off-road vehicle and sped up to him. Then Sun Kun's spear thrust out of the window, instantly killing the man and the weapon with infrared night vision in his hand. The guns were picked up together. Bang! The man fell heavily, but the gun fell into Sun Kun's hand. The remaining red dots reacted immediately. But at this time, the minibus suddenly accelerated and rushed to the front. Duh duh duh. Those people fired quickly, but the minibus still rushed straight towards them, and at an extremely fast speed. Bang bang! After two muffled sounds, the red dots completely disappeared. These were the guards of the Blood Wolf's lair. They were killed without even seeing clearly who the visitor was. John High's loud voice and excited shouts came from the off-road vehicle. People inside, listen. Brother Jiang has brought us to collect the loot. Your Blood Wolf boss has been beaten to death by our Brother Jiang. Chapter 94 Simple Hobbies The two cars soon arrived at the door of the villa. There was a little light on the villa. When they looked inside the villa, they found someone hiding behind the curtains at the window and secretly opened a gap to look out. With that face and long hair, you could tell she was a woman. As soon as she saw the people in the car, the woman immediately showed a panicked look and quickly opened the curtains. And the gap disappeared immediately. Let's go! Zhang Hai and others got out of the car first and slowly approached the villa with guns in hand, carefully using the car and pillars to hide their figures. As soon as they arrived at the door of the villa, they found an iron lock hung on the door of the villa. The iron chain alone was as thick as a thumb. The lock is hung here, locking the villa from the outside. Back off! Zhang Hai geared up and hid not far away. After finding a good angle, he pointed the muzzle of the gun at the iron lock and pulled the trigger. Boom! At the same time as the gunfire rang out, there were obviously several screams coming from behind the door. But they all disappeared immediately. Bang! Zhang Hai rushed over, kicked the door open with a heavy kick, then turned sideways, pointed his gun into the room, and shouted, Be honest! Our boss and brother Jiang are here! There was another low cry from girls in the house. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun hit at the door and aimed their guns for a while. They found that there were no armed people. Then, they rushed into the house and aimed their guns. People inside the house. Sun Kun flashed the flashlight and pressed it on the wall. Then the lights in the living room turned on. The whole room was bright, illuminating the people inside. There were about a dozen women in this room. They gathered in a corner, and the lights suddenly turned on, causing them to squint their eyes. Several of the girls looked panicked, but they all covered their mouths tightly with their hands, as if they were afraid that making any noise would anger Zhang Hai and the others. It seemed that they were the ones who had screamed when they heard the gunshots. The other girls were slumped against the wall, looking at Zhang Hai with numb eyes and confused expressions on their faces. Are they all women? Zhang Hai was stunned for a moment, and then asked, Are you the only ones in this house? Except for those girls who were very numb. The girls caught by his gaze were too nervous to look at him. Speak. Don't say anything. Don't be afraid. Understand? Zhang Hai said in surprise. At this time, Jian Lusher and Jiang Juying also came to the door and were speechless after hearing Zhang Hai's words. How can you not be afraid of what you two are doing? Just like bandits robbing you. At this time, one of the girls suddenly asked, Where is the blood wolf? Jian Lusher followed the sound and saw that the person speaking was a young girl who looked very haggard. As soon as Jian Lusher and the others focused their attention on her, the girl immediately trembled as if she had been electrocuted. But not only her. There are other girls waiting for answers. John Hai kept shouting all the way. They must have heard it. But they were not sure whether it was true. Blood Wolf. He he. He has been killed by our brother Jiang. John Hai said. The girls glanced at John Hai nervously. And then looked at Sun Kuan. Sun Kuan looked a bit like a gangster. And he also looked fierce. Was he the one who killed the Blood Wolf? Being looked at by these girls. Sun Kuan was stunned for a moment. And then quickly said. Where are you looking? This is Brother Jiang. Seeing Sun Kun pointing at Jiang Lusher, 
These girls were suddenly startled. Was it this young man who killed him? And these two vicious men are his men? It wasn't that they couldn't believe it. But Jiang Lusher looked about the same age as them. And looked like a college student. He looked harmless. And he didn't have the ferocity of Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan at all. The blood wolf is already synonymous with terror in their hearts. This young and hot guy actually killed the blood wolf? However, they also heard the gunshots and screams from the previous battle. The guards of the blood wolf were all killed. So it should be correct. Okay. Don't say these useless things. Jian Lusher walked in and said, You all stand over here. First, let's talk about whether there is anyone else in this room. Jian Lusher spoke in a calm tone and looked a little indifferent. But he was still much better than Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan. Another girl said carefully, There are two people in the backyard. They said it was a toy. Toys? Jian Lusher asked. They call the people they capture and torture to death toys. Another girl explained in a low voice. That's it, Sun Kuan. Go over and take a look. Be careful. If they are no longer human. Just give them a good time. Jian Lusher said. Okay. Sun Kuan immediately went to the backyard. The remaining three people, Jian Lusher, continued to look at these girls. Where do they live? Xue Lang. Upstairs. Someone will lead the way. Jian Lusher said. These girls looked at each other, either turning away or lowering their heads. Come here. Jian Lusher casually pointed to the girl who explained, Toy. Before. He had a vague impression of this girl's face. It was probably the one he had been looking at behind the curtains before. She was probably more courageous. Jiang Lusher knew that these girls were very scared. But he didn't bother to explain anything. Just explaining them could not completely dispel their fears. Seeing that these girls were either sallow and skinny. Or disheveled. With injuries all over their bodies. I knew that they were all captured by the Blood Wolf team. And were tortured on a daily basis. Women who have no ability to protect themselves are just like lambs in the apocalypse. It would be fine if they meet a more humane team of normal survivors. But it would be miserable once they are targeted by a team like the Blood Wolves. They were all frightened now. And all of them were uneasy. But Jian Lusher was just here to handle his own business and wouldn't be able to stay long. The girl was shocked. But she didn't dare to refuse. She could only muster the courage to stand up. Lead the way. Jian Lusher said. The girl walked slowly ahead, leading Jian Lusher and the others to the third floor, and then walked to the door of the innermost room. There was still a big lock hanging on the door of this room. Zhang Hai walked over and fired another shot, violently opening the lock. The door was kicked open, and Zhang Hai went in with a gun to check. After a while, his laughter was heard. Boss, Brother Jiang, come in and take a look. This blood wolf has a lot of inventory. Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying looked at each other and walked in. The girl stood at the door, not daring to go in or go away. She could only stand there awkwardly. This room is very large. Once you enter, there is a small living room, then a bathroom, a large bedroom, and a dressing room that is almost the same size as the bedroom. But now, the useless furniture has long been thrown away. And except for a bed, supplies are piled everywhere. This blood wolf seems to be a simple person. Even his hobbies are so simple. Compared to sleeping in a gorgeous room, sleeping among supplies obviously makes him feel more at ease. However, these precious supplies that he guarded every night have now become the trophies of Jiang Lusher and the others. Chapter 95 Evolution New Functions Zhang Hai immediately began to count the supplies. In fact, the supplies for the Blood Wolf were all put into categories. And it was easy to sort out the list. In addition to a large amount of mutated beast meat, there are also many dry foods, weapons and ammunition, especially the rifle bullets. There were so many of them. It made Zhang Hai's face light up with joy. Although in terms of share, he actually didn't get much. But he was happy to hold these yellow and heavy bullets in his hands. There was also a small box containing 10 neat grenades. Xue Lang and the others came to sneak attack Jiang Zhuying's team. But they did not take out all their belongings. However, Zhang Hai believed that even if these grenades were brought by Xue Lang and the others, they would just be blown up by Jiang Lusher. At this time, Sun Kuan also came up. When he saw these supplies, he immediately became excited looking here and browsing there. What is this? At this time, Sun Kun found a box from Xuelong's bedside table. This box was placed alone and closest to the blood wolf, making people feel curious at once. Sun Kun's shout also attracted the attention of Jiang Lusher and others. In front of everyone, 
San Kun carefully opened the box. Inside the box, a glass-like bead the size of a pigeon egg was lying quietly. It's a mutated crystal core, San Kun said. A mutant crystal core is an important asset to a team of survivors, equivalent to five tons of mutant beast meat. Blood Wolf and the others have been hunting, and they probably got more than one mutant crystal core. But the others must have been exchanged by Blood Wolf to the satellite city and the military. This crystal core looks to be the freshest, and there are all the others on it. Some blood stains were not wiped off and were carefully collected by the Blood Wolf. This mutated crystal core. Jiang Lusher looked at the mutated crystal core with burning eyes and said, I want it. After Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying met, all the mutant nuclei of Jiang Zhuying's team were taken away by Jiang Lusher. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun were stunned when they heard that Jiang Lusher wanted to mutate the crystal nuclei. However, Jiang Lusher contributed the most in this battle. According to the distribution, a large part of the spoils belonged to Jiang Lusher. Moreover, Jiang Lusher, as the person who made the greatest contribution, also has the priority to say what kind of spoils should be divided. Even if Jiang Zhuying didn't say anything this time, it was right for Jiang Lusher to want to take this mutated crystal core. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan naturally had no objections. Brother Jiang, if you find it useful, just keep it. This should have been arranged by you. The mutated crystal core that Jiang Lusher took was nothing at all. He still had so many supplies that he could distribute. In fact, this mutated crystal core actually seemed like nothing in Jiang Lusher's share. Yeah, Jiang Lusher said, putting away the crystal core. Mutated crystal nuclei are now the scarcest material for Jiang Lusher. So it is not easy to collect mutated crystal nuclei. If you can find one, that's it. The Blood Wolves have so much ammunition and mutated beast meat that Jiang Zhuying's team is like a pauper compared to them. It would take a lot of time to move so many supplies. And the car they drove just wasn't enough to load them. Of course, this is not a problem. It is too easy to find a freight truck in the industrial park. Transportation is available. But transportation is time-consuming and laborious. And the only ones who can drive are Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai. Jiang Zhuying can barely drive a car. But it is impossible to drive a truck. When going back, we have to consider the issue of combat. So the only thing that can be loaded is a cargo truck. Of course, this is enough to load most of the supplies. It's getting very late today. Even if we pack the supplies, we can't leave tonight. We must stay here for one night. However, Jiang Lusher had no interest in Xue Lang's house. There was a faint smell of blood everywhere. Naturally, he slept in the base vehicle. And Jiang Zhuying could also sleep in his vehicle. As for Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan, they planned to spend the night each in the truck and off-road vehicle. Although the end of the world has not been around for a long time, they are already accustomed to fragmented and shallow sleep. Even if you really want them to sleep to death, they can't do it. The impact of the end of the world on people is in all aspects, causing fundamental changes in the details and essence of everyone's lives. Those who cannot adapt will be eliminated sooner or later. You guys carry it first while I walk around the area, Jian Lusher said. Except for the enslaved girls. All the combat members of the Blood Wolf have been killed. Now the industrial park can be said to be basically safe. In addition to driving a base vehicle and having the body bar in his hand, Jiang Liosher's safety level can be said to be the highest among them. He wanted to go out for a walk. But no one raised any objections. Brother, come back soon, Jiang Zhuying said. Okay. As soon as Jiang Liosher walked out of the room, he startled the girl at the door again. As soon as her eyes came into contact with Jiang Lusher, she immediately avoided him like an electric shock and her face turned pale. Am I that terrible? Jiang Lusher touched his chin. And the feeling in his heart was really hard to describe. Originally, Jiang Lusher had already walked past the girl. But after thinking about it, he stopped again, turned around and said, You can go downstairs. You don't have to stand here. In fact, the girl also heard Jiang Lusher and the others chatting in the house and knew that Jiang Lusher and the others did not even plan to stay in the house at night, but were going to go out to find a safe place to sleep in the car. As for them, not a word was mentioned, as if there were no plans or arrangements for them at all. Originally, the girl was just speculating in her mind, but now when she heard Jiang Lusher say this, she was immediately sure that Jiang Lusher and the others really didn't intend to do anything to them. Thank you, thank you. The girl was completely confused and only said the word thank you. By the time she realized what she was saying, Jiang Lusher had already left. Poor Jiang Lusher. He can't save these girls. In the end of the world, everyone must learn to survive on their own. However, 
the blood wolves have a lot of food reserves. The first thing they moved away was the mutated beast meat. The remaining dry food, which could not be loaded in the truck, was left here. These dry foods are not much in quantity. If these girls want to survive, they still have to find their own way in the future. When she returned to the girls and saw them all looking at her nervously, the girl whispered, That brother Jiang won't do anything to us. Real? Are you sure? Isn't that man the head of these people? He can kill that bastard Xu Elong. If he wants to do anything to us, there is no need to be like this, the girl said. These girls were still afraid of Jiang Lusher. But at the same time, some of their moods slowly changed. After knowing that Jiang Lusher had no idea about them, these girls suddenly became grateful to Jiang Lusher. They finally got rid of the blood wolf and his team. Being tortured by these people, they were completely worse than death. These girls, originally white-collar workers and students, were just ordinary people before the end of the world. But they fell into a nightmare. Now that the blood wolf is dead, they all feel like they are waking up from a nightmare. Although when I woke up, I faced a cruel world. Jian Lusher went downstairs and returned to the base car, then started turning and drove out of the medical company. He drove the base vehicle back to the special metal company along the same route he had taken before. As soon as Jian Lusher got the mutated crystal core from the blood wolf, he immediately had an idea. There is a function that is exactly what he needs now, especially after asking Zhang Hai and the others to help carry the metal today. Jiang Liosher's need for this function became even more urgent. Now Jiang Zhuying's team members can be used as labor force. But what about after that? If Jiang Liosher had to carry those medals by himself, it would be a tiring and physically demanding job. Buzz! The base vehicle passed over the vehicles and the bodies on the ground and returned to the previous warehouse. It was quiet in the dark warehouse. Jiang Liosher sat in the car and took out the mutated crystal core. Star Seed! Jiang Liosher communicated with Star Seed in his mind. Click! On the driving platform of the base vehicle, a metal groove popped out. Jian Lusher took the mutated crystal core in his hand and put it into the groove. As the metal groove retracted, the star seeds prompt sounded immediately. Successfully placing the mutant crystal core, you can choose the direction of evolution. A screen of light immediately appeared in front of Jian Lusher's eyes, with options on it. Jian Lusher had already seen these options before, and he jumped directly to the evolution he was going to choose this time. Option 3. Turn on the evolutionary automatic absorption function. The base vehicle can automatically absorb materials through the particle beam, eliminating the need to manually transport materials. This is it. Jian Lusher chose, turn on, without hesitation. The automatic absorption function is being turned on. The estimated time is 15 minutes. Starseed's voice sounded. It was only 15 minutes. And Jian Lusher didn't mind waiting at all. He looked at the warehouse in front of him. There was a lot of metal in the warehouse. And there was an empty first level storage space in his base vehicle. Jian Lusha really felt unwilling to take away more of these metals. What a waste. What a waste. Waste is the biggest crime. Chapter 96 Harvest. While waiting, Jian Lusha had already spotted all the metals he wanted to take away. The automatic absorption function has been turned on. Starseed's prompt sounded on time 15 minutes later. From the appearance, there is no visible change in the minibus. It is still the same as before. Jian Lusher immediately started the base vehicle and couldn't wait to try out this new function. After telling Xing Zhong to turn on the automatic absorption function, Jian Lusher slowly approached his target, a shelf containing a large amount of a certain rare metal. The density of this metal is very high and the quality is very high. Even if it is just a small container, a forklift is needed to remove it. The forklift transports a small piece at a time. If so much metal has to be moved, I really don't know how long it will take to transport it. As John Lusher drove the base vehicle closer to the shelf, another prompt came from Starseed. The absorbable target has been detected. Do you want to start automatic absorption? Of course. Start absorbing. John Lusher immediately stepped on the brakes. He approached the shelf very slowly and stopped as soon as Xingzhong gave the prompt. This distance should be the farthest distance for automatic absorption. According to Starseed ranging, this distance is exactly 5 meters. These details may seem like nothing, but they can always come in handy. It's better to know in advance than to be caught blind when it's time to use it. Jian Liosher's eyes were fixed on the metal on the shelf without blinking. He was curious about how the automatic absorption function completed the absorption. Jian Liosher had some understanding of particle beams before. For example, high-energy particle cannon is a form of use of particle beams. After Jian Liosher gave the command to start absorbing, a selection screen automatically appeared in his mind. 
What appeared on this screen were the absorbable targets scanned by Star Seed, including all items on the shelves. All appear on the options. Jian Lusher moved his eyes. And all items that entered his field of vision within the 5 beer range were included in the options. However, blood and corpses are not included in this list. Jian Lusher asked about the Star Seeds and learned that living creatures were not allowed either. The energy contained in the speed of light particles is extremely high, but when used as an automatic absorption function, it only works on those items. Jian Lusher selected the metal he wanted to take away in his mind. In an instant, Jian Lusher saw those metal blocks flashing with light and then disappearing from their place. Immediately afterwards, neat metal blocks appeared in the first level storage space of the base vehicle. This process of automatic absorption takes less than a second. If other people saw it, they would definitely suspect that they were dazzled. The base vehicle continued to absorb it at such a speed. Soon, all the metal blocks on the entire shelf disappeared and entered the first level storage space of the base vehicle. Jian Lusher didn't stop and immediately turned to the next target. This base vehicle is like an invisible big mouth, absorbing everything wherever it goes. The shelves that were once full became empty. Jian Lusher directly knocked down the emptied shelves with his car and then drove deeper. When Jian Lusher drove the base vehicle out of the warehouse, everything that could be moved in the warehouse had been moved by Jian Lusher. However, the metal reserves in this warehouse are probably more than thousands of tons. Jian Lusher has no choice in those common metals that are not particularly difficult to find. The ones he chose were the ones that were truly rare. These metals fill the storage space and are only a small part of the entire warehouse. 10 cubic meters of storage space contains more than 100 tons of metal. Not to mention a minibus such as a base truck. Even a heavy-duty truck cannot bear this weight. However, the performance of the base vehicle was not affected at all when driving. The weight of more than 100 tons was not reflected in the total weight of the base vehicle. The setting of this storage space is quite reasonable, Jian Lusher thought to himself. With so much metal installed, Jian Lusher finally no longer has to worry about materials. As for the metals that had been moved before, Jian Lusher still kept them in the carriage and did not put them into the storage space to avoid being discovered by others. This special metal warehouse had been secretly plundered by Jian Lusher. He drove the base vehicle back to the Blood Wolf's lair. John Hai and Sun Kuan originally guessed whether Jian Lusher had something to do. But when he came back and saw that Jian Lusher's car was still the same, they felt that they might have guessed wrong. Jian Lusher did go out for a spin as he said. Everything is almost packed. Even the cab is full. And everything that can be installed in the off-road vehicle has been installed. John Hai came over and said, There are not enough drivers now. So there is nothing we can do. But there isn't much left. Just a drop in the bucket. Sun Kuan added. Then don't do it. Jian Lusher said. If you can't take away the little things, forget it. Good supplies were put on the truck first. And even John Hai and Sun Kuan didn't feel sorry for the few remaining things. The bloody wolves have a lot of shit in stock. They are all good guys. Zhang Hai's eyes lit up when he talked about the trophies this time. Sun Kun climbed into the truck nimbly and opened the door to show Jian Lusher. When they were moving these things, they had already organized an inventory and put them into different boxes according to categories, and then put them in the car. In terms of weapons, Xue Lang's inventory, plus the ones they picked up from corpses, includes 20 guns of various sizes, including three of the most valuable Type 95 automatic rifles and two micro submachine guns, a total of five, and a light machine gun. Most of the rest are pistols, both Type 54 and Type 64. There are 10 grenades in a box, and a whole box of bullets of all kinds, totaling about 2,000 rounds. These bullets alone are already a huge fortune. I don't know how many mutant beasts the Blood Wolf team hunted in exchange for these supplies. However, considering how difficult it is to hunt mutant beasts, it is estimated that the main hunting targets of the Blood Wolf team are actually other survivor teams. Through killing and looting, these materials were quickly accumulated. The better the equipment and the more supplies, the stronger the Blood Wolf team will be, and the efficiency of plunder will be higher. This was originally a shortcut for rapid development for the Blood Wolf team. Until this virtuous cycle was ended by Jian Lusher. There are also four pieces of body armor, several three-inch spurs, and two bulletproof shields. There is also a lot of mutated animal meat. Sun Kun patted a dozen bags piled together. What was inside was all mutated. Animal meat. At least about three tons. It's really powerful now. Sun Kun said. Hunting a mutated beast once was simply risking one's life. If it weren't for Jian Lusher, 
it would have been extremely difficult for Jiang Zhuying to accumulate five tons of mutated beast meat. In addition to these, the truck is also filled with various dried vegetables, dry food, rice, etc., as well as a lot of drinking water and the like. It was a great harvest. And this time, the results were several times greater than the combined results of their many collections during this period. Chapter 97 Reselling Boss! Brother Jiang, you are responsible for the distribution, Zhang Hai said with a smile. In fact, this allocation can wait until after returning. But Zhang Hai and Sun Kun both can't wait. This is just like ordinary people who suddenly get rich and always want to take out the money and count it with their own hands. Jiang Juying smiled and turned to look at Jiang Lu Shi. This depends on my brother. I don't have any say in the allocation this time. So I have to listen to my brother. Oh, it's really disappointing to think about it. Oops. Before she finished speaking, Jiang Zuying was patted on the head by Jiang Lu Shi. She stuck out her tongue, not daring to be poor anymore. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen were both a little dazed for a while. It's not that this scene was inconsistent. In fact, Jiang Zuying in this state was really cute. But for people who are used to seeing Jiang Zuying's decisive killing and outstanding strength, her current appearance really makes people wonder if they are hallucinating. Other than that, they 100% agreed with Jiang Zhuying's statement. Regardless of his strength or his contribution in this battle, Jiang Lusher should be in charge of this distribution. Then let me do it! Jiang Lusher also jumped on the car. He threw the previous Bai Bar back to Zhang Hai, then took out a new pistol and threw it to Zhang Hai as well. Zhang Hai caught it, held it in his hand, and rubbed it excitedly. This gun is really well maintained. He only had one gun before and was reluctant to use it. Now that he has an extra gun, he can really carry it with him. Jiang Lusher said. Each person has one of these guns. One grenade. And 300 bullets each. Mutated beast meat. 300 kilograms each for you and Sun Kuen. And the rest. Vegetables. Are useless to me. Give it all to Bamboo Shadow. For the mutated beast meat. I took a mutated crystal core so that you can share some of the mutated beast meat with Bamboo Shadow. We will share the other supplies equally. You already have a handful of guns. It's useless for you to hold it. I want it all. If you have any objections, you can raise them. Jiang Lusher said. No, no. No. Brother Jiang is very fair. Jiang Hai and San Kuen were both extremely satisfied. 300 kilograms of mutated beast meat was a lot. And getting 300 bullets felt like winning a prize suddenly during peacetime. Although they did their best. Their abilities were limited, and their role in this battle was really small compared to Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuing. All in all, they only fired a few shots and killed a few ordinary people. The principle of their team is to distribute according to combat contribution. They were able to get so much this time simply because the Blood Wolf and the others were too fat. It was a great surprise to get such an assignment. And it was all thanks to Jiang Lusher. Actually, brother, you can share more of the mutated beast meat and those weapons. Jiang Zhuying said. It's okay. Those weapons are useful to me. The weapons are actually relatively less valuable than bullets. But the survivors still have to go to the satellite city to exchange them in order to survive. And the price of the exchange will not be low. In particular, powerful rifles and machine guns are in urgent need among all survivors. And it is expensive to exchange them with the army. That's why Zhang Hai felt so painful when Jiang Lusher asked Zhang Hai to use his Bai Bar. I will sell these weapons to the survivors at a lower price than the army. There should be no shortage of buyers. Right. Jiang Lusher asked. That's for sure. This is a good thing for any team. Is brother Jiang planning to switch to mutant beast meat or something? Jiang Hai asked. Mutated crystal core. Jiang Lusher said. Mutated crystal core. His most scarce material now. There are many options for the current upgrade and modification of base vehicles that are inseparable from the mutant core. A biological laboratory. Especially a place where crystal nuclei are burned. If you hunt these mutated crystal nuclei by yourself, you don't know how long it will take on average to get one. Moreover, the risk of hunting mutant beasts is really high. Of course, it would be best to be able to directly exchange materials such as weapons. These things have no marketability at all. They are all first-class hard currency. Jiang Hai and Sun Kuen were both stunned. Brother Jiang is really obsessed with mutated crystal nuclei. In fact, they were a little bit upset. Which survivor got the mutated crystal core and didn't exchange it for ammunition and mutated beast meat? Only Jiang Lusher did the other way around. But it's useless to feel pain. He can use Jiang Liu's supplies however he likes. All I can say is that there are too many supplies. 
so he will be willful. Then let's find a buyer as soon as possible, and we should have a result soon. Sun Kuen said, when they go to the satellite city, they can immediately contact survivors who want to buy. This is not a difficult thing. Okay. Jian Lusher nodded. The army established a camp here, which provided some convenience for Jian Lusher, allowing his base vehicle to evolve faster. Okay. Let's go. Jian Lusher said. Buzz buzz. The three cars started up and drove away from the Blood Wolf's lair. Inside the house, the girls ran to the window and looked out cautiously. Watching the vehicle go further and further away, the convoy found a quiet place to stop in the industrial park, where they wanted to rest for the night. Although there are no zombies in the industrial park, the roar of zombies can still be heard in the distance. The truck was parked outside, blocking the door, and the off-road vehicle was parked a little further away, with machine guns also pointed at the door. As for the base vehicle, Jian Lusher drove deeper into an open space. As the base vehicle moved away from the gate, only Jian Lusher and Jiang Zhuying were left around. Jiang Zhuying sat in Jian Lusher's car and turned on the TV to watch with interest. Jian Lusher had stored a large number of movies and TV shows on the hard drive in advance, and also specially saved a lot of animations for Jiang Zhuying. Those survivors probably never imagined that Jiang Zhuying was actually a senior anime fan. Brother, you are really an almighty brother. I love you. Jiang Zhuying was so excited that he almost rolled on the bed. It is really amazing and exciting that he can still have such spiritual enjoyment in the apocalypse. And this feeling of two people in the same room, one watching TV and the other holding a tablet, also made Jiang Zhuying feel as if he had gone back to the past, when the two depended on each other. At that time, the two brothers and sisters were much the same as now. They had bunk beds, each doing their own thing, and they could exchange a few words at any time, which was calm and comfortable. Watch an episode, and then help me do something. I'll get you a tablet later. It's full. Jian Lusher said. What's wrong? Let's watch it later and do some work first. Jian Zhuying immediately turned off the TV and said. No need. Just take a look. Jian Lusher said. No. I want to finish my work first. And then lie on the bed and watch nature fall asleep. Jian Zhuying looked longingly. This kind of life that does not require the whole body to be tense and relaxed is really rare. It cannot be interrupted. You must enjoy it to the fullest at once. Jian Lusher really didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Promise. Chapter 98 Humanoid Charger, 3rd Update. Jian Lusher took a look at the materials in the car and said, Shuing, go down and help charge the car. Although minibuses are powered by solar energy, they also have power battery packs. And the charging method is similar to those of electric vehicles. As for why Jian Zhuying should be charged, the reason is simple. Repair the car. The base vehicle's current wear and tear is really serious. If it isn't properly repaired, how can Jian Lusher be assured of driving it out tomorrow? The electric energy stored by solar energy is only enough for daily use of the vehicle. Today, after another day of fighting, the consumption is even more. This little amount of electricity is not enough to repair the car. When he just returned from the special metal company, he also looked for generators and the like. However, the industrial park was very large. And the factories were also very large. So it was too time consuming to find them. On the other hand, there is a powerful power source next to him, which is bioenergy. Jian Lusher already knew that although a person with superpowers uses superpowers, it consumes a lot of money. But the more he uses it, the more proficient he becomes. And it can also promote evolution. So letting her generate electricity is beneficial and harmless. Just give her meat to eat. Oh, okay. Jiang Zhuying obediently went to recharge his batteries. Although it was regarded as a humanoid generator, Jiang Zhuying actually found it quite interesting. As two brothers and sisters, they often have common ideas. In fact, Jiang Zhuying has secretly used his own electricity to charge his mobile phone. Of course, the result was not very good. The phone was burned directly. But the base car doesn't have to worry about this. The base car charges and comes with its own voltage regulator which can stabilize the output voltage without damaging the power battery pack. Seeing Jiang Zhuying go down to charge the battery, Jiang Lusher took out a large piece of mutated beast meat and some vegetables and started preparing to cook. Although the mutated beast meat tastes good just when grilled, it can't be compared to Jiang Lusher's cooking with so many seasonings and accessories. Soon, the aroma filled the car. The car door was not closed, while Jiang Zhuying put his hand on the charging port to generate electricity obediently. 
he stretched his head in the direction of the car door. The tip of his small nose twitched slightly. It smells so good. With me to eat. Jiang Zhuying became even more motivated. She puffed out her little face and tried to generate electricity. This look really looked like Pikachu. Soon, Xing Zhong reminded Jiang Lusher that the electricity was enough to repair the car. Jiang Zhuying continued to generate electricity and completely charged the battery. Thank you for your hard work. Come here and recharge yourself. Jiang Lusher stretched out a hand from the door of the car, holding a plate in his hand. Barbecue steak. This steak looks charred on the outside, tender and juicy on the inside, and is dotted with fresh vegetables and a few slices of fruit on the side, which is very appetizing. This kind of food is simply a treasure in the apocalypse, and it is the most luxurious enjoyment. As soon as Jiang Lusher stretched out his hand, he felt that it was empty. When he put it back, it was already an empty plate. One more piece. So fast. Jiang Lusher was startled. Jiang Zhuying ate several kilograms of mutated animal meat in total. The energy in the animal meat entered her limbs and bones, making her whole body warm. And her cells were slowly evolving. After lying down and watching TV for a while, Jiang Zhuying fell into a deep sleep. Normally, even in the camp, Jiang Zhuying would not sleep so deeply. But now, he was next to Jiang Lu Shi, sleeping in his minibus. Jiang Zhuying was usually very strong towards her team members. Although she was very well behaved in front of Jiang Lu Shi, she was originally determined to protect Jiang Lu Shi. But after today, Jiang Zhuying felt that she was back to the past. In front of Jiang Lu Shi and protected by Jiang Lu Shi, she was still the doted sister. This was the first time in this period of time that Jiang Zhuying slept so soundly. And even Jiang Lu Shi didn't know when he came up to tuck her into bed. Seeing that Jiang Zhuying was already asleep, Jiang Lu Shi sat on the sofa and gave an instruction to Xing Zhong in his mind. Start repairing the car. The materials on the car disappeared one by one. Electricity and gasoline were consumed. And the damage to the minibus was quickly repaired at a speed visible to the naked eye. The blown tires returned to their original shape. And the spider webs on the glass disappeared quickly as if they had been wiped away. The repair progress is 30%, 50%, 80%. The repair progress is 100%. The repair has been completed. And the base vehicle is in good condition without any bad conditions. When Star Seed's prop sounded, Jiang Lusher looked at the repaired base vehicle and breathed out softly. You can sleep peacefully. You can imagine that when you wake up the next morning and see the minibus, Jiang Zhuying will rub his big eyes vigorously, wondering if he is still in a dream and has not woken up. Early the next morning, Zhang Hai and Sun Kun woke up as soon as it got dark. They rinsed their mouths with water and washed their faces twice, which was considered done. With a safe sleep and the ability to wash their faces and wake up early, Zhang Hai and Sun Kun felt that their treatment was already very good. In such a precarious environment at the end of the world, most survivors would be far worse off than they were. Not to mention sleeping in the car, even in the smelly ditch. As long as it is relatively safe, you must take the time to sleep. After they washed up, they were ready to light a fire and barbecue. And at this moment, the minibus also drove over. Boss! Brother Jiang! I'm about to call you! Let's have dinner soon! As soon as Zhang Hai and Sun Kun saw the minibus, the muscles on their faces suddenly twitched, and their eyes almost fell out of their heads. Did you read it wrong? They must have seen it wrong. Right? They blinked hard and looked again. The glass is clean. The tires are in good condition. And all the dents on the car have been restored. You really read that right. Jiang Lusher had repaired cars by himself before. Zhang Hai and others regarded him as a fanatical car enthusiast. It was normal for him to be able to repair cars. However, the damage that time was not serious. But what happened to the minibus this time? In this way, they all see it. After a normal car becomes like this, just repairing the car is a big project. It takes a long time and probably requires a lot of patches on the surface to be completed. There are even more things needed to repair the car. And you have to find them everywhere. This minibus is so awesome. The materials used on it are definitely not bad. And those materials are not that easy to find. At this time, the minibus also stopped in front of them. And Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying got out of the car. The two of them were in high spirits and looked like they had had a good sleep. Especially Jiang Zhuying, whose skin was so white and rosy that it seemed like it was glowing. What's going on? Shouldn't it be that the car was repaired all night long? Chapter 99 Mechanical Modification Seeing Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan looking at him dumbfounded, Jiang Lusher coughed lightly and said, I have spare glass and tires on my car. Spare glass? 
Is that okay too? It is normal to have a spare tire in the car. But spare glass is still a once-in-a-lifetime thing. However, even if there are materials, it is really outrageous that this car can be repaired like this overnight. Most people may have no idea how time-consuming and labor-intensive car repairing is. But Zhang Hai is a professional car repairer. And Sun Kun usually helps him a lot. They are all superpowers. But they break out in a sweat every time they undergo major repairs. Faced with a lot of major damage. They can only repair it. It is basically impossible to restore it to like new. It's not that I can't do it. But that I don't have the time and energy. And I don't have the need. Now is no longer the time to show off by driving a cool sports car. It doesn't matter whether the car looks good or not. Who would waste energy on this? Therefore, the expressions of the two people looking at the minibus and Jiang Lusher were as if they had seen a ghost. Not only did he repair the car, he also restored its appearance in a leisurely manner. How easy it was to repair it. Moreover, they were guarding the door last night. Although they were sleeping, they were always vigilant and would wake up immediately if there was any movement. But they didn't hear a single sound about Jiang Lusher's car repair. This is so unreasonable. Jiang Lusher also knew that his excuse could not deceive anyone. When Jiang Zhuying saw the car this morning, he turned around and returned to the car, muttering, Maybe my posture when getting up is wrong. He looked at Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan and directly repeated the statement he just used to explain to Jiang Zhuying. Actually, you should have noticed that you and I are a little similar, but also a little different. Brother Jiang, why don't I quite understand what you are saying? Zhang Hai was confused. Sun Kuan suddenly thought of Jiang Liuxiu's answer when Jiang Zhuying asked Jiang Liuxiu if he was a superpower after the previous battle with Xue Lang and the others. He didn't completely deny it. Just said it was different from them. But Sun Kuan didn't understand much at that time. And Jiang Zhuying quickly changed the question. So he couldn't ask any more questions. Now, Jiang Lusher said this again. I should be considered a person with superpowers. But I'm different from those of you who have mutated limbs or mutated cells. Jiang Lusher said. We can't talk about the star seed. And the special nature of the base vehicle needs to be kept secret. But it's really unimaginable for an ordinary person to do this. If you use your identity as a superpower to hide it. It will look more normal. This, brother Jiang. What is your superpower? Zhang Hai scratched his head and asked. With his thinking, it was really difficult to understand. If it wasn't a limb mutation or a cell mutation, then where else could it be mutated? In fact, to be precise, people with superpowers are mutants. Isn't this a consensus? Even a carefree person like Zhang Hai knows this. Mechanical modification, Jiang Lusher said. He had already thought about it, when he was lying on the sofa last night. If he directly talked about the evolution of the brain, it would not be difficult for Jiang Zhuying and these people to understand. But it was still difficult to explain what it had to do with repairing cars. So he simply thought of a new superpower, mechanical transformation. This superpower is not something that was made up out of thin air. Although all the transformations were actually completed by the star seed. The star seed was bound to Jiang Lusher and could not be discovered by others. The transformation and repair power of Star Seed is considered by others to be Jiang Lusher's power. The materials needed for car repair and renovation were also collected by Jiang Lusher. Mechanical modification? Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan looked at each other and saw the word, confused, on each other's faces. What kind of power is this? I have some special abilities in mechanical repair and modification. I can't explain the specifics. As for the principle, don't look at me like that. I don't know either. Jian Lusher said calmly. Of course, there is nothing wrong with what he said. Although there are many superpowers who know what abilities they have. They themselves are confused when it comes to fully explaining the principles of these abilities. At most, they know that it is a mutated hand. The legs mutated. The cells mutated. How it mutated or to what extent it mutated is completely unknown. This is true for ordinary abilities. Let alone mechanical modifications. Which are very confusing at first sight. Hey! The apocalypse is here. So what's the matter? Brother John's power is special enough. But there's nothing strange about it. Sun Kuan said with emotion as he looked understanding. When talking about the end of the world, Zhang Hai suddenly felt that it was not so strange. To say strange. Are zombies strange or mutant beasts strange? Even they themselves would have been sliced into pieces in the past. Now, aren't they just ordinary superpowers with low strength? Brother Jiang, your superpower seems to be for repairing cars or something. But I think your marksmanship is so accurate. It may have something to do with it. They are all machines. So this superpower is pretty good. Zhang Hai said with an envious look. 
His own superpower is not a professional car repair, but he can only use it to repair cars. The difference between this person and others is really blinding. Yes, Brother Jiang. When your power evolves, maybe you can modify the gun? You can repair the car like this in one night. Intact as before. This is very useful in the end of the world. Sun Kuan also nodded. Jian Lusher didn't know what to say, so he didn't say anything. The two people not only convinced themselves to accept this statement, but also used their reasoning abilities to help him add something, which saved him the trouble. Talking. But Brother Jiang, with your special power, you can't sense any energy. If you don't say anything, everyone will treat you as an ordinary person. Zhang Hai said again. He and Sun Kuan were ordinary people before. After the apocalypse, they seemed to have become a little special when they had superpowers. Therefore, it was quite worthy of concern for them whether they could be recognized as superpowers thing. But before he finished speaking, Sun Kuan pulled him over. Look at Brother Jiang. Do you still need to use energy induction to judge whether he is strong or not? Zhang Hai thought about it. Yes, they all thought Jian Lusher was just an ordinary person before. And some people even regarded Jian Lusher as a burden. But now, he and Sun Kuan were completely convinced. Jian Lusher said that Yang Qingqing's incident was an accident before. But now, they have actually determined in their hearts that Yang Qingqing must have been killed by Jian Lusher. But even if they knew it now, they wouldn't have any objections. This incident reminded them not to provoke Jian Lusher. Come on! Come on! It's time to eat meat! Zhang Hai hurriedly ran to get two skewers of freshly roasted mutated beast meat and handed them to Jian Lu Shi and Jian Zhuing. In the apocalypse, the top priority is eating. And when eating, of course the strongest person in the team eats first. After eating, Jian Lu Shi and others set off, carrying so much supplies. Zhang Hai and San Kuan felt really uneasy outside, just like ordinary people walking on the street with huge sums of money. They couldn't wait to rush back to the camp. Chapter 100 is all supplies. The survivors who stayed in the villa camp were nervously waiting for news from Jiang Zhuying and the others all day and night. Although they are not parasitic borers. Without those superpowers, it would be very difficult for ordinary people like them to survive. These people all knew that Jiang Zhuying and the others went out to collect some metal for her brother. Metals can neither be eaten nor exchanged for supplies. On the contrary, for this collection, a lot of materials and weapons will definitely be consumed. But there's nothing we can do about it. Zhuying protects her brother wholeheartedly. She will support her brother unconditionally no matter what he wants to do. A woman said to the people around her. This woman is considered to have some strength among these ordinary people. And she is on good terms with the superpower Yang Qingqing. So her words naturally have a certain degree of credibility. You can't blame Zhuying. He is his brother after all, said a survivor. Zhuying has always been very reliable in her work. Maybe she has her own considerations. Another survivor also said hesitantly. Without Jiang Zhuying, whether they could survive until now is a question. To Jiang Zhuying, these people are grateful in their hearts. I don't blame Zhuying, the woman said quickly. I just think that her brother should think more about Zhuying and not be so selfish. Qingqing Qing also tried to object to this matter. But unfortunately, Zhuying if you don't want to listen. Well, maybe it's because you care and you become chaotic. While she was talking, she was also thinking about what happened to the thing Yang Qingqing Qing planned. Before going to collect medals, Yang Qingqing complained to her and vaguely mentioned asking Jian Lusher to take out the car for public use. If Jian Lusher couldn't explain it, she might even make Jian Lusher disappear, calculating mentally but not intentionally. This woman felt that the possibility of Yang Qingqing's success was very high. She is now saying these words among these survivors to suppress Jiang Zhuying's prestige and let Yang Qingqing give more support. When Yang Qingqing comes back, she will definitely get some benefits. For example, if she is assigned to that car, her survival rate will be greatly improved. Seeing that the survivors were silent and obviously not completely disappointed with Jiang Zhuying, the woman immediately rolled her eyes. Do these ignorant people really think they can get more benefits by fawning over Jiang Zhuying like this? It doesn't matter. When Yang Qingqing and the others come back, they will naturally know that she is right. It's back. It's back. A survivor standing guard on the roof saw the convoy appearing in the villa area from a distance and immediately ran downstairs and shouted. More than a dozen survivors quickly gathered at the gate. The woman followed the crowd with a calm expression on her face, as if she had never said anything before. Why is there an extra truck? It's made of metal. Right. Aren't you going to collect metal? These survivors were waiting eagerly at the door. But what was different from the past was that this time, 
they were not looking forward to collecting any supplies, but were worried about how much they had consumed this time. Although they would not criticize Jiang Zhuying, the woman's words just now did make them feel a faint cloud in their hearts. Soon, three cars arrived at the door of the villa. Seeing Zhang Hai and Sun Kun getting out of the car, some survivors immediately gathered around them, ready to help get their things. But usually at this time, everyone is excited. But this time facing the metal, they really couldn't get excited. Ha ha! You have to be ready to work hard today, Zhang Hai said with a smile. These survivors forced a smile. It looks very heavy. I collected a lot. Right. If it weren't for Jiang Zhuying's sake, they really wouldn't be able to laugh. After collecting a bunch of useless metals, everyone had to work hard for these metals. It's quite a lot. But it wasn't collected. It was taken from a group of bastards. Sun Kun said as he jumped onto the truck and reached out to open the compartment. Seize? It's just some metal. If there's nothing to seize, why should anyone regard it as a treasure? These survivors felt a little baffled. And they had just heard from the woman that superpowers like Yang Qingqing were very reluctant to go and were forced to do nothing. Why are Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan so happy now? I'm so happy. I don't know if I'm just pretending. At this moment, there was a click and the compartment door had opened. In the car, the mutated beast meat was not easily fixed in the bag. During the bumpy journey, they had followed the inertia and been pushed to the door of the car. As soon as the door was opened, several bags immediately fell down, almost hitting the survivors. They were so frightened that they screamed and left, breaking out in cold sweats. Be careful! This is metal! One of the survivors just screamed and suddenly stopped talking. When metal hits the ground, no matter what kind of metal it is, it must be loud and distinctive. However, when these bags fell to the ground, there was a muffled sound. Judging from the shape of the bags, they did not look like they were filled with metal. One of the survivors sniffed slightly. Uh, I seem to smell the aroma of meat. The survivor raised his head and said to the other people in a daze. Okay, okay. Stop playing tricks here. This is meat. Zhang Hai said loudly. Not only is this meat, this truck is full of all kinds of supplies. There are guns, bullets, meat, dried vegetables, and dry food. The truck is full. Upon hearing this, these people were stunned. One survivor, somewhat disbelieving, went up and opened a bag. As soon as the bag was opened, a large piece of tender mutated beast meat appeared in front of everyone. At this time, another survivor had climbed into the car. He was rummaging around inside and soon shouted excitedly, It's all food! There's a lot of it! This is the first time that so much supplies have been brought back at once. And the variety is rich. Everything is available. Whoops. All the survivors crowded into the truck. Several survivors climbed onto the truck and handed the supplies down one package after another. What about the metal? One survivor asked the people around him. At this time, John Hai opened the trunk and rear door of the off-road vehicle. There are more here. Two more people. Several survivors walked over, and they guessed that the car was probably filled with metal. However, when I took out the heavy box and took a look, I saw that they were all bullets. There are also guns. So be careful, John Hai said. So you went to collect supplies? The woman also walked over and said happily. It was Qingqing who persuaded me. Right. Fortunately, Chuing was finally willing to listen and stopped looking for those useless metals. In this case, the car was probably obtained. And Jiang Lusher might have been killed as well. If Jiang Lusher died, there would be no need to look for metal. The woman continued cheerfully. Qingqing is still sane. Fortunately, Chapter 101 What Are You Looking For? Third Update After hearing this, several survivors around him nodded in understanding. So that's it. Everyone was happy to see so many supplies. This woman was right. Fortunately, Yang Qingqing persuaded her to stop. So she achieved such a big gain. Unexpectedly, at this time, Zhang Hai stared at the woman and sneered. Reason? Hee <laughs> hee. This is lucky. If I hadn't collected metals, how would I have these materials? I should be lucky to have collected medals for Brother Jiang that's right. The woman was stunned for a moment. Why did Zhang Hai react like this? What does he mean? If we don't collect metal, we won't have these supplies? And who told you that we didn't collect metal anymore? Zhang Hai picked up a brightly polished gun and said, These were stolen by Boss and Brother Jiang when we were collecting metal. Have you seen my Bai Bang? It is a hero now. Ha ha. You haven't seen how accurate it was when it was in Brother Jiang's hands. If you see it, I will give you two more courages. Don't dare to gossip behind your back here. 
When Zhang Hai said this, he looked at the gun and sighed again. Oh, I feel like I'm insulting it by holding this gun now. My shooting skills are really bad. As the saying goes, there is no harm without comparison. Now that John High fired, he felt like a retard and couldn't shoot accurately. He didn't pay attention at all. After he finished speaking, the woman was stunned, and the other survivors turned their heads one by one, looking at Jiang Lusher with disbelief. Soon, the origin of these supplies spread among the survivors. The survivor's guess was not an exception. Everyone originally thought that way. But now, their ideas have been completely overturned. Jian Lusher is not only not a cheat who only deceives his sister. On the contrary, he has proven with facts time and time again that he is powerful. The last time he killed the mutant beast on the way to the satellite city, it was because of his powerful car. Although the survivors had some changes in his opinion, they couldn't say how much they were in awe. But this time, John Hai said personally that Jian Lusher's own strength should not be underestimated. At this time, the gap between superpowers and ordinary people unless they are like Jiang Juying, is not that big. If he is a sharpshooter, his combat effectiveness is much stronger than that of ordinary superpowers. At this time, the woman sneaked up to the minibus. Jiang Juying had just gotten off the car and was organizing the moving of things. The woman stood at the front of the car, standing on tiptoes and looking inside the car. There seems to be no one around. She now urgently wants to ask Yang Qingqing what is going on and whether her plot was successful. If Yang Qingqing succeeds, then she can also drink some soup. But after hearing what Zhang Hai said just now, Yang Qingqing's plan might have failed. So she had to ask quickly whether Yang Qingqing would be exposed. What are you looking for? A voice suddenly came from behind, startling the woman, and she turned around quickly. Brother Jiang. The woman looked at Jiang Lusher in front of her, and her heart suddenly thumped. Brother Jiang, you scared me. The woman smiled and patted her chest. Her figure is slightly plump. Her bust is respectable and her body is choppy in this shot. In this way, she concealed her surprise and panic. Jian Lusher watched her reaction with interest and asked, Looking at you, you were really frightened and your face turned pale. What were you looking for just now? The woman smiled slightly and replied naturally, Looking for Qingqing. Qing. I didn't see her. You're looking for Yan Qingqing. Qing. Why are you looking for her in my car? Jian Lusher asked again. This is not just in case. The woman didn't know what to say. She didn't know why. But looking at Jiang Liusher's eyes staring at her, she felt a little weird, as if Jiang Liusher knew everything. But she and Yang Qingqing were the only ones talking at that time. How could Jiang Liusher know? Even though she thought so in her heart, the woman suddenly didn't want to continue talking face to face with Jiang Liusher anymore, and she felt a little panicked in her heart. Forget it. I'm very busy now. Maybe I didn't notice her. I'll come find her later, the woman said. After saying that, she turned around and left. But as soon as she turned around, she screamed again. Why did Jiang Lusher silently block in front of her again? I'll take you to find her, Jiang Lusher said, reaching out and grabbing the woman's arm. Looking at Jiang Lusher's smile, the woman seemed to see a hint of coldness in it. Her heart skipped a beat, and she was about to throw away her hand. Brother Jiang, what are you doing? You? Her athletic ability was much stronger than that of ordinary people. But when she was about to throw her hand away, Jian Lusher grabbed her arm without any resistance at all. The survivors were moving and were shocked by the collection process. Unexpectedly, they suddenly heard a scream. They followed the sound and saw Jian Lusher grabbing the woman and dragging her to the minibus. The woman's expression was distorted, and she struggled desperately while shouting, What are you going to do? Bamboo Shadow! Bamboo Shadow! Look what your brother is doing! Jian Lusher is a young man, and his strength is naturally greater than that of this woman. This woman is completely powerless to resist when he catches her. But seeing the woman still opening her mouth to bite, Jian Lusher showed a sneer at the corner of his mouth and reached out to touch her waist. Be honest. With the cold muzzle of the gun pointed at her head, the woman didn't dare to move for a moment and said in horror, Jian Lusher, what do you want to do? Are you crazy? Shuing! Shuing! Where's Ching Ching? Ching Ching! Hurry up, help me! The survivors, Zhang Hai, Sun Kuan and Jiang Juying all came over. Although Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan didn't know what happened, they looked at this scene without speaking. They had a somewhat understanding of Jiang Liusher's character, although they couldn't be easily provoked. They didn't like to take the initiative to deal with others. Unless this woman had done something, she would not be treated like this by Jiang Liusher. As for the other survivors, although they had learned that Jiang Liusher was powerful, 
They had only heard about it and had never seen Jiang Lusher take action. Now that I saw Jiang Lusher's eyes, I really felt a chill from Jiang Lusher's body. Jiang Lusher is not pretending now, but he really has murderous intentions. At this point, the woman's feelings were naturally more intense. Her face was covered with sweat, and her voice was hoarse when she screamed. What on earth are you going to do? You guys are just watching. Stop him quickly! The woman yelled. Stop pretending. Don't you know very well that Yan Qingqing wants me to die and take my car? Didn't you just come to see if I was dead? It's a pity that I disappoint you. Otherwise, Yan Qingqing, if you kill me and get my car, can you get a share of the pie? Right. Jian Lusher said. You want to find Yan Qingqing. I will take you to find her now. Jian Lusher said with a smile. Hearing these words, the woman's howling suddenly stopped. Her expression was stiff and extremely ugly. And she looked at Jian Lusher in panic. Chapter 102 send you to meet her. Yan Qingqing. Died? Everything has been revealed. No. 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 It has nothing to do with me. I originally wanted to warn you. But Yang Qingqing threatened me. I didn't do anything. After being stunned for a moment, the woman immediately yelled crazily. Jiang Lusher wants to kill her. She doesn't want to die. Those survivors were still confused at first. They didn't know what happened and why this scene suddenly happened. Hearing Jiang Lusher's words, he was immediately shocked. Yang Qingqing wants to kill Jiang Lusher? Want to take away Jiang Liusher's car? Surprisingly, such a thing could happen. At this time, a survivor said with a complicated expression, No wonder you keep talking about what happened this time. It turns out that you two teamed up to kill people and seize cars. You and Yang Qingqing are so unscrupulous. Damn, you are so cruel. When brother Jiang went to Satellite City before, he saved her life. Otherwise, with her skills, just wait for death. Zhang Hai cursed angrily. He and Sun Kuan only knew that Yang Qingqing couldn't stand Yang Lusher. But they didn't know that she actually had such vicious thoughts. When they guessed that Yang Qingqing was killed by Jiang Lusher before, they just lamented that Jiang Lusher was ruthless and could not be provoked. Even if they just opposed him. But now they heard that Yang Qingqing deserved to die. Jiang Lusher is not easy to mess with. But he is not unreasonable either. There is nothing wrong with him killing Yang Qingqing. These survivors suddenly became angry. Yang Qingqing did this without considering any consequences. It was completely selfish. If something happens to Jiang Lusher, how will Jiang Zhuying react? Their hope for survival lies in these superpowers. The most important of which is of course Jiang Zhuying. Yang Qingqing's vicious thoughts would definitely implicate them. But she didn't care at all. Now that Yang Qingqing is dead, they cast their angry eyes on Yang Qingqing's accomplices. No! No! The woman glanced at the survivor who betrayed her bitterly and then wailed at Jiang Zhuying. Bamboo Shadow! Zhuying! Listen to me! Aren't we sisters? We they also come here to live and die together! Jiang Zhuying is usually easy to talk to and seems calm and decisive. But after all, she is a young girl with a soft heart. So she might not be able to bear to kill her. However, this time, as soon as the woman saw Jiang Zhuying, her heart sank to the bottom. Jiang Zhuying was looking at her silently with a dead look in his eyes not to mention letting her go. Looking at this posture, Jiang Zhuying is already very restrained if he doesn't come up and electrocute her into charcoal. Jiang Zhuying's heart is very kind. But it depends on what the matter is. Trying to harm her brother had completely touched her bottom line. Jiang Zhuying's bottom line is Jiang Lusher. Aren't you looking for Yang Qingqing anymore? Jiang Lusher looked at the woman shouting with a smile and asked doubtfully. No. 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 I'm not looking for her. She deserves to die. It's all her. It has nothing to do with me. Even if I said those words, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me who did it. The woman was already in tears. Jiang Zhuying's reaction made her completely despair. She finally survived. She couldn't die because of something like this at this time. Zhang Hai, come here. According to Jiang Liosher's original intention, he originally wanted to kill this woman with one shot. But killing people in front of these survivors is still not a good idea. A few minutes later, outside the community, the woman was thrown from the car and thrown on the road. We can't accommodate you in our camp, so you can leave by yourself. This woman stood there. Her face was earth-colored, and her body was like Sid Chaff. Let her go on her own. He, he It would be better to kill her with one shot. No, don't do this. I... But after leaving her behind, the car turned around without hesitation. It wasn't her turn yet for Jiang Lusher to send off in person. But Zhang Hai and the others did it for her. 
Throwing her out of the car is no different than throwing trash. The woman stood on the street, trembling all over. For the first time, she felt what despair was. At this time, one of the dozen zombies in the distance slowly turned around. Seeing that ferocious face, the woman couldn't help crying. In an instant, like a chain reaction, the dozen zombies suddenly turned their heads. When no prey appears, these zombies will only sway slowly. But as soon as they see prey, they will immediately burst out with speed and amazing strength that is stronger than that of a sprint champion. Ah! Ten seconds later, the woman's screams reached John High's ears from afar. To them, this woman was completely unworthy of sympathy. The survivors watched the woman being taken away, although they did not see it with their own eyes. They could probably imagine the fate she was about to face. They were now in awe of Jian Lusher. Jian Liosher's strength has been proven, and his decisive move to kill Yang Qingqing and the woman shocked everyone. Although some people didn't covet Jian Liosher's car, they were curious about it, and now they have given up their curiosity. Brother Jian should join our team. Right. I don't know yet. I hope. Without Yan Qingqing, it would be great if we could replace him with Brother Jiang. These survivors secretly discussed in private. They are now eagerly looking forward to Jian Liusher's joining. If Jian Liusher also joins, it will be much easier for him and Jiang Zhuying to survive together. Of course, it's not possible to say it's easy. There are too many zombies. The areas where they are currently active are actually just suburbs with relatively few zombies, which are the outskirts of the city. The city center where zombies are really dense is the real no-go zone for the living. The sight of so many zombies is so scary just thinking about it, let alone getting close to it. After resting one night in the villa camp, John Hai and Sun Kuan set off quickly the next morning. They only drove a freezer truck and did not carry any supplies. They traveled lightly and went to the satellite city to find buyers. John Hai reinforced his freezer truck again, and its safety performance has been slightly improved, although it is still far from comparable to minibuses. It should not be a big problem for a walk back and forth. It's really better to throw away a car than a car. If it's a minibus, why is there any need to add the word, should? It's definitely no problem. The last time they went to the satellite city, they accidentally encountered mutant beasts. However, mutant beasts were not often encountered. To be precise, the chance of unexpected encounters was actually very low. Especially when there are only two of them, and they don't carry any mutated beast meat. The possibility of attracting mutated beasts is even lower. So just the two of them went there. And as long as they were careful enough, there wouldn't be any big problems. Chapter 103 Spearmanship At the villa camp, Jian Lusher took a rare rest. First, I had a good night's sleep. And when I got up the next day, I moved my body again. Jian Lusher knew that after his brain evolved, his nerves reacted very quickly. But his body's reaction still couldn't keep up. Those professional athletes have extremely strong physical fitness, coordination and reaction capabilities. For example, those football players, NBA basketball players, and fencers have very fast physical reactions and their nerve reaction speed is much stronger than that of ordinary people. Of course, this kind of neural reaction speed obtained through exercise is completely incomparable with Jiang Liusher's brain evolution. However, their physical reaction speed after exercise is what Jiang Liusher needs now. Athletes' training is the result of more than 10 years of accumulation. Of course, Jian Lusher would not imagine that he could achieve such results by practicing in a short period of time. But he could train in a targeted manner. The speed of the gun is very fast. And it only takes an instant to pull the trigger. For Jian Lusher, this is the most suitable situation for him. But using a gun does not mean that the body's reaction speed is not needed. Jian Lusher was in the car before. And the shooting angle was narrow and did not need to be adjusted. Even the adjustment is done through the movement of the car. But what if you get out of the car? Jian Lusher upgraded his biological laboratory and developed a genetic evolution fluid in order to give himself the ability to fight after getting off the bus. There will always be times when he needs to get out of the car. Jian Lusher chose two pistols. He already had a Type 54 pistol before. Among the weapons he got from Shui Lang, he chose another Type 54 pistol. The Type 54 is a military pistol, nicknamed the Black Star. It has very strong penetrating power. At close range, it can penetrate two people with one shot without any pressure. It can also penetrate bulletproof vests and even brick walls of a certain thickness. When Jian Lusher had to choose, he would naturally choose this powerful one. The Bai Bar has strong lethality, but it is not easy to use in some narrow spaces. It is not as concealed and portable as a pistol. So Jian Lusher had already thought about it. 
He would use the Bai Bar in the base vehicle and use the pistol when he got off the vehicle. With these two pistols and enough bullets, Jian Lusher drove out in the base vehicle. There were not many zombies around the villa area. Jian Lusher stopped the car before driving far. After observing the surrounding situation, Jian Lusher sat in the car, checked the gun again, loaded the bullet, and walked to the car door. It was the first time for Jian Lusher to get off the bus in such a place where there was a danger of zombies and to take the initiative to look for zombies. He exhaled gently and then gave the instruction to Xingzhong. Open the car door. Click. After a very slight sound, the car door opened immediately. As the outside air hit his face, Jian Lusher suddenly felt his skin tightening slightly. The street was filled with a faint smell of blood and the smell of rotting corpses. After getting off the car, Jian Lusher was the only one on the street, giving off a desolate atmosphere. The once prosperous central city in the east was now dead. Vehicles were either hit or abandoned on the side of the road with their doors wide open. The shops on both sides of the road were dark, and the things inside looked messy. Some of the windows were broken and stained with blood. Just seeing this situation makes people feel numb. Jian Lusher controlled Star C to close the car door, then slowly held the gun and cautiously took two steps forward. He was walking on the base vehicle. If he was surrounded from all sides at the beginning, it would be a bit too exciting. Now, he can return to the base vehicle at any time. The door will be right next to him and will open immediately with a command. Although his steps were very light, Jian Lusher could still hear his own footsteps clearly. Moreover, Jian Lusher knew that he was not completely the only one on the street. It should be more accurate to say that he was the only living person. Jian Lusher looked towards the surrounding shops and the dark windows upstairs. He vaguely felt that some eyes were staring at him. Ba! Jian Lusher suddenly heard a voice from the side, and he turned around suddenly. His! At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly felt a strong sense of crisis, and a fishy wind was coming from behind him. Out of the corner of his eye, Jian Lusher had already caught a glimpse of a zombie. It was a female zombie with a good figure, wearing a dress, and her body was covered in blood. One of her feet was wearing high heels, which were uneven. But even so, her running speed was extremely terrifying. Before he could turn around completely, Jian Lusher stretched out his right hand from under his left armpit and turned his body slightly at the same time. In his field of vision, the female zombie suddenly slowed down. Boom! There was a gunshot, and a blood hole immediately appeared on the left chest of the female zombie. She fell down in response, her hand still maintaining the same movement as when it was grabbing Jian Lusher. Her fingers were less than five meters away from Jian Lusher. At this time, his left hand also fired. The two gunshots were almost simultaneous. Because in the direction where the sound came from, a child zombie that looked to be seven or eight years old also emerged from the store. Two consecutive gunshots. Two zombies with very sensitive hearing. Were like someone holding a loudspeaker and shouting, Dinner is ready! Twice. As long as these zombies hear a sound, they can immediately determine the direction and source of the sound. After John Lusher killed two zombies, he took another breath and tightened the fingers of both hands holding the gun. Coming! His! Almost in the blink of an eye, more than a dozen zombies appeared at crossroads. Upstairs, shops, and alleyways not far away. As soon as these zombies appeared, they rushed towards John Lusher crazily. John Lusher stood so conspicuously on the street that he was a huge bait for these zombies. More than a dozen zombies rushed towards him at the same time. This scene was very terrifying. Few ordinary people have experienced being attacked by more than a dozen people at the same time. Let alone zombies. With so many hands grabbing at the same person, most people would be frightened out of their wits. Although Jian Lusher had been surrounded by more zombies when he was in the car, this was the first time he faced these zombies alone. This kind of visual and psychological shock and fear is difficult to restrain. Focus! Jian Lusher activated his superpower. And for a moment, the movements of these zombies turned into slow motion, as if they suddenly appeared in slow motion in an intense action movie. Some situations that cannot be accurately judged by the naked eye in panic have become clearly visible. In fact, these zombies did not appear at the same time, and new zombies appeared immediately after them. They were also near or far away from Jian Lusher, and the time when they rushed over was inconsistent. Of course, this difference may only be a few seconds. For ordinary people, this time is equivalent to nothing. For John Lusher, this little time is his only chance to kill so many zombies. Call. In slow motion, John Lusher felt his breathing slow down. The fear also disappeared. 
and in his eyes. There were only these zombies. Now, shoot. Jian Liosher's first shot was aimed at the zombie closest to him. The second shot hit two zombies that were almost in a straight line. Pierce at the same time. Jian Liosher's body reaction speed couldn't keep up. But if he reduced the range of his movements as much as possible, he could still keep up with his eyes as much as possible. Faster. Faster. More accurate. If you look at it from the perspective of a zombie now, you will see Jian Liosher turning around slightly. And the gun in his hand keeps changing its angle. There is no aiming process. And there is no opening and closing movements. Moving and shooting are almost in the same process. Occurred simultaneously. There is a process for the human body to change its range of motion. And ordinary people will spend a lot of time in this process. But what if you don't completely change your posture? But adjust the muzzle with the smallest range of motion? This is naturally much faster. And it is not difficult to do it at all. It is rare to aim during such a fast and short movement. The real test is the accuracy of shooting. And this point is precisely the least problematic point for Jian Lusher. Shot! Shot! Jian Liosher's finger pulled the trigger. But not a single shot was fired by him blindly. In this case, many people will be driven to collapse by fear, be at a loss what to do, and shoot wildly. But in that case, they will only die quickly. Only by staying calm and shooting one at a time can you survive. Jian Lusher initially hit the left chest, which was the bigger target. But as these zombies got closer and closer, Jian Lusher no longer had time to deliberately aim at his left chest. The head and eyes are all targets. He only had one chance to shoot against each zombie. If he missed a shot, his rhythm would be disrupted immediately. At that time, he would have no other choice but to retreat into the car immediately. But at this time, Jian Lusher didn't think about retreating into the car. The zombies fell down one by one. The last four zombies were less than three meters away from him. Bang, 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 bang. When these zombies fell around him, the last two zombies that fell were only one meter away from him. Of these two zombies, one eye was blown out, and the other was accurately hit between the eyebrows. When they fell, their plasma-covered palms had already touched the toes of Jian Liusher's shoes. For a few seconds, Jian Liusher felt as if he had just run a 2,000-meter long run. With sweat on his forehead and palms, he stood up and retreated to the car to lean against, his eyes continuing to stare at the surroundings while he continued to breathe. Jian Lusher found that his body was heating up. When he was fighting, his speed was not enough at the beginning. But soon, his speed improved slightly. This improvement cannot be seen with the naked eye. But it can be felt when his power is activated. Mutated Beast Meat Jian Lusher thought of the role of mutant beast meat. Ordinary people eating mutated animal meat for a long time can also enhance their physical fitness. Ordinary people who eat mutated animal meat will see faster results when exercising. After the recent practice, Jian Lusher felt that he was also familiar with the use of the brain field. People with superpowers originally need to evolve through fighting and eating mutated beast meat. And the same goes for Jian Lusher's brain evolution. His physical fitness has also been improved through such exercises due to the consumption of mutated animal meat. Chapter 104 Black Market The zombies attracted by the gunshots kept running from further away. In the end, all the zombies nearby who could hear the gunshots were gathered here at Jian Lusher. After the last shot was fired, Jian Lusher stood there and waited for three minutes. But no new zombies appeared. He wiped his sweat, put down the muzzle of the gun, and looked around. The street was centered around him and the base vehicle. Within a 30-meter radius, there were corpses of zombies, especially in the fan-shaped area in front of him. The corpses were piled on top of each other. But between him and these zombie corpses, there was a vacuum area of about one square meter. And this location was filled with bullet casings and empty magazines. The May 4th pistol has a magazine capacity of only 8 rounds. Jian Lusher holds 2 guns in both hands, which means 16 rounds of bullets. When he shoots, he will count the number of bullets remaining in the magazine to avoid wasting time by firing blanks. In extreme cases, being able to do this when he is nervous is also the ability that brain evolution has given Jian Lusher. Blood flowed out from the pile of corpses and toward Jian Lusher's feet. He stared at the corpses twice more, and then said to Xing Jing, Open the door. Buzz. The base vehicle started, then ran over these corpses with a slight bump, and drove towards the villa area. The zombie corpses on the ground were left behind by the base vehicle, which looked shocking. In the car, Jian Lusher held the steering wheel with both hands, with a somewhat excited expression on his face. The training just now continued, and the number of zombies increased. He shot almost as soon as he saw the zombies. 
he relied on his strong nerves to adjust the muzzle in an instant. What Jiang Lusher has to do now is to train his hand and hand-brain coordination. If whenever he attacks, he can shoot and aim simultaneously, just like the body's instinct. In this way, his muzzle will it completely kept up with his nervous reaction speed. Of course, today's practice only allowed Jiang Lusher to become familiar with this fighting method. To use it proficiently, more practice is needed until the body completely memorizes the feeling of this kind of muscle mobilization. Moreover, the combat scenarios that Jiang Lusher practiced today were relatively simple. When he actually entered the building to search, the zombies did not come from dozens of meters away, but suddenly appeared in front of and behind him. In this case, the reaction time left for him is probably only a tenth of a second. This mutated beast meat is really useful. After such a high-intensity practice, the muscles are heating up, but there is no soreness at all. Jian Lusher moved his fingers holding the steering wheel. He fired continuously, and there was no sign of any pain in his arms or fingers. Discomfort? Whether it is high-speed movements with tight muscles or constant recoil, it will cause muscle soreness. After some practice, you may not even be able to lift your arms. But Jian Lusher has no such trouble. His strongest feeling right now is hunger. His stomach was rumbling, making him feel as hungry as if he could eat a cow. While Jian Lusher was still driving, he eagerly took a few pieces of chocolate from the driver's seat, tore open the packaging bag with his mouth, and stuffed it into his mouth. No! You have to eat meat! You have to eat mutated beast meat! These ordinary foods cannot bring any feeling of eating at this time. And the belly is too empty. Jian Lusher finally understood what mutated beast meat meant to those with superpowers. Every time they experienced a battle, they could eat a large amount of mutated beast meat. Although Jian Liosher's body had not mutated, his brain had evolved. The energy consumed by the high-speed operation of the brain was no less than that of muscles. Using this kind of energy was far beyond normal. Human abilities also feel like this. Back at the villa camp, Jiang Zhuying sat aside with her face in her hands and watched with wide eyes as Jiang Lusher ate nearly 6 kilograms of mutated beast meat in one go. There are more than 10 plates piled aside. After taking the last bite of the smooth and tender mutant beast meat, Jiang Lusher finally showed a satisfied look and put down his chopsticks. Finally full, Jian Lusher said. That feeling of being hungry and scratching your heart and lungs is really uncomfortable. Now that so much mutant beast meat had entered his stomach, waves of warmth immediately flowed from his abdomen to all parts of his body, giving Jian Lusher a very comfortable feeling. He felt that there seemed to be a vague itchiness under his skin, as if something was crawling around. And as this feeling came, the physical strength he had consumed was also rapidly recovering and his mind was clearer than ever before. Even if he did not activate his powers, he felt that his vision seemed to be clearer than usual. Brother, is it delicious? Jiang Zhuying asked with a smile. Well, Zhuying's barbecue is pretty good. Jiang Lusher also smiled. Mutated beast meat is a necessity for superpowers. Without mutant beast meat, superpowers can't use their abilities at all. Just like a car that needs to be burned, gasoline and rockets need to burn fuel. Extraordinary power must have a source of power. At this moment, loud conversation sounded outside the door, and Sun Kun and Zhang Hai walked in laughing. Brother Jiang, let's find out the matter. After killing the Blood Wolf organization, they obtained a large number of weapons. Jiang Zhuying's team could not use them. They wanted to replace them with mutated crystal cores. So they asked Sun Kun and Zhang Hai to inquire about sales. Brother Jiang, it's like this. There are a lot of weapons left by the Blood Wolf. Even a single team can't buy so many. If we want to sell so many weapons, there are only two places to choose from. One is Jinling Satellite City. The militaries, there are a lot of teams in the temporary garrison. We are selling weapons in the Satellite City. We should be able to sell them all. Is that the price? It is probably a few percent lower than the military. Sun Kuan introduced and Jian Lusher nodded. Many of the weapons sold by the military are brand new. They come to sell second-hand weapons. If the price is not lower, why don't people buy the military's weapons? Moreover, the credibility of the military is always better in the eyes of ordinary people, and they will never sell defective products. But for second-hand weapons, they do not understand guns, so they are inevitably worried. Where is another place? Is this the second place? It's far away. It's a black market located in the outer suburbs of Jinling, close to Lawn County. It's far away from the military acquisition point of the Satellite City. So many teams nearby have no way to come to the Satellite City. The transactions there are organized voluntarily. And weapons are very scarce. 
the price of pistols alone is 50 to 60 percent higher than that in Satellite City. As for rifles, it is even less. It is not surprising if it doubles or triples. Oh, Jiang Liuxia's eyes lit up. Chapter 105 Choosing Your Own Butler? In China, weapons such as rifles and submachine guns can only be found in military regions and armed police forces. In general police stations and police stations, you can find a few pistols, body armor and the like. When the apocalypse comes, pistols are easy to get, but rifles are really difficult to get far away from the military. The pistols in the black market should also be from the satellite cities. The distance is long, which is the value. If there is any commodity in the apocalypse, if the service price increases the most, it may not be food, but express delivery. How far is the black market from here? Jian Lusher was already tempted. Selling weapons in the satellite city would not only make a loss, but also offend the military. After all, they were robbing other people's business on their territory. On the black market, the price difference of more than twice was enough to seduce Jian Lusher. Although the journey was far, but with the base vehicle there, I believe there would not be much danger. 80 to 90 kilometers. But some roads are blocked by abandoned vehicles. You may need to take a detour in some places. I used to be from Jinling. The black market is located on the outskirts of Lawn County. I know the place. John Hai said simply. John Lusher nodded. Okay. Without further ado, let's set off now. Okay. John Hai and Sun Kui were all gearing up when they heard Jiang Liuxia's decision. They had followed Jiang Liuxia before, and the battle was invincible. They were all excited. Many people have a spirit of adventure lurking in their hearts. Although this apocalypse is cruel, it can sometimes arouse people's bloody nature. Jiang Hai jumped on the freezer truck and started the car directly, while Sun Kun drove a Hummer SUV. As for Jiang Zhuying and Jiang Liuxia, of course they still drove base cars. Jiang Zhuying is now completely in love with Jiang Liuxia's base car. She can take a bath in the car and charge it at any time. She can watch those anime for a while. At this moment, just after setting off, Jiang Zhuying began to charge the battery pack of the base vehicle. Jiang Zhuying was an electric slave. Every night, he had to charge his mobile phone to full power. Otherwise he seemed uneasy. Unexpectedly, this habit has not been given up until the end of the world. Jiang Lusher shook his head and ignored Jiang Zhuying. He was with his sister, and had this minibus with everything he needed. In this crazy apocalypse, it was only here that Jian Lusher felt most at peace. The direction of Lan County is exactly opposite to that of the satellite city. From Jian Zhuying's base to Lan County, most of the routes passed are in the suburbs and countryside. The 80-90 kilometer drive took only an hour before the end of the world. But now, it would take no less than three or four hours. This was just an estimate. If there were any emergencies or something, it might take a whole day. When the base vehicle left the community and headed towards the suburbs, everything as far as the eye could see was a dilapidated scene. There are abandoned cars, littered debris, and burn houses everywhere. The nearby shops have been looted by survivors. The windows are broken and messy. Sometimes there are dark brown blood stains on the ground. Scattered corpses. These corpses were all of zombies and were mutilated. Living people here will not leave corpses at all. Zombies are very sensitive to the smell of blood and they especially love living flesh and blood. When ordinary people die, they will be devoured by zombies long ago. Even the bones will not be left. Only one will be left. Tuan Black Blood. Even zombies will be eaten by other zombies after they die. It's just that the hardened and deteriorated meat seems to be not as delicious as fresh flesh and blood after all. So it will be left behind. It has been so long since the end of the world. But these mutilated zombie corpses have not decayed. Like mutated beast meat. They can exist for a long time in hot and humid conditions. But the rancid smell of the zombies themselves still makes it difficult to breathe. Brother Jiang, there are corpses ahead. About 20 or 30 zombies. Jiang Hai's voice came from the car in front. Crash him over. Jiang Lusha replied without changing his expression. Good. As soon as Jiang Hai stepped on the accelerator, the powerful refrigerator truck roared and the thickened steel plate rushed towards the zombies. Bang, bang, bang. With a heavy muffled sound. A dozen zombies were knocked away by Zhang Hai. Minibuses followed behind. And the fish that slipped through the net were knocked down by Jiang Lusher. Sun Kun in the middle was much safer. The SUV he drove was really useful. The SUV can't hit zombies even if it hits one or two. But if it encounters a group of zombies, the SUV will have to be blocked. Jiang Lusher held the steering wheel with one hand and held the body bar in the other hand against the car window. 
he was on guard against mutant beasts. A small group of zombies could not threaten the base vehicle. But if there were mutant beasts, that would not necessarily be the case. Especially now. All the mutant beasts Jian Lusher encountered were level 1. Jian Lusher still didn't know what the concept of level 2 mutant beasts was. At this moment, Jian Lusher felt the sea of consciousness tremble slightly. And Xing Zhong's voice sounded in Jian Lusher's mind. The base vehicle butler is 75% complete. Now the host can choose the base vehicle butler form. Um? Jian Lusher was startled. Choose a form? After killing the blood wolf before, the base vehicle evolved to the second stage and began to complete the base vehicle steward. Jian Lusher had never thought about what the base car steward was before. But now, the selection bar popped up in front of him. The first item choose specialization. Jian Lusher took a look at Zingseed's introduction. This base car steward has twice the physical fitness of ordinary people, both in strength and reaction. But on this basis, you can choose ability specialization, such as making it stronger and faster. Faster. Stronger defense. More accurate shooting. Etc. Defense and accuracy are eliminated first. This base car steward must assist and protect himself. Its defense alone is of no use. As for accuracy, I repeat myself, it is useless. Jian Lusher was not in a hurry to choose. He continued to look down. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment when he saw the second option, which was to choose gender. Gender? So the base car steward is a living person? Jian Lusher was not sure whether the base vehicle steward was a human, a robot, or even a program, such as a computer steward that could drive the base vehicle automatically. But now, it's actually a human being, which is interesting. Jian Lusher continued to read the introduction. Gender selection does not affect the ability of the base car steward. It is the same for men and women. The third choice is the appearance of the base car butler. This choice can be conceived by the host himself. He can make a base car butler with exactly the same appearance and body based on the people he has met in the past. You can create your own ideas out of thin air. And the details are intelligently supplemented by the base vehicle. This, Jian Lusher was stunned for a long time. Based on the images he had seen in the past. Would it be okay for me to choose the appearance of Superman? Wolverine. Or Hulk. Having a Wolverine by your side will definitely turn heads. Though. Only a fool would choose. Wolverine's appearance is cool. But without Wolverine's abilities. It's useless. He wouldn't feel comfortable eating with a big. Muscular man by his side. Anyway. The abilities are the same. Twice as much as ordinary people. And they are always specialized. So it's not as good. John Lusher coughed dryly and something weird appeared in his mind. The setting of this base vehicle kind of tempted me to commit a crime. Chapter 106 Final Fantasy According to the introduction of the base vehicle, the steward of the base vehicle is absolutely loyal to him. Jian Lusher looked at these choices first. The second item is gender. This is the gender. Anyway, men and women have the same abilities. So they're not as good as each other. It's better to choose a woman. It's pleasing to the eye. Isn't it? As for appearance, it's easy to imagine some pre-apocalyptic stars. But this is the end of the world. So what's the use of stars? Jian Lusher is not interested in imagining stars. If you imagine various types of cute girls. Stockings. Long legs. Soft girls. Lolita. Black and straight. Silly and sweet. Ahem. I'm thinking too much. But imagine this picture. A beauty with long black hair and straight legs. Wearing stockings and short skirt with a proud figure and long and straight legs. She has been following him and obeying his words. But when she encounters an enemy, she suddenly takes out a big weapon as tall as a person. What about an axe? Cutting down a wall with one axe? Or, what about a cute, sweet, cute little Loli who was smiling innocently just now, and suddenly took out a rocket launcher taller than herself from behind? And a rocket bomb exploded a house? Jian Lusher didn't know where he had so many bad tastes. But as soon as this thought appeared in his mind, he couldn't get rid of it. Camouflage. It's all for disguise. Classmate Jiang told himself this. In the last days, only by pretending can you catch yourself by surprise and survive. Otherwise, with a muscular man like an iron tower, people would have already regarded you as a humanoid brute. You have to be careful. And the power you can exert in a real fight will be greatly reduced. Therefore, I choose this kind of soft girl. Not for evil, but for disguise. Jian Lusher quickly found a reason for himself that seemed reasonable and could convince him that he was just and evil. So, what should he choose next? Jian Lusher quickly passed through many images of beautiful women in his mind. 
She's too young and might be misunderstood as she wears it. And it seems too sexy. It's too high profile to dress like that in the apocalypse. Jian Lusher thought for a long time. Reluctantly rejected several images. And finally decided on the candidate. He kept imagining the appearance of the base car steward in his mind. As a result, the image of a 17 or 18 year old girl became more and more plump. She has long flowing black hair. Hanging down on her shoulders like a black waterfall. A high bridge of nose. Thin willow leaf eyebrows. Big and lively eyes. Like a pool of autumn water. Her lips are slender and well behaved. As if she is smiling. But there is a bit of coolness in this smile. A black glossy top with a white tight short t-shirt underneath. Which outlines her perfect and towering chest while revealing her slender waist. Although the waist is thin. It is surprisingly tough. The lower body is wearing a black short skirt. Revealing a pair of thrilling long legs. And the feet are dark red military boots. Finished. Seeing his work. Jian Lusher touched his chin and felt that it was perfect. In real life. With such body proportions. Such beautiful legs. And such appearance. It would be impossible to pick out even one in a million. The form selection is completed. Do you confirm? Confirm. Please give me a name. Name? Just call him Shadow. Even among countless beauties. Ng is absolutely beautiful. She embodies all the beauty of an oriental girl. And most importantly, she is recognizable. Her characteristics are very obvious. This quality comes from the combination of all the facial features, figure, and temperament. It's her. John Lusher thought this way. He chose Shadow as his name because he thought it would be good if this girl could follow him like a shadow and cooperate with him to fight. The image and name are determined. Being generated, remaining 25%. Starseed's prompt came again. 25%. That's a long time. Jian Lusher felt a little impatient and didn't know what Ying's fighting ability was. On the road from the base to the black market, we drove stumblingly and encountered many groups of zombies. At first, the freezer truck drove ahead. But after only 10 kilometers of walking, the freezer truck couldn't hold it any longer. If we continued driving, the tires would be damaged, about to be bitten to pieces. As a last resort, I switched to a minibus in front, relying on Jian Liosher's minibus. They went through thorns and thorns all the way, covering dozens of kilometers and detouring around a small road before approaching Lawn County. This is Jian Liosher's base vehicle. If this vehicle were replaced, even a heavy-duty truck would not be able to hold up and rush into the pile of zombies. The strength of these zombies is so terrifying that the windshield alone can be destroyed in a few blows. The zombies, who don't want to die have been smashed. Once the glass is broken, just wait to have a party with the zombies. Even if an elite team wants to cross hundreds of kilometers in Jinling City, it will have to pay a considerable price. Not to mention casualties. The consumption of bullets alone cannot afford it. Shooting mutated beasts with a gun can still gain something. But shooting zombies is meaningless at present. Moreover, zombies are much more vitality than humans. If a person is shot by an automatic rifle, even if it is not vital, he also lost his combat effectiveness instantly. But as long as he was not hit in the heart or head, he would still be able to climb up even if his legs were broken. These zombies seem to be a little stronger. Approaching Lawn County, Jian Lusher looked thoughtfully at the small group of zombies that had just been crushed by. From the end of the world to the present, human beings are slowly evolving. And superpowers are becoming stronger. As for zombies, they may not be evolving anymore. Thinking of this, Jian Lusher took a deep breath. Who knows what the world will become like if it continues to develop. Brother Jiang, the black market is just ahead. Zhang Hai accelerated to catch up to Jiang Liusher's base vehicle, rolled down the window of the freezer truck and shouted. Jiang Liusher looked along and saw a gray town at the end of the distant road. In this town, some vehicles and tents could be vaguely seen gathered together. At this time, it was approaching sunset, and the setting sun shed its red light, shining on the clouds in the western sky like fire. But in this gray town, under the gorgeous sunset, there is a thick touch of gray, and the misty shadow spreads quietly, waiting for the arrival of complete darkness. Jian Lusher looked at this black market town and nodded. Okay! Chapter 107 Arriving at the Black Market Jian Lusher and his party drove to the entrance of the black market. Before they could stop the car, they saw a few ragged people gathering at the edge of the black market. These people looked ashen and weak, like zombies. They looked at the passers-by with dumbfounded eyes. When someone passed by, they stretched out their hands in vain, as if praying for food, but no one paid any attention to them. Them, if it were before the apocalypse, 
the begging profession might still have some future. But after the apocalypse, many people will starve every day. So how can beggars get anything? Jian Lusher looked at these beggars and shook his head slightly. These people all had hands and feet. They were afraid of zombies. So they would rather beg here instead of searching for food? In this apocalypse, if you are afraid of death, your death will only be worse. This black market has no walls. There is just a simple sign at the entrance that reads, Lawn County Trading Area. Next to the sign, there is a huge animal bone. It looks like a dog skeleton, but is larger than a cow. There were faint traces of dried blood on the dog bones. It was obviously a mutated beast. After it was killed, the flesh was shaved off and the bones were left here. The most valuable thing about mutant beasts is naturally the crystal nuclei. Apart from the crystal nuclei, the flesh of mutant beasts is food for superpowers. And the bones are really useless at present. Once the mutant beasts die, their bones may not be available either. It is so strong that it is far inferior to steel when used to make weapons. Next to the mutated beast bones stood two strong men. Both of them were strong and muscular. And they looked like desperados at first glance. However, they do not have the fluctuations of superpowers. They are just ordinary people. The two men each carried a machete and stood at the door of the trading area like door gods. This was a deterrent for a black market to exist. There must be someone behind it. Otherwise, in this apocalyptic world without rules, normal transactions would be difficult to carry out because the strong will take away the property of the weak. Only if rules are established and maintained through violence can the black market continue to operate. But even so, Things that break the rules are very likely to happen at any time. There is no safety guarantee in this black market. Moreover, Jian Lusher took a look at the road. In the black market, the road was narrow, with stalls and tents on both sides of the road, not to mention base vehicles. Even cars couldn't drive in. If you want to enter the black market, you have to get off. Jian Lusher let out a breath. In this end of the world, he will always get off the bus. This is why he is constantly strengthening himself. Brother Jiang, it's already night, and there's no one in the black market. What should we do? Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan were already following Jiang Lusher's lead. Find a place to spend the night. Jiang Lusher was not in a hurry. The sun quickly set completely, and the night was getting late. The three cars drove far away. Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai took turns to keep watch, while Jiang Lusher and Jiang Juying took a good rest. Of course Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai would not have any objections. Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying were the strongest in the team. So of course they had to keep up their spirits. Jiang Lusher didn't sleep deeply. At dawn, he woke up from a light sleep with a thought in his heart. After his brain evolved, Jiang Lusher's sleep quality was particularly good and his sleep time was also short. However, when Jiang Lusher woke up at this time, it was not because he woke up naturally from sleep, but because Star Sea reminded him that the base car steward was finally completed. Finally! Jian Lusher was excited. The reason he waited all night was also for the base car steward. After all, their weapons are too valuable. And even the makers of the black market rules may be jealous. He maintains the black market just for profit. When there are more benefits in front of him, he will naturally make another choice. In this case, more power means more protection. Regarding the base car steward, Jian Lusher's final choice of specialization was the strength specialization. Agility. Accuracy and defense are not what Jian Lusher wants. So he can only choose strength. Strength is Jian Lusher's weakness. With shadow, to supplement it, the situation will be much better. Strength specialization doesn't seem to be of much use. But some stronger specializations, such as controllability, danger perception, mental detection, etc., are not free. You need to use mutant crystal cores to upgrade. I now have mutant crystal cores myself. It's no use. So forget it. Jiang Lusher looked at Xing Zhong's subsequent introduction and felt a bit pity. The base car steward can also choose weapons. But to create a weapon, you also need mutant crystal cores and special metals. Star C gave out a list of weapons. At a glance, there were two-handed swords, sickles, axes, and spears. These are all cold weapons. There is a long list. And later on, there are even weapons that require secondary crystal cores to build. Secondary crystal nucleus. Jian Lusher smacked his lips. Damn. I haven't seen the second level crystal core yet. The genetic evolution fluid used is free with phone charges. If I really get the second level crystal core, I will definitely know it. If you use it and make weapons for the housekeeper. Isn't that crazy? But let's talk about it. Think about the future scene. 
Kage has been strengthened to the ultimate form. With perfect body proportions. Long breasts and thighs and a thin waist. She looks like a stunner in the world. A top beauty. But she suddenly takes out a two-handed sword as tall as a person. Jumping more than ten meters high. His resilient figure burst out with terrifying power. He cut a mutated Tyrannosaurus in half with one sword. Drawing blood like rain. TSK TSK TSK. It's really good to think about it. Jian Lusher is a little fanciful. But speaking of it, according to the entire strengthening direction, this is not a base vehicle butler. She is a base vehicle goddess of war. Jian Lusher felt more and more that the base car housekeeper had nothing to do with housekeeper. Although she could drive the base car on his behalf. Driving the base car was nothing compared to her combat ability. After the fantasy, Jian Lusher still considered realistic matters. He was now broke and had no mutant crystal core in his pocket. He could only give up the weapons for the time being and buy one on the black market for her to use. Let alone other equipment. Follow-up strengthening is something I'll leave for later. I haven't figured it out yet. That's it. Start generating. After Jian Lusher once again confirmed his choice. The void in front of him suddenly trembled. Under the blue starry sky at dawn. The watery moonlight swayed down from the window of the base vehicle. Forming faint ripples in the air. The ripples spread out in circles. Like a dream. These may be ripples formed by the moonlight. Or they may be fluctuations in the void. While the surrounding misty light spots gather together. Like flying fireflies. Which are too beautiful to be true. Suddenly. This dreamlike brilliance was separated by a pair of bare hands. And a beautiful woman. Who was not much shorter than Jian Lusher. With round and straight legs. Walked out of the dream. She was wearing a black tights. And a black short skirt. The clothes were held up by her breasts. And her slender waist was full of resilience. She was really a character who stepped out of a painting. Chapter 108 Shadow Jian Lusher usually sleeps on the sofa in the small living room of the base vehicle. Sleeping separately from Jian Juying. Now Jian Lusher is the only one in the small living room. It's still dark. And suddenly such a beautiful woman pops up in front of his eyes. Which has a great visual impact on Jian Lusher. One can imagine. If this were a classic otaku. He would be drooling. At this time. Starseed's voice sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. Scanning the host. Scanning. The scan is completed. The consciousness is fully connected. Jiang Lusher immediately felt that he had a very close and special connection with this beautiful woman. Simply put, he was the controller and the controlled. The physical condition of this long, straight black beauty. And all the details were displayed in front of Jiang Lusher just like the data given by Xing Shong. Like Star Seed, this beauty is also bound to Jiang Lusher. And she is absolutely loyal to Jiang Lusher. At first, the beautiful woman seemed to be unconscious. It was not until Xing Zhong asked whether to activate the base car steward and Jian Lusher confirmed, yes, that the beautiful woman's eyes slowly became brighter and suddenly became get inspired. Jian Lusher coughed dryly and was about to say H, Lo. At this moment, the beauty with long black hair spoke first. Are you the host? Uh. Jian Lusher's originally planned words were suddenly stuck in his throat. He said subconsciously, Yes. Etc. Isn't that how the script is written? After a girl with this kind of setting appears, shouldn't she obey her own words and call herself the master? It should be a bright smile, then a salute, and then gently ask, Master, what are your orders? This is a serious line. What is the name of the host? Is there any uglier name than this? It's just a star seed. This girl is also called a tapeworm. Do you think you are a tapeworm? Jian Lusher was complaining in his heart. But looking at this girl with long black hair, she was looking at various facilities in the car, which was the result of Jian Liosher's transformation. Hei Changji bent over and touched the steering wheel of the base vehicle. When she bent over, her tight black skirt perfectly outlined the curve of her perky buttocks, making her look extremely tempting. I said, can you please stop calling me host? It's too unpleasant. Jian Liosher protested. Then what do you want me to call you? Ng stood up straight and turned to look at Jian Liosher. Scream. Jian Liosher was speechless for a moment. No matter how thick-skinned he was, he would never throw out the word master. Call Brother Jiang. Okay. Brother Jiang. Ng called out softly. And I have to say that her soft and soft voice, combined with this call from Brother Jiang, sounded quite nice. At this moment, Jiang Lusher inadvertently discovered that although Ying's breasts were stretched high by her top, under her breasts, she could faintly see the perfect semicircle outlined by the tight t-shirt. This was no underwear. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. That's right. 
when he originally said it. He only said a short t-shirt and a black top. And no underwear. So, is there a vacuum inside? The vacuum is still pretty good. Jian Lusher swallowed a mouthful of saliva without leaving any trace. This is really a blessing. Though, after a while, Ing will follow him into the black market. If he doesn't wear underwear, it won't be an advantage to others. How can this be done? He was thinking about it. And at this moment, the small door of the bedroom was pushed open. Jiang Zhuying was wearing cartoon pajamas and looked at the small living room with a confused look. She heard the sound. In fact, the sound insulation effect of the small bedroom in the base vehicle was very good. And Jiang Lusher and Ying spoke very quietly. But Jiang Zhuying still heard them. Brother, who are you talking to? Jiang Zhuying suddenly saw a large living person in the room and was stunned. However, seeing Jiang Lusha communicating harmoniously with the girl, it seemed that the girl was not an enemy. Who are you? Jiang Zhuying touched his waist without leaving any trace. Ahem! Jiang Lusha felt dizzy, and a base vehicle steward suddenly appeared. Of course, he had to explain. But no matter how he explained it, it sounded weird. Bamboo Shadow! Let me introduce you. This is Shadow! She is mine? Uh, how should I say? She will be mine from now on. Jian Lusher got stuck. What did he say? Subordinates? Bodyguard? Driver? Mercenary? It all sounds so silly. In other words, it was his college classmate who had awakened his powers before and now encountered him in the black market. Although it sounded strange, not only was it a bit too coincidental, but he also felt that something was wrong. At this moment, Ng spoke and she introduced herself generously. You can think of me as Brother John's follower. H. Lo. Speaking of which, our names are somewhat similar. Followers? Jiang Zhuying was stunned after hearing this. She had just gotten up and seemed not quite sober yet. Why does my brother have a follower? Moreover, the body proportions are too good. And Jiang Zhuying obviously also noticed that Ying was not wearing underwear. It was still dark. So she ran to the car and found herself in the same room with her brother not even wearing underwear. Jiang Zhuying had wild thoughts for a while, and her face turned a little red. Jiang Lusher knew at a glance that Jiang Zhuying might have misunderstood, but he didn't know how to explain it. Um, brother, did you meet this beautiful sister on the way to find me? Could it be that her ability is to walk through walls? I didn't seem to feel the car door being open before. In fact, Jiang Zhuying had just inspected Ying. Ying did not have the energy fluctuations unique to superpowers. It was the same as Jiang Lusher. He felt like an ordinary person. But Jiang Zhuying intuitively felt that Ying was not ordinary. Although there are some things that he can't figure out. Jiang Zhuying seems to be naturally very neurotic. And he doesn't bother to think about the reasons. This is the end of the world. There are superpowers and zombies. And people's acceptance ability is generally much stronger. And the same is true for Jiang Zhuying. By the way, Zhuying, go find a set of underwear for Ying. Jiang Lusher said slightly embarrassed. When he said this, Jiang Zhuying stuck out her tongue. She looked at Ying's tall and perky breasts and whispered, She may not be able to wear my bra. It's a bit small. Jiang Zhuying's figure is actually very good, with a slender waist and long legs, well proportioned, and her breasts are just right. Bra? Ying was stunned for a moment, as if he didn't understand the term. Huh? It's just underwear. This? Bra? Ying was stunned for a moment, as if he didn't understand the term. Huh? It's just underwear. This kind of thing, worn on the chest. The bedroom in the minibus was very small. And there was a bed as soon as the door opened. Jiang Zhuying had not closed the door before. So she took a bra that was placed on the bed. She did not shy away from Jiang Lusher at all. And directly put her underwear between Ying and Jiang Lusher. The sight in front of his eyes made Jiang Lusher sweat a little. This girl doesn't treat your brother as an outsider. Is this a bra for combat? The two cups of the bra coupled with Jiang Zhuying's previous introduction as war on the chest, made him think of it, and she took the bra casually and put it on herself. Of course, she didn't take off her clothes and just wore them outside her clothes. Most of Ying's memories are about battles and base vehicles. Obviously, she has not been instilled with information about women's underwear. However, Ying is very smart. She has already seen that the buckles on the back of the bra can be fastened. She has a slender pair if she tried to clasp the ring with her fingers behind her back but her breasts were too plump and it was difficult to clasp them. For a moment, the plump and soft breasts of the girl were squeezed in various ways, and there was no limit to the beauty. Jiang Liosher's lips were slightly dry, 
while Jiang Juying was stunned. Where did this girl come from? She had never even seen a bra. And she wore her bra directly outside like Superman's underwear? How did she get so big and big? Chapter 109 Entering the Black Market As the sun rose, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan kept vigil and slept until about 8 o'clock when they woke up. They finally had a good rest. Zhang Hai washed his face casually and was brushing his teeth with a toothbrush between his teeth. Brushing his teeth is a quality of life that only people with superpowers can have. In fact, toothpaste is easy to find. But ordinary people don't have enough to eat. So how can they be in the mood to brush their teeth? Brother Jiang, are you going to the black market today? There seem to be a lot more people. Zhang Hai said vaguely, holding a toothbrush in his mouth. Come in. As Jiang Lusher spoke, he opened the door of the base vehicle. Jiang Lusher came out first, followed closely by Jiang Zhuying and Ying. Zhang Hai saw that Jiang Zhuying had not reacted. When he saw the shadow walking at the end, his eyes widened and he dropped the toothbrush in his mouth. This. What's going on with this woman? Why is there suddenly an extra person in the team? Who got off Brother Zhang's car? This. This is. Ying's perfectly proportioned figure and a cool temperament that contradicted the big sister next door made John Hai swallow the toothpaste without even realizing it. Heisey! Brother John's woman! What are you looking at? Sun Kun caught up from behind and slapped John Hai on the back of the head. Sun Kun was much smarter than John Hai, although he didn't understand what was going on. He saw such a beautiful woman getting out of the car with John Lusher. She must have been in the same car all night. He didn't know what happened. Woolen cloth. Thinking of this, Sun Kun was really envious. This is the advantage of being strong. If Brother Jian wants food, he will have food. And if he wants mutated animal meat, he will have a lot of mutated animal meat. In the end of the world, this is much easier to use than money before the end of the world. His appearance is not bad. And there is also a car, which is not just an ordinary car. You can sleep on a soft bed and have hot water for bathing. It is also clean and beautiful. In this dirty apocalypse, this temptation for beauties is simply fatal. Taken together, Brother Jiang is a rich, handsome man with a house and a car in the last days of the world. Everyone is suffering in the last days of the world. But Brother Jiang is enjoying happiness in the last days of the world. I don't know when Brother Jiang met this beauty. Was it last night? Brother Jiang is also awesome. The two of them have been taking turns to watch the night. I don't know how Brother Jiang got a beautiful woman to get on the car. Such top-notch beauties are really rare to come by, but not to be found. Sister-in-law is so beautiful. Sun Kun had a sweet mouth and immediately started to flatter him. Ng didn't react to this. In fact, for Ng, except for Jiang Lusher, the host of the star species, in the eyes of Ng, there is only the difference between enemies and non-enemies. Some nasty words will naturally not affect Ying's mood. Any fluctuations. However, Sun Kun's words made Jiang Lusher and Jiang Juying feel uncomfortable. Jiang Lusher was too lazy to pay attention to Sun Kun and Jiang Hai. And he didn't want to explain. Just explain to Jiang Juying. These two younger brothers needed a shitty explanation. Her name is Ying. And she will be in the team from now on. Okay. Let's cook. And after breakfast, we will go to the black market. Yes, yes. Sun Kun and Jiang Hai nodded hurriedly. They roasted mutated beast meat and cooked vegetable porridge to supplement fiber. After a group of people ate and drank enough, they drove to the entrance of the black market. At this time, it was already 9 o'clock in the morning. The black market had just opened. Jian Lusher saw many vehicles driving towards the black market. He also saw ordinary people coming to the black market stalls with some messy goods. Naturally, there are not so many rules in the apocalypse. Stalls are ownerless and can be occupied at will. Those who are strong will naturally occupy a good position, while those who are weak will be in remote corners. But speaking of it, the things sold by those who are weak are also worth much less. Jian Lusher saw a few ordinary survivors, dressed in rags, sitting in a corner selling a pack of tea and a can of coke. He also saw a survivor selling half a pack of cigarettes and a lighter. It was difficult for them to collect food. So they wanted to use these things in exchange for some food. In addition, there are all kinds of small items, such as razors, daggers, canned fruits, jewelry such as medicines that have lost their instructions and only know their names, but not their specific functions. What is even more amazing is that there are sanitary napkins. These, jewelry, even if it is set with more than one carat of diamonds, is not worth much, let alone compared with food. It may not even be as good as A. Speaking of which, 
is also very marketable in the apocalypse. There are many women are forced to make a living and have to run the flesh business. And they are always prone to contracting diseases if they engage in promiscuity. Ordinary people live without tomorrow and don't care about contracting the disease. But people with superpowers still want to live well. If they contract the disease in the end of the world, the disease is not easy to cure. So there is a market for. In fact, most ordinary people come to sell things in exchange for food. Among superpowers, mutated beast meat is hard currency. But for ordinary people, food is life. Tea, cola, and cigarettes are all luxuries. These things that cannot be used to fill the stomach can only be bought by people with superpowers using food. In addition to filling your stomach, you will also add a little enjoyment to yourself. Naturally, people like John Lucher looked down upon these gadgets. However, there were some weak teams that would pay attention to these products. John Lucher saw an adult man carrying a gun bargaining with the stall owner for two packs of cigarettes. Even in the last days, for those who are addicted to smoking, smoking is an uncontrollable urge. John Lucher and his team are very eye-catching in this black market. Whether it is the two beauties with very different styles, or Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen, who are strong and armed with automatic rifles, they are enough to attract attention. On the contrary, Jian Lusher is the most inconspicuous among the five. In order to avoid trouble, Jian Lusher asked Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen to show their guns. Having guns is a deterrent. In addition, they are a group of people who are well-dressed and full of energy. If they can live like this in the apocalypse, children will understand one truth they are not to be trifled with. Jian Lusher could feel that since they entered the black market, someone was observing them. Of course, the focus of the observation was not on himself, but on Jiang Zhuying. Neither Jiang Lusher nor Ying had the energy fluctuations of superpowers. And among the other three, Jiang Zhuying was the strongest. They seem to be doing big business. They don't seem to be interested in these small commodities at all. Not far from Jiang Lusher's team, a young man and a little old man were discussing in a low voice. They are all from other places. Maybe a big fat sheep. You can kill them well and make them bleed. The little old man said licking his lips. Of course, the bleeding he mentioned was just to make a lot of money. In this black market, people will not do anything easily. Otherwise, the rules will be broken. Zhang Hua, go and bring them in. Probably only things from the inner market will make their hearts flutter. Chapter 110 Profiteer The area of the black market is either large or small. Jian Lusher walked all the way in and found that the closer to the black city center, the higher the value of the things sold. On the periphery of the black market, there are only some ordinary people selling daily necessities of small value. The weapons are kitchen knives, daggers, and a few fire axes, which are considered top quality. But in the inner circle of the black market, some high-end weapons began to appear, including engineer shovels, pistols, bullets, body armor, and three-sided military spurs. These things are basically obtained from the police and the military after the apocalypse. Those who sell these things are also people with superpowers. Jian Lusher casually asked about the prices of several guns. They were indeed much more expensive than those sold by the military in the satellite city. These were pistols. Jian Lusher had never seen a rifle. Let me introduce myself. My name is John Hua. Miss, what are you here to buy? At this moment, a voice sounded like a breath of fresh air. A man wearing a suit and shirt, with his hair combed meticulously, walked up to Jian Zhuying with a warm smile on his face. When Jian Lusher saw this person, he was really stunned. There are still people in the apocalypse who can maintain such a look. Those who didn't know it thought they were seeing an insurance sales manager from before the apocalypse. However, when Jiang Zhuying saw the attentive smile on this man's face, he frowned in disgust. This guy looked oily and pink-faced. And it was really annoying that he kept getting closer to her. She glanced at Jiang Lusher. Brother, what do you have? Jiang Lusher asked. The first thing he wanted to buy now was the mutated crystal core. And the second was Shadow's weapon. Shadow is a powerful warrior. A two-handed sword is the best. But it is difficult to get. Yes, but even if it doesn't work, I won't give him a fire axe. That would be too disrespectful. The man in the suit glanced at Jiang Lusher in surprise. He thought that Jiang Zhuying was in charge of the team. But he didn't expect that Jiang Lusher was Jiang Zhuying's brother. He seemed to be the leader of the team. This is not surprising. Sometimes a team is not the best. The strong person should be the team leader. But there should be a team's intelligent brain to be the team leader. Of course, these survivor teams are not large in number. And their intelligent brains are not very smart. 
they can probably do the job without being mentally retarded. Ha ha. We have a lot of things. We also have tons of grain and tons of mutated animal meat. If you want to buy a gun, we can get you one or two pistols. Semi-automatic rifles. Including automatic rifles. Yes, even grenades. Have you ever seen grenades? I can get you three or five grenades. Of course. For the price. Hee <laughs> hee. Zhang Hua smiled and showed a, you know, expression. At the same time, he glanced at the gun in Zhang Hai's hand without leaving any trace. The average survivor team has one or two superpowers and one or two rifles, which are standard equipment. This team seems to be doing okay. A 81 bar and a semi-automatic 56. The 56 semi-automatic is held by Zhang Hai. Zhang Hai is actually not proficient in shooting. Although the 56 semi-automatic is a bit inferior and can only be fired in bursts. In the end of the world when bullets are very precious. For a person who is not good at shooting, it is still holding a semi-automatic is more practical and saves bullets. Zhang Hua's criteria for judging the strength of his team are the number of superpowers and the number of guns. In Zhang Hua's view, Jiang Liuxia's team has the strongest superpower Jiang Zhuying and two superpowers who are not much stronger than ordinary people. The capable Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan. The team leader Jiang Liuxia who thinks he is very smart and awesome but in fact has no strength and will only be held back in a fight. And a beauty in a vase. It should be a night to spend the long nights. But speaking of it, this beauty is really the best. Zhang Hua quickly estimated the strength of Jiang Liuxia's team based on several important parameters, including the quantity and quality of superpowers and rifles. Compared with the teams that organized the black market, Zhang Hua was much weaker. It was also because of this that he dared to he took the initiative to come up and find an opportunity to kill this foreign team. If the team was too scary, he would not dare to do this. He has already seen that the five people on the other side only have one automatic rifle and one semi-automatic. They should soon offer to buy guns. Rifles are a hot commodity near the black market. If Jiang Lusher opens his mouth to buy a gun, he will not it's a big deal and the surname is no longer Zhang. Oh, what's the approximate price? Jiang Lusher smiled slightly. He was not in a hurry and said that he was here to sell guns. This was just a trick for dealing with profiteers. This black market is open here. And its name has the word black in it. How can it not be black? If you seriously ask about the price, you will never get a real price. He will definitely lower the purchase price of the gun very low. I remember that when Jiang Liuxia's parents died and he had to sell his family's house. He didn't say he was here to sell the house when he went to the real estate agency, but pretended to look at the house. As a result, the intermediary mistook Jiang Lusher for buying a house. He boasted for a long time about the increase in house prices and the appreciation in the value of the house. He forcibly justified the ridiculously expensive house prices as value for money. It seemed that if he didn't buy it today, he would be punished the next day. It's like it was sold out. But at this time, Jiang Lusher said calmly, Sister, I'm actually here to list and sell the house. Just set the price according to the price just now. Then, the agency's sister was stunned on the spot. Well, buddy, if you plan to buy a bite gun, you need this amount. This does not include bullets. Bullets are counted separately. Zhang Hua stretched out three fingers mysteriously. Jiang Lusher looked at it and sneered in his heart. The hard currency in the apocalypse is naturally mutated beast meat. Three fingers are three tons of mutated beast meat. Good guy. It's so dark. The bite gun sold by the military only costs 800 kilograms of mutated animal meat and comes with two magazines and 120 rounds of ammunition. An empty gun here has to be sold for three tons. Brother, this price is definitely very real. Seeing that Jiang Lusher seemed to have objections to the price, Zhang Hua hurriedly acted like a good old man. Brother, I also visited the market just now. Did you see any rifles for sale? This rifle is only sold in the inner market, and the seller only has a few teams, and the quantity for sale is also very small so everyone rushes to buy it as soon as it comes out. To tell you the truth, these teams are the founders of this black market. The tax collection and order maintenance of the black market are all supported by these teams, especially the leader of the Seven Gods team. Take the Seven Gods team as an example. There are four top superpowers in the team, and there are three slightly weaker superpowers. That's how the name of the team Seven Gods came from. Brother, let me be honest. Well, the strength of the Seven Gods team is beyond your imagination. Although your team also has a top superpower. The top superpowers of the Seven Gods team are different. 
just talking about the three weaker bosses. In other teams, they will definitely be the leaders. It is also because of this that they have the ability to sell rifles. This is an automatic rifle. When it comes to fighting, the penetrating power of each bullet is stronger than that of the Desert Eagle, who would be willing to take action in ordinary times. That is, a top team like the Seven Gods is too rich. Zhang Hua boasted very enthusiastically. But apart from the price of one and a half tons more mutated beast meat, the rest of what he said was true. Seeing Zhang Huachue, Jiang Zhuing burst into laughter. Unexpectedly, his brother was quite bad. Chapter 111 Top Superpowers Zhang Hua didn't know why Jiang Zhuing was laughing, but he knew that the other party must be laughing at him, which made him feel very unhappy. An out-of-town team came to their own territory and even dragged them along. They dared to laugh at me. This is because they don't know my energy. This black market is the world of the seven gods. As long as you come here, the dragon will be coiled and the tiger will light down. If he hadn't still thought about killing Jiang Lushu, he would have turned against him long ago. But he is still patient now. At this time, Jiang Lushu asked again, Do you have a large-scale gun trade here? Are there any mutant crystal nuclei for sale? He didn't like to see Jean Hua. He felt that the other person's eyes were like snakes. They looked respectful on the surface. But in fact, they were looking back and forth at them. As if they were scanning prey. Large volume gun trade? Hearing Jiang Liuzhu's question, Zhang Hua couldn't help it. A team of five people still wanted to buy guns in large quantities? How precious is a rifle in this world? Even if it is sold in large quantities. Can you afford it? He laughed disdainfully and said angrily. That is to say, the Seven Gods team has many guns. So they will sell automatic rifles. This black market has not been open for long. Until now, the Seven Gods team has only sold two automatic rifles. Rifle. The other teams together only sold one semi-automatic. Who would be willing to sell it? I wonder how popular it is. In other words, after the entire black market was established, only three rifles were sold? Jian Lusher understood. Sure enough, the number of guns in Lon County was very limited. What? Do you think it's too little? Hearing Jian Liuzhu's tone, Zhang Hua became even more unhappy. The sales are few, but there are a lot of guys in hand. The seven bosses of the seven gods team each have an automatic rifle. The other teams, there are quite a few who have more than three guns. Zhang Hua said proudly, and Jian Liuzhu nodded slightly. That's okay. Good? Zhang Hua frowned. He had really lost his patience. Let me tell you. How much mutated animal meat did you bring? The threshold for entering the inner city requires a ton of mutated animal meat. John Hua wondered whether he was a blind man lighting up the lamp in vain. Hearing this leading, Ji Nao directly asked if there was a large-scale gun transaction. This is still Ji Nao. Isn't he mentally retarded? A large number of guns. I want to arm a reinforced platoon. What a foolish dream. A ton? Yes. John Lusher smiled. A ton of mutant beast meat was nothing. Okay. John Hua also believed that Jian Lusher had so much beast meat and that this team was quite strong. Killing a mutated beast was nothing. Then let's go into the inner city. John Hua waved his hand impatiently and pointed to a house in the black city center. Seeing this house, Jian Lusher didn't take a step immediately. Can I bring the car over? It's always unsafe to enter someone else's lair. Jian Lusher would feel much more at ease if there was a base vehicle parked nearby. If it were Jian Lusher himself, the base vehicle would not be able to drive into the black market. But if the black market managers coordinate and move the stalls further, they can still drive in. Drive in? John Hua looked at Jian Lusher like an idiot. He really wanted to ask. Who are you? He still held back and said angrily. Only the seven bosses of the seven gods team are qualified to drive in. They have rich trophies and want to transport large tonnage of mutated beast meat. I have seen mutated beasts weighing three to four tons. Without? John Hua snorted. He was sure that Jian Lusher had never been seen. He was just a brain and usually stayed in the base. Jian Zhuying, on the other hand, might be seen a little bit, but he would probably not be killed if he saw it. Three tons of mutations, the beast is very scary. Three or four tons? Jian Lusher smiled. The first mutated wild boar he saw was almost ten tons. Three or four tons just buys a gun. It might not be enough after shaving the skin and bones. According to the sky-high prices on the black market, three or four tons of mutated beasts, not counting crystal cores, would really not be able to buy a gun. John Hua's eyes widened. Damn it. He met the blowing god today. 
I don't care about three or four tons of mutated beasts. Nor do I care about automatic rifles. Just a gun. To put it lightly, in the end of the world, the lives of a hundred ordinary people may not be worth as much as a gun. Why don't you just an ordinary person? There's no point in bragging. If you don't like guns so much, why do you come to our black market to buy them? When Jiang Lusher asked about the price of the gun before, Zhang Hua naturally thought that Jiang Lusher had bought the gun. Jiang Lusher didn't speak either. It was pointless to talk to Zhang Hua. He was just an errant boy and couldn't make a final decision. And that's it. Drop! The piercing horn of the truck sounded, and a medium-sized truck drove in from outside the black market. Although it slowed down, the nearby stalls along the road were full of people. Jian Lusher had seen people driving in markets before. He passed through a market and couldn't get out of it for half a day. But now, the speed of the middle card was too fast, and people were screaming to avoid it. Some people fell to the ground because they were so anxious to avoid it. Zhang Hua's eyes lit up when he saw this medium truck. It's Boss Yuan. Boss Yuan is here too. Ha ha. The so-called Boss Yuan is the leader of a team of survivors. His vehicle is this modified medium-sized truck, which Zhang Hua recognizes at a glance. Boss Yuan is also a top superpower, and his superpower seems to be particularly good at hunting mutant beasts. This makes Boss Yuan extraordinarily wealthy. He is a big financier in the black market. Of course, in Jiang Liuxia's view, the so-called top superpowers are still first-level superpowers. Ha ha! Boss Yuan has gained something again! Zhang Hua looked at the tipping bucket in the middle card and saw a dead mutant beast. It was covered in black fur and covered in blood. The blood was constantly flowing out. Along the way, the ground of the market was dyed a lot of red. Boss Yuan! Zhang Hua shouted the announcement and went up to him, nodding and bowing to welcome Mr. Yuan out of the car. Boss Yuan opened the car door. He was a middle-aged man with a bit of a beer belly. He was short in stature and had a fleshy face. He also wore a big gold chain about the thickness of his little finger around his neck. He seemed to be a nouveau riche before the end of the world. Behind Boss Yuan, several off-road vehicles followed. The doors opened one after another, and a group of Boss Yuan's younger brothers jumped out of the vehicle with guns in their hands. Boss Yuan is getting rich again! Zhang Hua went up to him with a smile on his face. But seeing that the younger brother next to Mr. Yuan kept away from strangers, he couldn't move forward too much. Boss Yuan is here to hold a trade fair for the seven gods. Right. The mutated beast must be four tons. Right. Boss Yuan glanced at Zhang Hua, lit a cigar, and started puffing away. Jian Lusher also came over, and Boss Yuan was also holding it in his mouth. It was the end of the world, and there was no place to pick up cigarette butts. He could still have a cigar to smoke. However, Jian Lusher saw that Boss Yuan's cigar must have been smoked before. Cigars are no better than cigarettes. They can be smoked for a long time. An hour is not a problem. Sometimes they smoke out half of the cigar and save it for next time. Smoke. Boss Yuan seems to be like this. The main purpose of this cigar is to show off. He only smokes it in public. Does he usually smoke this thing? Forget it. In these apocalyptic times, there are not many cigars to be found. Why did this guy drive in? Chapter 112. Bring the car in. Why did this guy drive in? Jian Lusher asked. Zhang Huaging also said that only the seven bosses of the seven gods could drive in. But he was slapped in the face in the blink of an eye. From Zhang Hua's words before, Jian Lusher knew that this boss Yuan did not belong to the seven gods team. Otherwise, why would Zhang Hua ask him for a special trip? Come to the seven gods trade fair? Boss Yuan also heard Jian Lusher's question. He looked at Jian Lusher like an idiot, with disdain in his eyes. Given his status, he was naturally too lazy to talk to Jian Lusher. In fact, Boss Yuan didn't need to explain this kind of thing. Zhang Hua's face turned cold. He looked at Jian Lusher and said in an unfriendly tone, This black market is the territory of the Seven Gods team, and the rules are also set by the Seven Gods team. Unfortunately, I am a member of the Seven Gods team and one of the deputy managers of the black market. We think whoever can drive in can drive in. From the beginning of the black market to now, Boss Yuan has traded seven or eight tons of mutated animal meat here alone. Of course, he has the qualifications. Boss Yuan is a financial backer in the black market. So Zhang Hua naturally has to stand up for Boss Yuan. As for Jiang Liuxia's team, we still don't know how strong the strongest girl is. Even if she is strong. So what? A team that can bring benefits to the black market is meaningful. Seeing Zhang Hua spare no effort to support himself. 
Boss Yuan also felt that he was proud of himself. He took another puff of cigar, laughed and ignored Jian Lusher. He patted Zhang Hua's shoulder encouragingly and listened as the beer belly entered the room. At this time, Jian Lusher turned to the shadow and said, Drive the car over. Jian Lusher didn't argue at all and just drove in. After being hit by Boss Yuan, all the previous stalls were scattered, and the base vehicle was able to take advantage of this opportunity to drive in reluctantly. Okay, brother Jiang. Actually, I don't have to get in the car. Xing Zhong can drive the car here by himself. This is the function after turning on the base car butler. Ng introduced in a low voice that only Jian Lusher could hear. Only Jian Lusher could drive the original base vehicle. Many times when he got out of the car, he not only had to worry about the safety of the base vehicle, but his own safety was not fully guaranteed. But after becoming a shadow, she could not only drive for Jian Lusher, but also add an autonomous driving function to the base vehicle. Oh! Self-driving? Jian Lusher was startled. You'd better drive over here. Self-driving is too high profile. For pre-apocalyptic technology, autonomous driving is actually not an uncommon feature. But it is still too strange for minibuses to have this feature. Good! After Ng finished speaking, she walked through the market, and after a while, she came back in the base car. The car is 2.5 meters wide, so it is very difficult to pass many stalls, almost grazing. But for Ng, the base car manager, driving a 2.5 meter car is more agile than riding a bicycle. It is not real at all. The rub arrived. Jian Lusher drove by relying on data correction. While Ng drove, she is the base car steward, and driving is one of her instincts. Ng parked the minibus outside the gate of the trade fair. Seeing this scene, John Hua was very unhappy. This John Lusher made the decision on his own territory, but really speaking, it wasn't a big deal, so he just snorted and let it go. After all, John Lusher is also leading a team of survivors, with superpowers and guns, and some strength. So conflicts are always not good. This kid, I'll let him know the gap between him and the Seven Gods team soon, and position himself accordingly. John Hua snorted and walked straight in. At this time, he had already changed his target and followed Boss Yuan. If Boss Yuan spends more at the trade fair this time, he will also benefit. Let's go in too! With the base car parked outside the door, Jian Lusher felt more at ease and took Jian Zhuing and others directly into the gate of the trade fair. The layout of this small building in the black market is very simple. After entering, there is a lobby with five large round tables in the middle. The table in the middle is the largest and the tables around it are slightly smaller. Jian Lusher blinked. This should be a table customized after the end of the world. The trade fair here is a group of people sitting together, exchanging things with each other, and it is very primitive. However, the apocalypse has just broken out not long ago, and it is unrealistic to build a lively and complete market. Generally, there are only seven or eight people in a team. When six or seven such teams gather, there will be no room for them without a big table. Especially the largest table in the middle is completely welded with steel plates and is 4 to 5 meters in diameter. It is surrounded by 8 thigh-thick steel pipes welded into table legs. This table looks extremely heavy. You can imagine how strong it is. It is estimated that during the transaction, 2 to 3 tons of mutated beast meat will be put on it to cut it up. It cannot bear the weight unless it is welded to make it thicker. There are a dozen chairs placed around each table. At this time, many round tables were filled with people but the large round table in the middle had fewer people. According to the Chinese tradition, even if it was not stated clearly, it was obvious that the identity of the people on the large round table in the middle was more noble. If you don't have the strength, you won't dare to sit here. For example, the seven bosses of the seven gods team were sitting on this big round table. And after Boss Yuan came in, he also walked towards the big round table in a carefree manner. On this big round table, there are a group of beautiful girls serving the bosses. They sit on the edge of the chairs, or simply sit on the boss's lap, being held in his arms and played with. Of course, in public, these people also he won't do anything too extreme. Ha ha! Brothers! Long time no see! Boss Yuan cupped his fists at the people on the big round table. And these people also cupped their fists in return. After the apocalypse, people returned to the armed society. In addition to the military and government, etiquette spread unknowingly among civil organizations. It seemed that this kind of etiquette is in line with their status. Boss Yuan, sit down. The speaker was a man wearing a fur cloak. He had a thin face and deep, sharp eyes, like sharp knives. He wears a large sapphire ring on his hand. 
a necklace with a metal skull hanging in front of his neck, and long military boots with metal heels on his feet. He had been holding a thin metal chain, as if he had a precious dog. However, when Jian Lusher approached, he frowned slightly. He saw that he was not holding a dog, but a young woman, a girl with sparse clothing, who looked about 17 or 18 years old, was lying on the ground like a dog, with a metal collar around her neck. She had a pretty face and a pale face. The man in the fur cloak would move the chain in his hand from time to time, and the girl would follow suit. The metal collar rubbed against the skin of her neck until it turned red. This man deserves to die. Seeing this situation, Jiang Juying couldn't stand it anymore. Many people have ugly sides in their hearts. After the end of the world, laws will be abolished and morals will be corrupted. Many ugly sides of human nature may become more serious, especially those who control the power, can be even more unscrupulous. There may be some people who have this idea in mind about raising beauty. It cannot be implemented in peaceful times. Now is the opportunity. In fact, if you take good care of yourself, Jiang Juying can still accept it. But now you see that the girl has been tortured, with many whip marks on her body, and still being led out in front of a large public. It seemed that the man in the fur cloak was probably a pervert. His aura is very strong. He should be the boss of the Seven Gods team. Jiang Zhuying added that her perception of superpowers was very keen. But Jiang Lusher was not bad now. After his brain evolved, many of the abilities he acquired were similar to those of superpowers. It should be. Let's go there. As Jiang Lusher spoke, he led the team directly to the big table in the middle. At this moment, many people turned their attention. Chapter 113 Golden Sword and Iron Horse the big table in the middle is by default reserved for the powerful, including the founders of the black market and distinguished guests like Boss Yuan. The average team knows their own weight. Once they see the layout of the room, they will know where they belong, and they will consciously sit at the four tables in the corner. As for Jiang Liusher's team, it was obviously their first time here, and they were actually. He just walked to the table in the middle carelessly. He didn't understand the rules, and he didn't have any eyesight. Um, the man in the fur cloak frowned and Boss Yuan stared. The fat on his face trembled, and even the girl in his arms squeaked. Her eyes seemed to be red. Just outside the door, Boss Yuan heard Jian Lusher ask a stupid question, asking him why he was qualified to drive in. Now this kid actually dares to sit on the table in the middle? Boss Yuan was a butcher before the apocalypse. After the apocalypse, he awakened his superpower. His superpower was also related to killing pigs, which allowed him to hunt mutant beasts with half the effort. In terms of status and situation, he could be said to have reached the sky in one step, which made him even more intolerant of people. Offend yourself. Go aside. Is this a place where you can sit? Boss Yuan said, pressing his fat hand heavily on the table. Jian Lusher glanced at Boss Yuan and ignored him. Instead, he looked at the man in the fur cloak. There was no doubt that the man in the fur cloak was the real owner of this room. This friend doesn't seem to be a superpower. Right. The man in the fur cloak narrowed his eyes and looked at Jian Lusher. In Jian Juing's team, Jian Lusher was walking at the front and he was leading the way. So he naturally kept an eye on Jian Lusher. Does it matter if I am a superpower? This is a trade fair. Right. I heard before that the threshold for entry is a ton of mutated beast meat. I also have things to buy and sell. So why can't I sit down? Jian Lusher said, sitting on the steel chair opposite the man in the fur cloak with a golden sword and an iron horse. There are many masters in the room, especially the table in the middle, which has a very strong aura. Most people who come here are simply unable to let go. People who can let go have absolute strength, which brings self-confidence. There is only Jian Lusher. He is just an ordinary person. He is sitting here, which makes a group of big guys present stunned. Did this kid take the wrong medicine? And not only did Jian Lusher sit down behind Jian Lusher, Jiang Juying also sat carelessly beside Jian Lusher. The third one was Ying. This beauty, who seemed to everyone to have no energy fluctuation at all, and was just a vase, also looked majestic and sat on the other side of Jian Lusher. Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai, on the other hand, looked at the seats and still didn't sit down. Not only was the lack of aura between the two of them a problem, but the key point was that they felt that they should stand when Brother Jian was sitting. So Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai stood behind Jian Lusher, one on the left and one on the right holding two rifles and cooperating with their five big and three thick weapons. His figure is like that of a door god. Jian Lusher leaned his whole back on the chair, with beauties on his left and right, and two muscular thugs behind him. 
He looked like a gangster brother. Damn it. This guy even got me. A group of superpowers. The leaders of each small team. All had their eyes widened. They were originally very cool, and each had their own style. But when compared, it seemed that they were not as good as this John Lusher. Is this guy the boss or are they the boss? Who the H L is he? He has a ton of mutated beast meat, and he just comes here to show off? A bald middle-aged man cursed. Hasn't he seen mutant beasts? So what if it's a ton? It's not even half a mutant beast. Because they were unhappy with Jian Lusher. These people started to curse. On the other hand, a woman next to Jian Lusher was very kind. She laughed and said, A ton of mutated beast meat is just an admission ticket. It's a small amount. But it's actually a lot. But that's the threshold for ordinary teams to come in. If you want to sit here, you still have to wait. It's not enough. Ha ha ha. The woman looked like she was 30 years old, dressed a bit coquettishly, and took very good care of herself. At this time, a man in a suit rushed to the middle table in a panic. He was John Hua. Boss by. This person is like this. John Hua broke into a cold sweat when he saw Jian Lusher sitting on the middle table without knowing the rules. Especially sitting directly opposite the man in the fur cloak. He was the one who brought Jian Lusher in. When they were chatting in the trading market, he felt that this person was a bit stupid. But he didn't expect that the other party was so stupid that he collided with Boss Bai. It would be fine if he himself was solved. But Zhang Hua, as the person who brought Jiang Lusher into the scene, was likely to be angered by Boss Bai. With Boss Bai's temper, he would be miserable. Boss, this man bumped into me in the market before. He, Zhang Hua plucked up the courage and whispered an explanation in the ear of the man in the fur cloak. As he spoke, he kept glaring at Jiang Lusher with his eyes as if he wanted to kill Jian Lusher. In his heart, he regretted chatting up Jian Lusher. This was completely stupid. It was ridiculous that he actually wanted to kill Jian Lusher before. But now it seemed that it would be better if he didn't fall into it. Huh? Do you want to purchase automatic rifles in large quantities? The man in the fur cloak laughed when he heard Jian Hua's discussion. Of course the people around heard the voice of the man in the fur cloak. And everyone laughed in response. Especially Boss Yuan who laughed the most exaggeratedly. Boy, how many are you buying in large quantities? Is the end of the world coming? Do you want to build an army and become a warlord? Boss Yuan laughed so much that his beer belly was squeezed together. This kid is so funny. I asked him why he had the courage to sit here. It turns out he is a stupid young man. On the other hand, the 30-year-old young woman next to Jian Lusher seemed more friendly. She smiled and said, Little brother, you are so naive. Do you know how much animal meat you need to buy an automatic rifle now? How much? Jian Lusher looked at the beautiful young woman with a half smile. What Jian Hua said before was just a fart. Jian Hua is a little person. What use can he say? It's okay. If he doesn't admit it. But now, in this situation, what they say is different when a person of status such as a beautiful young woman is present. The beautiful young woman held out two fingers and said, A piece of mutated beast meat is at least two tons. And a semi-automatic rifle would also cost one and a half tons. The price quoted by the beautiful young woman was a ton lower than John Hua. If John Hua exposed the high price quoted by John Hua, John Hua would be a little nervous in normal times. But now, because John Lusher is mentally retarded, he doesn't think it's a big deal. Oh, two tons? John Lusher felt happy. Although the price was lower than John Hua, John Lusher knew that this was the real price, or the high end of the actual price. After all, in the current context, if a beautiful young woman quotes will be quoted at a high price. Comparing the price in the satellite city, one gun weighed 800 to 900 kilograms of mutated beast meat, and the price more than doubled. Then if all the weapons in his cart were sold, he would have to replace them with a lot of mutant crystal cores. If the price were this, would you buy it? Jian Lusher dug a hole for the beautiful young woman to dance. Buy it. The beautiful young woman giggled. Her branches quivering with laughter. Chapter 114 is the first single chapter. Please read it. At the beginning, Xiao Xiong would like to apologize. I have tried my best to write this book, but from the time it was published to now, there have been a lot of criticisms. I have read them all. But because the author has less than 500 points, I can't unable to reply. I'm sorry that I can't satisfy everyone. In fact, the author is very conceited. Every time I read a book review, I must muster a lot of courage but I keep reading it. Thank you everyone for your support and corrections. In addition, 
since the publication of the book. I have not published any single chapter, even though I am very eager for recommendation votes. I just ask all book friends to vote for Little Bear at the end of the chapter. Because I don't want to affect everyone's reading experience. It's also because, I think, for book lovers, the only reason to support the author is because they like to read the book, not how sensational or popular the author of the book is. However, I have to follow the rules this time. Subscription is the greatest recognition of an author and a book. As of now, the results of the base car have been mixed. And as it is about to be released, Little Bear is quite literally so worried that he can't sleep at all. This book is actually a relatively niche book. And the readership is not very broad. Thanks to everyone's support along the way. It is possible to put it on the shelves. Giving Little Bear a way to gain something by writing a book. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for the opportunity to be rewarded. Whether it's those who have tipped, voted for recommendation, or collected and clicked on this book. They are all the people that Little Bear needs to thank. Now is the time when the base car is about to face the sentence. If there are too many words, Xiaoxiong doesn't know what to say. There are too many things to say. Thousands of words condensed into one sentence. Please subscribe. The base vehicle will be available at 12 noon tomorrow. Little Bear has not saved the manuscript. But he will vomit blood and explode. If the subscription is good, I will burst out of my liver. Thank you all very much and take a bow. Chapter 115, what can you come up with? Please subscribe. Automatic rifles are very popular now. Although the price of two tons makes my sister feel sad. I can still buy one. It's a pity that it is not easy to buy. The beautiful young woman said and gave the man in the fur cloak a wink. The automatic rifles were usually sold by the bosses of the Seven Gods team. Boy, have you made enough noise? You can stand up now. Today is the second trade fair since the black market was held. On this day, I don't want to spoil the atmosphere, but I don't want anyone to make trouble by grandstanding. The man in the fur cloak suddenly became sharp in his words when he said this. With a faint murderous aura. Making trouble? Jian Lusher shook his head. My time is precious. If you want to make trouble, I'm too lazy to accompany you. I don't care if I'm sitting on the throne. And the tables and steel chairs you welded by yourself don't count. Respected position? I don't want to see this position. But since I'm sitting down, I won't be forced to stand up. I'm going to sit here today. Jian Liosher's words sounded very bachelor-like. Do you want to do something? Their team strength is not weaker than anyone's. And the base vehicle is right outside the door. And the air cannon can be activated at any time. But Jian Lusher knew that the Seven Gods team headed by Boss, Bai would not choose to take action easily. They established a black market to prove their ambition. Now a trade fair has gathered nearly 10 well-known teams nearby. If they do it at the trade fair, they have no eyesight, and no one knows how many people will be injured. It would be like destroying their own business. Who else will come to their trade fair in the future? Boy, you have courage. A gloomy look flashed in the eyes of the man in the fur cloak. It was not easy for him to let his men drive Jian Lusher away. The strong man behind Jian Lusher also had two guns. He changed the subject and added, But if you don't have the strength to match your courage, you are a fool. The man in the fur cloak pressed one hand on the table, and the pure steel tabletop seemed to be shaking slightly. I came to your black market, naturally, to trade. Jian Lusher winked at Zhang Hai and motioned Zhang Hai to get the goods. As for Ying, he stood up and followed Zhang Hai. If there was no Ying, John Hai would have opened can't open the car door. It's really interesting. I want to see what you kid can come up with. Boss Yuan glanced at Jian Lusher disdainfully. And then looked at everyone. Everyone. Don't let a few pellets of mouse dropping spoil your mood. Let's all take out the goods and take a look. If it's too big to take out. Just report it yourself. I'm here to start the conversation. Boss Yuan said. Pressing his cigar on the table. At this trade fair. Mr. Yuan didn't have anything good. He just brought three and a half tons of mutated pigs. A whole head. At least two and a half tons of pigs were cut out. Pure meat. Plus the mutant pig's crystal core. There are six or seven tons of meat. Whoever brings good things. Then I will buy their things. As soon as Fatty Yuan spoke. People all lamented how rich Fatty Yuan was. Hunting a three and a half ton mutated pig was not an easy task. Fatty Yuan just brought the whole pig here and brought it with the mutation. The value of the crystal core can be more than doubled. If it is an ordinary team of superpowers, a considerable part of these mutant pigs must be reserved for their own use. After all, the mutated beast meat consumed by superpowers every day is not a small amount. Eat. Seeing the reactions of others, Fatty Yuan sat down 
with a blushing face and hugged Xiaomi beside him. He was very satisfied with the effect. Xiaomi originally didn't like the nouveau riche fatty yuan, but when she saw the mutated beast meat, her eyes lit up and she became gentle. She tried to please the fat man. Maybe she could get a few pieces of the meat from him? After Fatty Yuan, a thin man stood up. He snapped his fingers, and the younger brother behind him brought a triangular spur, a night vision goggle, and a large metal composite crossbow. The black crossbow arm is full of texture and has a sight on it, which is precise and beautiful. How about it? My spurs and crossbow are pretty good, and they save bullets. The thin man introduced proudly. The crossbow is also considered a long-range attack weapon. It is not a problem to shoot an arrow through the skull. But it is too much to think that the crossbow arrows can be reused. The crossbow arrows that really kill people have arrows covered with various sharp metal pieces. Under the huge impact, these the metal pieces will be damaged. And they are also disposable consumables. If you replace them with ordinary arrows, they can be reused. But they will be less powerful. So the crossbow is okay for occasional use. But after all, it cannot replace a gun. On the contrary, the three-sided military thorn is very practical. Many people with superpowers are powerful, but they can't find a weapon that they can use. The three-sided military thorn is stronger and more durable than a dagger. Much stronger. In the final analysis, the thin man was selling cold weapons. The main reason was that he had no spare hot weapons and was reluctant to take them. So many people looked at the man in the fur cloak. They all knew that only the Seven Gods team would sell rifles from time to time. Fatty Yuan said, Boss Bai, you better come out and bring out some real stuff. Didn't Boss Bai say you want to bring out a machine gun to sell at this trade fair? I'm watching eagerly. Ha! Huh. Boss Yuan, you are trying to kill me. I only have one machine gun. How can I sell it? I can even hold the Bai bar. It's accurate and feels good. Who doesn't keep it for themselves? If I sell two of them, I'm giving everyone face. Right? Not only do I have two bite rifles, but I also have a semi-automatic rifle with 600 rounds of bullets. The man in the fur cloak stepped on the beautiful girl's back with one foot. The beautiful girl's body was trembling slightly, but she didn't dare to move. If she struggled, she would end badly. Three rifles, 600 rounds of ammunition. Boss Bai is really generous. Many people are greedy. In the apocalypse, Guns are more expensive and bullets are even more expensive. These 600 bullets are another large amount of mutated beast meat. Ha uh ha. -huh. Boss Bai is really rich. At this trade fair, Mr. Yuan thought that he had already prepared a very rich family. But he still can't buy Boss Bai's gun. Boss Yuan, what you said? How could this gun be bought by you alone? The bald middle-aged man who had scolded Jiang Lusher said with a smile and poured the contents of his bag on the table. In an instant, Seven or eight round grenades rolled out of the bag. Grenade. Good stuff. Even Fatty Yuan's eyes lit up, and the fat on his face shook violently. He covets these grenades. In Lawn County, bullets are expensive, and grenades are even more of a luxury item. They are usually only used when encountering mutant beasts. If they are used to blow up zombies, and a grenade is thrown out, all the money will be lost. The bald man pushed the grenade forward with a proud look. He put one arm around Xiaomi beside him, and rub Xiaomi's breasts while letting the other big guys admire it. Chapter 116. Blind Your Eyes. Please subscribe. TSK. 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 Grenades. Guns. And a military spur. They are all good things. People were whispering to each other that the trade fairs held by these big guys basically exchanged animal meat for weapons. And the prices of other commodities were nothing compared to weapons. Just as the big guys were talking about it, the door to the room was pushed open. It's Zhang Hai and Ying who are back. Zhang Hai was holding two big bags in his hand. And Ying was holding one in his hand. The dark bag has a zipper on it and looks quite substantial. Oh, I brought it. The bald man played with the grenade he had just taken out and looked at the bags in Zhang Hai and Ying's hands with interest. Others also became interested. They wanted to see what Jiang Lusher, a country bumpkin who didn't understand the rules, had up to him. What are they? It's not a local product brought from the countryside. If it's bacon, pork, eggs, etc., we'll cook it and eat it. Fatty Yuan said teasingly. Jiang Lusher didn't care at all. He motioned to Zhang Hai to put the bag on the table and said, They are all useless things. Take them out and sell them. But I made it clear first. I don't want mutated beast meat. We only sell mutant crystal nuclei. Base vehicles with mutant crystal cores can be used directly. 
if they were replaced with mutant beast meat, their fleet would not be able to transport it. You don't want mutated beast meat, but only sell mutated crystal cores? Damn it! Fatty Yuan is speechless. With this tone, the earth cannot tolerate you. Right? In Lon County, mutant crystal nuclei are not as valuable as those in satellite cities. The military guarantees the purchase of the satellite city, each of five tons, with a clearly marked price. In Lon County, it was the armed police who collected the mutant nuclei, and the price offered was four tons each. Even if it's four tons, that's a big deal. In Lon County, a team is definitely rich if they can have a mutant crystal core as working capital. Even though many people brought three or four tons of mutated beast meat to the trade fair, they were squeezed out for participating in the trade fair. If there were normal times, the mutated crystal core would have been used to replace equipment. You must know that the consumption of bullets is a huge expense. As soon as Jian Luzhir opened his mouth, he would sell the mutated crystal core, which meant that the goods he brought were extremely valuable. Otherwise, he would not use the mutated crystal core to settle the bill. I want to see what the goods you brought are. And what confidence do you have to sit in front of me and show off? Fatty Yuan hadn't finished speaking. But at this moment, under Jiang Liuxia's eyes, Zhang Hai had already unzipped the zipper. With a series of crisp sounds, a row of dark things slid out of the black bag. Everyone looked at it with wide eyes and didn't react for a while. That dark barrel and beautifully crafted trigger are awesome. This is automatic rifle. This bag is not the bite gun, but the Type 95 automatic rifle with a slightly shorter barrel and an extremely trendy shape. This gun is lighter and more accurate than the bite type, with smaller recoil and no less power. Three automatic rifles? There are more below. Fatty Yuan opened his mouth. The three Type 95 automatic rifles had already surprised him. Below, there were also two mini submachine guns and a semi-automatic Type 56. Submachine gun? Fatty Yuan actually couldn't tell the difference between a submachine gun and an automatic rifle. But he was completely confused when he saw so many repeating guns. Next to Fatty Yuan, the bald middle-aged man and the white boss also had their mouths slightly open. Unable to close at all. This expression was like the World Cup before the end of the world. After a game, the Brazilian team was actually defeated by the Siagua team. It was 10 to 0. What the H, L is going on? How can there be so many guns? The Seven Gods team that Boss by belongs to has sold a few guns before. But the total number of guns is not as many as this bag, which is six rifles. Wow! At this time, Zhang Hai opened the second black bag. A long black muzzle suddenly appeared in front of everyone's eyes. With an extra long barrel, an open bracket, and an exaggerated large capacity drum, which was as big as a person's face. This thing is actually a machine gun. The Type 95 light machine gun is also the standard configuration of the Chinese army. The muzzle velocity of the bullet is close to 1,000 meters per second. The effective range is 800 meters. And the lethality is amazing. If you are facing zombies, this kind of treasure must not be taken out. One drum of bullets is 75 rounds. If you just kill a small group of zombies, you will be crying. But if you are facing a mutant beast, a 4-5 to five ton mutant wild boar with rough skin and thick flesh will rush over like a chariot. At this time, the machine gun with high power and high rate of fire can exert a fire suppression capability that is far superior to that of the automatic rifle. As long as you kill a mutated beast, you'll get back everything you've earned. Machines, are you also selling machine guns? Fatty Yuan swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He had made fun of Boss Bai before. But he was actually coveting Boss Bai's machine gun. There is a shortage of machine guns in Lawn County. Because the armed police don't sell them very much and they probably don't have many of them themselves. Under this Type 95 light machine gun, there are six pistols, both Type 54 and Type 64. However, compared to this blinding Type 95 light machine gun, the pistols are nothing. After all, they can be found in the police station. But it wasn't over yet. And then Zhang Hai opened the third bag. Crash! A series of yellow-orange bullets rolled out of the bag. A lot of bullets. Loaded automatic rifle magazines. And too heavy watermelon-like drums. Not only that, there are seven grenades. This time, the bald man who was so proud after taking out the grenades almost rolled off his chair. He took out seven grenades, which was already a big deal, and he regarded them as treasures. But there were seven grenades on the opposite side, and they were stuffed casually into the corner of the bag, just like stuffing a few hot eggs, without caring at all. In fact, this black market was established not long ago and a handful of rifles have been traded in total. 
But now John Lusher is like a wholesaler. Taking out so many at once. That's probably it. I said. Only mutated crystal nuclei will be collected. John Lusher spread his hands. And John High dropped three bags on the table. The mouths of the bags were opened. Such a visually impactful pile of weapons made everyone present feel jealous. Even the big guys from the four small tables around him gathered around and were almost drooling at the sight. Only mutant crystal nuclei will be collected. Many people used to laugh at Jian Lusher for dreaming. But now they understand why they only harvest mutant crystal nuclei. If they were to harvest mutant beast meat, too much would be unlucky. Little brother, why do you have so many guns? The 30-year-old beautiful young woman opened her mouth and looked at Jian Lusher in disbelief. John Hua, who had brought Jian Lusher here before, had an expression as if he had swallowed a mouse alive. You, you have so many guns, and you told me to buy a gun. But you don't have. John Hua originally wanted to say sick, but he didn't dare to say it. He was not mentally retarded. If you think about it carefully, could a team with so many guns be weak? Therefore, if John Hua dares to say that he is sick, he will simply not want to live. Chapter 117 Type 95 Gun Clan 3rd Update Please subscribe. Jiang Lusher glanced at Zhang Hua coldly and asked, What did I say that I came to buy a gun? I only asked about the price. And, no matter what I say, it's fine. What qualifications do you have to question me? Jiang Liosher's words were full of aura. And Zhang Hua suddenly didn't dare to speak out. He huddled on a table in the corner, never having the courage to look Jiang Lusher in the face again. At this time, everyone understood that this guy was not here to collect guns in large quantities but to sell guns in large quantities. Boy, don't pretend to be me yet. Fatty Yuan was drooling at first. But rationally he felt that Jiang Liosher's team was not strong at all. He couldn't understand that there was only one top superpower and two half-hearted superpowers. Can a team of capable people be better than the team of seven gods? You have real guns and fake guns. I can't believe you have so many. The Type 95 automatic rifle actually looks less thick and heavy than metal. The main body of the Type 95 automatic rifle is made of plastic. But the frame is made of metal. It looks lacking in texture and even looks a bit like a toy gun. In fact, many modern guns, both domestic and foreign, use plastic bodies, which are lighter and do not affect the power. There are even German G36S and Austrian AUGs. Most of the entire gun is made of plastic. Even the sear, hammer, and trigger are all made of plastic. Oh! If you doubt it, I can try to shoot you. As John Lusher spoke, he took out a Type 95 from the black bag, which originally contained bullets. John Lusher opened the safety and pulled the bolt. The black barrel pointed directly at Fatty Yuan's head. The pressure of being pointed at a gun is very high. The boys behind Fatty Yuan couldn't sit still for a while, and they all pulled out their guns. Stop! Boss Bai yelled. If everyone in his trade fair drew guns and shot at each other, it would destroy even his black market. Put the gun down! Boss by ordered. He looked at Jian Lusher with a glint in his eyes. So many weapons. A lot of wealth. His purpose in opening the black market was to amass wealth. And now, with so much wealth in front of him, it would be impossible to say that he had no intention of stealing money. The apocalypse is coming. And there are too many gangsters. Many people die at the hands of zombies. And many people die at the hands of survivors. He looked at Jian Lusher and silently assessed the strength of Jian Lusher's team. They dare to spend such a large sum of money at the trade fair. What kind of confidence do they have? Jian Lusher looked like an ordinary person. But he sat there calmly and calmly. Where did he come from with such confidence? Boss Bai originally thought Jian Lusher was ordinary. But now he feels that this may be just an illusion. This Jian Lusher should have some special abilities. But so what? One Jian Lusher and Jian Zhuying. A top-notch superpower are just two people. As for the busta and long-legged beauty next to Jian Lusher, she looks like a vase for Jian Lusher to warm his bed at night. The two muscular men behind are both worthless things. Even if they are given two guns, it doesn't matter. Not a threat to yourself. Boss Bai believed that he was fairly accurate in judging people. He had already magnified Jian Lusher's own strength many times. But even so, he estimated that Jian Lusher's team and his own seven gods team would be a complete victory over the seven gods team. It is unrealistic to take action in the black market, which will make the black market lose credibility. No one will dare to come here to sell things in the future. But what if you leave the black market? Boss Bai was calculating the gains and losses in his mind. Friend, why don't you put down your gun? Said a young man present. 
The man who spoke was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. He looked like a college student. He was the third member of the Seven Gods team. He had been keeping a low profile at the previous trade fair and didn't speak much. Jian Lusher glanced at this man, but still held the gun and didn't buy it at all. He said with a half smile, The fat man said it himself. Since he said it was a fake gun, what about trying it with a shot? Fatty Yuan felt the tremendous pressure from the muzzle of the gun. But he still said unconvinced. It's all made of plastic. How can you be sure it's a real gun? If you don't go to the shooting range and shoot a few shots, I won't believe it. Fatty Yuan still refused to admit it. But his tone softened. After all, he did not dare to really let Jian Lusher shoot him. At this time, the young man who looked like a college student looked at Fatty Yuan with disdain. He was indeed a college student before the apocalypse. He was calm by nature. But when the apocalypse came, he was destined to be unable to remain calm. And he also discovered that he had abnormality. Yes, his physical fitness is also very strong. He didn't like Fatty Yuan, a fat-minded person, at all. It's just plastic. But it doesn't feel strong? Boss Yuan, you probably haven't heard of engineering plastics. They are resistant to high temperatures and have high strength. They can be used in place of metals in many places. They are also very expensive and cannot be produced in large quantities. Engineering plastics not to mention making the gun body. The hammer can be made. And it can be fired with hundreds of thousands of bullets without being damaged. Some foreign guns use engineering plastics as a selling point. The young college student calmly talked about his knowledge of firearms. Fatty Yuan stared. Plastic can still be used as metal? Is this true? Although he found it unbelievable. The person who said this was the third child of the Seven Gods team. How could he not believe it? He was a man of culture, and he was a butcher of pigs. He could only groan a few times, and had nothing to say. Fatty Yuan sat down, with an ugly expression. Although he accepted the fact that these were real guns, he still couldn't figure out why there were so many guns. This was like selling arms. There are so many Type 95s, including rifles and machine guns, which can be regarded as the Type 95 gun family. The main parts of the Type 95 rifles and machine guns can be used interchangeably. Once a problem occurs, the parts, including bullets, can be interchanged and used interchangeably. The combination is more practical. Hi. Very good. A young college student commented that in the Chinese army before the end of the world, the Type 81 was an eternal classic and the most reliable comrade in the hearts of many veterans. However, the many advantages of the Type 95 allowed it to slowly replace the Type 81 and become the standard guns of the Chinese army, especially the Type 95. Now form a gun family. When a combat team goes out, it is impossible to bring spare parts of guns with guns from the same gun family. The advantage is that if the parts are broken, they can be dismantled and repaired on the spot. The Type 95 has the advantage of small recoil, which is especially suitable for novices and makes it easier to shoot accurately. The third son of the Seven Gods team obviously knows some military knowledge. So Jiang Lusher introduced him easily. He pushed the gun forward. Pay with one hand. Deliver the goods with the other. Only the mutant crystal cores will be accepted. Two tons of mutant beasts get an automatic rifle and an extra magazine. And the machine gun is sold separately. Chapter 118, Flesh Pain 4th Update Please subscribe. Mutated crystal nuclei are indeed the most suitable hard currency in the apocalypse. Mutated beast meat is too bulky and not suitable for carrying. However, mutant crystal nuclei also have a disadvantage. That is, they are too valuable and cannot be divided, making it inconvenient to trade. Many teams are still stuck in the stage of cooperating with other teams to hunt mutant beasts, or going to the police station to search for pistols, or going to gas stations to transport oil to sell, and get a complete mutant crystal core? That's so hard. For example, right now, there are more than a dozen teams in this room. And the team bosses are all sitting here. But for most teams, they only brought one or two tons of mutated beast meat. There are only a few team leaders sitting on the middle table. And a few of them carry a mutated crystal core with them. Even the beautiful young woman next to Jian Lusher didn't have a mutant crystal core in her hand. Money was tight at first. But when they heard Jian Lusher's quotation, many people felt a twinge of pain. Just that light machine gun alone would cost about 5 tons of mutated beast meat. Moreover, if you buy this kind of gun, you will have to pay tribute to your ancestors. It is really a gunshot. A thousand tails of gold. The goal of many of them is to buy back an automatic rifle. And that's fine too. Brother, do you have any crystal cores? 
I have animal meat on hand. Let's buy two automatic rifles together and share one with each other. One mutated crystal core and two automatic rifles are not something even the team sitting on the big table in the middle can afford. It is the wisest choice to buy it in partnership with others and only keep one gun when the time comes. Seeing that someone was already acting in private, Fatty Yuan's fat face twitched. He had a complete mutant crystal core. But before he laughed at and questioned Jian Lusher, now he wants to beg Jian Lusher in a low voice. Selling him a gun made his face feel hot. After swallowing a mouthful of saliva, Fatty Yuan still asked, How to sell the machine gun? He spotted the Type 95 machine gun in a glance. His team also had two bite bars, but there were no machine guns. If you can buy a machine gun, it will be much safer when hunting large mutant beasts. He looked majestic before, but in fact, in order to hunt the black-haired mutant pig, he was in danger several times, and his belly was almost punctured by the pig's teeth. Although the mutant pig was killed in the end, his team also paid the price of a human life. Five tons! I can give you two spare drums, but you have to buy the bullets separately. Jian Lusher stretched out five fingers. Five tons. Fatty Yuan's heart aches when he hears this. This Type 95 machine gun should preferably be used in conjunction with a Type 95 automatic rifle. And a large number of bullets must be purchased. The animal meat and crystal cores he brought now are not enough to buy an empty gun. That's enough. Even if you bargain a little and buy both guns. If you don't have money to buy bullets in the future. How do you shoot this light machine gun? When this thing is fired. The bullets will splash out like water. If he can defeat a mutated beast, he can still get his money back. If he fails to defeat it, won't he have to drink the northwest wind in the future? Although he couldn't bear such a large amount of wealth in one go, Fatty Yuan also had ambitions. If he wanted to develop his power, he really couldn't do without a machine gun. Fatty Yuan picked up the cigar on the table and took a few puffs. Just about to speak. At this moment, Boss Bai of the Seven Gods team had launched two mutant crystal nuclei. Two crystal cores placed here are equivalent to eight tons of mutated beast meat. I will buy you a Type 95 automatic rifle and a Type 95 machine gun. The remaining one ton of beast meat will be used to buy grenades and bullets. In addition, I have one condition is that I will use an August 1st rifle and exchange it with you for a Type 95 automatic rifle. Boss Bai, who was wearing a fur cloak, stood up with his whole body, and his hand pressing the crystal core was a bit heavy, even for the person in charge of this black market. It is not easy for him to come up with this wealth. Only the Seven Gods team could take out the two mutated crystal cores in one go. And after taking it out, it is also a strain on the muscles and bones. Otherwise, Boss Bai would not have used the Bai Bar for another 95 style. After the Type 95 automatic rifle and the machine gun formed a gun family, the combat effectiveness was even stronger. Obviously, Bai Lauda felt that a Type 95 was missing. But he was reluctant to buy another one. So he simply exchanged the Bai stick for one. He could still bear it. Jian Lusher looked at Boss Bai. This Boss Bai was thin and wrapped in fur. He was wearing military boots and holding a beautiful female dog. He looked like a hero at first glance. Maybe the hero promoted him. But he was definitely a black-hearted person. Boss, this kind of person, even in the last days, is still a troublemaker. Jian Lusher knew very well that if he took out so many guns here today, he would definitely make people jealous and it might cause some trouble later. For example, he might not be attacked by someone on the way back. But Jian Lusher is not worried. The all-round bulletproof base vehicle is his trump card. He came to the black market just to get the mutant crystal core. If he gave up the mutant crystal core because he was worried about being killed and cheated, how could that be possible? The soldiers come to cover up the water and the earth. If someone robs and kills someone on the way, then he will come and kill one. Come to and kill a pair. Good. Jian Lusher agreed immediately and pushed out the Type 95 automatic rifle and light machine gun. Two drums, loaded with bullets, two grenades and a box of bullets. A transaction was completed. And two mutant crystal nuclei were handed into Jian Lusher's hands. The cold mutant crystal core has a hard appearance and can reflect dreamlike colorful light when facing the light. Like the most perfect gemstone in the world. Two. It was Jian Lusher's first time to get two of them at once. With the mutated crystal core. He could evolve the base vehicle. And he could also choose to configure the genetic evolution fluid to strengthen himself. The feeling of having the crystal core in your hand is so refreshing. Jian Lusher was very excited. He pinched the crystal core with his right hand and felt the touch of the crystal core in his palm. But on the surface, his excitement was not shown at all. 
giving the impression that he was inscrutable, as if he was used to seeing great wealth. In fact, there is no need to pretend. How can a person who can take out a dozen guns at once not have a lot of wealth? Shadow, keep it. Jian Lusher casually handed the mutated crystal core to Ying. This scene made people stare at him. He obediently gave such an expensive thing to the vase. Ying received the mutated crystal core and went out directly without Jian Lusher opening her mouth. People didn't know what she was doing. Ying walked around the base car and came back without even entering the door. As the steward of the base vehicle, she can deliver the things she has to the storage space of the base vehicle. In this way, the mutated crystal core was put into the base vehicle without anyone noticing. The whole process was like a magic trick. People speculated whether Ing had hidden the mutant crystal core, but they couldn't figure out how or where he hid it. Okay, let's continue trading. Jian Lusher breathed out. The mutated crystal core was safest only if it was placed on the base vehicle. Jian Lusher was afraid of being robbed while carrying it on him. Chapter 119 Getting Rich 5th Update Please Subscribe I Want the Remaining Type 95 A Submachine Gun And Grenades Fatty Yuan said with a dejected look. He had just mustered up so much courage that his palms were sweating. But in the end, the machine gun was snatched away by Boss Bai. Fatty Yuan felt distressed. But there was nothing he could do about it. The next best thing is to buy a Type 95. Who made him lose his wealth. Everyone was watching Fatty Yuan's performance. In their original impression, Fatty Yuan was a nouveau riche. And he usually spent a lot of money on things like mutated animal meat. But now looking at his performance, they just wanted to smoke that cigar three times. Over. This reminded everyone again and again of how much wealth the three bags of arms in front of them were. I bought the Bai Bar in exchange. And then I want the 56 semi-automatic, two 54 pistols, 300 rounds of ammunition, and three grenades. A bald middle-aged man and a thin man collaborated to create a mutated crystal core and bought these things. There was still some left in the crystal core. So someone else immediately bought in. Seeing that everyone was in groups were eating alone. They quickly bought almost all the weapons Jian Lusher brought. Now Jian Lusher only had one submachine gun, three pistols, and two grenades in his hands. And Jian Lusher had four mutant crystal nuclei. For mutated crystal nuclei, equal to the total number of mutated crystal nuclei, that Jian Lusher had worked hard for before. After using these mutant crystal nuclei, both Jian Lusher's personal strength and the combat effectiveness of the entire vehicle will experience a qualitative leap. Moreover, Jian Lusher had no shortage of metals for base vehicle upgrades. 100 tons of metal are placed in the storage space of the base vehicle. Even the metal collection process is omitted. As long as there are mutant crystal nuclei, they can be used to immediately increase combat effectiveness. My younger brother is really awesome. My sister is so excited about it. The 30-year-old beautiful young woman who was sitting next to Jian Lusher said in a sweet voice. Jian Lusher glanced at the young woman. He didn't have much favorable impression of this woman who was familiar with her and often referred to as sister or brother. However, he still smiled and said, I have collected enough mutant crystal nuclei. What are the remaining few? We can't even sell the mutated crystal cores with just guns and grenades. So we sell mutated beast meat. The submachine gun has one ton of mutated beast meat. And the remaining three pistols have 500 kilograms of mutated beast meat. In this black market, there are not many people who want handguns. There is a police station here, and there is no shortage of handguns. Especially the Type 64. Because it is too weak. It is hacked into a small smash cannon and a starting gun. Basically no one sells it. But the Type 54 is available. Market. 500 kilograms. Basically the price of a Type 54 pistol. As for the submachine gun, it is still less powerful than the rifle. It is no problem to fight zombies. But the effect is greatly reduced when fighting mutant beasts. The beautiful young woman smiled sweetly. Sister is poor. I didn't bring much mutated animal meat this time. I still have to buy a buy gun and hundreds of bullets from Boss Buy. As for your remaining weapons, that submachine gun and grenades. My sister wants them all. Although the submachine gun is less powerful. One advantage is that it uses pistol bullets. In the apocalypse, pistol bullets are much cheaper than the sought-after rifle bullets due to their power issues. Most of Jiang Liuxia's guns have been sold out. But the trade fair will continue. And others still have things to sell. Many people have things to sell and things to buy. Jiang Liuxia was no exception. He also had something to buy. Which was also related to the evolution of the base vehicle. However, Jian Lusher didn't think he could buy it at this fair. The leaders of more than a dozen teams in the room 
took out the things they wanted to sell. However, with Jian Lusher and Zhu in front, the things these people took out did not look very eye-catching. The ones at the middle table were a bit better, but the things the teams at the other four small tables brought out were more ordinary. For example, sabers, body armor, military tents, etc. Many things were taken out, but no one cared about them. Jian Lusher fell in love with two three-edged military thorns and bought them in one go. He and Ying each had one. As for his sister Jian Zhuying, she was much more comfortable with her special chain sword. The cost of that thing was not ordinary. It's made of that high-strength chain. And the cost is higher than the rifle. Jian Lusher couldn't put it down when playing with the triangular spurs in his hand. The heavy feel and exquisite blue baking process made Jian Lusher feel a little bit addicted. He used this thing to prick people. One hole at a time. Not only did it bleed a lot, but it also brought in air. It's simply a murder weapon. At this time, Jian Lusher noticed that almost every team in the room had taken out the goods to be traded. But the beautiful young woman had not yet taken them. Seeing someone looking at her, the beautiful young woman smiled sweetly and said, Hey, I didn't expect this thing to sell for a good price. But now I'm short of money. So I have to sell it. As the beautiful young woman spoke, she clapped her hands. Then, the door of the trading room was opened. And two men came up pushing a small cart, which was covered with cloth. Many people were curious when they saw the car being pushed by the beautiful young woman. What? While talking, the two men lifted the cloth on the car. It was an iron cage half a person's height. And inside the cage, there was a girl curled up. She was wearing a white dress. She had a slender figure and looked extremely fragile. She had a pair of slender and lively eyes. But the pupils were not pure black, but gray, which made her look very special. This girl is pretty. But is this what Sister Hong plans to sell? The bald man who was selling grenades said. He thought that the beautiful young woman would bring something. But he went to bring a girl, which made him... He shook his head slightly in his heart. Many people have similar reactions to bald middle-aged people. Although the girl in the cage has a delicate beauty. In the end of the world, beauties are not valuable. Before the end of the world, many beauties were so high up in the world that Diasi could not reach them. After the end of the world, strength has become the measure of the world. As long as there is strength, what woman cannot get it? Most of the team bosses here are lustful people. After all, men, how many of them say they are not lustful? In today's world, where a bag of bread can buy a beautiful woman for a night service, why would you use mutated beast meat to buy a woman? That's not worth it. However, not everyone is not interested in this girl. Such as Fatty Yuan. After he saw the girl in the cage, he subconsciously wiped his saliva with a fat hand. Darling, this girl is really the best. Fatty Yuan is particularly fond of this kind of weak girls, who look as sick as a girl. He feels a special sense of pleasure when he presses them under him, and ravages them wantonly. After being tempted, Fatty Yuan was not taken advantage of. No matter how beautiful this girl was, she couldn't sell it at a high price. Just a few dozen kilograms of mutated animal meat would be a big deal. Fatty Yuan looked at Sister Hong eagerly, waiting for her to make an offer. But, there are some top-notch superpowers with keen senses, including Jian Zhuying and Jian Lusher, who has evolved his brain. They all felt extremely weak energy fluctuations in this girl. There are energy fluctuations. Could it be someone with superpowers? Chapter 120 Ranshiyu Please subscribe. Sister Hong knows what these people are thinking. There are a few people here who really want to buy. But they think it is a cabbage price. Which is wrong. This girl is extraordinary. Let me first introduce this girl's background. Her name is Ranshi, And she is the granddaughter of Ran Lao of Jinling. Do you know Ran Lao? Sister Hong paused for a moment when she said this. There was a group of leaders of the team present. Many of them were at the bottom of society before the end of the world. They were the most unsuccessful group of people. It was good to care about food issues. Just like Fatty Yuan. His character I don't even know much about him. And I don't have time to get to know the upper class society. Who knows who this old man is. But there are always people who understand. The young man who looked like a college student said calmly. Lao Ran was the chairman of Ranka Group. And later, he gradually retreated to the second line. You should have heard of Ranka Group. Ranka Group? People looked at each other, and it became clear that Ranka Group was a very famous manufacturing company in Jinling Province. Ranking high in the entire manufacturing industry in Jinling Province. Is this weak-looking girl the princess of the Ranka Group? This identity is incredible. Before the end of the world, the gap between her and this group of people could not be described in terms of cloud and mud, let alone the situation now. Seeing the princess of the Ranka Group locked in a cage, 
for a moment. These people felt a strange sense of excitement, especially Fatty Yuan, who couldn't sit still in the chair. He stared at Ran Shi with a red face and kept kneading the breasts of the girl beside him, which made her chest hurt. However, she frowned but did not dare to resist. Sister Hong slowly walked off the steel round table and came to Ran Shiyu's side. She knelt down and looked at this beauty carefully. She added, Ran Shiyu, as Mr. Ran's favorite granddaughter, is not only beautiful, but also has a good mind. When she was only 20 years old, she studied for an MBA in the United States and assisted Ran Lao in managing various matters of the group in China. She was said to be the assistant to the chairman, but in fact, she had taken over half of the group. And such a proud woman. In the end of the world after coming, it shouldn't have fallen into my hands. You should know. The military originally set up a safe island. Right. As an elite and from a wealthy family, she naturally had the opportunity to go to the safe island. But unfortunately, her father mutated on the way to the island and bit her mother to death. It was a tragedy later. Sister Hong said unhurriedly that Jiang Lusher knew about the safety island. And Li Yusen's family went to the safety island in advance before the end of the world. This is an opportunity only available to high-level people, especially elites. But in front of the virus, everyone is equal. Even the elites may mutate into zombies on the way to the safe island. That would be embarrassing. And they will all be shot. Even in many cases, the escorting soldiers will mutate. Once a squad of soldiers mutates too much, it will even lead to a tragedy and lead to the annihilation of the entire army. I know. These sons of bitches abandoned us and fled for their own lives. What a pity. Um, I'm living a better life than them now. When I get the chance, I will build a country in this wasteland and bring it with me. The army rushed to the safe island, arrested all those sons of bitches, killed all the men, and all the women. He, a dark-skinned, bearded psychic cursed. The government's approach of protecting the elite naturally makes those left behind feel resentful. But, this is also the country's choice to pursue interests. Sister Hong smiled, ignored the beard, and continued. Ran Shiyu escaped from death at that time. After several twists and turns, she fell into my hands. What's very special is that she awakened her superpower. When Sister Hong said this, some top superpowers were not surprised. But ordinary people were surprised when they heard it. Put people with superpowers in cages and sell them? Shouldn't the superpower be able to win over her and let her display her fighting power? That is definitely more valuable than selling a ton of mutant beast meat. Her powers are very strange. They are spiritual. She can communicate directly with people without speaking. But zombies are completely unconscious. How can you communicate with zombies? How can you tell them not to bite you? As for mutant beasts, that's even more impossible. Used. There is no such ability. In the final analysis, Ran Shiyu can only be considered an ordinary person. But Jiang Lusher pondered slightly. This was the first time he had heard of spiritual powers. Is it really useless? The beautiful young woman suddenly smiled evilly and said, because of Ran Shiyu's supernatural powers. Her mental power is extremely strong, and her perception is much sharper than ordinary people. If you were to be in bed with her, TSK, 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 she is extremely sensitive, and mentally direct contact will give you an extraordinary feeling. Besides, sister, I confirm that this is her real first time. She probably hasn't even been in love before. It's a pity that I'm a woman. Otherwise, I would have accepted it myself. The beautiful young woman said this and sat on the cage, with her legs and stockings crossed together, looking at everyone present with a half-smile, possessing mental powers, an absolutely sensitive physique, high IQ and management ability. She was once the princess of the Ranka group. All combined, it really made the hearts of the men present, especially the Gyasi before the apocalypse. Very exciting. This is the end of the world. Why are they trying so hard to improve their strength? Isn't it just to become a master and control the destiny of others? Now I have the opportunity to control the fate of the proud daughter of the past. To hold her under my body and possess her as much as I want. Of course, it would be great. Not to mention people like Fatty Yuan. Even the third eldest son of the Seven Gods team. The young man who looked like a college student. Was a little moved. Before the end of the world came. He had just graduated. When he was in his senior year. He participated in campus recruitment and watched rank a group seminar. Thousands of students attended the seminar. In the end, only 20 people were recruited. He submitted his resume, but he already he was not the president of the student union. And he was not in 985 school 34. In the end, his resume failed. He originally had no hope of joining the Ranka group. But now, 
the princess of the Ranka group, whom he could not even look up to, is locked in a cage in front of him. And he can control the fate of this proud girl. This feeling of satisfaction. It's really fascinating. And now he remembered that he had seen photos of Ran Shiyu on the internet. And she was right. The room was like a pack of wolves. Looking at Ran Shiyu in the cage with gleaming eyes. She was once a perfect white swan. But the white swan was dominated by toads. This is the end of the world when rules have collapsed and humanity has been lost. Seeing this situation, Jiang Lu Shir sighed. Look at these people who are ready to take action. They may pay a high price for their satisfaction. After the end of the world, Jiang Lu Shir also put away his sympathy. Although Ran Shi was pitiful, the end of the world was like this. There were many girls who were more pitiful than Ran Shi Yu. He couldn't spend a high price to save Ran Shi Yu just because she was beautiful and from a good family. Such a girl before discovering how to use her mental power, is just a vase, and cannot be carried around. Chapter 121 The Emperor's Dream First Update Women in the Apocalypse, especially women without power, are always miserable. Ren Shiyu's fate was already decided when she was arrested by Sister Hong. Jian Lusher glanced at Sister Hong. This Sister Hong was sweet-talking and had a sharp sword. She had always been kind and kind from the beginning to the end. But now, she casually pushed a weak girl into the fire pit for the sake of profit. This kind of woman has the feeling of a madam before the end of the world. Each of their mouths is as if they have been wiped with honey. But the girls under their control are miserable. The scene in front of me was like competing for the Warren in a brothel in ancient times. Whoever paid the higher price would win Ran Shiyu's first night. Jian Lusher looked at Butcher Yuan. He was so excited that he had taken off his shirt, bare arms, and his mouth was full of saliva. He was already bidding for 500 kilograms of mutated animal meat. Jiang Zhuying frowned and turned away. She didn't want to see Butcher Yuan at all. His disgusting look made her want to vomit just by looking at him. Jiang Zhuying couldn't bear the thought of Ran Shiyu falling into the hands of these people. The price has climbed to 500 kilograms of mutated beast meat. If you were in a satellite city, you could buy an automatic rifle if you add another 300 to 400 kilograms. It's enough to fight for a girl. The previous guns, grenades, and three-sided military spurs all had a standard price and the fluctuations would not be too large. But Ran Shiyu is different. Her value comes from her identity before the end of the world. The value of this identity is difficult to define. Before the end of the world, it was reported that celebrities had clearly priced themselves in the hundreds of thousands a night, and some wealthy people would pay for it. It was not necessarily true that the celebrities were beautiful, but they liked this sense of conquest. Some of them liked the feeling of conquest. The so-called boss may not actually have too much money to spend. Someone with a net worth of tens of millions may spend one million to pursue a star. Or even just an internet celebrity. The current situation is probably the same. Jian Lusher watched these people fighting. Fatty Yuan seemed to be fighting the most vigorously. Once, he was just a butcher selling meat. But now, he has transformed into a master. He couldn't believe this transformation to his bones. He needed confirmation. He needs to put a woman under him. Whom he could not even see her toes in the past. And conquer her to tell himself that he is already the boss of the party. This is probably human nature. Jian Lusher didn't bid. But he didn't want to see Ran Shiyu fall into the hands of Fatty Yuan. It would be too miserable. At this moment, the beautiful young woman said to Jian Lusher, Little brother, why aren't you interested? Or, the beautiful young woman looked at Jian Zhuying and Ng. Her eyes were a little ambiguous. This boy seemed to be very lucky. He was blessed with two beauties. One of the two girls was innocent and cute and the other was charming. Enjoying this kind of blessing is the ultimate in life. Only, the Ran Shiyu she brought was different. It was the desire to conquer brought by status, which could not be replaced by just being beautiful. I can't argue even if I want to. Jian Lusher shook his head. When he was talking to Sister Hong, he accidentally caught a glimpse of Boss Bai. But he saw Boss Bai looking at him, and his eyes shot into him like bullets. Jian Lusher frowned slightly. This person, Brother Jian, this person has murderous intentions towards you. Ying's voice suddenly sounded in Jian Lusher's mind. As the base vehicle steward, Ying could communicate directly with Jian Lusher through Star Seed. Killing intent is an invisible feeling. Even for those with superpowers. It is difficult to feel it. But Ying captured it. Killing intent? Jian Lusher remained calm. Not surprising. He has four mutated crystal nuclei in his body. How could Boss by not be tempted by this huge fortune? Not only that, Jiang Liosher's team also has guns. If they capture Jiang Liosher's team, it will be a huge fortune. A ton of mutated beast meat. 
I fought this girl. At this moment, Boss Bai suddenly stood up, and the fur cloak behind him was thrown on the chair. Boss Bai looked at Jian Lusher, but the person he spoke to was Sister Hong. Sister Hong was stunned for a moment, not sure whether Boss Bai wanted to buy this girl. Boss Bai, what do you mean? Sister Hong asked hesitantly. Boss Bai turned to look at Sister Hong, smiled and said, One ton of mutated beast meat, and I'll give you 200 rounds of bullets. As Boss Bai spoke, he jerked the dog leash in his hand. Ah! The woman lying at the feet of Boss Bai let out a scream. She fell to the ground, moaning in pain, and the chain around her neck was torn off. Boss Bai dragged the chain and walked towards Ran Shiyu. This scene made the originally fiercely competitive scene suddenly cool down. Fatty Yuan, who had been trying so hard to grab Ran Shiyu, suddenly felt like a deflated ball. He opened his mouth, but didn't dare to speak anymore. The boss of the Seven Gods team spoke. He was competing with Boss Bai for a woman? Fatty Yuan gritted his teeth. He thought he didn't have the courage. Before the apocalypse, if he offended the boss, he might just be suppressed. After the apocalypse, he might be dead. Fatty Yuan had heard about Boss Bai's methods. Although they were only scratchy, they made people shudder. Boss Bai just walked to the front of the cage and threw the collar in the cage. Ren Shiyu didn't react at all. She looked at the cage with indifferent eyes as if she didn't care about Boss Bai's arrival at all. Seeing Ran Shiyu's indifference, Mr. Bai laughed and said, You are quite stubborn. I don't know how many more days you can hold on in my leopard room. Leopard room? Jian Lusher was startled when he heard the place described by Boss Bai. The leopard room was a place built by Emperor Jingda of the Ming Dynasty at a large cost of silver. It handled government affairs for Emperor Jingda. More importantly, it was a place where eagles, dogs, leopards, beauties, and women from foreign lands were raised for pleasure and promiscuity. It was really a place of sensuality, drunkenness and dreams. It was the place of ecstasy that Emperor Jingda still lingered on until his death and regretfully could not take it away. Emperor Jingda built a leopard house, leading endless rumors. Although everyone criticized and disdained these rumors, in their hearts, they had no imagination about those beautiful past events, and even fantasized about building a leopard house themselves. Woolen cloth? Before the end of the world, this was impossible. But after the end of the world, it is possible. Princes, generals, and ministers have a lot of ambitions. Many people have a dream of becoming an emperor. To put it nicely, they are not willing to be oppressed and want to rise up in rebellion. To put it unfavorably, they want to kill you. I will be the emperor and I will be the oppressor. Other people, Boss Bai is now also building a leopard house. Imitating the ancient emperors. His thoughts are already obvious. This black market is just the starting point. At this moment, Boss Bai looked at Jian Lu Shi. Friend, are you here to sell guns in my black market? Don't you have anything to buy? Chapter 122 Super Heavy Truck, Second Update When Boss Bai asked this question, everyone's eyes focused on Jian Lu Shi. Jian Lu Shi was so special among the crowd. It was a team that didn't look very strong, with only five people and only one top-notch superpower. But it was unbelievable that they had so many weapons. They were also very curious about what Jian Liusher's team needed to buy. Jian Liusher only sells weapons. Doesn't he have any necessities for the team? In fact, when Boss Bai asked this question, he was also testing Jian Liusher. He wanted to see from Jian Liusher's needs whether Jian Liusher's team still had the apparent strength. For some people with superpowers, you can guess a little bit about the types of superpowers they have based on the weapons they like. However, what Boss Bai didn't expect was that Jian Liusher would answer him. I do have something to buy. But unfortunately, you won't have it. Boss Bai's face darkened. As the owner of the black market, he certainly didn't want to hear such words. The others also frowned slightly, feeling that Jian Lusher spoke in a crazy tone. What don't I have? Boss Bai stared at Jian Lusher. Car. Jian Lusher said. Are there any super heavy vehicles with a tonnage of 120 tons or more? Boss Bai was stunned when he heard this. A super large vehicle? Jian Lusher wants to buy this thing? He originally thought that what Jian Lusher needed might be weapons or something. What do you want this for? Where would he have such a large vehicle? You don't need to worry about this. Jian Lusher sat on his seat and gently played with a few bullets. As early as a few days ago, after Starseed completed its second upgrade, in addition to adding a base vehicle butler, it also had an important function, which was to enable the second scan. Starseed can scan another car and obtain all the information about the car. Before the end of the world, 
Jian Lusher had to choose a minibus to complete the modification due to constraints and time. But now, he has the conditions to search for a better car. So he has not enabled the second skin function. After all, once scanned, it cannot be cancelled. If possible, Jian Lusher would like to choose many things, such as aircraft carriers. It would be great to choose an aircraft carrier. If that doesn't work, you can drive a nuclear submarine. Even if you're short of a fighter jet or a main battle tank, it's not impossible to make do with it. However, these items with explosive combat capabilities were completely rejected by Star Seed. In fact, without using Star Seed, Ink could tell Jian Lusher that it was too beautiful to think about. After turning on the second level evolution, the only thing Star Seed can choose are serious cars, and they cannot carry weapons themselves. Otherwise, it will be much more difficult for Star Seed to transform weapons with modern technology and combine them with their own weapons. As for the main battle tanks that Jian Lusher wanted, especially aircraft carriers, don't even think about them during the second level of evolution. Especially aircraft carriers burn heavy oil. In peacetime, this heavy oil belongs to the country's fuel reserves. In this world, where can you find it? The fuel consumption of ordinary cars is like a fuel tiger. An aircraft carrier and a blue whale are not enough to describe it. As for a more advanced nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, you must first go to the United States to find it. And the car driven by Jian Lusher must also have nuclear power conditions before it can be modified. Although he knew that the journey would be long. Jian Lusher was still full of confidence and longing after listening to Ying's introduction. Not to mention a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Even a nuclear-powered car would be amazing. Before the end of the world, let alone nuclear-powered cars, there will be no nuclear-powered aircraft. What would it be like to drive a nuclear-powered car? Carrying a reactor with you and thick armor against radiation? How big should this car be? If, what about building a land aircraft carrier? Just like many superpowers in the last days, they began to dream of being emperors because they gained power. Jian Lusher also had his own ambitions. But he was not interested in forming a force or fighting for territory. What he wanted first was a mobile fortress may become a super base for sea, land and air in the future. Of course, these are just thoughts. For now, it is better to be down to earth and find the second evolution model first. Minibuses are suitable for living, which is equivalent to a motorhome. They are very comfortable for home and travel. But minibuses are lacking in both collision and combat capabilities. What Jian Lusher wanted was a steel monster that could really run rampant. Regarding this point, Ng also gave Jian Lusher a rough upper limit for modification. Starseed's modified vehicles rely on the Starseed's own unique energy. If the tonnage of the vehicle is too large, once the energy is diluted, the strength will be weaker. So in fact, for this secondary scan, there was a tonnage range. Although this made Jian Lusher feel a little unhappy, after actually seeing the tonnage calculated by Star Seed, Jian Lusher smiled again. This range is 120 tons, 160 tons. What is the concept of tonnage? Some parts of oversized assembly machinery weigh hundreds of tons. To transport this stuff, a company specializing in transporting overweight cargo must be transported on trucks with more than 20 wheels. Cars like this have to apply to cross the bridge. Ordinary bridges cannot hold up at all. And they will collapse immediately when cars drive over them. Jian Lusher is looking for a super large truck that can meet the weight range of more than 100 tons and ensure the collision force of the second form of the base vehicle. But here comes the question. Where can I find such an exaggeratedly large vehicle? It was impossible to buy it on by Lauda's black market. But Jian Lusher thought that he might be able to get information from here. Oversized vehicle? Isn't it just a big truck? It's not easy to find. I have a Dongfeng heavy duty truck there. The trailer is as high as a house when it is loaded with cargo. If you take off a tire, it will sink you to death. I guess you are too small to carry it on your back. Fatty Yuan looked at Jian Lusher and said disdainfully. In his opinion, Jian Lusher was gentle and gentle, but he didn't have any strength at first glance. Before Jian Lusher could say anything, the third son of the Seven Gods team looked at Fatty Yuan with disdain and said, A vehicle weighing over 120 tons is not enough for a Dongfeng heavy truck. Take the Dongfeng Tianlong heavy truck as an example. Its fully loaded weight is only 40 or 50 tons. This is almost the largest truck that people can see on the road in their daily lives. And this weight is less than half of the lowest weight given by Xingzhong. So this is still a waste. And what Xingzhong wants is a pure car. The net weight of the car alone is a hundred and dozens of tons. Everyone present was silent. No one knew where such a car could be found. At this time, the third child of the seven gods team spoke. 
friend. The large vehicle with the weight you want is impossible for us ordinary citizens before the end of the world to have access to. Only large construction machinery will be used, such as large wheeled cranes, mining trucks, mining excavators. But as far as I know, there are no mines within hundreds of kilometers around Jin Ling. So I don't think you can even think about it. Chapter 123 Asking for Help Third Update The third son of the Seven Gods team has a lot of experience. But what he said this time was nonsense to Jian Lusher. Didn't Jian Lusher know that there were no mines around Jinling City? Otherwise, he would have known the way just by asking around. Why would he have brought this up at the trade fair? So, no one knows anymore. Jian Lusher scanned the people around him. If there was news, and it was confirmed to be true, he could buy it with mutated beast meat. It seemed like there was no hope now. In the entire hall, there were only a few people who knew about the existence of large-scale construction machinery. None of these people spoke. And in the apocalypse, the news was closed. People like Fatty Yuan had already heard about it and stared blankly. He had no idea about large-scale construction machinery. His impression of cars was limited to heavy container trucks. As for what the H, L large construction machinery was, he couldn't even imagine it. There should be no one left. The third child of the seven gods shook his head. Don't say he knows this kind of news. Even if he compiles one, he doesn't know how to compile it because there are too few places where large construction machinery can appear. In such a short time, there will actually be many loopholes in the internal compilation. After a little investigation, the other party may know the authenticity. Then forget it. Jian Lusher shook his head. He had no hope in the first place, so he couldn't say he was disappointed. As the third son of the seven gods said, this kind of unpopular information is indeed not accessible to ordinary people in Qingdo. Jian Lusher is so old that he has never seen a mining truck. He has only heard about it. This kind of car costs tens of millions of yuan, which is much more valuable than a Rolls Royce Phantom. Moreover, because it is too heavy and too big, it is not allowed on the road and can only be driven in the mines. How can ordinary people have the opportunity to see it? However, at this moment, an indifferent voice suddenly sounded in Jian Lusher's mind. I know where the car you mentioned is. Um, Jian Lusher was startled suddenly. The voice directly sounded in his mind? Only Ying had this ability before. But Ying's voice was crisper and sweeter. Unlike this voice, which was soft and indifferent. Could it be? Jian Lusher suddenly looked at the iron cage next to Sister Hong. In the iron cage, Ren Shi was wearing a white dress. With her arms wrapped around her knees. Her expression silent. She had a pair of light gray eyes. Although she was in a desperate situation. Her eyes were still calm like the surface of a lake under dark clouds before a storm. Are you talking to me? Jian Lusher didn't know how to respond to Ran Shiyu in his mind, so he could only try hard to think about this sentence, hoping to convey it to Ran Shiyu. Yes, Ran Shiyu said softly, and after saying this word, she fell silent. The car you mentioned is near Jin Ling? Jian Lusher took a deep breath, feeling a little excited, and finally had an idea. Such large-scale construction machinery is indeed out of reach of ordinary people in Qingdo. But Ran Shiyu is different. She is the princess of Renka Group and the assistant to the chairman. How can the information she came into contact with before the end of the world be compared with ordinary citizens? Ran Shiyu may often come into contact with things they don't understand. And Jiang Lusher also remembered that many of Renka Group's business contents are related to machinery and heavy industry. It's not far. Ran Shiyu did not use a positive tone. I want to ask you. Is it important for you to find this car? Jiang Lusher was slightly startled and did not answer immediately. But Ran Shiyu continued, If it's not important, then leave it at that. If it is important, you have to agree to a condition. Ran Shiyu's superpower is telepathy. Although she is far from reaching the standard of mind reading, her psychological perception of people is much better than that of a psychiatrist. She could vaguely feel that searching for a heavy truck was unusual for Jiang Lusher. What conditions? Jiang Lusher asked directly, in fact, he had roughly guessed it. I want you to take me away. This black market is H. L for Ran Shiyu. Ran Shiyu has already seen her future from that beautiful envy dog. She was indifferent and arrogant by nature. After her father turned into a zombie, bit her mother to death, and was shot again, she despaired of the world. She could accept death calmly, but she could not accept her dignity being trampled on and insulted. But in the hands of these people, even if you want to commit suicide, it is impossible for a person to commit suicide with bare hands. No matter whether she pinches her neck, bites her tongue, or hits a wall, she will not die. 
What's more, there are people from the Seven Gods team watching over her. Someone will force fed her food when she goes on a hunger strike. Besides, she will probably die early before she dies from the hunger strike. He was so humiliated that he couldn't stand it. Take you away? Jiang Liuxiu's eyes flashed. Aren't you afraid that I'm the same as them? I'll take you away. And after I find the truck, aren't you afraid that I'll treat you like them? Maybe. Ran Shiyu smiled bitterly. However, your mental fluctuations tell me you are different, maybe in this world. Only the soul will not lie. Even if it is so ugly many times. Ran Shiyu stretched out her slender fingertips and gently touched the cold iron fence. A few meters apart, Ran Shiyu and Jian Lusher looked at each other as if they were separated by a layer of distant time and space. Jian Lusher withdrew his gaze, closed his eyes slightly, and sat back on the chair. He silently considered the cards he had and the current situation. About ten seconds later, he slowly opened his eyes and looked at Boss Bai, with a strange light blooming in his eyes. How about leaving this girl to me? Jian Lusher suddenly spoke, making everyone in the audience startled. What? Boss Bai suddenly looked towards Jian Lusher. His eagle-like eyes looked at Jian Lusher. What did you say? I didn't hear clearly. I want to buy Ranchi. You set the price. Jian Lusher said again. This time, Jian Juying, Sun Kun, and Zhang Hai were all stunned. They didn't know why Jian Lusher suddenly wanted to buy Ranchi. He had said before that they could not save so many suffering people in the last days. People like Fatty Yuan and others were also confused. In their opinion, if Jian Lusher was interested in Ranchi, why didn't he bid earlier and wait for Boss Bai to tell the final price before he spoke too late? Damn it! This kid turned out to be a pervert too. Isn't he just like me? He's pretending to be something like that. Now he's bleeding heavily for a woman. What a pity. He wants to steal Boss Bai's woman. I think he's tired of living. Got it! Fatty Yuan mocked mercilessly. He didn't even avoid Jiang Lusher and said it directly he had already bought the gun anyway and was not afraid of Jiang Lusher at all. Fatty Yuan was probably the one who coveted Ran Shiyu the most among all the people present. But he was snatched away by Boss Bai. So he didn't dare to let go. But now Jiang Lusher suddenly jumped out. Which made him find it too interesting. This kid was simply asking for his own death. Fatty Yuan was fed up with Jiang Lusher before. And now, he wanted to see Jiang Lusher dealt with. It is said that a strong dragon cannot suppress a local snake. Not to mention that Boss Bai is not a local snake. But a mountain tiger. Who can get a bargain on his territory? Chapter 124 Buying Your Life with Money Fourth Update This kid is going to be in trouble. Look at how Boss Bai deals with him. He actually plans to put a hat on Boss Bai. He's crazy. Others gloated that it would be interesting if someone fought over something they couldn't eat and even killed someone. Ha ha! Boss Bai suddenly laughed. I, Bai Chan Chan, have already named the woman I want. But you want to snatch it away from me and ask me to give it to you. Why do you think so? No reason. It's just an exchange of interests. I can give you a satisfactory price. I think your ambition is not limited to a small black market. Otherwise, you wouldn't be so eager to establish a black market so early. Yes, it's just for faster accumulation. Right? To develop power. Early accumulation is very important. It's not worth it to give up interests for a woman. Jiang Lusher understands Boss Bai's character very well. He is lustful. Greedy, vicious, eager for power and wealth, and eager to have everything. However, he is not a man with a simple brain. He knows what is more important and knows the trade-offs. He's a wannabe hero. Benefits? Bai Zhanchan smiled. How much can you give me? Oh, I seem to understand. Let me think about it. You didn't bid before. But now you want to snatch this girl away from me. What is your reason? Ran Shi, can you communicate spiritually? Could it be that I said something to you? Bai Zhanchan said. His eyes suddenly shot at Ran Shiyu. His eyes were super aggressive. As if he wanted to shoot people through. He had heard Sister Hong say before that Ran Shiyu's power was telepathy. And she could directly transmit sounds to people. Before, Bai Zhanchan noticed. Jian Lusher and Ran Shiyu looked at each other for a short time. If Jian Lusher could change his mind and spend a lot of money to buy Ran Shiyu at the risk of offending himself. Then there must be a reason to make Jian Lusher pay the price. In this case, how could he let Ran Shiyu fall into Jian Lusher's hands easily? Bai Zhan Chan and Jian Lusher looked at each other. Jian Lusher remained silent. He had to admit that Bai Zhan Chan had extremely keen insight. Bai Zhan Chan suddenly stretched out four fingers, 
for mutant crystal nuclei. Didn't you say you want to give me benefits? Okay. I'll give this girl to you. Come and buy her with four mutant crystal nuclei. When Bai Jianshan said these words, the whole audience gasped. For mutated crystal nuclei, Jiang Lusher had brought out so many weapons before and sold a total of four mutant crystal nuclei. Now Bai Jianshan plans to let Jiang Lusher spit out everything he got, including the capital and profit. What a lion's mouth is. This is simply not enough to describe it as a lion's mouth. Too domineering. Jiang Liusher's face suddenly darkened. The end of the world is a world of power. And the strong get everything. But Bai Jianshan is also a strong person. And there is a priority for buying and selling. Bai Jianshan bought it first. So Jiang Liusher asked Bai Jianshan to set a price. But Bai Jianshan actually offered such an outrageous price. It seems that you sincerely don't want to give in? Jiang Liusher asked word for word. Ha ha ha. I didn't refuse. You have four mutant crystal nuclei. Don't you? But you don't want to give them out. Then you think you can make me make concessions with only one or two tons of mutant beast meat. Then won't you? If a random person falls in love with my woman, he can take some mutated beast meat and take her away. That's the case for women. What about the others? Bai John Chan's face was filled with disdain. He was a person in power. And those in power needed not only profits, but also majesty. If he wants to find a way to fight for hegemony, it is destined to be full of blood. And the gains and losses in this are by no means measured by interests alone. He doesn't like people who are not under his control. Especially on his territory. I am indeed not limited to this black market. But first of all, I have the final say where I am. Whether it is a dilapidated town or a ruin. When Bai Zhanshan said this, he had already stood up. Although his cheeks were thin, his tall figure gave people a full sense of oppression. Jian Lusher still sat still. And the atmosphere in the venue seemed to have solidified. Many people looked at Jian Lusher with gloating smiles. They all had a premonition that Jian Lusher would be miserable. The two paths before him now were either submission or possibly death. Bai Jian Shan is really overbearing. He wants Jian Lusher to spit out all the money he earned in the black market. Also, is Bai Jian Shan's money so easy to earn? It's also my fault that this guy is an idiot. He has a lot of money, but he doesn't know how to keep a low profile. The key point is that the strength of his team is incomparable to Boss Bai. In this case, he still wants to compete with Boss Bai for women. So he suddenly gave Boss Bai a hand. Excuse. I think he is finished. He will probably hand over the four mutated crystal nuclei now. These four mutated crystal nuclei are the money for this kid's life. If he doesn't hand it over, I'm afraid he will die. Someone whispered that the things Jian Lusher brought out before were too eye-catching. And now he has sold four mutant crystal nuclei. Who wouldn't be jealous of this wealth? Originally, Jian Lusher and Ichiwen's departure might have been missed by the Seven Gods team. And they might have secretly plotted to kill people and steal goods along the way. And now, in this situation, he didn't run away. For mutated crystal nuclei by life. Do you want to buy it or not? Fatty Yuan was very excited. It seemed that this boy was going to get nothing. He didn't make a dime, and even lost his pants. Fatty Yuan felt very happy. But not everyone was as heartless as Fatty Yuan. When something like this happened, people present had different feelings. Most people were jealous of Jiang Liusher's wealth before. And while they gloated about his misfortune, they also felt scared. Boss Bai is really a terrible person. Trying to survive by his side makes you tremble all the time. Everyone present looked at Jiang Liusher to see if Jiang Liusher would give in or seek death. At this moment, Jian Lusher was still sitting on the steel chair, as if he was not aware of the situation at all. Jian Lusher knew best in his heart that what happened today, whether or not Ran Shiyu appeared, would never end well. Before he opened his mouth to buy Ran Shiyu, Bai Zhanshan had already shown murderous intentions towards him several times. Bai Zhanshan is destined not to let go of these four mutated crystal nuclei. Jian Ran Shiyu is just an excuse for him to take action. Without this excuse, he will find other excuses. If he can't find any other excuse, he will take action halfway. Jian Lusher sat firmly on the steel chair. But behind Jian Lusher, Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai had sweaty palms holding their guns. They are also afraid of death. This place is by Jian Chan's lair. Good, very good. Jian Lusher suddenly spoke and spat out these words very bluntly. But at this moment, next to Jian Lusher, a figure in black suddenly moved. Her graceful figure suddenly rose up. She was holding the three-edged military thorn she had just bought at the trade fair. Like a rapid shot, the black light rushed towards by Jean Mountain. The whole process is as fast as lightning. Chapter 125 Humanoid Tyrannosaurus Um, 
Bai Zhanshan was shocked. He had been wary of the other party's sudden attack before. But his attention was almost entirely on Jiang Zhuying. After all, Jiang Zhuying was the strongest superpower in the team. But he never dreamed that the first one to make a move would be the beauty in black next to Jiang Lusher. This face with long breasts and thighs seemed to be just for Jiang Lusher to warm his bed. But now she didn't say a word. He took action directly. And as soon as he took action, it was like a thunderous force. And the target was clearly himself. In her own lair. Knowing that he was the boss and the strongest of the Seven Gods team, she actually dared to attack her. Court death! Bai Zhanchan roared loudly. A sound that was completely unlike a human roar. It came from his chest and shocked the eardrums of everyone present. The clothes on Bai Zhanchan's upper body were suddenly torn apart, and his strong muscles bulged out. Behind him, long hair suddenly grew on his body and face. In an instant, he turned into a bear man a different type of ability that activates the bloodline of beasts. The same was true for the previous blood wolf. In the early days of the apocalypse, this is definitely an extremely powerful ability. Although the bearman lacks speed, he possesses unparalleled strength and super defense. At this time, Ng had already jumped over the metal table several meters wide, and the three-edged military thorn in his hand had already pierced by Zhan Chan's eyes. Drink! Bai Zhan Chan shouted loudly. He actually grabbed the steel chair behind him, and slammed it at Ying. He actually wanted to smash Ying away with his absolute strength. With his strength, one blow would definitely smash someone into a pulp. The dagger versus the steel chair. The bear versus the beauty. Absolutely disproportionate collision. A strong visual impact. Just when everyone thought that this beauty, who was known for her agility, would disappear like this, an incredible scene happened. Ding! There was a harsh metal collision, and the three-edged thorn in Ying's hand was firmly nailed to by Zhan Shan's steel chair. The thin steel plate on the chair's surface was actually pierced by the three-edged thorn. What? Holding a triangular military thorn to pierce the steel plate? How much power is required? Before anyone could exclaim, Ink pressed his hands on the chair, directly suppressing by Zhan Shan. The two of them were holding on to the same chair, but by Zhan Shan's power could not prevail. By Zhan Shan was completely stunned. This is the power that a woman can have. At this moment, the whole body of Ying was supported by the steel chair, and he made a beautiful spin in the air, and his long legs swept towards Bai Zhanshan's neck like a whip, sweep the throat with one leg. Bai Zhanshan was shocked. He couldn't get rid of the chair in his hands. He watched helplessly as Ying lifted it up. In normal times, such a beautiful woman would kick him and even tickle him. But now, he didn't dare to let it go. You can only block the kick from the shadow with your hand. Clang. Ying's long legs were firmly attached to Bai Zhanshan's forearm, and through the thick bare skin, people could even hear the crisp sound of bones hitting each other. Shadow's specialty is strength enhancement. This came from Jiang Liuxia's whim when setting it up. But now, it has given Bai Zhanshan a lot of bones. This kick made his forearm numb. He has never encountered anything like this since he awakened his powers. This woman is not a vase. She is simply a humanoid Tyrannosaurus. It's so scary. What are you still looking at? being pressed down and beaten by the shadow. Bai Zhanshan let out an explosive roar. In this room, there are more than a dozen members of the Seven Gods team who maintain order. They are not superpowers. But everyone is powerful, and is the minions of the Seven Gods team. Most of them had pistols, and two of them held rifles. They were all dumbfounded when they saw Ying to show off his power just now. They couldn't believe that the usually invincible boss, Bai was actually being suppressed and beaten. Now that Bai Zhanshan had given a warning, they hurriedly raised their guns and prepared to shoot at Ying. However, the moment they raised their guns, Jiang Lusher, who had already drawn the Type 54 pistol, moved first. He was not stupid. The moment the battle started, he had already drawn his gun. Hold the gun with both hands. Fire left and right at the same time. Shooting technique. Boom! 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 With the continuous gunshots, in Jiang Lusher's eyes, everything that happened in the room became slow motion. His hands moved at the smallest distance and continuously changed the shooting target. The left and right hands aimed at the same time, but in two directions, fired at the same time, and killed two people with two bullets. This terrible marksmanship in actual combat. Even the gun masters of the special forces cannot do it. There are so many people using two pistols at the same time. But if you can aim two pistols at one place and hit, you are already a master. How about aiming at two places at the same time? Unheard of. Bob bang bang. Blood splatters. Gunshots hit vital points. Either the heart or the head. At this time, 
Jian Lusher almost transformed into a cold-blooded killer. If he didn't kill others, he would die himself. In an instant, there were six people, and everyone in the audience was shocked when they saw such spear skills. Sister Hong's beauty turned pale. She had no idea that this seemingly harmless little brother could be so terrifying. Such a chaotic scene full of dangers and gunmen from all directions. But he had such accurate marksmanship and such rapid shooting. The child eliminated half of the firepower in the field. Is that human being? Not only Sister Hong, but also many other members of the team were already lying under the table. Fatty Yuan, who had been yelling at him before, was already scared to death. Among these people, Fatty Yuan is actually quite powerful. But when he encounters perverts like Ng and Jiang Lu Shi, he doesn't have the courage to get involved. Besides, there is no benefit in getting involved, and he will lose his life accidentally. After Jiang Lusher eliminated the six gunmen, there were still six more gunmen. At this time, they had already raised their guns. However, at this moment, a blue-white electric current flashed in front of them, and the three gunmen were enveloped by the electric current. They screamed, and their whole bodies trembled violently. One of them was burned almost instantly. How can their speed of raising guns compare to the electric current? Jiang Zhuying held a katana in his hand, threw off the chain, and crossed the void. Wherever the chain passed, power grids were everywhere. As for the three remaining gunmen, they finally got a chance to shoot. But at this time, Ng had already left behind a large steel table. The steel table was welded from steel plates and weighed six to seven hundred kilograms. The steel table was blocked by Ng, lifting her feet. She then kicked sideways in the air, and the steel table spun and flew out like a toy. Bang, bang, bang. Several gunmen in a row were directly hit by the steel table. Such a heavy steel table rotated and hit their bodies, breaking their bones and tendons, causing them to vomit blood on the spot. Hack! Someone in the crowd shouted, What kind of power is this? Is this still a human being? Someone just laid down on the ground, holding his head in his hands. That means it has nothing to do with me. Don't hit me. Chapter 126 Escaped? Ta ta ta! Ta ta ta! Sun Kun and Zhang Hai also opened fire. They were the two weakest and had the slowest reaction speed. In addition, the scene was chaotic. The two of them opened fire and only killed one gunman in total. However, the sound of automatic rifle shooting was still shocking. Full of power, more people instantly held their heads and fell to the ground to avoid the rain of bullets. At this time, boom! The back brick wall of the trading hall was directly smashed by Bai Zhan Shan and Bai Zhanshan actually rushed out of the brick wall. He escaped. Bai Zhanshan escaped. Bai Zhanshan, who used to be mighty and domineering, was originally determined to defeat Yun. But after the long-legged beauty in black appeared, the situation suddenly changed. He actually didn't beat the beauty in black. Then, the situation reversed in a short time, and Bai Zhanshan actually ran away decisively. It is said that a strong dragon cannot suppress a local snake. But now, even a local tiger has been killed. Let's go! Jian Lusher gave the order decisively. In this situation, it seemed that they were completely victorious. But in fact it was not the case. This is by Zhan Shan's territory. They killed some gunmen. But they were all ordinary people. However, by Zhan Shan's power is far more than that. At this trade fair alone, only two of the seven superpowers from the seven gods team were present. If you had other people, it's hard to say. What's more, by Zhan Shan has many people and guns. If he gathers a group of his minions, seals the door with automatic rifles, and shoots directly, then even if he has three heads and six arms, he will be beaten into a sieve. Without saying a word, Ng appeared in front of Ranshiyu as if she had teleported. Sister Hong was next to the cage at this time, already pale with fear. Ki ki, Sister Hong said tremblingly. She actually just opened her mouth and wanted to hand the key to Ng. How dare she stop her at this time? But before she said a word, Ng had already reached out and grabbed the iron cage and ripped it apart. This scene was so eye-popping that the iron fence, which was as thick as a child's finger, was torn open by the shadow. A beautiful woman with big breasts and long legs, who looked like her whole body was made of soft flesh and was as smooth as if she had no bones, swept across the bare man, kicking the steel table with her feet and tearing apart the iron cage with her hands. Damn it! What kind of woman is this? Not to mention other people, it was Ran Shiyu who was imprisoned in the cage. No matter how indifferent she was by nature. No matter how hopeless she was for the world. At this time her beautiful eyes widened and she looked at Ng like the god of war. 
This girl is so strong. It should be said that the three people in Jiang Liosher's team led by them were all strong. Ran Shiyu has strong mental power. And she can clearly see the battle scene from beginning to end. Whether it was Ying's speed and terrifying power. Jiang Liosher's miraculous two-handed shooting skills. Or Jiang Zhuying's electric attack. They all shocked her. She originally let Jiang Liosher take her away in a desperate move. She also didn't expect by Zhan Shan to be so domineering. Nor did she know that Jiang Liosher had such a treasure. But there would be a fight just because Jiang Liosher mentioned her. She originally regretted making this request when she saw Jiang Liosher in deep trouble and by Zhan Shan being aggressive. But she never expected that things would turn out like this. Three people, in just two or three seconds, shocked the entire audience. This strength is so terrifying. Get in the car! Give up the SUV and freezer truck for now! Jian Lusher said quickly. The base vehicle was parked outside the door. Ink picked up the frail Ran Shiyu with one hand, as if he was carrying a doll. And several people rushed directly to the base vehicle, including Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai. The freezer truck was still outside the black market at this time. Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai both had red faces. They had hardly played any role in the battle just now. In fact, it's not their fault. Their strength is still limited. And their marksmanship is not good. In such a chaotic scene, they can't shoot accurately. Ying Yi held Ran Shiyu in his hand and rushed towards the base vehicle in one stride. At this time, no one had opened the door of the base bus yet. Ran Shiyu's beautiful eyes widened and she watched helplessly as the door of the minibus got closer and closer, almost hitting it, because Ran Shiyu was being carried by Ying. She had to hit him first. At such a fast speed, a hit would definitely cause a bloody head. She had no time to react. But at this moment, the door of the minibus had opened by itself. The next moment, Ying had arrived in the base car and threw Ran Shiyu on the sofa in the small living room. Ran Shiyu was a little confused. This minibus actually opened the door automatically. Moreover, the door opened so fast. One moment she felt like she was about to be hit, and her eyes almost closed instinctively. The next moment, the car door was already wide open. This was simply too bizarre. She sat up holding the back of the sofa and saw her surroundings clearly. Inside the minibus, it turned out to be a well-equipped and beautifully decorated RV. Although the space in the car was not large, it had bedrooms, bathrooms and kitchens. Of course Ran Shiyu has seen luxury RVs and even stayed in them. But in the apocalypse, Ran Shiyu has experienced countless sufferings in these days, including hunger, filth, cold, sleepiness, fear, and despair. She was even locked in a cage many times. After experiencing all this, being suddenly thrown into such a glamorous and well-equipped RV made Ran Shiyu feel like a dream. At this time, she saw Ying directly sitting in the driver's seat and turning the key. The person driving the car was actually Ying. This long-legged beauty. She acted as the driver of the minibus. The difficulty of driving a minibus is naturally much more difficult than driving a small car. And it is still a critical moment. You can imagine that the Seven Gods team will be chasing you soon. This is bound to be a fierce battle on the road. And the requirements for the driver's driving skills are very high. This girl in black is so versatile. At this time, Jiang Juying and Jiang Lusher all got on the car. Including Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai. Because the roads in the black market are narrow. Only minibuses and SUVs drove in. While the large refrigerator truck was still parked outside. You don't want the freezer truck anymore? Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai both felt distressed. There were still supplies and tons of mutated beast meat on top. In their opinion, when the minibus rushed out like this, it was obviously too late to let them down before driving the freezer truck. This is a mobile base that they invested considerable energy and financial resources into successfully renovating. Although it is definitely incomparable with Jiang Liosher's minibus, it is already good compared with ordinary SUVs. Comparing with Jiang Liosher's car, isn't that asking for abuse? Why not? As Jiang Liosher spoke, the corners of his mouth curved slightly. But a cold light flashed in his eyes. Since they took action, they must bear the price. Well, Sun Kuen and Zhang Hai were both stunned. At this time, Ying had already started the car. And the minibus rushed out like a roaring beast. There are stalls everywhere in the black market. But just now, when gunshots rang out in the trading hall and by Zhang Shan was seen rushing out like a violent bear, the people in the black market had already dispersed in fear. So now there is no way to stand in front of them. No one is in the way. Ying naturally stepped on the accelerator. Wherever the base vehicle passed, many stalls were directly knocked open. And the base vehicle roared across the black market. Soon, 
it reached a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Chapter 127 To Pursue or Not to Pursue As the base car steward, Ying's driving skills are of course nothing to say. Now that the base vehicle is in its secondary form, it can already drive unmanned. However, the base vehicle in the unmanned state is like a precision machine. It can perfectly avoid many obstacles. But it lacks adaptability and lacks wisdom and thinking. These shortcomings would be made up for if it were driven by a shadow. As for Jiang Lusher, because he has activated brain evolution, his reaction ability is even faster than that of Hai. His driving skills, under the correction of the star seed and the combined effect of his brain, are even better than Hai's. In just a blink of an eye, the minibus has rushed out of the black market. Stop! Stop! The guards in front of the black market came up with guns in hand to stop the car. They still didn't know what happened in the trading hall. They only heard the gunshots. But the minibus was roaring towards them and was about to knock them away. How could they dare to stand at the door and die? So they hurriedly ran away. Whoosh! Like the roar of a jet engine, the minibus rushed past, causing the strong wind to almost knock down the two black market guards. They stared at the minibus speeding away with their mouths open. Is this a hacking minibus? Just from the trading floor to the door of the black market. It surged to such a terrifying speed. How is this going? The black market is in chaos. There are seven superpowers from the seven gods team. There are currently five people left in the black market, including the boss by Jean Shan, the fourth boss Heidao, and the third boss, who is a young man who looks like a college student named Su Yang. There are two other people, both ordinary superpowers with slightly inferior abilities. At this time, under the leadership of Bai Zhan Shan, Bai Zhan Shan, Heidao, and Zhou Ping jumped directly onto the off-road vehicle. Bai Zhan Shan was disgraced and still maintained his bear-like state. Chase! Bai Zhan Shan was furious, with murderous intent filling his body. Ever since the end of the world came and he awakened his powers, he had never suffered such a big loss. This was on his territory, in front of many teams in his sphere of influence. He was slapped hard in the face by a young man who looked like just a student. If this position is not restored, how will he be the boss in the future? The modified SUV started, but when several cars drove out of the parking lot and squeezed through the black market to the door, Jian Liosher's minibus was almost gone. This car, why is it so fast? Bai Chan's expression was extremely ugly. He had already canceled his bear man transformation and drove the car himself. But it seemed impossible to catch up. It's a modified car. And it turned a broken minibus into something like this. Bai Chan smashed the steering wheel angrily. At this time, it was neither right nor wrong for him to chase. Go after it. You can't catch it. If you don't chase, you won't get off the stage. Damn it! Bai Zhanshan finally kicked open the car door, carried a machine gun, and returned to the trading room angrily. The entire trading hall was silent, and people could feel Bai Zhanshan's anger. The Bai Zhanshan they usually see is gloomy, with no expression of joy or anger. But now, Bai Zhanshan's face is so dark that water can drip from his face. Bai Zhanshan walked into the trading hall, his angry eyes sweeping across the messy hall. Tables and chairs overturned and corpses were everywhere. The teams that came to trade each stood up from behind the tables and chairs where they were hiding, with shocked expressions on their faces. Seeing Bai Zhanshan coming back, these people avoided his sight and did not come into contact with him. Bai Zhanshan felt that his face was burning, and the fire in his heart made his whole body burn. When had he ever been so embarrassed? Damn it! Bai Zhanshan fiercely kicked out a chair that fell in front of him. The chair was deformed by his kick and fell to the ground with a clang. Those people stood there watching Bai Zhanshan get angry and did not dare to speak. Call the dick back! Bai Zhanshan was silent for a while and said in a deep voice, The second eldest son of the Seven Gods team, Bai Pinghai, is Bai Zhanshan's younger brother. Although Bai Pinghai is a member of the Seven Gods team, he spends most of his time at the Lan County Armed Police Base. Bai Pinghai was not an armed policeman at first, but an ordinary office worker. After the apocalypse, the two brothers awakened their powers and Bai Pinghai suddenly became an important member of the Lan County Armed Police Base. It is said that the person in charge of the Armed Police Base came to invite Bai Pinghai in person. Bai Pinghai is a mysterious figure, but there is no doubt that he is very powerful. Otherwise, he would not be solemnly invited by the Lan County Armed Police Base. The fact that the Seven Gods Squad can sell some arms from time to time is also related to Bai Pinghai's presence in the Armed Police Base. The guns and ammunition in Lan County are basically leaked from the armed police base. 
This armed police base is not like the satellite city in Jinling, which is a base established by preserved national forces. It is an armed police squadron near Lan County, which was established by spontaneously integrating forces after the end of the world. They now have nothing to do with the Jinling military and are a separate force after the end of the world. I actually asked Bai Pinghai to come back. It seems that Boss Bai is really angry. Someone among the crowd whispered. But if I were that kid, I would definitely run as far as I can and then find a place to hide. In such a chaotic world in the apocalypse. Where can I find someone? Another person disagreed. Jian Lusher and the others were strangers and had never been there before. Those who make a living in the surrounding areas do not rely on the supplies around Lawn County. As long as they don't come to the black market again. Why should they be so afraid of Bai John Sean? Hey, that's what I said. But if that's the case, why would Bai John Sean call his brother back? Bai Pinghai is staying at the armed police base. And the former criminal police officers from Lawn County Police Station are also staying there. Maybe Bai Pinghai will call a few people from the criminal investigation department the police came, searched for some clues, and caught the kid by following the clues. Yes, the methods of the criminal investigation department are really powerful. Just studying tire marks. There are many methods that we don't understand at all. I estimate that the kid will probably be found. By then, the Seven Gods team, plus by Ping Hai, will with the help of the armed police force. I guess he wants to escape again. It's very uncertain. What will happen to that kid once he falls into Bai Zhan Chan's hands? I feel chills in my back just thinking about it. Those who offended Bai Zhan Chan a few days ago were hung up at the entrance of the black market for people to view after being tortured. Almost all of them who went in and out of the black market had seen that person. In order to let more people see that person. Bai John Chan even had his life hung up. It is said that the appearance of that man is Bai Ping Hai's handiwork. The skin on his body was peeled off and the flesh was shaved off. Leaving behind blood vessels as thin as hair and as numerous as spider webs. The internal organs were directly exposed. And the beating of the heart was visible to the naked eye. This technique is much more sophisticated than that of the most skilled surgeons. It's hard to imagine how cold-blooded this person must be to accomplish all this without even shaking his hands amidst the screams of one person. Even the members of the team, who were equally murderous, felt numb when they saw the scene. If Jiang Lusher and the others fall into the hands of the Bai brothers, their fate will only be even more miserable than that man's. Jiang Lusher sat in the passenger seat. While Ying was driving, he was not idle and directly called up the Star Seeds evolution panel. For first-level mutant crystal nuclei were detected which can be used to start the evolution of the base vehicle. Chapter 128 Custom Modification Base Car Evolves Finally, it's time to start evolving again. Jian Lusher was very excited. He had spent too much effort for this evolution. After a life and death battle with the Blood Wolf, after obtaining the weapon, he drove the base vehicle from Jin Ling to Lan County and sold it on the black market in Lan County, which made the black market boss so jealous that he exchanged it for these four crystal cores. With these four crystal cores, Jiang Lusher felt that he could start a transformation that he had been looking forward to for a long time. Although the base vehicle has turned on the secondary scan, it can search for a mining truck. However, the original minibus will not be lost, but will be retained as the first form of the base vehicle. The newly added mining truck is only the second form. The base vehicle in its first form will be the most stable, flexible, and energy-saving. Jian Lusher will use the first form of minibus most of the time in the future. Whether traveling or living, mining trucks are only used during critical crises. Both vehicles have their own advantages. If nothing else, with the weight of a mining truck, it would not dare to cross a bridge when it is unloaded. As for a fully loaded truck, it would be terrifying. It would not even dare to go on ordinary asphalt roads. And it would directly crush you. Broken. Moreover, with its ultra-wide body, one car occupies four lanes. So how can it be used in small alleys? As for fuel consumption, the fuel consumption of this thing can reach more than 1,000 liters per 100 kilometers. This is still a normal car. After Xingzheng modification, the fuel consumption may be further improved. If it reaches 2,000 liters or something, then even if all Jiang Liosher's 10 cubic meters of spare fuel tank is used to hold diesel, it can only run 500 kilometers. Therefore, the first form of minibus must be used all the time. In the apocalypse where ruins are everywhere, its flexibility and low energy consumption are the most practical. Opening the panel, a series of choices appeared in front of Jiang Lusher. Strengthen armor. Strengthen tires. Strengthen air cannons. Add mechanical arms. 
and more. Jian Lusher glanced over. Among these items, Jian Lusher was most concerned about strengthening tires. After reaching the first level of tire reinforcement, the base car tire rubber can be upgraded to high temperature resistant and fire resistant rubber. Each tire has hundreds of bulletproof airbags. Even if dozens of them are broken, they can still be opened without fail. Tires are fireproof, which Jian Lusher needs very much. The current base vehicle has a copper head and an iron body. But the tires are the weak point. Once the tire bursts, he will not be able to do anything. However, even though Jian Lusher coveted fireproof tires, the first thing Jian Lusher chose was not a tire upgrade, but another feature. An upgrade that not only made Jian Lusher covet, but also made him excited to customize base car. This is a new ability acquired by the base vehicle after it turns on its secondary form, allowing Jian Lusher to independently transform the base vehicle according to his wishes. To turn on the autonomous transformation function, you need a mutant crystal core, which may not sound like much. But every time you transform a place thereafter, you will need a mutant crystal core. This independent transformation is extremely expensive. But for Jian Lusher, it is worth it no matter how expensive it is. The apocalypse broke out suddenly, leaving Jian Lusher with very little time. Jian Lusher chose a minibus as the object of the first scan. However, many parts of the minibus could not satisfy Jian Lusher's wishes. Now he finally has the opportunity to modify the minibus according to his own wishes. How could Jian Lusher not be excited about building a war fortress of his own? Choose independent transformation. Jian Lusher put the first mutant crystal core into the groove of the base vehicle's driving station. At this moment, the crystal core is just activating this function. And the subsequent transformation will be a major hemorrhage. It's really expensive. After the second level of evolution, the evolution of the base car consumes more mutant crystal nuclei. My current net worth looks rich. But in fact, I can't stand the trouble at all. Jian Lusher muttered to himself. At this time, the crystal core had been swallowed by the base vehicle. This scene was blocked by Jian Liusher's body. And Sun Kuen, Zhang Hai and others were all standing on the back window of the base vehicle to guard against the pursuit of the Seven Gods team. So they did not see it at all. Drop! A soft sound sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. The automatic transformation function is about to be turned on. It will take time. One hour. The use of the base vehicle will not be affected during this period. All the metal required for the transformation has been detected in the storage space. Do you want to continue? Continue. Jian Lusher chose yes. It would be nice to have a storage space of 10 cubic meters. More than 100 tons of metal are put in. And there are all kinds of metals. As long as the metals are not too popular. There is no need to collect them separately. They can be used directly. The transformation begins. Xing Zhong reminded that the base vehicle had begun to be modified. The base vehicle being modified could not see any changes in its appearance. Only Jian Lusher and Ying knew that the base vehicle was being modified. At this time, Jian Lusher was not idle either. He started to look at the price list offered by Xing Shong. That is the cost of modifying the base vehicle. Seeing this, even though Jian Lusher had been prepared, he was secretly speechless. Before the apocalypse, modified cars were a money burning entertainment that only rich people could afford. Unexpectedly, after the apocalypse, modifying base cars by yourself would also be such a waste of money. The transformation of the base vehicle is a long process and consumes a terrifying amount of mutant crystal nuclei. The base vehicle absorbs the mutated crystal nuclei. In the final analysis, it absorbs energy. And this energy consumption is based on two standards. One is the degree of modification. The base vehicle is modified using a special alloy synthesized by Star Seed. This alloy is stronger than the armor of the base vehicle. Every 500 kilograms synthesized consumes one mutant crystal core. Adding alloy modifications will increase the weight of the entire base vehicle. And the crystal core will be consumed the fastest. The second one is the intensity of transformation. The special alloys synthesized by star seeds are also divided into grades. First level mutant crystal nuclei can only synthesize higher level alloys. If there are secondary crystal nuclei in the future, it will be a secondary alloy. Of course. The secondary alloy will surpass the primary alloy in all aspects. Of course, if there really is a second level mutated crystal nucleus, Jian Lusher would be absolutely reluctant to use it to make alloys now. It would be a waste of resources. If there is a secondary crystal nucleus, there are many places to utilize it. Not to mention modifying the base vehicle. The biological laboratory's many genetic evolution fluids that use secondary crystal nuclei make Jian Lusher jealous. Expensive. Really expensive. 
if you use this special alloy to expand the internal space of the base vehicle. Almost every 5 square meters of expansion will consume a mutant crystal core. But now, no matter how crowded I live, I will not be willing to use mutant crystals. Crystal core to expand the interior space of the car. Inside Jiang Liuxiu's base vehicle, the bed in the bedroom is foldable and cannot be stowed away when not in use. The kitchen and living room are connected together. There is no door in between. And the kitchen is ridiculously small. The bathroom is located in the corner of the minibus. It is not easy to turn around after entering. After all, it is a minibus after all. So how much interior space can it have? Chapter 129 Mobile War Fortress However, Jian Lusher did not use a minibus for his first scan, but a larger car. Although the space is larger now, it is not certain how much the performance of the base car will be improved. Anyway, the star seat only scans so much energy for the first time, which can be used to transform the car, making it more energy dense and stronger. When used to transform large vehicles, the internal space is larger, but the energy density is smaller. And if Jiang Lusher wants to replace the original car body with a first grade alloy, the number of mutant crystal nuclei consumed is still 5 square meters per crystal nucleus, which is more expensive than China Shipping's house price. The special alloys that have emerged have various properties that are off the charts. And their impact resistance far exceeds that of previous car body materials. The car body modified with it has far better performance than before. Jian Lusher thought for a moment and chose two places for the first batch of renovations. These two transformations were crucial to Jian Lusher. When the independent transformation function was turned on, Jian Lusher was drawing blueprints. During the transformation, it all relied on Jian Lusher's imagination. And a clear blueprint could help Jian Lusher complete this step. First up, the rooftop war room. This is the most critical transformation. To put it figuratively, it is like building a bunker on top of the minibus. Jian Lusher picked up the pen and Starseed had already appeared on a touch screen in front of Jian Lusher. Just use a pen to outline the main structure of the transformation on the touch screen, and the details will be filled in by Starseed Intelligence. Jian Lusher drew a few strokes casually. Now that Jian Lusher's brain has evolved, his brain's control over every muscle is far beyond that of ordinary people. He can draw straight lines and perfect circles without a ruler or compass. Jian Lusher chose an oblate shape for the war room. The war room is about one meter high, with an internal area of 3 square meters. There is a combat seat in the middle. The combat seat can be rotated quickly according to Jiang Liuxiu's wishes. There are 360 degree observation windows around the war room, which can be used in all directions. Observe the situation outside. Under the observation window, there is a 360 degree shooting port. As long as Jiang Liuxiu is given a gun, he can cover the firepower at any angle around him. That's probably it. Jiang Liuxiu finalized the drawings and star seeds began to be automatically generated. Soon, a three-dimensional view of the war room appeared on the control panel in front of Jian Lusher. In the three-dimensional view, it looks like there is a flying saucer installed on the top of the front of the minibus. The war room is in the shape of a flying saucer, full of technology and metal texture. The war room is all made of star-grade first-grade alloy, which is stronger than the material of the base vehicle. If not in use, the war room can be retracted directly into the base vehicle, making it invisible from the outside. The thick armor of the war room is enough to withstand sniper bullets, and there is a layer of soft buffer material inside the armor to prevent Jian Lusher from being injured when the base vehicle shakes and knocks over the metal armor. That's it. Jian Lusher made his choice. Now that we have the war room, there is another thing that Jian Lusher has wanted for a long time. After starting the independent modification of the base vehicle, I finally had the opportunity to add it. That's the corner. Battleships in ancient times had long ramming horns in the front, which were used to ram and sink enemy warships. After pressing the collision angle, the base vehicle collides again, and the power is far greater than before. Just things like the collision angle require extremely high strength of steel, and the welding to the base car is also a problem. The modified minibus from the base vehicle was integrated into one piece. Jian Lusher was asked to weld a few bump corners by himself. It was a technical job, and if it was not done well, it would break as soon as it hit. And another important point is that the impact angle requires the support of the frame. And it does not just work if it is attached to the surface of the car. In the past, the ramming angles of ancient battleships were pressed against the keel of the battleship, which was the strongest design. Otherwise, once the ram hits an enemy warship, the ram itself will be squeezed by a huge force. Maybe the enemy ship is not broken. 
but your own ship is broken first, and the entire ram will be pressed into your own broken hull. Therefore, adding a collision angle requires the support of the base vehicle's internal alloy frame. In this way, in the event of a collision, the base vehicle's alloy frame disperses and bears the terrifying impact force to avoid the embarrassing situation of the front face being dented after being hit by the collision angle. After selecting the impact angle, a V-shaped steel plate is added to the front face of the base vehicle. At the most protruding part of the V-shaped steel plate, a main impact angle is installed. Using a metal square vertebra made of 200 kilograms of alloy, the square vertebra is not long, but very thick, so that it can withstand the impact of shooting. Surrounding the main collision angle are the auxiliary collision angles, which are made of shorter metal square vertebrae, four on each side in a row, from the middle to both sides. One is shorter than the other, forming the same V shape. The entire collision angle looks extremely powerful. More than 300 kilograms of first grade alloy were used for the collision angle, and the remaining nearly 200 kilograms were used as the supporting frame, which was barely enough for the entire base vehicle transformation. One crystal core started the transformation. One crystal core transformed the war room. One crystal core made the collision angle. And three crystal cores just went in. At the same time, four to five tons of metal were used in the storage space of the base vehicle. Jian Liosher's current metal reserves are more than a hundred tons. And four or five tons is nothing. But in the future, if Jian Liosher wants to modify mining trucks, the amount of metal he will need will be staggering. Thinking of this, Jian Liosher let out a breath. As the base vehicle becomes more and more powerful, the resources consumed will become more and more terrifying. The base vehicle transformation function is being turned on. And the remaining progress is 60%. Xing Zhong's voice sounded in Jian Liosher's mind. It still takes an hour or two from turning on the transformation function to completing the transformation. He was not in a hurry. Ing, don't drive so fast. These people probably won't catch up. We have to go back soon. And driving too far will be in vain. Under Ying's driving, the base vehicle was speeding like lightning. Jiang Lusher estimated that the Seven Gods team had given up the idea of catching up when they saw the back of the base vehicle, although they would not chase him. Jiang Lusher would not give up so easily. Bai Zhanchan wanted to kill him. So how could he just let Bai Zhanchan go? But now that the base vehicle is being renovated, he is still ready to show his kindness and let Bai Zhanchan live a little longer. Having just finished the drawing, Jiang Lusher stretched and stood up, Looking towards the small living room of the base vehicle, Zhang Hai and Sun Kun were both on guard at the rear window. Jiang Zhuying was holding her samurai sword and guarding the window like a female warrior. Ran Shi was sitting on the sofa in an orderly manner. She was wearing a white dress with a slender figure and a pale face. Her hands were flat on her knees. She suddenly came to this clean, bright, comfortable but somewhat unfamiliar environment. Ran Shi was a little cautious. In fact, Although Ran Shiyu has a very high IQ and once assisted her grandfather in running a business group with 2,000 employees, Ran Shiyu herself has not developed the temperament of a strong professional woman. Chapter 130 Mining Truck News After all, Ran Shiyu is still in the internship stage and has never appeared in front of others. Instead, she is an assistant behind the scenes. In terms of temperament, she is still like the sister next door. When she is in the company, she is like an ordinary female student. She is nothing like the queen of shopping malls. Far from it. Drink some water? Jiang Lusher could feel that Ran Shiyu still had not come out of the previous shadow. When he saw Ran Shiyu in the cage before, her eyes were indifferent and calm. But at the same time, they were also desolate and desperate. Now, some energy has finally returned to these gray eyes. Thank you, thank you. Ran Shiyu took the water handed by Jiang Lusher and was a little shocked by the cold and smooth metal touch. This is a can of Coke. Ran Shiyu is very aware of the value of a can of coke in this world. It is an absolute luxury. In comparison, before the end of the world, there were also luxurious drinks. For example, she had seen red wines worth hundreds of thousands. But those red wines were mostly for appreciation. If they were really drunk, they would also be in a mood to drink, no matter how delicious it is. It's not necessarily true. The can of coke in the apocalypse is different. Someone really killed someone just to drink a can of coke. Even Ran Shiyu, holding this can of Coke, had a strong urge to drink it. She was indeed thirsty, and her long-term malnutrition made her in desperate need of sugar. Carefully opening the can, Ran Shiyu put the Coke to her mouth and took a sip. It is difficult to describe the feeling of eating sweets after being hungry for many days. 
the whole body feels light, and the blood flow will accelerate. But this can of coke was of no importance to Jian Lusher. He has plenty of supplies, and food that are much more expensive than this gold. This coke was just something he picked up when passing by a small store. Jian Lusher saw that Ran Shi was hungry. So he took a piece of last night's barbecue, opened the microwave, and put the barbecue in to heat up. Ran Shi was surprised when she heard the sound of the microwave starting up. She didn't care about drinking coke and looked at the microwave with the light on in surprise. Microwave oven after the apocalypse? The power supply has been cut off for a long time. But is there a microwave in this car? Looking around, the refrigerator is also powered on. And there is an IPD charging next to it. The IPD is set to always be on. And the picture shows an animation that has been paused after playing half of the time. With the modern RV, the comfortable sofa, and the coke in her hand, Ren Shiyu simply had the illusion that the end of the world had never come. Ding! The microwave made a soft sound, interrupting Ran Shiyu's random thoughts. After heating, Jian Lusher took out the plate of golden and oily barbecue and placed it in front of Ran Shiyu. This was left over from the roast last night. But the mutated beast meat was so tender that even after it had been left overnight and heated in the microwave, it was still as crispy and delicious as freshly roasted. Eat! Jian Lusher sat opposite Ran Shiyu with his hands spread out and resting on the back of the sofa in a very comfortable posture. Is it mutated animal meat? Ran Shiyu asked tentatively. She had never eaten it before. But she could see the difference between this plate of meat and ordinary animal meat. The rich meaty aroma alone was not comparable to that of ordinary barbecued meat. Jian Lusher nodded. This mutated beast meat is the energy source of superpowers and is a necessity for superpowers. Its consumption is very large. It is common for a superpower to eat several kilograms in one meal. And it must be replenished during battle. Although many survivor teams have mutant beast meat, they live a tight life. And even the leftovers will not be given to ordinary people. But a piece of leftover meat was nothing to Jian Lusher. But in Ran Shiyu's eyes, this once again demonstrated the strength of Jian Lusher's team. Ran Shiyu picked up the chopsticks, took a piece and put it in her mouth. The mutated beast meat melted in the mouth. With a lot of oil and juice. But not greasy. Not to mention that she had been hungry for several days now. Even before the end of the world. This was definitely top-notch delicious food. Ran Shiyu ate in small bites. She was indeed too hungry. But she didn't gobble it up. Instead, she gave people a very quiet feeling. She just finished the plate of mutated beast meat silently. Going from Sister Hong's cage to this car really feels like going from H, L to heaven. Thank you for saving me. Ran Shiyu raised her head and looked at Jian Lusher. Her mental strength was different from ordinary people. She could see many of a person's thoughts just by staring into his eyes. She looked into Jian Liosher's eyes. But she felt that Jian Liosher's eyes were like a deep pool. Calm and deep. She could feel pure. But she couldn't see anything more. Miss Rand doesn't need to thank me. We each get what we need. If it's convenient. Can you tell me about the mining truck? Jian Liosher asked. He believed that Ran Shiyu would not lie to him. This was an intuition. And this was the end of the world. It was stupid for the weak to deceive the strong. Okay. Ran Shiyu spoke. She flashed her light gray eyes and calmly recounted the information about the mining truck. The rank of group to which I belong was originally a machinery manufacturing company. The group undertook 12 major projects at the same time. Among the large and small projects, there is one project related to mining. Rank of group is responsible for undertaking the production and assembly of a batch of cone drilling rig parts. After the assembly is completed, they are transported to the mining company via the Yangtze River. In order to save transportation costs, the mining company the purchase Caterpillar 793 mining truck is shipped together with our roller drilling rig. If we take the time when the apocalypse begins, this cargo ship is docked at Jinling Port to deliver goods to the Ranka group. But after the apocalypse begins, it is not certain whether all the crew members on this cargo ship have died. If it can still travel normally, maybe it sailed away from the Jinling range which is why I couldn't give a definite answer when you asked me before. Is that so? Then it doesn't seem to be a big problem. Jian Lusher nodded. After the virus broke out, 70 to 80% of the world's population either turned into zombies or were bitten to death by zombies. There were very few survivors. And river ships are a closed environment. And there are no weapons on civilian river ships. When most of the crew on a ship turn into zombies, it will be difficult for the crew on the ship to survive. Therefore, Although Ran Shiyu said he was not sure, Jian Lusher felt that there would not be a big problem. Jian Lusher was about to say something else when he suddenly heard the shadows say, Brother Jian, 
There are corpses ahead. Oh. Corpses? Jian Lusher squinted his eyes and looked ahead. There were probably dozens of zombies blocking the road. If ordinary vehicles saw such a group of corpses, they would never dare to rush in. But Jian Lusher didn't care. He said directly, Rush over. Good. Ng stepped on the accelerator and rushed towards the corpses. Chapter 131 Are You Going Back? In the base vehicle, Jiang Juing and Zhang Hai were all used to bumping into groups of zombies. But Ran Shiyu's pretty face paled slightly when she saw this situation. She is very aware of the horror of the zombies. When she followed her father to the safe island, her father, including many soldiers in a team, mutated into zombies and started killing each other. When she was driving away, several soldiers also fled together in military vehicles. However, she encountered a group of zombies on the road. She witnessed several military vehicles rushing in and never came out again. The minibus was extremely fast. While Ran Shiyu was thinking wildly, the minibus had already rushed into the zombie group. Bang, bang, bang. A series of scalp-numbing crashes. The base vehicle shook wildly. Zombies flew everywhere. And flesh and blood splattered. Ran Shiyu saw with her own eyes that a zombie flew past her car window, which was very close to her. Blood sprayed on the car window leaving a trace of blood several meters long. Damn it! I need to wash the car again. Zhang Hai could still laugh and joke when he saw this situation. It has been so long since the apocalypse began, and they have developed strong nerves. If they had seen such a scene of flesh and blood before the apocalypse, most people would have vomited long ago. Okay, stop after passing this group of corpses. Jian Lusher stood up from the sofa and picked up a Type 95 automatic rifle. Not leaving? John Hai asked strangely. He thought he was going to rush to that Jean Ling dock to look for mining trucks. Well, it's far enough. They probably won't catch up. We'll have to go back later. There's no point in going too far. Go back. John Hai and Sun Kuan both stared. Darling, are you going to kill me? There were only six of them, five to be exact. Not including Ran Shiyu. Five people. Sun Kuan and John Hai still have very limited combat capabilities. Go to the black market? There are estimated to be at least dozens of people in the black market, as well as seven supernatural beings from the Seven Gods team. Brother Jiang is too crazy. Brother Jiang? What if other teams join forces with the Seven Gods team to deal with us together? Zhang Hai estimated that Jiang Lusher was mainly targeting the Seven Gods team. But seeing as how powerful Bai Zhangchang was, the other teams might be commandeered by him, which would be bad. Adding up the other teams, the number of light superpowers would exceed ten. But Zhang Hai didn't expect that Jian Lusher just nodded and said, If we unite, let's unite. Whoever blocks will be killed. Jian Lusher said this very calmly. But people were shocked when they heard it. The sentence contained extremely powerful self-confidence. And people couldn't help but be impressed by it. The self-confidence of the strong is very contagious. If a weak person says such words, it will be a fool to brag and will only be laughed at. However, when Jian Lusher said it, he inexplicably gave people a feeling that he could be relied on. In this troubled world, if there is a strong person leading them, their combat effectiveness and courage will be greatly increased, and they will be fearless. Okay! John Hai and Sun Kun responded at the same time. Even though they knew that the powerful enemy was terrifying, their blood was boiling. Jiang Juying smiled and said nothing. She just held the samurai sword and slowly wiped the blade with an oil cloth. As long as her brother said it, she would do it even if it was a mountain of swords and a sea of fire. As for the shadow, there is no need to mention it. Just like the star seed is bound by Jian Lusher, the shadow completely belongs to Jian Lusher. She is absolutely loyal to Jian Lusher. Jian Liosher's will is also her will. Seeing several people with Jian Lusher as the core forming a team that was both united and terrifying in combat effectiveness, Ren Shi pursed her lips and felt a strange feeling in her heart. She looked at this powerful and confident man quietly. She once managed a company, so she naturally knew how difficult it was to be a leader. For this team, Jian Lusher was both the core of combat effectiveness and the spiritual leader. No one is allowed to get out of the car and rest on the spot to replenish their strength. After Jian Lusher gave the order, he sat in the passenger seat and began to close his eyes and rest. As for Jian Zhuing's reaction, Ran Shi was even more speechless. She actually took the iPad that was charging. Press playback and started watching the anime she had just finished while holding the iPad. We will be fighting to the death in a moment. But now, we are watching anime. How worried we are. On the other hand, John Hai and Sun Kui were preparing for the battle more seriously. 
they cleaned their guns and loaded them with bullets. They took out the mutated beast meat they cooked last night and started heating it in the microwave. There are many ordinary people in the base where Jiang Juying is located. They make mutated animal meat into various meat products. Cured meat, cured meat, dried meat, sausages, etc. A variety of meat products. Paired with dried vegetables in the refrigerator. This is quite a rich delicacy in the end of the world. Every time a person with a superpower fights, he must replenish mutated beast meat. If he fights for too long and consumes a lot of energy, he will have symptoms similar to ordinary people's hypoglycemia, and he will be unable to exert any strength. Take Sun Kuan and Zhang Hai as examples. Four or five kilograms of mutated beast meat is enough for their daily meals, but they can't even fight with more than 10 kilograms of mutated beast meat. After a sumptuous meal was heated, several people were full and ready for the next battle. Brother Jiang, what are we waiting for? Sun Kuan asked Jiang Lu Shi while stuffing a grenade into the pocket on his waist. We'll digest it first. Don't be in a hurry, Jian Lusher said calmly. He raised his head and glanced at the roof of the base vehicle. At this location, his exclusive war room is being generated, and the progress is 65% complete. The war room being generated shows nothing unusual from inside the car, including the collision angle. In fact, even if they notice something strange, it doesn't matter. Jian Lusher has already said before that his superpower is mechanical transformation. The end of the world is here no matter what weird power setting. People can accept it. It is not unusual for a car to be transformed into a war room and a corner. Of the four mutant crystal cores, Jian Lusher used three, and Jian Lusher did not use one. This crystal core was reserved for the second scan of the mining truck as a star seed. The second scan of the star seed requires a crystal core at the beginning. If there are three scans or four scans in the future, the mutant crystal core will also be needed and the mutant crystal nucleus will need to be of a higher level. To transform these two base vehicles into super mobile fortresses with three uses, water, land and air, Jian Lusher is destined to embark on the road of no return in collecting crystal cores. In ten more minutes, we'll set off! While Jian Lusher was completing the modification of the base vehicle, a group of police cars arrived at the entrance of the black market. Seeing these police cars and the words, public security, and armed police, written on them, Everyone knew that this was the return of Bai Pinghai, the second in command of the Seven God Squad. Chapter 132 Bai Pinghai The armed police station was only a few kilometers away from the black market. So after Bai Zhanshan sent out the news, it didn't take long for Bai Pinghai to arrive. In the apocalypse, police cars don't dare to sound their sirens. Once the sirens are blown, zombies and mutant beasts around them will be attracted. But when we arrived at a safe area near the black market, the police lights were on making people's eyes hurt. Moreover, the vehicle did not slow down, and people on the roadside quickly stepped aside. Snapped! The door of the police car was opened, and Bai Pinghai got out of the car wearing a leather jacket and military boots. Even in this world, his hair was still combed and shiny. Those who didn't know it thought he was a gangster. In fact, it is not unfair to say that Bai Pinghai is a gangster. The current armed police detachment in Lan County is no different from the gangster. Before the end of the world came, the elite Lawn County armed police suddenly received an order and were transferred away. Now it seems that they may be on an emergency mission related to the end of the world. Those who were left to garrison Lawn County were all police ruffians among the armed police. These people, combined with some assisting police officers and superpowers from the Lawn County Police Station, formed the current Lawn County armed police base. In fact, it has nothing to do with the armed police itself. The quality of the assistant policemen at the Lawn County Police Station is not very good. Students with good academic performance in high school have basically gone to college. Those who are aspiring to be policemen also attend one of the few regular undergraduate police academies in the country. This kind of people would never come to the corner of the Lawn County Police Station to be a co-op. They would come here. When they were in school, they were gangsters with poor academic performance. Later, the gangsters might feel that being a police officer was prestigious. The police are all the bosses of the gangsters. So, they went to the local police station and became co-ops. After the rules of the apocalypse collapse, the dark side of human nature can be displayed unscrupulously. A team that used to maintain order had guns and fighting capabilities in this troubled world. After losing supervision, of course they did not think about protecting the people and fighting bravely against zombies, but about protecting themselves while occupying the land. King, Dominion and Blessing. Therefore, 
although by Pinghai's armed police force calls itself the Lan County Armed Police Force. In fact, it is an insult to the word armed police. But in the hearts of ordinary people, the Lan County Armed Police Force is a very terrifying force. They have a large number of weapons and many superpowers, which are far more powerful than any other squad. Bai Pinghai was favored by the armed police detachment because of his strength. Now he is a very important figure in the armed police detachment. This time, his eldest brother Bai Zhanshan was in trouble. Bai Pinghai recruited a team of 12 people and attacked them in a mighty manner. Ba bang bang! After Bai Pinghai got out of the car, the police cars behind him also opened their doors. And a group of armed police officers with live ammunition rushed out of the car. All of these people were wearing body armor and bulletproof helmets. And half of them were holding bulletproof shields. As for weapons, they either have submachine guns or automatic rifles on them. The combatants at the armed police base are basically guaranteed to have a gun in their hands. Seeing this group of people coming out, the squad of superpowers present all felt a little bit in their hearts. This is the difference between the regular army and the ragtag army. Their group of people together may not be able to match the weapons and equipment of this group of armed police squads. Compared, TSK 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 There are 12 people with guns and live ammunition. Plus the members of the 7 Gods team. There are 30 combat members alone. This is the strength of a platoon. And the weapons are not bad at all. What do you think of Bai Ping? If Hai and Bai Zhan Mountain have gathered such a force, they won't suddenly destroy us. Right. Seeing so many guns around, the leader of a team lowered his voice and said, his voice was a little weak. This is a world without rules. No one will feel at ease when they see the power that can control their lives at will. Don't worry. If we unite, we can give them a drink. And now, Bai Zhan Chan's biggest enemy should be the guy driving the minibus. If I'm not wrong, Bai Zhan Chan will unite with us soon. Bai Zhan Chan will join us this time. I'm really angry because I think that boy is going to be miserable. It's okay if he doesn't show up in the future. Once he does show up, he will definitely be killed by Bai Zhan Chan. Even if you hide it, you may not be able to hide it. In today's world, it is not easy to run away. Bai Zhan Chan and Bai Ping Hai have many people and spies. And there are also police from the criminal investigation department to help. Once that kid is found out, it will be terrible. It's true. Bai Zhan Chan's torture methods make me shudder just thinking about them. Several team bosses were talking and taking a sneak peek at Bai Ping Hai. Bai Ping Hai's whereabouts were very mysterious. Today was the first time for many team bosses to see Bai Ping Hai. Sister Hong shrank subconsciously and whispered. This Bai Ping Hai's aura is so terrifying. He should be the strongest among the superpowers I have encountered. People with superpowers can feel each other's energy fluctuations. Energy fluctuations may not accurately reflect strength, but they can reflect it to a certain extent. According to rumors, Bai Ping Hai's personal strength is indeed stronger than Bai Zhan Chan. It's just because Bai Ping Hai is Bai Zhan Chan's younger brother that he becomes the second child. Otherwise, the leadership of the Seven Gods team must fall on Bai Ping Hai. At this moment, Bai Ping Hai had already walked into the hall. When the bosses of these teams saw Bai Ping Hai approaching with his younger brother, who was armed with live ammunition, they were secretly wary. Brother, what's going on? Seeing Bai Zhan Chan's injuries and seeing the trading hall in a mess, as if it was about to be demolished, Bai Ping Hai's face darkened. He didn't expect that on the territory of the two brothers. There were still someone dares to run wild in the black market. Don't mention it. Bai Zhan Chan shook his head and briefly explained what happened. Oh, a woman who controls electricity. A female assassin with powerful physical skills. And a man who is proficient in spear skills? After hearing Bai Zhan Chan's narration, Bai Ping Hai's mouth curved with amusement. Brother, from your description, although these three people are strong, they are not much stronger. Let me tell you something that you don't want to hear. Brother, if the three of them were really ridiculously strong, you would have confessed then. Bai Ping Hai knew very well that in the situation at that time, it seemed that Jiang Lusher and others were fighting against a large number with a small number. And they were extremely powerful. But in fact, it's just the opposite. They are using more to defeat less. In the trading hall, the three of them fought against Bai Zhan Chan. Although Bai Zhan Chan's subordinates had guns in their hands, they were ordinary people. Because it was a trade fair. No one thought that anyone would dare to cause trouble at the trade fair. So many of their guns were he's on insurance. The first one to strike was the woman in black. She suddenly attacked without warning and had already taken the lead. 
The gun-wielding men had no time to react before they were killed by another man and a woman. The final situation was that the three of them were killed. Bai Zhanshan was alone. But the college man who was the third eldest son of the Seven Gods team at that time did not help much. Which made Bai Pinghai a little unhappy. This third eldest son was always out of tune with him. Chapter 133 Go Hunt a Rabbit Second brother, you are right. If the woman in black hadn't been too quick and caught me off guard, causing me to lose my footing, I wouldn't have been completely defeated. After Bai Pinghai said this, Bai Zhanshan nodded in agreement. Well, as for the man with accurate marksmanship, his physique should be average. Using firearms as long-range weapons is just to make up for the weakness of his physique. In my eyes, this kind of person is simply an ordinary person. Ordinary people want to use bullets hit me? Humph! I won't give him this chance. And the last girl who uses electric current. Since she is a superpower who uses electric current. In terms of close combat, she is definitely not as good as you. Big brother. Of these three people, I can handle two of them by myself. And you can handle the remaining eldest brother. Not to mention that we have brought so many people here. And there are several brothers who also have superpowers. It's simply it's killing a chicken with a knife. After what Bai Ping Hai said, Bai Zhanshan actually felt uncomfortable. After all, he had been beaten so badly that he ran away in embarrassment before. But now Bai Ping Hai had reduced the three people to worthless. But if he thought about it carefully, Bai Ping Hai was actually right. The question now is, how to find them? Bai Zhanshan said. That kid modified a minibus to look like a super sports car and disappeared in a flash. It was a pain in the ass. Bai Ping Hai laughed and said lightly, Zhou Jing, here he is. A middle-aged man with an unattractive appearance emerged from among the people Bai Ping Hai had brought. The man had a cigarette in his mouth, and his whole body exuded a strong smell of cigarette smoke. His teeth were yellow and black, and his cheeks were deeply sunken. He looked a little depressed. However, Bai Zhan Chan knew that this man's abilities were definitely not as useless as he looked. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been specially taken care of by Bai Ping Hai. Zhou Jing is an old detective. He was suppressed and not promoted because of some things in the past. But this is all old news, and there is nothing to talk about. The point is, Zhou Jing is not only experienced, but he is also awakened to the problems related to this aspect. Superpower. With Zhou Jing following me, I want to see if anyone can escape after running wild on our territory. Bai Pinghai said leisurely, with strong confidence in his tone. Zhou Jing smiled hoarsely and said nothing but everyone he glanced at felt as if they were being targeted by a poisonous snake. The other members of the team around them all looked unnatural. The feeling brought by Bai Pinghai was even greater than the pressure brought by Bai Zhanshan. What he just said clearly meant to warn them. Don't think that having Jiang Lusher come to the black market to cause trouble means that the armed police base and the Seven Gods team have become soft. Bai Pinghai continued, Zombies are more active at night, and mutated beasts will come out. No matter how fast they run, they have to stop and rest at night. That's when they die. Bai Zhanshan's eyes lit up. Very good. A hint of a grin appeared at the corner of his mouth. And he said conspiratorially, When I catch that kid, he will definitely regret being born in this world. Ping Hai, it will be up to you then. No problem. I haven't used my hands for two days. Practice and see if you are good at it. Bai Ping Hai had a sharp flying knife in his hand, which flexibly rotated between his fingers at an extremely fast and dazzling speed. The flashing cold light suddenly reminded the people around him of the man who was hung up in the black market demonstration. And they suddenly shuddered. I'm going to catch that kid later. And everyone should join in the fun. It's just for fun anyway. Just like hunting a rabbit. The world is so boring now. So this is the only way to have some fun. I don't know. Everyone. What do you think? Bai Pinghai turned to look at the other teams and asked casually. The people in these teams looked at each other. They knew that Bai Pinghai wanted to show his authority and let them go to see what happened to the boy and his group, lest they have any thoughts in their hearts because of this incident. Looking at the people brought by Bai Pinghai and so many people from the Seven Gods team, how dare they refuse? In fact, just seeing the strength of Bai Pinghai and the Seven Gods team, who would dare to have any thoughts? And even without looking, they know what the fate of that kid will be. Sister Hong suddenly began to feel sorry for the ran she she sold. She was originally prepared to sell it for a good price. But in the end, it was snatched away by that boy. If the sickly girl falls back into the hands of Boss Bai, she will definitely be tortured severely by Bai Zhanshan. This transaction will be in vain. Sister Han looked at Bai Zhanshan uneasily, secretly thinking about how to find a way to apologize to Bai Laodao and please him. Originally, 
if she was just doing business. She wouldn't have had to please by Zhan Shan so much. But now it seems that these two brothers are really strong enough. If she doesn't cling to them now, she will have to beg them for food sooner or later. Brother Bai, you don't need to tell me this. I have to stay and watch that kid kneel down and beg for mercy. I don't like that kid. He dragged him for 2,500,000 to 80,000 yuan. Ba! Boss Yuan threw his head to the ground. He spat hard and cursed. He was actually frightened by the thunderous attack of Jiang Liuxia's team. His fat body lay on the ground and did not dare to get up. However, no one paid attention to him at that time. Otherwise, he would have been humiliated. Now that he heard that Bai Zhan Shan and the others were going to hunt down Jiang Liuxia and the others, he was so excited that he felt as if he was going to vent his anger himself. Especially after listening to Bai Pinghai's analysis. He felt like he had come back to his senses. If Jiang Lusher and his gang were so awesome, why would they run away? Grandma is a jerk. She wants to run away after snatching a woman. Boss Yuan turned to the younger brother behind him and shouted. Go! Bring the car over! Let's follow Boss Bai and the others to catch that kid! The rest of the team also ran to drive. Bai Zhan Chan looked at this scene with a sneer on his face. With such a huge battle, Jiang Lusher and the others would be scared to death as soon as they were found. So there was no need for them to use any extra means. Let's go. Let's see how that kid dies today. Boss Yuan didn't care about Xiaomi at the moment. He sat down on the passenger seat, making the whole car tremble under him, excitedly foaming at the corners of the mouth. Ugh! Seeing that Boss Yuan's car was leading the way, she couldn't wait to rush outside the black market. Sister Han quickly asked someone to follow her. Boss Yuan would take the lead now. Why did he go there when he did it before? Besides, tracking the detectives haven't moved yet. Why are you so excited? Let's go too. Bai Zhan Chan shook his fur cloak. Brother Zhou Jing, the tracking is up to you. Here you are. Zhou Jing was still in a state of mental distress. Looking like a drug addict, Zhou Jing, nicknamed the Hound, has the ability to track based on scent. But as soon as he reached the door of the black market, his face froze. He raised his head in disbelief and looked into the distance. At this time, Boss Yuan was driving at the front. This kind of hunting like an eagle catching chickens was his favorite, and his special target was the arrogant boy just now. However, with a smile on his face, Boss Yuan's smile froze on his face. He also opened his eyes in disbelief and looked at the road ahead. In the distance, a minibus, like a crazy beast, rushed over on the asphalt road. Chapter 134 Do You Still Dare to Come Back? Isn't this minibus the same guy's car from before? Yes, is that kid? He's back! After Boss Yuan awakened his powers, his eyesight was very good. He vaguely saw Jian Lusher sitting in the passenger seat. And the man in black driving next to him should be Ying. This kid actually dares to come back? He is crazy! At this time, the black market can be said to have gathered most of the power of Lan County. There are many guns, many people, and many people with superpowers. It has become an indestructible super fortress. Not to mention that the enemy was frightened by this kind of defensive strength. Even the captains of other teams, who were temporarily in the same alliance with, by Zhan Chan felt panicked. And Jian Lusher, after finally escaping, turned back. Didn't he think he died quickly enough? Why is he coming back? Is he crazy and wants to come back to kill us and steal our supplies? One of Bai Pinghai's subordinates said sarcastically. And for a moment everyone in the audience burst into laughter. Of course they laughed. But they still picked up their guns. Just with a minibus. You want to kill us and steal our supplies? How intelligent is this person to do such a thing? This is the end of the world. How can such an idiot survive until now? Boss Yuan blinked his little eyes. Although he thought Jian Lusher was a super idiot, he still quickly put the reverse gear on and stepped on the accelerator to reverse first. The strength of the idiot Jian Lusher was also there. He faced a large force. It's like an egg against a rock. When it comes to himself, he doesn't dare to go head to head with such a lunatic. Brother, is this the person you are talking about? Bai Pinghai looked at Yun's minibus as if he were a fool. He lit a cigarette slowly and took a deep breath with a sarcastic smile on his face. I didn't even think about it. I came back specifically for this kind of person. It's really boring. He has never thought about it. After all his troubles, will the security here be strengthened? Bai Pinghai popped out a smoke ring leisurely and waved slightly behind him. Load the bullets! Clatter! Crash! Crash! There was a series of sounds of gun bolts being pulled. Behind by Ping Hai, more than a dozen people loaded their bullets. At the same time, 
They set up a few scattered bulletproof shields. They were also talking and laughing, not caring at all about the small car in front of them. Small minibuses. In the face of their lineup, not to mention minibuses, even armored vehicles will be blinded when they come. Go to the shooting range and shoot. First, shoot the tires. Don't kill them. Just capture them and play with them slowly. Bai Pinghai's voice made people shudder. The range of a general rifle is three to four hundred meters. But in fact, if you want to hit the target at three or four hundred meters, that is the standard for a sharpshooter. For these people, those who can hit two hundred meters are already qualified, overestimating them. At this moment, the minibus that was still running 800 meters away suddenly changed its shape slightly. An oblate body that looked like a flying saucer slowly poked out from the roof. It looked full of high-tech technology. Feel. What the H, L. Everyone was stunned. It was so far away, and they didn't know what the small flying saucer was. In fact, even if they looked closer, they couldn't tell it. Has anyone seen a bunker installed on the roof of a car? No matter how rich your imagination is. You can't imagine it. In the blink of an eye, the distance between the minibus and everyone is shortened to more than 700 meters, which is a distance of one and a half miles. The effective range of the Type 95 automatic rifle is 400 meters, although the maximum range can reach 600 meters. Even if a sharpshooter comes, hitting a target of 600 meters still depends on luck. And Jian Lusher was not using a Type 95 rifle, but a Type 95 machine gun. The Type 95 light machine gun has a longer, and thicker barrel than the Type 95 rifle. When the gunpowder explodes, the bullet is fully accelerated to an initial velocity of nearly 1,000 meters per second, with an effective range of 800 meters. It also has a higher rate of fire. Jian Lusher is sitting in his own exclusive war room. The 360-degree shooting port allows him to cover firepower to any corner very comfortably, and the war room has comprehensive protection for him, which is much better than a bunker in the traditional sense. Too much. Brother! Are you going to fight here? Originally, Jiang Zhuing was surprised to see a war room suddenly appeared on top of the base vehicle. But remembering the mechanical modification ability that Jiang Lusher mentioned before, she no longer found it strange. So many people. On the base vehicle, Ran Shiyu saw dozens of enemies in the distance. She could even see the reflections of bulletproof shields and firearms. Too many enemies. Is this little minibus going to hit the enemy's position head on? No matter how you look at the strength. There is no comparison. Just then, Shadow stepped on the brakes. Jian Liosher's gun was already placed on the shooting port. Having no scope and relying only on the sight on the gun to aim is nothing to Jian Liosher. Among the world-famous snipers are Finnish Simon Hay, who does not use optical sights, and Zhang Taofang on the Chinese battlefield in Korea. He is world-famous for sniping enemies 6 to 700 meters away without relying on a scope. He can kill hundreds of people in a war. Stopped? Why did the car stop? The people guarding the entrance to the black market saw Jiang Liosher's minibus parked about 700 meters away. This distance was beyond the effective range of their guns. He must have noticed something is wrong. Bai Pinghai sneered. He has already observed our lineup from 700 meters away. He is probably about to turn around and run away now. Unfortunately, it is already too late. Bai Zhanchan nodded. Brothers, prepare to pursue and blow up the car for me. Just as Bai Zhanchan said this. He suddenly felt a huge crisis approaching. It was an indescribable feeling. As if the sickle of death was on my neck. And I was going to die the next moment. Bai Zhanchan's heart suddenly jumped. And he rushed out without even thinking. Powerful superpowers will have this kind of premonition of imminent death. Just like animals predicting weather and disasters. The evolution of superpowers has allowed them to awaken to this ability. The moment Bai Zhanchan jumped out. A row of bullets came. Bob bang bang. Right next to Bai Zhanchan. Three young men with loaded guns were directly knocked down by this row of bullets. After the machine gun bullets flew 6 to 700 meters. The initial speed decreased. At this time, it would be even worse if they hit people. The bullets rolled in the flesh. The three young men were all ravaged by the rifle bullets in their bodies and died on the spot. What happened? Bai Zhanchan, who rolled to the ground, was completely stunned by the row of bullets. As for Bai Pinghai, the cigarette in his mouth fell to the ground. From his field of view. The minibus was not as big as a fist, and it was so far away. The distance? A row of bullets actually hit like this? A sniper rifle? There is no sniper rifle that can fire continuously. Right? Could it be that an automatic rifle or machine gun can shoot so far, and yet be so accurate? Isn't it that exaggerated? 
Chapter 135 Sniper Death While Bai Pinghai was thinking, suddenly, a strong sense of crisis emerged in his heart. Hidden! Hidden! Someone was yelling wildly. Bai Pinghai didn't care about his image as a leader at this time. He fell to the ground and rolled like a donkey for a long distance. Bob bang bang! The cement stall was directly shattered by a row of bullets, splashing a lot of cement slag. And two younger brothers were knocked down by the row of bullets. This time, they were directly shot in the head, and one person's skull was lifted off. Open one third. And the blood from the brain is flying everywhere. If this were before the end of the world, some people would have vomited on the spot after seeing such a scene. But even now, these young men's faces are pale when they see it. The other team members, who were hanging out with Bai Pinghai were all mentally disturbed when they saw the scene. Fatty Yuan was so frightened that he was sweating. He was hiding behind a concrete wall, and did not dare to show his head at all. Sister Han also lost color. Like a frightened rabbit. Bullets from such a long distance were too intimidating. She was hit first, and then heard the gunshot. She died without knowing how. This, this bullet was shot by the boy who bought Ranchiyu. His marksmanship is very accurate. Sister Hong suddenly called. Before, Jiang Lusher held a gun with both hands and fired his bow from left to right, killing six or seven gunmen in an instant. But now, it is even more exaggerated. Starting a 700-meter gun battle, shooting wherever you point. This is cheating. Damn, how can this kid have such good marksmanship? Is he from the special forces? Bai Pinghai leaned behind the bunker. His expression extremely ugly. Bai Pinghai used to look like he was pointing the way. But now, he hides behind the concrete wall and dare not show his head. One firepower point suppresses dozens of people. This sounds incredible. But there is no way. This is 700 meters. And he can't hit the opponent. Can only be beaten passively. Machine gun? Where is our machine gun? Bai Zhanchan also bought a Type 95 machine gun from Jian Lusher before. The Type 95 machine gun has an effective range of 800 meters. At least it is not without the power to fight back. Here you are. Boss Bai. A boy brought in a Type 95 machine gun. He moved very carefully and loaded the drum with his back against the concrete wall. Brother, let Liangzi come. Liangzi is the top gunner in the team. If he hadn't flirted with a bitch after drinking before, he would no longer be in Lan County. Bai Pinghai said, pointing to a short man hiding behind the concrete wall. He looked a bit obscene and flirted with women after drinking. This was not a trivial matter in the team. Bai Zhan Chan threw the Type 95 machine gun directly to Liangzi. Okay, brother Liangzi, it's up to you. After this battle, why don't you flirt with a woman? Go ahead. What a gun! Liangzi took the light machine gun and licked her lips. The guns I picked up in the Lan County detachment were really not as good as this. As Ryoko spoke, she skillfully adjusted the rear sight of the machine gun. The large drum with a capacity of 75 rounds felt heavy in her arms and full of texture. You don't need to save bullets for me. A shot that can hit is a shot. As long as he knocks his old Miss Eyes bus down. Preferably blowing out the gas tank. Then he will become a lame grasshopper. I can't jump at all. Okay. Boss, bye. I'm not bragging. With my shooting skills, it's not easy to hit someone from a distance of 700 meters. But if it's to hit a car, wouldn't it be easy? As Ryoko spoke, her body rolled over and landed in front of another wall. There is a gap as wide as the palm of your hand in this wall. Through this gap, you can just observe the minibus. Ryoko quietly stretched out the barrel of the gun through the palm-sized crack. The barrel of the gun was sandwiched between the cracks in the wall, and the bracket was omitted. Seeing this scene, Bai Pinghai nodded approvingly. As a qualified machine gunner, the first quality you must possess is not marksmanship, but choosing a good shooting point which is not only concealed, but also highly offensive. Ryoko chose that this attack location is simply the mouth of a bunker. Bai Zhanchan also nodded. The people who came out of the team were different from the wild ones like them. They originally thought they would be suppressed by the opponent's firepower and dared not raise their heads. But now they are able to fight back. Hit him and blow up his gas tank. Damn it. Let's use the gun this guy sold us and hit him in turn to let him know what it means to treat him the way he wants. Bai Zhanchan said angrily. But he had just finished speaking. Snapped. A bullet was fired. Passing through the palm-sized gap in the wall. Bringing up a cloud of cement debris. And hit Ryoko right between the eyebrows. Bang! Ryoko's head seemed to have been hit by a sledgehammer. He was thrown upside down by his head. And fell heavily to the ground. The Type 95 light machine gun was thrown out directly. 
A big hole was opened in Ryoko's head, and blood flowed all over the floor. He still stared blankly at the sky with his eyes wide open, in his eyes that had lost their luster, full of disbelief. Died. By Jianshan and by Pinghai were three or four meters away from Liangzi. The whole process from Liangzi stretching his head to look into the crack to setting up the barrel of the gun only took two or three seconds. 700 meters away. How big can a crack in a wall be as wide as a palm? There is an extra person behind the crack in the wall, let alone aiming and shooting. He can't even see clearly. What kind of marksmanship is this? The top gunner in a team faced off against Jian Lusher, but was killed by Jian Lusher without even understanding Jian Lusher's situation. It didn't matter if he missed the target after shooting. But now, he didn't even have time to pull the trigger. The gap was too disappointing. Not only by Ping Hai and by Zhan Shan, but also everyone else's palms were sweating when they saw the scene. And they lost the courage to continue fighting for a while. Besides, this battle had nothing to do with them in the first place. Has this kid awakened some kind of shooting power? At this moment, Bai Pinghai spoke. When he said it, people thought it was very possible. This guy's gun is too scary. We piled the bunker in the middle, then retreated to the trading floor, and used the cover of the trading floor to exchange fire with him. The glass in the trading room is opaque. Once inside the trading room, no matter how accurate Jian Liosher's marksmanship is, it will be useless. Okay, let's do it. Bai Pinghai's team brought over seven or eight bulletproof shields. People huddled behind the bulletproof shields, moved carefully, and erected the cement slabs on the stalls to block the front. In this way, they could completely huddle behind the bunkers and be safe. If he returns to the trading hall, there will be no loopholes left for Jiang Lusher. Get back together. Be careful. Someone was shouting that the machine gun had misfired. But it was useless to fire. After all, they were 700 meters away, and the speed of the bullets had dropped a lot making it impossible for them to pass through the bulletproof shields and concrete walls. People didn't dare to stretch their heads to see what was happening in the distance. Ryoko was an example. But just as they quickly returned to the trading floor, they suddenly heard a roar. Woo 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 woo! It was like a jet plane taking off. It roared closer and closer. The speed was terrifying. And with it, there was a terrifying sense of oppression. It seemed so. The roar of the engine. Chapter 136 Steel Monster What's going on here? One of Boss Yuan's subordinates couldn't bear the creepy movement approaching from behind. So he cautiously took a quick look back through the gap in the bunker. At this sight, he was so frightened that he almost flew out of his wits. In just a few seconds, the minibus that was parked 700 meters away and looked as big as a fist had actually rushed to a distance of less than 100 meters. What a terrifying speed! The minibus rushing over quickly, accompanied by the roar of its engine, looked like a steel monster. This little brother followed Boss Yuan and hunted several mutant beasts. And the sense of terror and oppression brought by this minibus was much stronger than those mutant beasts. Boss! He's coming! The boy let out a strange cry. Boss Yuan had been frightened to death by Jian Liosher's shooting skills. All he could think about was hiding in the trading room and not listening to what this little brother had to say. Calling you to paralyze! Is he an idiot? Rushing here to seek death? Besides, we have so many layers of bunkers. Before he finished speaking, Boss Yuan's voice seemed to be stuck in his neck, and he was speechless. Because from behind, there was a sudden loud bang. Boss Yuan quickly took a look through the gap in the bunker, and then the fat on his face twitched. The minibus was running rampant on the streets of the black market, flying all the way, even knocking down the stalls on both sides. At the entrance to the inner city, there were originally a few cars parked, but when faced with these cars, the minibus crashed right into them like a tofu. The minibus hit by the high speed passed directly through the middle of these cars. The huge impact force blew these cars away. Is this still a car? This is simply a missile. 100 meters was not a distance at all to this roaring beast. Ng has fully stepped on the accelerator. And in front of him is the bunker set up by Bai Zhanshan and the others. Ran Shiyu sat on the sofa, wearing a seat belt, her palms full of cold sweat. The feeling of watching the car rush towards those steel and concrete is comparable to sitting on a roller coaster and watching yourself hit the ground. And at this time, wouldn't Jian Lusher still want to slow down? This madman! Boss Yuan's eyes twitched. He was going to hit a reinforced concrete slab at such a high speed? Isn't this seeking death? No matter how you think about it, this is the result of a car crash and death. At this time, Boss Yuan suddenly saw a black gun barrel sticking out of the flat circular thing like a flying saucer on the roof of the minibus. In an instant, Boss Yuan's soul came out 
and he almost immediately threw himself to the ground. Duh duh duh. Several gunshots rang out, and Boss Yuan lay on the ground, only feeling a ball of warmth splashing on his head. He was trembling all over, turned his head, and saw that the boy before him had fallen to the ground with his eyes wide open, his head flying off, and red and white splattered all over his head and face. Boss Yuan is lying on the ground. Even if he borrows a hundred courages, he won't dare to take the lead. Seeing that the entrance to the trading room was in front, Boss Yuan quickly climbed up on the ground. At this time, there is no point in having an image. Bai Ping Hai and Bai Zhan Shan also saw the scene. Grass! This minibus is so crazy. At this time, the minibus had already rushed to the bunker. Ran Shiyu's heart was already in her throat. And she couldn't help but scream. John Hai and Sun Ku had also felt numb all over. They looked at Ying. This beautiful woman, who looked like a vase, and moved her hands to scare people, was still expressionless at this time. With no intention of stepping on the brakes. Ying's consciousness, like the star seed and the base vehicle, is bound to Jian Lusher. When she drives the car, Jian Lusher can also receive status feedback, speed, and other information from the base vehicle. And Jian Liusher's thoughts could be conveyed to Ying immediately. At this time, the order he gave was, Rush over! Following Jian Liusher's order, click click click, several gaps suddenly appeared on the front face of the minibus. And then, a huge metal square cone, with a cold sense of technology, stretched out from the car. Next to this metal square cone, there are four shorter square cones. The high-strength alloy steel cone shone with cold light and was full of murderous intent. Amidst the roar of the minibus engine, together with this steel monster, it roared and rushed towards these bunkers. Seeing this scene, Bai Ping Hai and Bai Zhan Chan's eyes almost popped out. Under the threat of Jian Liusher's machine gun, only a few psychics, including the Bai brothers, dared to show their heads out with their sense of danger. That's why they were able to see this incredible scene. A row of ferocious spikes suddenly protruded from the front of a minibus. Even if you modify a minibus, you can modify something like this. This looked like a car straight out of a science fiction movie, completely beyond their imagination. The front face of the minibus is supported by such a row of metal cones, and its speed does not slow down at all. This scene looks really shocking. Electric light and flint. Bang! With a loud explosion-like sound, a large number of cement blocks exploded immediately, filling the sky with smoke and dust. After the cement blocks turned into waste, Bai Ping Hai and others felt that there seemed to be a brief silence. However, this is just a temporary deafness after a huge sound. Because then, when their hearing began to recover, what they heard was the terrifying sound of the engine, and the minibus rushing out of the smoke and dust in the sky. The minibus crashed into this bunker, destroying it like a tornado. Those who were originally hiding behind the bunker and moving slowly were so frightened that they turned and ran away the moment the minibus hit them. However, their escape speed was as slow as a snail in front of the minibus. Reinforced concrete was smashed into pieces, let alone flesh and blood. As soon as the minibus almost hit one, the person immediately exploded into a mist of blood, and he didn't even have time to scream. The other one was cut directly in the middle by the row of spikes in front of the minibus, and blood spurted out. When Boss Yuan caught a glimpse, his mind suddenly exploded. He knew this man. He was also the boss of a small team. And he was a pretty capable psychic. Two days ago, they got together to eat, drink, and play with women as much as they wanted. And he died just like that? Boss Yuan immediately used his hands and feet. And he used all his energy to suck milk. By Ping Hai and other scalps were completely numb. How could a modified car be so attractive? Damn unheard of. No need for Bai Ping Hai and the others to shout. Everyone was rushing towards the trading room frantically. At this time, it was really just like when the apocalypse first broke out. Everyone was afraid of being one step behind and had no time to think. So they were running for their lives instinctively. This minibus is no different than the hordes of corpses. Even more terrifying. Boss Yuan climbed into the trading room frantically. As soon as he touched the cold ground in the trading room, he suddenly felt as if all his strength had been drained away finally escaped. Fortunately, he had thought of taking the lead and chasing Jian Lusher first. Unexpectedly, he was frightened by Jian Lusher. But Jian Lusher had already escaped into the trading room. And there was nothing he could do. As soon as Bai Ping Hai and the others rushed in, they immediately called for guns to be set up. And instantly turned the trading hall into a fortress. No matter how powerful Jian Lusher's car is, he can't crash into a building. There is no problem in rushing in. But if he really rushes in, then he is really looking for death. 
the marksmanship is terrifying, and the minibuses are powerful. But in this trading hall, Jiang Liosher's advantages are all limited. Sister Hong also stumbled in. Her delicately made-up face was already stained. Outside the door, the roar of the engine suddenly rushed to the front, and then stopped amidst everyone's fear. Chapter 137 Losing Face It suddenly became quiet outside, which made everyone who had just escaped feel like they were dreaming. But looking at the people around them, they were all in a state of confusion and shock, and even their own hearts were still beating wildly. They were really running away for their lives just now. These people who usually feel that they are living well in the apocalypse are no better than ordinary people at this time. The gap is too big. How do they usually treat ordinary people? In front of Jian Liusher. They are just like that. Maybe even worse. Thinking of the scene when Jian Liusher's minibus hit people. These team members felt chills running down their spines. In front of that car. They were no different than Tofu. Bai Pinghai also swooped in and ducked in. He was now disgraced and looked like the underworld boss he had been before. Bai Pinghai slowly stood up with a dark face and glanced around. When he brought his people here just now and said they were going to hunt down Jiang Lusher, he was full of confidence. But in the blink of an eye, people fell on their backs, dead and injured. And the remaining people turned pale, seeing that a boy next to him was still shaking. Bai Pinghai became even more angry. He felt like his face was burning. Everyone, don't be nervous. That kid doesn't dare to come in. Bai Zhanchan also looked ugly. He originally wanted to kill the kid to establish his authority. But instead, he turned his head and beat him to the ground. The rest of the team just looked at each other in shock after hearing Bai Zhanchan's words. Even if we don't dare to come in, we can't get out. A team leader couldn't help but say, the two brothers of the Bai family are indeed strong. But when their lives are at stake, strength is of no use. And under the current circumstances, Bai Pinghai and the others did not dare to take action against them. Yeah, what do we do now? You asked us to stay, saying we were going to catch rabbits. But what happened now? We were blocked by that kid's car. One person stood up, and immediately the rest of the team also spoke up. Especially the team whose leader died was filled with complaints. Their boss died. The strength of the team was greatly reduced. And the situation of the team members suddenly became very bad. How could this happen if Bai Pinghai hadn't threatened them to stay? When Bai Zhanchan saw this situation, he was extremely angry. The prestige he had finally built up was about to go down the drain. After today, who will still pay for the Seven Gods team? This black market is probably going to close down too. These teams usually have a boss named Bai. But when they said they were going, each one was more active than the other. Now that I have noticed something is wrong, I have withdrawn everything. Now that we have entered the trading room, what are you afraid of? Take a gun, go to the window, and kill him! Bai Zhanchan said angrily. However, those people, look at me and I look at you, did not move. That kid's shooting skills are so terrifying. Who dares to take the lead? Bai Zhanchan's face suddenly turned red with anger. These trash. Oh shit! At this time, Bai Pinghai suddenly slammed the table and spoke in a sinister voice. No need to rush to fight. We are all in the same boat now. This guy drove and blocked the door. We won't be able to get out for a while. And he won't dare. Come in. And we are guarding now. He can't wear us down. He looked at the people in these teams. And his cold eyes made many people tremble in their hearts. However, there are some people who are not afraid of him. At this time, no matter how cruel Bai Pinghai is, he still dares to attack them? Brother Bai is right. Boss Yuan had already gotten up from the ground. He now hated and feared Jiang Lusher. He took a look at the people he brought with him. Only two of them were dead. In this black market transaction, he suffered heavy losses because of Jian Lusher. That kid is still outside the door and hasn't left. He probably thinks he is invincible. If he doesn't leave for such an arrogant young man, he is seeking death. The ants will bite the elephant to death. Boss Yuan said, everyone has suffered a huge loss. Since this guy wants all of us to die, then let's let him die. Let's wait until night. When night comes, his gun will be useless. By then, he will only have two men. This little girl can still fight. What kind of trouble can she make? As for us now, let's show weakness first and hold this kid steady. Boss Yuan spat. Bai Pinghai glanced at Boss Yuan in surprise. Unexpectedly, Boss Yuan was quite sinister. However, this is indeed a way to deal with this stupid young man. Okay. He is clearly trying to block us now. He doesn't dare to come in anyway. So we will wait until night. Bai Pinghai said. That's right. 
he can't do anything to us now. At this moment, Boss Yuan, who was waving his fat arms and talking enthusiastically, suddenly felt his body shake, and a chill suddenly shot up from the soles of his feet. What's the situation? Before Boss Yuan could react, a loud noise sounded in his ears. The last thing Boss Yuan saw was the suddenly spinning trading floor and the horrified expressions on the faces of many familiar faces. It was almost the same as when he saw the captain being killed. Bang! Boss Yuan's fat body fell heavily against the wall like a balloon filled with blood. His eyes were wide open, and there were wounds all over his body. He was like a rag sack, with blood oozing out from everywhere. Gugu. Boss Yuan is not dead yet. He is still breathing heavily because of his fat body and the physique of a superpower. Boss Yuan looked at the people around him in vain and made a vague voice in his throat. Help. Help. However, no one would care about him at this time. Sister Han looked at the door, her legs shaking involuntarily. The heavy iron door, which had been specially welded and reinforced, has now been blasted open. In addition to the impassioned boss Yuan, who was directly blown away, several people standing at the door were bombarded into meat pies together with the door, and the ground was as if it had been swept over, and the whole area was all the tile shattered into spider webs and everything in their path was twisted and deformed. Through the gate, what these people saw was a minibus parked quietly not far outside the door. On the front face of the minibus, a black gun barrel was slowly retracting. The shiny metallic corners, the smooth body, and the war room that appears on the roof. All this was like a loud slap in the face of Bai Pinghai and the others. Kakik. In the silence, someone's teeth chattered. What the H? What kind of car is this? Chapter 138 knocked over. The door was suddenly blasted open. And everyone was stunned. The sight of the mess on the ground and blood flying everywhere makes people shudder. What's happening here? Doesn't it mean that as long as they enter the trading room, they will be safe and Jian Lusher can't do anything to them? But now, an iron door was blown to pieces like paper. This iron gate was originally reinforced and welded by Bai Zhan Shan to prevent corpses and mutant beasts. This black market is his home base. How can he not put great effort into defense? Even behind those windows, there are thick iron mesh welded all over. So after these people escaped into the trading room, they were temporarily relieved. Only then did people like Boss Yuan dare to stand up from the ground and continue to shout that they wanted to kill Jiang Lu Shi. But now, before I can even take a breath, this only safe place has been breached. Sister Hong has already hurriedly retreated to the base of the wall, feeling extremely regretful in her heart. If she had known earlier, she should have left just now. The rest of the team also looked for cover and hid like crazy. That boss Yuan lying on the ground, still moaning and groaning, is a bloody lesson learned from the past. Who dares to stand in the open space risking his life? At this time, Bai Pinghai's roar suddenly sounded in the trading room. What are you doing standing still? Pick up the gun and hack him. He was the first to hide behind a bulletproof shield, then reached out and took the rifle of one of his men. These people were so frightened that they didn't know how to shoot immediately. After hearing Bai Pinghai's roar, Bai Zhanshan reacted immediately. He grabbed a light machine gun, and his figure suddenly skyrocketed, transforming into a bear. The barrel has retracted. We just need to avoid the barrel. Take advantage of the moment to blow up this broken Chinese pack. That shot was so terrifying. They were sure that Jian Lusher couldn't rush in. But in the blink of an eye, even the door was blasted open. However, as long as this car is destroyed, Jiang Lusher will be half disabled. No matter how good his marksmanship is, he will be finished when the time comes. With the distance so close, Jiang Liusher's shot seemed amazing. But in fact, he gave up his greatest advantage. This idiot is looking for death. Take action quickly. Bai Zhan Shan shouted. The team members immediately came to their senses. This car was too scary. And the shot was just like a bomb. If they don't kill Jiang Lusher quickly and blow up the car, they will all be doomed. Shot! These people turned the table over and hid behind it, then stretched out the barrel of the gun, pointed it at the door, and pulled the trigger. Jian Liosher's car is outside. It is a big target, so there is no need to aim at it. And these people, they don't dare to target. Jian Liosher's bullets have eyes, and they will hit anyone who shows his head. Duh duh duh. The sound of intensive shooting suddenly sounded, and Bai Pinghai showed a twisted look on his face. After such a random round of gunfire, Jian Lusher didn't say anything. This car must be finished. The girl driving the car has probably been beaten into pieces. It's a pity. Otherwise, 
torturing that girl in front of Jian Lusher would definitely make Jian Lusher extremely sour. This was the first time Bai Ping Hai had suffered such a big loss since he became a superpower. He was holding a fire in his heart and wished he could drag Jian Lusher out of the car right now and then slowly kill him. He himself fired more than 10 shots crazily. Hearing the sound of bullets hitting the car, Bai Ping Hai felt happy. But at this moment, the familiar roar of the engine sounded again. Can the minibus still move? There was a wild shooting just now. At least hundreds of rounds of bullets were fired. And this car is actually okay? Woohoo! Everyone was dumbfounded when they heard the minibus retreating. Bai Ping Hai pressed himself against the window, carefully stretched his head and took a look, and was immediately shocked. That minibus, let alone being damaged, had no problems at all. There were some bullet holes on the windshield, but the bullets did not penetrate at all. This minibus can ram, fire, and is bulletproof. Is he sick? He modified a minibus like this. Bai Ping Hai was going crazy. Jian Lusher fired a gun and then retreated calmly. Apart from wasting some bullets, they did not cause any damage to Jian Lusher at all. Is he leaving? Sister Hong said with a trembling voice. Jian Liusher's car was bulletproof. He could retreat far away. And after a while, when he felt better, he could come back and fire another shot. Even if it is bulletproof, it will not be able to withstand being shot at. After several repetitions, the trading room was demolished. And those of them who were hiding in the trading room also died. At this time, everyone had begun to think about quitting. Even by Ping Hai was no exception. He still has the Lawn County Armed Police Base as an escape route. When he returns there, no matter how wild Jian Lusher is, he will only come here to die. After he went back and organized his forces, at night, he could still find Jian Lusher to seek revenge. He and Bai Zhanshan have suffered too much loss today. And they can't just admit it. Bai Pinghai gestured to Zhou Jing. This Zhou Jing looked like a monkey. Although he looked sickly, he was very agile when he moved. He used the corpses as cover and quickly crawled outside. Soon, Zhou Jing touched their modified armed police car and turned the key. As long as Bai Pinghai and the others rush out, they can immediately drive away. But Bai Pinghai was not in a hurry. He knew that the people in these teams also wanted to escape. When they started running, these people would naturally become their cover. As long as Jian Lusha retreats a little further, these people will take the risk and rush out even if they know they will be exposed to Jian Lusha's gun. But at this moment, the roar of the engine started again. Boom! As the roar quickly approached, a huge muffled sound came again. As everyone watched, an armed police car flew up, rolled several times, and then crashed heavily into a store on the roadside. That Zhou Jing is in that car. Without even showing his head, he was smashed and deformed along with the car. Only blood could be seen soaking from the gap in the car door. The minibus roared and hit terrifying angles, knocking over their cars parked outside one by one. Not only the cars of Bai Zhanshan and the others, but also the cars of Sister Hong and the others, were overturned, deformed, and even pushed directly against the wall, making a crunching sound, like toy cars. I watched these cars being crushed into discus. This move was like a giant stepping on a few ants at random. No more cars. By doing this, Jian Lusher eliminated their retreat. In the car, Ran Shi was already stunned. She originally thought that the risk of Jian Lusher running back was very high. But she didn't expect that with just one person and one car. Jian Lusher beat everyone in the black market with great force. Seeing those cars being knocked away, Ran Shi didn't know what to say. Jian Lusher did this to kill everyone. It wasn't until the last car parked in front of the trading hall was smashed that Jian Lusher let Ng point the front of the car at the door of the trading hall again. Inside the gate, it was quiet. Chapter 139 Get Out In the trading room, no one spoke for a while. First the door was blown open, and now the car was knocked over. Zhou Jing sneaked out, and many people saw it. Now that he came to his senses, everyone's first reaction was, Run away! Why don't you escape and wait to die? A few minutes ago, these people never expected that in the territory of the arrogant by brothers, so many of them would face a minibus. And the final result would be to flee. The car is gone. And you can only escape on two legs. Is there a more embarrassing ending than this? As for what to do when encountering zombies after going out, these issues can only be considered after successfully escaping. Afterwards, if we face zombies on foot, we still have a chance to survive. But if we continue to stay here, it will be a dead end. Bang! A team leader took the lead in prying open the window at the back, then turned around and cursed fiercely. 
Seven gods team. Hack you. Several of the team leader's men were also killed. And the losses were heavy. He did not expect to seek revenge from Jian Lusher. But vented his anger on by John Shan and the others. In the past, he didn't dare to show his anger in front of the seven gods team in Baijan Mountain. But now, his life is at risk. Who cares about this? Seeing the captain of the team running away with his people. The rest of the group finally couldn't hold it any longer. Sister Hong also followed these people secretly. She didn't dare to stay here anymore. With Yang Lusher as a bigger threat. These people no longer care about the seven gods team. Now that they cannot protect themselves. What else can be done to them? It's really urgent. Everyone will die together. Bai Zhan Chan looked at this scene with an ugly expression. When their car was hit by Jian Lusher, his heart had already sunk heavily. The people from these teams ran away, which also meant that his black market was completely over. Damn it! Bai Zhan Chan's eyes turned red. This black market was the starting point of his ambition. Unexpectedly, it would be raised to the ground in just a few minutes. This kind of personal pain made him want to rush out right now and blow up the minibus. At this time, Bai Zhan Chan saw at a glance that his third son was actually trying to sneak out with two superpowers and several people. You want to run away? Bai Zhan Chan's expression suddenly became distorted. The third child raised his gun, guarding against Bai Zhan Chan, and said, Boss Bai, if you don't withdraw now, do you want your brothers to die in vain? The two brothers of the Bai family are very powerful, and the third child doesn't want to speak too harshly. But another superpower user from the Seven Gods squad said more directly, Boss Bai, you were the one who caused this incident today. You guys just want to live. And you didn't join the Seven Gods squad just to help others. It was simply unrealistic to run away together. Zhou Jing sneaked out, and they all saw it. If they had just given Bai Ping Hai and the others a chance to escape, would they have brought all these people with them? Facing an enemy like Jiang Lu Shi, there must be someone who stays behind. Will the Bai brothers sacrifice themselves? None of them would trade the lives of others for their own lives. Everyone knows this shit. Grass. Bai John Chan opened his eyes and raised the muzzle of his gun. He is ambitious. And these people are not vegetarians. Otherwise, how could they get together? I usually get the benefits. But now that a disaster is approaching, I think about self-preservation. I was the one who caused everything. Are you still unmoved by those four mutated crystal nuclei? If this kid hadn't come back and killed you, who would have objected one by one? Bai Zhanshan said word by word. The third child was expressionless. Brother Bai, this is our own choice. Do you want to force us to stay? When Bai Zhanshan raised his gun, they had already pointed their guns at Bai Zhanshan and others. Seeing these people being silent, Bai Zhanshan was so angry that he was shaking all over. He really wanted to shoot a bullet at them and blow their heads off all these people. Brother! At this time, Bai Pinghai stopped him in a deep voice. Let them go! Bai Zhanshan stood still. Lao San took a deep look at him and then said, Let's go! Seeing this group of people leaving, the veins on the top of Bai Zhan Mountain were beating. He hated deeply in his heart, hated Lao San and his gang, and hated Jian Lusher even more. Brother, this is the end of the matter. When they escape, we must retreat first if we find an opportunity. Bai Pinghai said in a deep voice, The black market is over when it's over. If you can stay alive and have strength, you won't have to worry about being able to get up in this apocalyptic world. It would be bad luck for them to meet this Jian Lu Shi. However, it was not easy to escape. Bai Pinghai hid behind the window and looked outside. The minibus was facing the bright corner and there was a war room on the roof. Just looking at it made people feel like their scalp was throbbing. Numb. That boy can let them escape. The others didn't have any hatred against Jian Lu Shi. But them? That boy is too vengeful and ruthless. He will definitely keep a close eye on you. Brother, we want to escape directly, but it will be difficult. But if his attention is distracted, I can't do something, Bai Pinghai said. Bai Pinghai licked his dry lips. A look of cruelty flashed across his eyes. Bai Zhan Chan was startled and asked quickly, Heisey, what do you think? That guy has a great gun and a great car. But no matter how tough his car is, can it be stronger than this? Bai Pinghai said, waving to the person next to him. Bring it over. The man immediately opened a bag, which contained five or six grenades. With all the grenades the guy sold to you, he can blow up any car, Bai Pinghai said ferociously. Although Jian Lusher is scary, he must finish playing in front of explosives. Bai Zhan Chan's eyes lit up. That's right. That kid just shoots from a distance by hiding in a turtle SH. L. 
use his grenade and blow him up. You guys, follow me. It's useless if there are too many people. The people in Bai Ping High Point are all close combat experts and came from the military. They were the only ones who still had the guts to make a sneak attack under such circumstances. As for the other teams, they are all ordinary people. Once they find something is wrong, no one dares to join them. Even Bai Zhanshan was just furious and angry. And he was still thinking about how to escape. On the contrary, it was his younger brother who arranged everything by himself. That's all. Bai Zhanshan and others immediately hid behind the bunker and pointed their guns at the door. While Bai Pinghai secretly hid with a few good men. Only by hiding aside can they look for opportunities to strike. Bai Zhanshan squeezed the cold sweat from his palms. And a crazy smile appeared on his lips. Boy! Just hacking wait for heaven! Enjoyed! It's so enjoyable! In the minibus, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan felt their blood boiling as they watched the cars being overturned in front of them. Who wouldn't want to be so domineering and violent? If anything is blocked in front of you, it will be blasted away and smashed to pieces. Zhang Hai felt more and more that the freezer truck he drove before was simply too weak. In the apocalypse, this is the kind of car you should drive. It should be this simple and crude. Ran Shiyu looked at these two tall and thick men. Her face flushed with excitement. It looked like they drove the car themselves and crushed these cars. Moreover, it seemed that they still felt that it was not enough and wanted to bump those cars back and forth several times. As for Ran Shiyu, although she felt that Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan's reactions were too barbaric, she had to say that sitting in this car, watching the cars being hit, and seeing the door of the trading room being blasted open, Ran Shiyu also I feel a little happy when she was locked in that cage, waiting for a price. Everyone around her had the power to control her life and death. Those people made her feel desperate. As a result, in front of Jian Lusher, they were no different from him. Ran Shiyu looked at the door of the trading room that was blasted open, wondering what would happen next. At this time, the roar of the engine sounded again. Jian Lusher and Ng had a mind-to-heart connection, and knocking over those cars was just a bonus from Jian Lusher. He could only seal off one side of the trading room. So naturally, he would not leave any chance for Bai Zhanshan and the others to escape. He came back not to defeat Bai Zhanshan, but to kill people. Buzz, like a monster, the minibus rushed towards the trading hall again. In the war room, Jian Liuxia's gun was facing the door of the trading room. The surname Bai? Get out and die! Chapter 140 Crystallization of Evolution Anyone named Bai? Get out and die! Get out and die! Suffer death! The trading hall of the black market was originally the warehouse of the Lawn County Market before the apocalypse. When Jian Lusher shouted, his shout formed an echo, reverberating throughout the trading hall and the black market area. This voice made by Jian Shan and by Ping Hai look angry. Wide open. If Jian Lusher cannot be killed in today's battle, all the prestige the two brothers have accumulated will be at stake. This kid is too arrogant. Bai Pinghai took the grenade bag and tied all the grenade tabs together with a piece of wire. And just then, Buzz! The roar of the base vehicle sounded. Jiang Liuxia's thoughts were conveyed to Ying without having to speak. And the roaring base vehicle rushed straight towards the bunker where the Bai Pinghai armed police force was hiding. The cold collision angle, combined with the brutal collision of the base vehicle, and Jiang Liuxia's machine gun on the roof. Hold! Bai Pinghai cursed. And under Jiang Liuxia's terrifying firepower, they did not dare to show their heads at all. Spread! Bai Zhanshan roared. And at the same time, the bunker they were hiding in had been torn apart by the ferocious collision. Many of the police gangsters who followed Bai Pinghai were just ordinary people. Normally, they would be powerful if they used guns to bully survivors. But now facing the base vehicle, they almost had a nervous breakdown. Someone held an automatic rifle and fired wildly at the base vehicle. However, whether the bullets hit the windshield or the tires, it was meaningless. Boom, boom, boom. Three shots were fired. And the person who fired didn't even make a sound. His skull was blown off. While the other person was shot through the chest and half of his body was broken. Two people died on the spot. Before, the speed of machine gun bullets dropped to four or five hundred meters per second when they were seven or eight hundred meters away. The people who were killed were relatively decent. But now when they are hit by machine gun bullets at close range, they are really dead. Seeing someone with his head blown off right next to him. This kind of shock and panic. Jane. Has a great impact on people. Buzz buzz. The base vehicle roared. Like the roar of death. And hit the corner. Machine gun. In a direct collision. 
Jian Lusher drove his car and rampaged through the trading hall. Blood flowed wherever he passed. The police gangsters also started to run away. At this time, it didn't matter whether he planned it or not. They just regretted that they didn't have two more legs. Seeing that even the men he brought from the police station ran away. Bai Pinghai was furious. He knew that once these boys ran away, they would never return to the Lan County Police Station. They were worried about being punished. If this continues, even if Jian Lusher is killed, his foundation will be destroyed and everything will have to start from scratch. Stop! Driving friends! We can talk! Bai Pinghai didn't dare to take the risk. He hid behind a concrete wall and shouted. Um! Jian Lusher was startled. He didn't expect that Bai Pinghai would start talking nonsense to him at this time. He was curious about what Bai Pinghai could say. Could it be that he wanted to negotiate at this time? He wouldn't have such naive ideas. Friend! I know your car is great! But having a great car doesn't mean you are great. Your marksmanship is accurate. But what about your personal strength? Can you fight in close quarters? Your muscles and skin can withstand knives. Bullets? Seeing that the impact of Jian Liusher's car had slowed down, Bai Pinghai immediately took the opportunity to speak, trying to attract Jian Liusher's attention in the shortest possible time. Jian Liusher was sitting in the war room, with a slight curve in the corner of his mouth. He wanted to know how Bai Pinghai planned to deceive him. Friend, you probably don't know that on Changming Island. The military has set up a research base and is studying the extraction of a compressed energy crystal from mutant beast meat and mutant crystal nuclei. It is now tentatively named Evolutionary Crystal. A small thing can promote human evolution, especially the mutant crystal core. If the evolutionary crystal can be extracted and absorbed by people, then whether it is an ordinary person or a person with superpowers, if they can get an evolutionary crystal, that will be of great benefit to their strength improvement, Bai Pinghai said quickly, which made Jian Lusher slightly startled. Evolution crystal? Although he knew that Bai Pinghai had no good intentions when talking to him now, Jian Lusher intuitively felt that the evolutionary crystal should be real. Feeling that Jian Lusher seemed interested, Bai Pinghai also became interested. If evolution crystals can be extracted, what is the concept? Although the current mutated beast meat can be stored for a month without a refrigerator, it will eventually rot after a month. And eating mutated beast meat is harmful to those with superpowers, generally speaking. The absorption rate is not high, no matter how good the intestines are for ordinary superpowers. Eating 20 or 30 kilograms of mutated beast meat in one meal is already the limit. If you eat too much, you will not be able to digest such a ton of mutated beast meat. It takes a superpower user almost 20 days to eat it. But if it is a continuous high-intensity battle, the energy absorbed is simply not enough. If you don't consume enough energy in battle, how can you evolve your body? How can you improve your strength? It's like raising a tiger or wolf, but letting it eat bran every day. How can it grow? But with evolution crystals, everything is different. If there are enough energy crystals, and you eat one energy crystal a day, the evolver can quickly complete the evolution. Even ordinary people. If they eat one energy crystal, their physique will be greatly enhanced, and they will become at the level of a professional boxer. If there are enough energy crystals, it is not impossible for ordinary people to grow into supermen with strength comparable to those with superpowers. Bai Pinghai said these words like he was pouring beans. There was reason in his words. And Jiang Lusher knew that at least the mutated beast meat that Jiang Zhuying usually ate did not have enough energy for her to consume. Which also made Jiang Zhuying's grow slow. Then there is. The mutated crystal core experienced a price surge before. And the price increased several times. Which is also proved. It seems that the military has paid more and more attention to mutant crystal cores. And even the price of mutant crystal cores may rise again in the short term. Of course, regardless of whether the mutant crystal core or mutant beast meat increases in price, it cannot be more expensive than the evolutionary crystal. When the military's extraction technology was still in the exploratory stage, the value of the extracted mutant crystals was really unimaginable. In comparison, the value of large carat diamonds before the apocalypse pales in comparison. At this moment, Ying shook her head, and her voice sounded directly in Jiang Liusher's mind. Brother Jiang, evolutionary crystals are nothing special. If there is a second-level mutant crystal core, the base vehicle can also have energy crystal extraction experiments. Room, the energy crystals extracted with star seeds are naturally of much better quality than those extracted by humans. And, only Brother Jiang can use the genetic evolution fluid in the biological laboratory. But as for the energy crystals, Anyone can use it. Chapter 141 No Bones Left Energy Crystal Extraction Laboratory Jiang Liosher's heart moved. 
The evolutionary direction of the base vehicle has not yet been fully revealed. Many functions are waiting to be slowly unlocked. This energy crystal extraction laboratory really made Jiang Liuxia's heart beat. His previous food was mutated beast meat. Before Jiang Liuxia evolved his brain, he could only eat a pound of meat in one meal. After evolution, eating only a few kilograms of mutated beast meat would provide insufficient energy to transform the body. If there is an energy crystal, Jiang Liuxia has no doubt that once this thing is extracted, it will be the top luxury product in the apocalypse. It will be used as a large amount of currency and is easier to store and carry than mutated beast meat. These thoughts flashed across Jiang Liuxia's mind, but his senses were always alert to his surroundings without slackening at all. At this time, Bai Pinghai said again, How is it? Are you excited? To tell you the truth, the evolutionary crystal is still in the experimental stage, but the armed police force maintains radio communication with the military. The current person in charge of the armed police force branch has a position in the military. Background. If you are willing to make a deal, you may not be able to use weapons and crystal cores in exchange for a few evolutionary crystals to enhance your personal strength. Bai Pinghai said seductively. But at this time, Ren Shi frowned slightly. And she suddenly said, Brother Jiang, he is lying. Oh. Jiang Lusher smiled. He knew that Ran Shi had spiritual powers and could vaguely guess the other person's psychology. But now, without Ran Shi's reminder, Jiang Lusher already knew that Bai Pinghai was deceiving him. Because it's just delaying time. Jiang Lusher unhurriedly released the Type 95 machine gun. When he listened to Bai Pinghai's words, his super brain allowed him to understand everything around him. In the war room, Jiang Lusher also had 360. The wide field of view prevents him from missing any blind spots. He clearly saw that in a corner of the trading room, behind the base vehicle, where it was difficult to see even in the rearview mirror, there was a majestic man. He was carrying a bag and quietly walked out. A bunch of grenades were taken out of the bag. It's by John Chan. He has transformed into a bear man form. And these grenades are tied together. And the tabs of the grenades can be pulled apart together. By John Chan in the bear man state is completely like a human shaped turret. He can easily hit the grenade on the base vehicle. If so many grenades explode at the same time, even the base vehicle will be unable to withstand it. The armor may not be blown through, but it will definitely be blown over. Once the car overturns here, the consequences will be disastrous. This should be the last stand of Bai John Chan and Bai Ping Hai. One of them attracted the target, and the other attacked from behind. However, how could Jiang Lusher let them get their wish? Jiang Lusher left the Type 95 machine gun in front of the base vehicle and took another Bai bar. On the surface, Jiang Lusher did not turn the gun. But in fact, Jiang Liuxia's entire energy had been transferred to the rear of the vehicle. His finger was on the trigger. But he was not in a hurry to draw the gun. Because he knew that with the keen perception of superpowers, they could detect the danger of dying. And they would feel it once they were pointed at the gun. He just waited and watched by John Chan put his finger on the ring of a bundle of grenades. At this moment, a sneer appeared on Jiang Liuxia's lips. Friend, as long as you let us go, this transaction can be carried out in the future. Even if you kill us now, you will not get any benefits. Bai Pinghai was still attracting Jiang Liuxia's attention. But at this moment, Bai John Chan had pulled the tabs of all the grenades at once. He smiled ferociously and grabbed this grenade in his hand. With a ferocious and crazy smile on his face. Die. Boy. Bai John Chan roared in his heart. And at this moment, an inexplicable sense of crisis surged into his heart. The moment Bai John Chan pulled the grenade ring, Jiang Lusher, who was already fully focused, immediately raised his gun, aiming and pulling the trigger almost at the same time. Ba! 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 Gunshot. In one shot, several bullets were fired in succession, giving Bai John Chan no chance at all. Even if Bai John Chan can feel the danger in advance, it will take time for him to make evasive actions. Rifle bullets are so terrifying at close range. Even if you dodge with all your strength, you may not be able to dodge them. How can you give Bai John Chan a chance to throw a grenade? Ah! Bai John Chan screamed and the bullet from the Bai rifle directly penetrated by Jian Chan's left shoulder. He finally completed the dodge. Otherwise, Jiang Liuxia's shot would have been aimed at Bai Jian Chan's heart. Pong! Blood splashed, and the bullet penetrated Bai Jian Chan's body, bringing out a huge rain of blood. This is the body of the Bai Jian mountain bearman. If it were an ordinary person, one shot could tear off the entire left arm. However, no matter how strong Bai Jian Chan's physical body is, 
It is impossible for him to maintain his combat effectiveness after being shot by the bite bar. The instant muscle spasm caused by the severe pain made by Zhan Shan weak and fell directly to the ground. Boom! The grenade bag also fell to the ground. Seven or eight grenades were bundled together. And the tab was opened. By Zhan Shan's eyes were blood red and his expression was distorted. He watched helplessly as the grenade landed very close to his face. And now, he was shot in the body and couldn't throw the grenade at all. At that moment, Bai Zhan Chan felt that the world had slowed down, and time and sound had gone away. He struggled crazily, trying to grab the grenade bag and throw it out. But death had stretched out his sickle. Boom! The bundle grenades exploded together. Terrifying tongues of fire spewed out, and shock waves instantly spread throughout the trading hall. Even Jian Lusher, who was in the base vehicle, felt the vehicle shake violently. Fortunately, it was the rear of the vehicle that bore the shock wave. If it had been on the side, it would have almost been knocked down. As for Bai Zhan Chan, he didn't even make a sound and was directly blown into pieces. With no bones left, with such a powerful explosion, let alone a flesh and blood body, even a tank would be trapped. Brother! Seeing Bai Zhan Chan being swallowed up by the explosion of fire, Bai Pinghai's eyes were bloodshot. For a person who aspires to become a hero, Bai Pinghai cannot be said to be in pain when he witnesses his brother's death. However, in this situation, Bai Zhanshan's death means that Bai Pinghai is one step closer to death. You little beast. I'll hack you and mom. Bai Pinghai screamed wildly. And while Jiang Liuxer's gun turned back, he suddenly jumped out from behind the bunker and ran towards Jiang Liuxer's base vehicle. At that moment, all the muscles in Bai Pinghai's body were glowing with metallic luster, as if they had been poured with copper juice. And in his hand, he was holding a steel pillar as thick as an adult's arm. A steel ball weighing 5 to 600 kilograms was used as a spear by Bai Pinghai. Bai Pinghai just held a spear and rushed towards the base vehicle. Bai Pinghai was running wildly. Every step he took was extremely heavy, causing stone chips to fly on the floor of the trading room. The thick steel pillar in his hand was pointed directly at the windshield of the base vehicle. He wanted to smash the windshield with a spear and kill the shadow driving the base vehicle. Chapter 142 The Thin Line Between Life and Death Bai Pinghai's Superpower is a metal hardened flesh body. Like Bai Zhan Shan, Bai Pinghai also has a transformation type superpower. The metalized flesh body can bring Bai Pinghai super strength and defense. This defense is enough to withstand daggers. But the face Bai Pinghai's current semi metal hardened body is useless against rifles and machine gun bullets that can penetrate 8 to 9 mm steel plates. They can penetrate them with one shot. Perhaps in the future, as his power level increases, Bai Pinghai will not be afraid of bullets. But that requires him to survive today. On the line between life and death, Bai Pinghai unleashed his potential far beyond his usual potential. He was 17 or 80 meters away from the base vehicle, holding a steel column of 5 to 600 kilograms. But he rushed to the front in an instant. At this time, Jiang Lusher had just killed Bai Zhanshan behind the base vehicle. And his gun had just been moved to the front of the war room. This short one or two seconds between attacks allowed Bai Pinghai to grasp it. He knew very well that the time difference created by Bai Zhanshan with his life was his only chance to turn defeat into victory. Die! Bai Pinghai roared loudly and jumped up. Jian Lusher was about to take aim and pull the trigger. But at this moment, Bai Pinghai was already directly in front of the base vehicle. He was hiding under the cover of the base vehicle itself. Although Jian Liuxer's gun muzzle has a 360 degree shooting angle, the 2 meter angle around the base vehicle is also a blind spot for him to shoot because the bullets will be blocked by the base vehicle itself. Shadow! Be careful! Jian Lusher yelled. But before he could finish his words, Bai Pinghai had already launched a strike that he poured all his strength into. The air cannon, which can be charged for several seconds, is naturally useless at this time. The base vehicle's collision angle was also jumped over by Bai Pinghai. Bai Pinghai's body spread out like a big bird. His spine bent backwards like a bow. His legs held his waist and his arms exerted force. The huge impact of the steel pillar combined with Bai Pinghai's own explosive power. A solid steel pillar hit the windshield. Boom! The windshield of the base vehicle was shaken violently, and time seemed to be frozen in an instant. On the bulletproof glass, countless glass fragments that had been broken into pieces by bullets flew into the sky, reflecting little bits of light, like splashes on the water. Thousands of water drops. Bulletproof glass is not tank armor after all. It is composed of multiple layers of glass. Although it can block bullets, 
each bullet will still break one or two layers of glass. Continuous bullet shooting will make the bulletproof glass thinner and thinner. But now, with Bai Pinghai's full blow, the steel pillar flying out at high speed is far beyond the comparison of bullets. Pong! A large amount of broken glass rained into the base vehicle. Bai Pinghai's steel pillar smashed through the windshield. In the base car, Ran Shiyu looked pale. And Sun Kun and Zhang Hai pulled the bolt of their guns at the same time. Ending had already jumped up from the driver's seat. Boom! The steel pillar hit the driver's seat hard. Almost piercing the driver's seat. This is Shadow. Who can completely rely on the order to Starseed to make Starseed put away her seat belt in the blink of an eye. Which allows her to jump up. Anyone else would be trapped by the seat belt. And then be trapped. Nailed on the driver's seat. You all die! Seeing that the blow was successful and finally penetrated the damn bulletproof glass. Bai Pinghai grabbed the steel column and pried it hard. And another large piece of bulletproof glass shattered. He is going to break into the base vehicle. At this time, Jiang Zuying had quick eyes and quick hands. She rushed to the driver's seat and grabbed the steel pillar. Zitsizi! A thousand bolts of electric current cast a dazzling blue light on the steel pillar. The powerful electric current rushed into Bai Pinghai's body. Bai Pinghai groaned miserably and the steel pillar in his hand almost fell off. His metalized body can protect against knives and even small power 64 pistol bullets. But what about Jiang Zhuying's electric shock? A smaller resistivity will double the electric shock damage. Crackling. Blue electric current spread all over Bai Pinghai's body. His hair stood up and his clothes burned. But he still clung to the steel pillar. Roll! Bai Pinghai pushed the steel column violently. Jiang Zhuying was shocked. He couldn't hold back his hands. One of his little hands was directly hit with severe pain. And his wrist joint was almost dislocated. Bai Pinghai's attack power is so terrifying that it is no wonder that he was able to enter the Lan County Armed Police base and become an important member of the base. But at this time, Jiang Zhuying did not move away. She changed her other hand and still grabbed the steel pillar in her hand. Bang bang bang. The electric current surged. And Jiang Zhuying used all his strength to release the electric current, which paralyzed Bai Pinghai's whole body. Almost at the same time, the door of the base vehicle opened. Ying turned over and rushed out of the car. Her feet did not even touch the ground. She grabbed the metal bracket of the rearview mirror with one hand and swung her body to the front of the base vehicle. The three-sided military spike in her hand. Stabbing Bai Pinghai straight into the neck. Ah! Bai Pinghai screamed wildly. His whole body was charred and his clothes were burning. He saw Ying rushing towards him. But he ignored Ying's triangular spur and punched Ying in the chest. This punch was so powerful that it would definitely break bones and tendons. Bai Pinghai knew that he was at the end of his rope at this time. And he was completely risking his life. Shadow! Get out of the way! At this moment, a sharp shout sounded in Ying's mind. Without thinking, Ying exerted a strong force on her hand holding the rearview mirror bracket. And her body quickly retracted. At the same time, the triangular military thorn in her hand was violently thrown out by her. Whoosh! The three-edged military thorn stabbed hard at Bai Pinghai's throat. And at the same time, BANG! There was a gunshot. And a bullet came first. The bullet flew along the narrow crack in the windshield of the base vehicle after it was pierced by the iron pipe. One shot hit Bai Pinghai in the chest. Bai Pinghai's body seemed to have been hit by a sledgehammer. He groaned miserably and fell backwards. A bullet that could penetrate three people with one shot failed to pass through Bai Pinghai's back. However, the bullet rolled freely inside Bai Pinghai's body and had already twisted Bai Pinghai's internal organs into a mess. If the bullet passes through the body, the injury will be lighter. If it does not penetrate and remain in the body, it will be even worse. Bai Pinghai was shot in the chest, and a three-edged military thorn was inserted diagonally into his neck. The carotid artery was bleeding profusely. Bai Pinghai's eyes were distracted. He looked at the base vehicle with its front windshield shattered and Jian Lusher holding the Bai bar in the vehicle. With a sad smile on his lips, he was strong. But under the paralysis of the electric current, his muscles became stiff. As a result, he was killed instantly by Jian Lusher and Ying. Bai Pinghai is dead. Jian Lusher let out a long breath. This battle also consumed a lot of his mental energy. Shadow! Get in the car! Jian Lusher said that it was too dangerous to be under the car. Although most people in the trading room ran away, there was no guarantee that anyone would still be hiding in the corner and firing cold shots. Jian Lusher felt more and more that he needed to strengthen his physical fitness. Otherwise he could only hide in the car and shoot. Once something went wrong with the car, Jian Lusher would be put in an extremely dangerous situation. Chapter 143 A Windfall 
Ng jumped onto the bay's vehicle and closed the door. The shocking steel pillar was still inserted into the front windshield of the bay's vehicle. Ng directly kicked the end of the steel pillar with a clean side kick. Clang! There was a loud sound of metal being struck. And the iron pillar weighing hundreds of kilograms was kicked out by the shadow. And hit the concrete wall hard. Causing the concrete wall to shake violently. At this time, the entire black market trading hall was in a mess. It had been rushed back and forth by base vehicles several times. There were craters left by bullets everywhere. And the glass was all broken. All the ordinary people in the black market had already fled. And countless stalls were smashed over. It almost looked like it had been looted by an army. This black market was basically destroyed by Jian Liusher's sudden return. Jian Liusher threw away the body bar in his hand and sat in the driving position. At this time, he heard the prompt from Star Seed. You have discovered the energy of a level 1 plus superpower. Do you want to absorb it? Absorb! Jian Lusher confirmed directly. Compared to mutant beasts, the energy intensity of human superpowers is relatively weaker. Before, only the energy of the Blood Wolf had brought great benefits to Jian Lusher. As for the energy possessed by Brother Yu, it was not even as good as half a mutated crystal core. As for the strength, it was even worse. Even stronger than ordinary people. Yang Qingqing, who didn't have much, was almost ignored. Now Jiang Lusher killed two superpowers, who were not weaker than the Blood Wolf in a row. So he naturally gained more energy. Bai Zhan Chan was blown into pieces. With no bones left, most of the mutant energy he possessed had been dissipated. And not much remained. But Bai Ping Hai was different. He was just shot through the chest and died. And his energy was completely preserved. Star Seed directly began to absorb the mutant energy that escaped from Bai Ping Hai's death. While the Star Seed was absorbing the mutated energy, Jian Lusher started the car directly. He drove the base car around the black market, searching for battlefields to prevent some people with evil intentions from hiding somewhere in the black market. Then he got out of the car. Too dangerous. After searching around, there was no one there. But Jian Lusher saw the dying Fatty Yuan. At this time, Fatty Yuan was covered in blood, and his body was like a broken blood bag. He was directly hit by the shock waves set off by the air cannon, and his whole body was broken countless times. But now, he was still breathing, seeing Jiang Liusher's base vehicle slowly approaching. Fatty Yuan's eyes were full of despair and fear. He never imagined that this time he came to the black market to buy supplies. What would be waiting for him was this. A young man who looked like a student, drove a car swept through the black market. It was as powerful as the Bai brothers. But he drove them all to death. Yu Yu! Fatty Yuan was trembling all over and tears were streaming down his face. Jiang Liusher glanced at Fatty Yuan indifferently and opened the car door. He groped around Fatty Yuan's body for a while, and escaped from his inner pocket of his jacket. A mutated crystal core stained with blood. Save, save me! I'll give you the mutant crystal core. I'll also give you the animal meat in my car. Fatty Yuan stretched out his hand in vain. He was afraid of death. Human beings' fear of death comes from the instinct of life. Especially Fatty Yuan, who had just lived a decent life. Yes, the end of the world is H, L for most people. But for Fatty Yuan, it is a paradise for domineering people. Even if water, electricity, internet, and food are cut off in the last days, and people risk their lives all the time. In many cases, as long as a person can trample those around him under his feet, he will feel that his life is satisfied. Having just fulfilled his life, how could Fatty Yuan want to die? Fatty Yuan desperately tried to grab Jiang Liusher's trousers. Tears and saliva flowed from his eyes and his forehead was covered with sweat. It was painful and frightening. The mutated beast meat and mutated crystal cores are mine, and I don't need you to give them to me. Jian Lusher put away the mutated crystal cores and silently raised his gun. You are too seriously injured and can't live. Instead of dying in pain, why don't I give them to you? One ride. Suffering such an injury. Before the end of the world, it may not be cured by being sent to the hospital in time. Let alone now. There are not even antibiotics and you may die of infection if you are stabbed in the thigh with a dagger. If Fatty Yuan wasn't a superpower, he would have died long ago. No, no. Fatty Yuan shouted in vain. But Jian Lusher had already pulled the trigger. Bang. With the sound of a gunshot. A soul full of depravity. Filth and desire was saved by the gunshot. And in this apocalyptic world, there are countless such souls. I found the energy of a level 1 superpower. Do you want to absorb it? Absorb. Jiang Lusher nodded lightly. The environment will quickly change a person. 
Jian Lusher himself was also rapidly changed by the environment. Compared with the first few days of the apocalypse, Jian Lusher could face blood more calmly now. He is now thinking about the wealth he possesses and the direction in which the base vehicle needs to evolve. This time when he came to the black market, Jian Lusher could be said to have made a huge fortune. It was true that horses did not get fat without nightfall, and people did not get rich without windfall. Nothing was done as quickly as robbery. Jian Lusher got into the base vehicle again. John Hai and Sun Kun had been sent away by Jian Lusher to take care of the freezer truck and SUV. Jian Lusher drove the base vehicle to the door of a warehouse. When Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator, the front of the base vehicle hit the corner ferociously, knocking the door open. The iron sheet was torn and the steel lock was completely twisted. Behind this warehouse, a large amount of grain is stored. Flour, rice, dried vegetables, cooking oil, peanuts, as well as a large number of plastic wrapped non-staple foods, etc. Before the apocalypse, the black market in Lawn County was an agricultural products trading market. This is also the reason why Bai Zhanchan was able to quickly establish a black market based on the farmer's market after the apocalypse came. Originally, there was a large amount of food and agricultural products in the farmer's market. The team of survivors who came from the surrounding area and wanted to come to the farmer's market to search for some food were dumbfounded when they arrived at the farmer's market. They found that the supplies here had been destroyed by Bai Zhanshan. Everyone occupied it. They couldn't defeat Bai Zhanshan. And those who dealt with him would have been tortured to death by Bai Zhanshan and hung at the door of the black market. As for those who didn't take the initiative, Bai Zhanshan didn't kill them and make deals with them, but made deals with them. This was Bai Zhanshan's cleverness. A blind robbery could easily arouse public outrage and eventually capsize in the gutter. However, by developing black market transactions, you can use the black market as the foundation to slowly establish your own sphere of influence and even build a country in the future. However, now, all these food supplies belong to Jian Lusher. So much food! Ren Shiyu's eyelids twitched slightly when she saw the food in this warehouse. In the end of the world, Ren Shiyu knew very well what such a large amount of supplies meant. Chapter 144 Storage Space Upgrade In the Black Market Warehouse In addition to grain, there is about a ton of mutated beast meat. The Seven Gods team does not store much mutated beast meat, probably because it was all replaced with mutated crystal nuclei. The supplies in this warehouse, plus the mutant crystal core left by Fatty Yuan and a whole mutant beast, as well as guns and ammunition scattered on the ground, as well as some vehicles knocked over by Jiang Liuxiu's base vehicle. Many of them are stored the mutated beast meat all added up, has become the wealth of Jiang Liuxiu's team. It's a pity that the vehicles parked outside the black market were basically driven away, and the guns carried by the survivor team themselves were also taken away. Jiang Liuxiu's strength was limited after all, and it was impossible to keep everyone in the entire black market. Thinking about this wealth, Ren Shi was secretly stunned. This wealth was enough to establish a power based on it and maintain it for more than half a year. It's a pity that so much food cannot be transported. Looking at the food in the storehouse, Jian Lusher was silent. He suddenly said to Ran Shiyu, Get out of the car! Ran Shiyu was stunned for a moment, facing Jian Liuxiu's cold order. It was hard for her to get used to it. After all, before the apocalypse, she was a high ranking princess. After the apocalypse, although she had lost all her status and was even locked in a cage, many men would still show salivating and ugly faces when they saw her. But Jian Liuxiu's indifferent reaction surprised her. Ran Shiyu nodded. Her life was saved by Jian Lusher. So naturally she obeyed Jian Lusher in everything. After Ran Shiyu got off the car, Jian Lusher opened the control panel of Xingzhong. He asked Ran Shiyu to get out of the car because he wanted to put all these supplies into the storage space. Waste is the biggest crime. With so many supplies, how could you not take away as much as possible? However, it is naturally inconvenient to do these things with Ran Shiyu present. The only people Jian Lusher trusts now are his sister Jiang Zhuying and the shadow bound to his consciousness. To store these materials, it is natural to turn on the storage space upgrade function of the base vehicle. Jiang Lusher now has the mutant energy of a superpower and a mutant crystal core, which is enough to upgrade the storage space. Upgrade the storage space to increase the capacity of the storage space from 10 cubic meters to 20 cubic meters. The number of first level mutant crystal cores required is 1. From 20 cubic meters to 30 cubic meters, Two mutant crystal cores are required. Upgrade to 40 cubic meters. Three pieces are needed. Jiang Lusher looked down all the way. Each time he upgraded the storage space, 
The quota was 10 cubic meters, but the number of required crystal cores was increasing rapidly. They were 1, 1, 2, 3, 5,813. Interestingly, the last number is equal to the sum of the first two numbers. It's the golden section sequence. Jiang Lusher was a little surprised. This simple arrangement of numbers is probably the most famous and magical sequence in mathematics. Its previous term is divided by the next term. And the resulting quotient is getting bigger and bigger. It is close to the golden ratio. So it has such a name. The most amazing thing is that the golden section sequence is almost everywhere in nature. Whether it is the number of spirals in sunflower seeds, the number of petals in most flowers, the number of branches on branches, the distribution of spirals on conchs and typhoons, including people, finger bones, arm length, etc. They either fit the golden section sequence or choose a certain number in the golden section sequence as the rule they follow. This sequence of numbers seems to have become the basic rule of the universe since the birth of the universe. Everything in the universe and different types of life follow this rule unconsciously. Even the mysterious star seed. Its upgrade conforms to this mysterious sequence that is most in line with the beauty of nature. Unfortunately, this is not good news for Jiang Lusher. The golden sequence grows in a geometric progression later on, which also means that the storage space of Jiang Liusher's base vehicle can only be upgraded to 1 or 200 cubic meters, and he cannot afford to consume any more. 100 cubic meters is quite a lot. In the apocalypse, food is as good as gold. This storage space can store hundreds of tons of food. Jiang Lusher put the mutated crystal nuclei left by Fatty Yuan into the groove in front of the base vehicle's cab, together with the mutated energy previously absorbed from the superpowers. The total was roughly equivalent to three mutated crystal nuclei. Three mutated crystal nuclei, all used to open the storage space. Jiang Lusher couldn't bear to part with. There are many places in his base vehicle that are in urgent need of mutant crystal cores. For example, the tires need to be upgraded, and the bulletproof glass needs to be reinforced. Even the internal usable area of the base vehicle. Jiang Lusher wants to increase it quickly. After taking a look at the supplies in the warehouse, Jiang Lusher estimated that if he only upgraded the storage space once, he would only be able to take away 70% of it. 70% means 70%. It doesn't matter if it's less. Safety first. Well second. Jiang Lusher thought this way and used his spiritual thoughts to determine the upgrade of the storage space. Enable the secondary storage space function. The storage space is 20 cubic meters in size. The space is anaerobic and sterile. Ordinary food can be kept fresh for more than one and a half years. And mutant animal meat can be kept fresh for four years. It consumes one unit of mutant energy. Do you want to upgrade? Upgrade. Jiang Lusha remembered that in the previous storage space, ordinary food could be kept fresh for one year and mutated animal meat for three years. Now after the upgrade, even the freshness time has been extended. In this apocalyptic world, Having a storage space that can carry food supplies with you and also have a fresh keeping function is really valuable. The metal required for the upgrade has been detected in the storage space. The upgrade has begun. The use of the base vehicle will not be affected during the period. Upgrading the storage space only takes an hour. During this period, Jiang Lusher sent Sun Kun and Zhang Hai to clean the battlefield and collect some materials scattered on the ground. Those who were killed by Jiang Lusher all had guns. After collecting them, Jiang Lusher found three more automatic rifles, a microcharge, and the Type 95 light rifle from by John Chan that Jiang Lusher had sold to him before. The machine gun was also brought back by Sun Kuen. Seeing so many guns, Jiang Lusher found it funny. Almost all the weapons he originally sold were back and could be sold again. During the Star Seed upgrade process, Jiang Lusher also inspected the base vehicle for damage. The front windshield was completely shattered and the vehicle armor and tires were slightly damaged. To repair these, the materials, gasoline, and electricity required were not a problem, and it could be repaired in an hour or two. But this also made Jiang Lusher feel that the current strength of the base vehicle was still not enough. Regardless of bulletproof glass or tires, they are the weaknesses of the base vehicle. If nothing else, if there were still a large number of gunmen who did not escape after Bai Pinghai smashed the front windshield, they would target the base vehicle's front windshield. If you shoot it, it will quickly break the entire windshield into pieces. Once the bulletproof glass is no longer protected, everyone on the minibus will face the enemy's gun. The consequences of a fight will be disastrous. With Yang Liosher's current physique, he can't stand even a single shot. Chapter 145 Bloodline Thinking of this, 
Jian Lusher frowned. He didn't want his life to be based on many lucks and coincidences. If possible, Jian Lusher would naturally replace all the materials of the base car with the first grade alloy used for the bumper. But now, he has no such capital. Let's upgrade the bulletproof glass first. With this thought in mind, Jian Lusher used the mutant energy of another unit to upgrade the bulletproof glass. As for the mutated crystal core obtained from Boss Yuan, Jian Lusher thought twice and decided to use it to prepare the genetic evolution fluid. Only mutant crystal nuclei can be used to configure genetic evolution fluid. As for the mutant energy absorbed from superpowers, it can only be used to transform base vehicles. The control panel of the biological laboratory popped up. Jian Lusher glanced at it and found that after the base vehicle started its second evolution, the control panel of the biological laboratory also changed its appearance. Originally, the genetic evolution fluid that the biological laboratory could configure was to enhance defense, strength, agility, nerves and brain, etc. But now, several big categories have emerged. The first category was physical enhancement. After Jian Lusher clicked on it, he found that all the genetic evolution fluids for defense, strength, and physical fitness that he had seen before were all gathered into this category. Not only that, there is also a panel that directly reflects Jian Lusher's current physical condition. Host Jian Lusher. Strength, 1.0. Agility, 1.1. Constitution, 1.0. Defense, 0.9. Mental power, 1.1. Virus immunity, 1.1. Brain 3.1. Um, this is. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. His physical condition had been fully reflected on the evolution panel of the biology laboratory. The so-called 1.0 actually refers to the physical condition of ordinary people. Jian Lusher's personal physical fitness is average. Neither good nor bad. The virus immunity of 1.1 is probably because he survived the large-scale virus outbreak at the beginning of the apocalypse. Reason. As for Brain 3.1, there is no doubt that it is the effect of drinking the brain gene evolution fluid before. Jian Liosher's brain speed is now three times that of ordinary people. And the primary genetic evolution fluid configured in the biology laboratory starts at three times that of ordinary people. Regardless of defense, agility, and strength, if you drink a bottle of genetic evolution fluid, you will gain three times the physical strength. These are the attributes that Jian Liosher covets. But now, Jian Lusher was not in a hurry to make a choice. He continued to look down and saw the major options that were only activated after the base vehicle's secondary form. Jian Lusher has already seen the first option of strengthening physical fitness. And the second big option is to control matter and energy. After clicking it, Jian Lusher's attributes also appeared on the control panel, all of which were zero. The control energies you can choose below include wind, fire, ice, thunder, poison, etc. Among them, controlling thunder and lightning is Jiang Zhuying's special ability. However, this control type ability requires a second level mutant crystal core to be used at first, which directly ruined Jiang Liosher's thoughts. Second level crystal core. He hasn't even seen the second level mutant beast yet. And there are some stronger abilities, such as controlling metal and controlling gravity, which even require several secondary mutant crystal nuclei to activate. Jiang Liosher could only stare. Are control type abilities so expensive? Bamboo's shadow really has a good power. He can control thunder and lightning. And the identification of star seeds is more advanced than strengthening his physical constitution. Exit this big option. The third option is activate bloodline. Let the host obtain a special bloodline. For example, the werewolf bloodline and the bearman bloodline were all things Jian Lusher had seen before. The blood wolf could transform into a wolf. And Bai Jian Chan could transform into a bear. Gain speed strength and super defensive physique all at once. However, Star Seed's activated bloodline does not require transformation. And the bloodline is directly integrated into Jian Liusher's body, allowing Jian Liusher to possess the physical abilities of a werewolf and a bearman in human form. After werewolves and bears, there were various bloodline choices. One of these bloodlines made Jian Liusher slightly startled. Blood of Oz bloodline? Jian Liusher was curious and subconsciously clicked on the introduction of blood evolution bloodline. At this sight, he suddenly understood. In Starseed's introduction, humans have powerful blood and bone marrow genes. But the powerful blood and bone marrow genes of ordinary people are blocked and cannot be activated. But there are some people who partially activated additional genes in their blood and bone marrow before the end of the world. Unfortunately, without the nourishment of mutant energy 
and the evolution brought about by the stimulation of the body by the virus. This activation will only have the opposite effect. On the contrary, it will shorten your life. Among medical students, this condition is called porphyria, also known as vampirism, which is a genetic disease. Jian Lucher had heard of this disease, and it seemed that the earliest rumors about vampires in the West came from porphyria. Porphyria patients are afraid of seeing the sun and being exposed to ultraviolet rays. The porphyrins contained in the skin will be converted into toxins, and they will feel skin burning. They drink blood because they need the heme in it to feel good, and the heme does survive digestion by digestive juices and is absorbed through the small intestine. In addition, they hate garlic. Their faces are pale, and even their teeth will be exposed due to the mutation of their gums, becoming as ferocious as fangs. However, if there is the support of mutant energy, if there is a virus that can transform cells and greatly enhance their vitality, then the so-called porphyria patients will actually become human evolvers who activate blood and bone marrow genes. They are not afraid of the sun like the vampires in Western fantasy. And they have great power. Blood is a very magical tissue in the human body. It accounts for 7% to 8% of the human body. All living cells in the human body are inseparable from blood. The total length of human blood vessels can be close to 100,000 kilometers, which is twice the length of the earth. Half. If there is sufficient and strong blood circulation to supply every cell of the human body, then the human body will undergo qualitative changes. Why does the human heart never get tired after beating for a lifetime? The heart, which is only the size of a fist, pumps out enough blood in one day to fill an oil tanker. After such a lifetime, the load on the myocardium is unimaginable. But the heart keeps beating. When asked why the myocardium is not tired, some textbooks answer that the myocardium is resting when it relaxes. If the diastole time is longer than the contraction time, it will not be tired. This, in fact, it's all nonsense. When a person bench presses a barbell, his muscles are still resting when he lowers the barbell. Why don't you see anyone benching the barbell without getting tired? Not to mention lifting for a lifetime. Anyone who can lift for 10 consecutive minutes is a ruthless person. After all, the reason why the heart is not tired is because there is a dedicated blood circulation supplying it. That is, coronary circulation. The human heart accounts for only 0.5% of the body weight. But the small coronary circulation accounts for 5% of the heart's blood output. The coronary arteries are the first pair of branches of the aorta. And the branched blood has the highest oxygen content. It doesn't matter. The key coronary circulation has the highest blood pressure and the fastest blood flow. It only takes a few seconds for the circulation to end. The so-called venous blood that flows back to the heart has a higher oxygen content than other muscle tissues. Arterial blood has a higher oxygen content which is incomparable. People's muscles will get tired, not self-fatigue. In fact, cells will not get tired. Fatigue is caused by the accumulation of waste products metabolized by muscles during strenuous exercise and their inability to be discharged in time, as well as insufficient oxygen and energy supply. If all these are sufficient, any muscle in the human body can work continuously without getting tired. The strength of the myocardium is ultimately due to its strong blood supply. It has the best blood circulation which is not comparable to that of ordinary muscles. What if every muscle of a person can reach the level of cardiac muscle? That person's strength, stamina, and endurance will increase crazily. Not only that, your resilience will be greatly enhanced. Your blood will be strong, bringing more nutrients and stimulating cell growth. The immunity will also be stronger because human immune cells and immune proteins are also contained in the blood. Even the lifespan will be increased because the cells are well supplied and less garbage is retained without the oxidation of negative oxygen ions. Cell aging will be slowed down a lot. This is the blood evolution bloodline. Powerful strength, speed, endurance, immortality, and terrifying resilience. Chapter 146 Configuring Gene Evolution Fluid After reading Zingseat's introduction, Jian Lucher understood that the so-called blood mutation bloodline was actually completely different from the vampires in the movies he thought about. But the abilities displayed were somewhat similar. To put it bluntly, it means a stronger blood circulation system, which allows the cells in the blood to mutate and have a stronger ability to carry oxygen, nutrients, and energy. As the blood circulation becomes stronger, even the digestion ability will be enhanced. In this way, you can eat more mutated beast meat or evolutionary crystals, and you can become stronger faster in the future. If I activate my blood mutation bloodline, not only will my survivability become stronger, my strength will also grow faster in the future. 
but I will also consume more evolutionary crystals on a daily basis. Most people may not be able to afford it, but I have a star seed, so it is not a problem. Jian Lusher was thinking about the advantages and disadvantages of mutated blood. Of course, all of this requires a second level mutated crystal core. As for now, he only has one first level mutant crystal core in his hand, which seems a bit pitiful. Let's use it to configure a tube of agility type genetic evolution fluid. With this thought in mind, Jian Lusher threw the mutated crystal core to the biology laboratory. His nerve reaction was fast enough now, but his speed could not keep up. He was three times as agile as an ordinary person, which was a timely help to him. The genetic fluid is being prepared. It will take one hour. In the blink of an eye, Jian Lusher spent a lot of money on the mutant energy and mutant crystal cores obtained on the black market. And now only one mutant crystal core is left, which Jian Lusher left behind to modify the mining truck. Now, more than 95% of the entire team's resources have been given to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher has collected all the mutant crystal cores and a considerable part of the weapons have been exchanged for mutant crystal cores. The consumption of the others is just some mutant beast meat. Although Jian Lusher is the most important in the team, Jian Zhuing's role is not small every time. Jian Lusher always ensures Jian Zhuing's growth. Wait a few more days. Now Bamboo Shadow can only eat mutated beast meat. The mutated beast meat is enough. But Bamboo Shadow can't eat much. What really helps Bamboo Shadow should be the evolutionary crystal extracted by the military. But now you can't buy it. And you don't need to buy this kind of thing. If the energy extraction laboratory of the base vehicle is completed, then the base vehicle can extract the evolutionary crystal for Bamboo Shadow to use. Jian Lusher muttered to himself. He felt that he owed his sister a little. She followed him wherever he went these days. And these places were extremely dangerous. Her sister followed him through life and death without any complaints. This also makes Jian Lusher want to become stronger quickly. Only when he is strong enough can he help Jiang Zhuying become stronger as well. Brother, do you want to start repairing the car? Jiang Zhuying put down his iPad and stretched. Sun Kuan, Zhang Hai, and even Ran Shiyu were sent out of the car. Since the car was heated, Jiang Zhuying only wore a cool small suspender belt. This stretch revealed a section of Snow White her small waist has the youthful beauty of a girl. Fix it. Jiang Lusher smiled knowingly. Repairing the base vehicle requires the power provided by Jiang Zhuying. As for the grain and mutated animal meat in the warehouse, Jian Lusher did not avoid his sister and directly turned on the automatic absorption function to suck all the grain into the storage space. Ever since Jian Lusher mentioned that his power was mechanical transformation, Jiang Zhuing could accept whatever unreasonable things happened on the base vehicle. Maybe my brother has a little secret, but whatever. As long as his brother is strong, nothing matters. Question. Jiang Zhuing happily ran to the battery pack of the base vehicle and started charging to repair the vehicle. Charging the car is also a kind of training for Jiang Zhuying. Although the training effect is minimal, the grain in the black market warehouse is also being absorbed in large quantities by the storage space of the base vehicle. In less than 10 minutes, the newly added 10 cubic meters of storage space was already filled with food and mutated animal meat. Next, the base vehicle was repaired. The genetic evolution fluid was configured. The bulletproof glass was upgraded and the battlefield was cleaned. Sun Kun and Zhang Hai collected all the scattered guns and ammunition, including those with holes in the ground. The bulletproof shield and bulletproof vest on the body were also unceremoniously stripped off by Sun Kun and Zhang Hai. Anyway, when dealing with people, in this world, no one will care who wore your bulletproof vest. There are the bigger the hole, the cheaper it will be. Everything is sorted and ready to go. So, Jiang Liosher's team took a break. And at dusk, a minibus, a freezer truck, and an SUV in the middle drove away from the black market. After the vehicle had driven 20 or 30 kilometers, it was already dark. The team stopped in a wilderness to rest. The team cooked hot mutated beast broth, paired with barbecued meat, dried vegetables, and freshly made fragrant rice. This was it was a very sumptuous dinner, especially on this cold night. Drinking a bowl of mutated beast broth would really make every pore on your body feel comfortable. This is really the best way to relax after a fierce battle. Of course, if you can take a shower again, a hot bath, that's even more perfect. However, this kind of treatment can only be enjoyed by Aang, Jian Lusher and Jian Zhuying. As for Sun Kun and Zhang Hai, they have not bathed since the end of the world, and they can rub off more than half a kilogram of ash from their bodies. They didn't want to squeeze into the small bathroom. There were no zombies in the wilderness, and no mutant beasts were found yet. 
Instead, there was a small river, so they simply jumped in and took a quick wash. Ran Shi, on the other hand, was really envious when she saw Jiang Juying come out of the bathroom with wet hair and steam on his head. She never thought that in this apocalyptic world, she could still take a hot bath and use electricity to heat water for a bath. This was probably the luxury she would have in this luxury RV. Girls, especially girls who love cleanliness like Ran Shi, naturally can't stand her being dirty. But she is a little embarrassed to ask her to speak. After all, it is someone else's bathroom. After hesitating for a long time, she finally said to Jiang Lusher with a red face, Brother Jiang, can I use your bathroom? She was worried about being rejected. She pinched the corners of her skirt with her fingers and looked at Jiang Lusher expectantly. Oh, no problem, Jiang Lusher said casually, and then Ran Shiyu entered the bathroom, carefully closed the door, and took off her clothes. When you turn on the faucet, hot water flows out. There is actually a small sitting bathtub in this bathroom. The hot air floated up, steaming her face, and Ran Shiyu felt a sense of happiness that she had not seen for a long time. Many times, Happiness is as simple as having food to eat when you are hungry, and a shower when you are dirty. Before the end of the world, in the world of luxury and luxury, people had too many desires and pursuits. Although they had sufficient material, they were not necessarily able to live well. Happiness. And now, in this end of the world where supplies are scarce, Ran Shiyu feels for the first time that maybe this world is not so bad sometimes. Chapter 147 Who to Sleep With Ran Shiyu washed her dirty clothes after taking a shower and carefully put away her underwear. She had never thought that she would take a shower in the residence of a man she had only known for a day, or even that the man was right outside, a place close at hand, separated by a door. Jiang Lusher must have heard the sound of splashing water when it was poured on him. But now, after all this happened, although Ran Shiyu felt embarrassed, there was an indescribable strange feeling in her heart. Ran Shiyu had no change of clothes and was wearing Jiang Juying's clean pajamas, cartoon bear pajamas which really did not fit Ran Shiyu's usual style. Ran Shiyu didn't know what she looked like in her clothes. So she carefully opened the bathroom door. She had a weak and slender figure. But now she looked a bit like a 15 or 16-year-old girl in her little fur bear pajamas. Innocent and cute. After Ran Shiyu went out, she subconsciously glanced at Jiang Lusher. She saw Jiang Lusher at this time, only wearing a tight-fitting vest for fitness, and continued to eat mutated animal meat. The muscles on Jiang Liusher's body were getting stronger and stronger. Even in the tight-fitting vest, the muscle lines were still vaguely visible, full of flesh, the beauty of strength. At this time, Jiang Liusher's attention was completely focused on his hands. In his hand, there were six coins. The six coins flew up and down in his hand at an incredible speed. When the coins rotated rapidly in the air, they reflected the light, making people dazzled. This is... Ren Shi was completely stunned. She couldn't imagine someone with such fast and accurate hands. What was he doing? The movements of Jiang Liusher's hands were so dazzling that Ran Shiyu's eyes couldn't keep up with the movements of Jiang Liusher's fingers. The six coins flew around, and sometimes even collided with each other, but they couldn't fall off. The slender and dexterous index finger seemed to be endowed with a magical magic. After completing four or five fancy moves in a row, six coins landed on the small table together. Ba bang bang! Six coins were stacked together neatly and beautifully. Call. Jian Lusher let out a breath. He was practicing the dexterity of his hands just now. He had drank the genetic evolution fluid of the agility system. And his body's agility had greatly increased. He is now getting familiar with his body through practice. At the same time, he has agile muscles and faster reaction nerves. Jian Lusher can indeed make a variety of moves that are very dazzling in people's eyes. People with superpowers cannot smoothly improve their strength by just eating mutated beast meat evolutionary crystals, etc. They also need constant training. Otherwise, if your body becomes stronger, but you don't know how to use it, you will be no different from a clumsy and stupid person. Next to Jian Lusher. Jian Juying held a mobile phone and recorded Jian Liusher's training process with great interest. Hee <laughs> hee! Brother, your hand is so handsome! Since meeting Jian Lusher, Jian Juying has seen miracles happening in Jian Lusher. She can feel that her brother is getting stronger and stronger. From the first meeting, Jian Lusher seemed to be really an ordinary person. Now, as long as Jian Lusher is given a gun, he can kill a team by himself. Okay, that's it for today. Bamboo Shadow. Don't watch anime all the time. Practice controlling electricity when you have time. I know. 
Jiang Zhuying stuck out her cute little tongue. Indeed, she also felt that she was a little too playful when everything was relaxed around her brother recently. They must have a good rest tonight. And then, they will fight all the way to Jinling port. There may be fierce battles during this period. As for rest, Jiang Lusher was a little worried about how to sleep tonight. There is only one foldable single bed in the base car. Just yesterday, there were only two people in the base car. Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying. Usually Jiang Zhuying sleeps on the single bed, and Jiang Lusher sleeps on the sofa. Ying just joined this morning. And there is another ranchi. There is no place to sleep on the sofa. The vehicles that Jiang Liosher's team can sleep in are freezer trucks and minibuses. The SUV's protection is too weak. And even San Kun doesn't dare to spend the night in the SUV. As for the cab of the freezer truck, San Kun and Jiang Hai can only sleep in it. Of course, Jiang Lusher couldn't let Ran Shiyu go to the freezer car to squeeze in with Sun Kuan and Jiang Hai. In this case, Ran Shiyu could only sleep in the minibus. It would be nice if the base car could expand a little more space. Now that there are more and more people on the car, the space is too small. But when it comes to expanding the space, one crystal core can expand to 5 square meters. Now Jiang Lusher can't wait to break a crystal core into two halves. How can he be willing to consume a mutated crystal core for enjoyment? He can only squeeze in a little temporarily. Well, I'll just lay the floor and that's it. Ran Shi was very sensitive. And she immediately saw the difficulty in sleeping. While she was talking, she had already picked up a ball of quilt and hugged it tightly to her chest. She did this because of it. In fact, she wasn't wearing any underwear. You can borrow clothes from Jiang Zhuying. But you can't borrow underwear. The underwear can also be dried with a hair dryer. But it is a bit difficult to dry the bra. So Ran Shiyu can only put on Jiang Zhuying's bare pajamas naked. Fortunately, Jiang Zhuying's bare pajamas are relatively large. And the clothes themselves are furry. Nothing can be seen when wearing it. But if Jiang Lusher looks directly at him, Ran Shiyu, who is a little guilty, will inevitably have a fever on his face. Well, let me lay the floor, Jiang Lusher said proactively. In fact, the floor of the minibus is very clean. And the inside of the bus is warm. If you put a bed on it and sleep on it, you won't feel uncomfortable at all. And it's not even worse than a bed. It's just that Jiang Lusher felt that it was inappropriate for a little girl like Ran Shiyu to sleep on the ground. But at this time, Jiang Zhuying chuckled and said, Brother, you didn't understand. One sleeps on the bed, one sleeps on the sofa, and two sleep on the floor. Even if you make a bed on the floor, there still has to be someone following you. You're laying on the floor. Do you think you should choose a movie where Sister Ran? Jiang Zhuying smiled as she spoke. But her smile seemed a bit censorious no matter how you looked at it. Hearing what Jiang Zhuying said, Ran Shiyu suddenly blushed. She had already thought about this problem when Jiang Lusher said it. Now seeing Jiang Liosher's stunned expression, she felt a little funny and blushed with embarrassment. She secretly glanced at Ying. This super powerful beauty seemed cold to people. She didn't know what she would choose. Well? Jiang Lusher looked at the ground. In fact, the area of the minibus is limited. The rear of the bus is the bathroom, toilet, and a small storage room. The side is the bedroom, and the front is the kitchen. The living room is next to the bedroom, and there is a sofa. The space is very limited. Two people sleep on the floor, which is actually quite crowded. It's basically the same as sleeping on a bed in an ordinary room. Thinking of sleeping with a beautiful woman, Jiang Lusher was inevitably a little distracted for a moment. Three beauties in a car. Okay, one of them is my sister. So there are two beauties with different styles in the same car. And I am the only one. This is too fragrant. Even if they sleep on the sofa, they are actually next to each other. My own? Chapter 148 Heading to Jinling Port Ouch! On the highway, dozens of zombies rush towards them. But with a few muffled sounds of Bang 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 A minibus roared and knocked away several zombies. From this small group of zombies, he effortlessly passing through. An SUV followed closely behind. And then a freezer truck. It was Jiang Liosher's team. After a peaceful night's rest, Jiang Liosher and his party had regained their energy and immediately set off for Jinling Port. Jinling Port is the largest port in central China, from where Jiang Liosher and the others started. The fastest way to reach Jinling Port is to take a straight line. But this requires crossing half of Jinling City. Jinling City has a prosperous population, which only means one thing in the post-apocalyptic world. There are many zombies. Even though Jiang Liosher's base vehicle had gone through several different evolutions, he did not dare to cross the city. The base vehicle is strong. 
but it can handle hundreds of zombies. But what about thousands? Tens of thousands? Or even hundreds of thousands? Once trapped in the endless zombie tide, and the base vehicle cannot move. Just wait for death. So this route was rejected. If we have to take a detour, this one is the closest. But if we want to ensure that we can reach it within today, this one also needs to pass through a small section of the city. Of course, it is only the edge of the city. Sun Kun is a native of Jinling, and he was relatively familiar with the roads in this area. He held a tablet and drew the route on the Jinling map displayed on the screen. In fact, this route was drawn after considering many factors. Some roads are too densely populated and have congested vehicles. Even if they go there, it will be difficult for the convoy to pass. So detours are inevitable. According to the route drawn by Sun Kun, it is certainly possible not to go through that urban area, but it will require a long detour, and we will definitely not be able to make it today. Jian Lusher pondered for a moment and said, Then go through. The detour requires staying on the road for one night. As we approach Jinling City, we will face many unknown factors at night, and the risks will not be small. And after the triple improvement of abilities, physical fitness and base vehicle, Jiang Liosher's confidence has greatly increased. It's just on the edge of the city, and the population is far less dense than in the city center. So why not give it a try? After hearing Jiang Liosher's words, Sun Kun's eyes lit up. Okay, go through town. It's exciting just thinking about it. The average team would avoid the zombies. But they were rushing into the pile of zombies. Brother Jiang, drink tea. A delicate hand gracefully held a cup of tea and handed it over from the side. Jian Lusher looked up at Ran Shiyu and took it. Thank you. You're welcome. Ran Shiyu lowered her head and said without meeting Jian Liosher's eyes. She had already changed into her own clothes and was sitting on the sofa with perfect posture. Her slender jade neck looked like a swan while pouring tea. Ran Shiyu just made tea casually and her noble and generous temperament was already fully revealed. But why do you feel that Ran Shiyu's ears are so red? Sun Kuan looked at Jian Lusher, then at Ran Shiyu, then at Ing who was driving and then touched his chin. This atmosphere. TSK TSK. I don't know which beautiful girl brother Jiang slept next to last night. Sensing Sun Kun's gaze, Ran Shiyu lowered her head even further. Ran Shiyu felt her ears burning when she thought of last night. Originally, Jiang Lusher hadn't made any arrangements yet, but he didn't expect him to lie down on the sofa as soon as he came over. Then sleep like this, Jiang Lusher said. Sensing has already slept on the sofa. It's up to him. He can sleep no matter how he sleeps. I... Ran Shiyu stopped talking. Calling up to discuss? She couldn't speak out. And she didn't have the qualifications. There was no other way. So Ran Shiyu had no choice but to wrap herself tightly in the quilt. Carefully lie down by the wall. And try to distance herself from Jian Lusher as much as possible. However, the floor is only so big. No matter how much distance is opened. It is useless. She could hear Jian Liosher's breathing and since Jian Liosher's body temperature, and Jian Liosher, lying between such two beauties with different styles, was distracted for a moment. However, he fought too fiercely during the day and was mentally exhausted. So he fell asleep soon after. He fell asleep. And so did Ying. Even Jian Zhuying breathed evenly. But Ran Shiyu couldn't sleep. But after staring at the roof of the car with her eyes open for a while, Ran Shiyu fell asleep unconsciously. She couldn't eat or sleep well these days. She finally had a full meal, which was still mutated animal meat, and she had such a comfortable and safe place to sleep. So she naturally slept deeply, although they slept peacefully together. This was the first time in Ran Shiyu's life that she slept with a man of the opposite sex. Although Ran Shiyu had acted very calmly, she was still a little embarrassed when facing Jian Lusher. The convoy continued to move forward. The road Sun Kuen chose did not have many obstacles. At most, there were some small cars on the road which were directly hit by the minibus. If it is the kind of road where large trucks pass, it will take a lot of effort. As they got closer to the urban area, they must pass through. There were more and more zombies. Sun Kun returned to the SUV and put Jiang Zhuying back on the minibus to help deal with the zombies. Bullets are too valuable, so it's better not to use them. And through the war room, Jiang Zhuying was able to freely release electricity in a safe environment. Ever since Jiang Lusha reminded her of her recent playfulness, Jiang Zhuying started to get serious. She stood in the war room and continued to release electricity at the corpses in front of her, almost weaving a blue and white sheet in front of the windshield. Grid. Ending drove the minibus and ran all the way, as if he was facing lightning. 
those zombies were either directly burnt by the electric current, or were directly hit by the minibus after being stiffened by the electricity. Although the number of corpses was large, the minibuses leading the convoy were overwhelming. Ren Shi watched silently. She had already seen the scene, but she still couldn't help being surprised. Brother Jiang, there's a situation ahead. Ying's voice suddenly sounded. As soon as she heard this, Ren Shi immediately became nervous. In the apocalypse, the phrase, there is a situation, actually means there is danger. Jiang Lusher immediately walked to the cab and looked ahead. Normally, the zombies would have been running towards them before they got close. But now there was a large group of zombies blocking them in front of them. All with their backs turned to them. As if they were going crazy. The ground hit something. Bang bang! Two gunshots rang out. But then, there was a miserable scream. No! No! Help! Ah! The sound only rang twice, and then disappeared. It is not difficult to imagine what happened to the owner of the sound. I didn't expect there to be survivors in this place. Jian Lusher said. This place has initially entered the urban area. Unless it is for some necessary supplies. The survivor team will never risk getting close. Soon, Jian Lusher and others saw this group of survivors. What surprised Jian Lusher was that these were not ordinary survivors. But five or six well-equipped soldiers. They drove a military truck and were using the truck as a bunker to fight the zombies. Even if you just look at these soldiers from a distance, you can tell that they are well trained from their fighting postures. They only shoot at close range. And basically every shot can knock down a zombie. This saves ammunition to the maximum extent. No wonder the gunshots are sparse. However, in front of a dense group of zombies, this requires extreme calmness. If you panic a little, it is easy to shoot randomly with a gun, let alone wait for the zombies to rush forward before shooting. Although they heard that they had just lost a comrade. From Jian Liosher's point of view, it would not be difficult to rush out unless their ammunition was running out. However, Jian Lusher saw at a glance a soldier carrying a light machine gun and carrying many drums. In this case, with their fighting power, there would be no big problem. They only need to temporarily get rid of this group of zombies and then escape to the streets where zombies are relatively rare. But what Jian Lusher found strange was that the faces of these soldiers were solemn and ugly, with cold sweat on their foreheads, as if they were extremely nervous, calm fighting and disproportionate panic. What are these soldiers afraid of? Jian Lusher originally wanted to go around directly. His current goal was to rush to Jiling port and did not want to cause any problems on the way. However, seeing the reaction of these soldiers, Jian Lusher felt that he could not pass this section of the road so easily. Let's take a look at the situation first. Jian Lusher said to Ying. Chapter 149 The Invisible Danger First Update In the early days of the apocalypse, the combat effectiveness of a group of soldiers was definitely not weak and was stronger than the average team of survivors. They were so panicked that Jian Lusher felt something was wrong. So after stopping, in addition to dealing with the zombies rushing over, Jian Lusher put everyone on high alert. There is no telling what danger is hidden among this group of corpses. Jian Lusher and the others stopped in the distance. And these soldiers spotted Jian Lusher and the others at a glance. Seeing someone coming, one of the soldiers said with some surprise, I didn't expect there would be survivors here. What about Captain? Do you want to ask them for help? The captain of these soldiers was a man in his thirties, with a very resolute appearance and dark skin. His hair was wet with sweat, and his palms were full of sweat. The captain glanced at the convoy, and with his eyesight, he could see the structure of the team at a glance. An SUV and a modified car are standard equipment. The minibus is a bit eye-catching. I don't know what it is used for. It is probably either accommodation or a warehouse. There should be more than two superpowers in a team which is the result of the modified freezer truck. The freezer truck has been modified quite well, and it can move here, which shows that the team strength is not bad. Only two or more superpowers can take care of three vehicles. Under normal circumstances, there should be one or two guns. But facing that monster, this is not enough. They had been stuck here for so long that only a few of them were left out of the original 20-man team. More than a dozen elite soldiers were dead. For such a small team, even if they joined, they would just die. Moreover, seeing that they stopped far away, it is estimated that the group of corpses alone has deterred them from getting close. Even if they were paid to ask for help, they probably would not help. But, the captain turned his head and glanced inside the carriage. In the car, an old man in casual clothes was sitting there. Although the old man was over 60 years old and had gray hair, he looked energetic. Even in this environment, his back was still straight. His eyes were steady. 
and even at this critical moment of life and death, he did not show any signs of panic. Next to him was a young girl, only 15 or 16 years old, although she had a stubborn look on her face. Every time a gunshot was fired, she would secretly tighten her clothes and her body would tremble slightly involuntarily. And from the bottom of her eyes, you can also vaguely see the look of fear. After all, she was just a girl. And she was actually very scared after witnessing a dozen soldiers being taken away. Soon she and her grandfather will fall into the same fate. When she thought of this, the girl's face turned pale. She would rather shoot herself to death. Although the old man was not afraid of death. He looked at the girl from time to time with a trace of sadness flashing in his eyes. It doesn't matter if I die, but I pity my granddaughter. If they can rush through the group of corpses, maybe we can entrust Mr. Jean and the others to this group of people under our cover. Then it will be easier to disperse and escape. But they can't even get through the group of corpses. There is no way. The captain shook his head inwardly. He glanced at Jean Lusher and the others again and said, Forget it. It's useless. The monster will come out in a while. You cover me, and I will try my best. Whether it succeeds or not, it should be delayed for a while. And you can take the opportunity to break out quickly. As he spoke, the captain pulled his waist, and his waist was filled with grenades. The captain put the tabs on together, with a look of determination on his face. Captain! Several other soldiers suddenly screamed. Captain! You! Needless to say, I have the strongest power here, and only I have a chance to succeed and I won't necessarily die. This is just a backup. If I miss, the monster will eat me, and I will have to blow it up. The mouth is full of flowers. Let it know that I am not easy to swallow. Captain, at this time, a few zombies suddenly shook a few times among the zombies. These zombies were very agile. If it weren't for the narrow entrance to the carriage and the sturdy carriage, which had gone through several layers of reinforcements, they would just have to secure the entrance, and they wouldn't be able to block it at all. Live these zombies. Such zombies will not have the problem of stumbling. This is caused by the monster starting to move. The captain's pupils suddenly shrank. Ready. The soldiers didn't have time to say anything. They were all nervous. They kept shooting and killing the zombies that rushed towards them. While nervously scanning the group of corpses, that thing used the cover of the corpses to appear suddenly like a ghost every time and drag one of them away. Seeing the sudden change in the expressions of these soldiers, Jian Lusher immediately looked among the corpses. The group of corpses is still the same. What are these people afraid of? At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly caught a glimpse of a shadow that seemed to flash across the group of corpses. Um, at this moment, another scream came from the military truck. I saw a black shadow suddenly emerge from the group of corpses. The black shadow was as thick as a bucket, and the exposed part was estimated to be five or six meters long. It was as fast as lightning and bit a soldier in one bite. This soldier was a strong man but he was dragged out without any resistance. At this time, these soldiers just had time to react and shoot. They are indeed well trained, but if they are so fast that they can't react and can't even shoot in time, then how can they fight? The soldier was dragged out and immediately screamed loudly, struggling desperately in the air. Ah! The other soldiers pulled the triggers frantically, but the black shadow was too fast. In a short time, they only saw that the soldier had been dragged into the group of corpses. The captain's eyes suddenly widened. Still didn't have time to react immediately. He immediately grabbed the baffle of the carriage door and prepared to pounce towards the soldier's location. Cover me. I will fight with you. The captain shouted. The black shadow was so fast that Jiang Zhuing and the others couldn't see it clearly. But Jiang Lusher saw clearly. The brain power was activated. And the flashing black shadow suddenly turned into slow motion in his eyes. It's a mutant python. It was as thick as a bucket and covered with thick scales. From the observation of the corpses being squeezed away, one could estimate that this mutated python was more than 10 meters long. For such a huge body, the movements are extremely fast. At the same time, Starseed also gave his judgment on the strength of this mutant python. Level 1 plus mutant python. In a state of evolution, when he first heard the result of level 1 plus, Jian Lusher was actually a little disappointed. He had not even seen the shadow of a level 2 mutant beast yet. But after hearing the next sentence, Jiang Liosher's eyes lit up again. This mutated python is evolving. Chapter 150 Rush Over. Second update. Starseed's explanation of the evolutionary state means that the mutant python's mutant energy level is changing from 1 plus to 2. This mutated python has eaten so many people. 
including people with superpowers, that it has reached the critical point of breaking through the second level. Jian Lusher did not expect that although he did not encounter a second level mutant beast, he did encounter one that was evolving. What a blessing! About to break through the second level. This mutant python is indeed very scary. This speed allows it to hit 100 times every time it attacks. And it is almost hit by bullets. In the desire to survive. The soldier who was bitten away pulled out his spurs and stabbed the mutant python crazily. But he couldn't break the scales of the mutant python at all. The defense was also very strong. If this mutated python has really been promoted to the second level and has been stable for a period of time, its speed will definitely be faster again. Jiang Lusher is currently short of mutated crystal nuclei, especially the second level mutated crystal nuclei, and is extremely jealous. Jiang Lusher watched the mutated python dragging its prey quickly among the corpses. It was probably going to enter the surrounding buildings and wait until it had eaten the food before attacking. Once it entered the building, Jiang Lusher would also know a solution anymore. When it comes out next time, who knows what else will change. Ink! Speed up! Rush over! Jian Lusher said decisively. Okay! Ying's consciousness was fully connected to Jian Lusher's. She didn't need any time to react after hearing the order. She stepped on the accelerator almost as soon as Jian Lusher finished speaking. The minibus had been charging for a long time. And suddenly it made a huge engine roar and rushed into the group of corpses in an instant. When the captain was about to pounce out, he realized that his speed was still too slow compared to the mutant python. Even if he went down, he would just jump into the group of corpses and still be some distance away from the mutant python. But the number of people is getting smaller and smaller. And if this continues, they will be desperate and waiting for death. So even if they can only throw a grenade and blow it up with the aftermath, the captain has to try his best, which may still buy some time. However, at this moment, he suddenly heard a woo like hearing the sound of a sports car roaring past at close range. The captain was stunned for a moment and looked around. The other soldiers were also startled by the movement. They saw that the minibus was still far away. But with a roar, it suddenly rushed into the zombie group. The zombies that stood in front of it on the road were knocked away like bowling pins. The zombies roared and pounced on them without fear of death. But they died if they were rubbed and flew away when they touched. This car is so awesome! The captain was a little surprised. He didn't expect that this minibus was also a modified vehicle. Before, he thought it was not a combat vehicle. However, what do they want to do with this minibus and the people on it? Crazy! They want to hunt mutant pythons! A soldier said with wide eyes. Hunting mutant pythons? What do you think? Unless you are an ignorant and fearless fool. No one can see the horror of the mutated python. Even these people, if they had witnessed the speed of the mutated python in the first place, would never provoke it. As a result, now, after seeing the horror of this mutated python, this group of survivors actually wants to follow in their footsteps. Maybe this team of survivors was very capable, but the captain and these people still felt that they were too confident. So they rushed over so recklessly, even though he was strong, suppressed by the absolute speed. He couldn't display it, let alone among such a group of corpses. But even so, when they saw the minibus approaching, their hearts still tightened, and their eyes followed the minibus closely. The captain was already prepared to die, and the others were actually in a very desperate mood. Even if the captain bought some time, they had no chance of escaping. Now they saw the minibus roaring among the zombies. Even though I knew there was little hope, I still couldn't control my excitement. The grandfather and grandson also saw this scene, and their faces could not suppress their desire for survival. Jiang Lusher naturally knew that the mutant python was fast but he had no intention of fighting the mutant python head-on. The minibus used acceleration and collision continuously, and the speed had increased to the extreme. With Jiang Liusher's brain, he could clearly distinguish the trajectory of the mutant python. The direction Jiang Liusher rushed to was actually not the mutated python, but the front of the mutated python. When the minibus rushes here, it is equivalent to hitting this mutated python head-on. Bang! This mutated python was hit hard. The entire minibus also shook. Bamboo shadow! Jian Lusher shouted. The mutated python's scales were very hard. And the collision did not leave any injuries on its body surface at all. But it was fast. And the minibus was also fast. The car collided with it so hard that the mutated python felt dizzy and its body felt extremely uncomfortable. But before it could get angry, a dozen electric lights intertwined into a grid, covering its head and face. Hiss! The mutated python suddenly stood upright in the lightning and its appearance was exposed to people for the first time. 
It has a flat triangular head, a huge snake mouth, and a long snake letter protruding from the mouth, making an extremely sharp, hissing sound. And its huge body was swinging wildly in the electric light. The snake body, which was more than 10 meters long and as thick as a bucket, was so shocking when it was swung like this. Dozens of zombies around it were killed and injured in an instant. Before the power grid disappeared, a gunshot suddenly sounded. Bang! One of the mutated python's eyeballs exploded, and a large cloud of blood mist exploded. Hiss! The mutated python's tail whipped out wildly, slamming an abandoned car on the roadside into a discus, from being knocked out of a minibus to colliding with a mutated python. This scene only happened in the blink of an eye. The soldiers didn't react until there was a loud bang when the car was smashed. I'll wipe it! Their eyeballs almost fell out although they hoped that the minibus could do something, and even hoped that the minibus could kill the mutated python. In fact, they rationally believed that this was impossible. The best result is that after they realize that nothing can be done, they can buy some time, cause some trouble to the mutant python, and create a chance to escape. The captain was extremely shocked. He would not be surprised if this car struggled with a mutated python for a while, because although he felt that these people were seeking death, he also believed that if they were not confident in their own strength, they would not have the courage. However, the horror of this mutated python exceeded the imagination of these survivors. However, the result was that the car hit this extremely fast mutant python with great speed and accuracy.